Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to the Comsden Supercut of Episodes 1 through 30, the complete edition. This is a collection of the entire series from the very first episode all the way to the final moment, selling off everything at the end, and more. This Let's Play series took many different twists and turns, which I was not expecting, and was so much fun to record for you guys. It's taken countless hours not only to record it, but also to edit it all and bring it to you in one single video. So make sure you drop a like on it real quick, as that really does go to help out a lot. I need all the help I can get after recording 30 episodes. Anyway, I hope you enjoy all of my work, the complete Comsden Farm Supercut, episodes 1 through 30. We're going to be starting off fresh. I have not loaded into this yet, and we're doing it right now. You say we start with our character customization screen. I love this dude. He looks awesome. Who doesn't want a blue mohawk? It's the number one most requested feature. There you go. And we are in. Now, <laughs> time to reset, set up this cache so that the uh, jittering quits happening. While that's doing it, let's go ahead and work on some settings for this series. We're going to have to come up with a name. I think the best thing to do is just change this to like Comsden Let's Play. Com Com Den Let's Play. I can't spell. There you go. All right. Comes to Let's Play. Uh, auto save interval. I keep this off. It's just a personal thing. I like to be able to save when I want to save. Sometimes I want to save something. Sometimes I don't. Time scale. Uh, five is a little bit high. Let's stick with two for now. Economic difficulty. We're going to go on normal for this one. I know. Uh, but we're going to start on easy because I want to show you how to get some money. Traffic. It doesn't matter. There's no traffic. Seasonal growth. Actually, no. We're not going to have seasonal growth, at least for now. This may change in the future. I have tried messing with my personal seasonal growth calendar. So if we take a look here, uh, you can see this is the one that comes at base. Well, I don't like this one. And I tried to change it, and it made everything disappear. It made all the gates disappear. All the blue blips. Everything was gone. <laughs> and that's not good. So uh, for now, we're going to go with no. We're going to simulate it in our own way. So it'll be fine. It's fine. Uh, snow's going to be turned on, fixed visual month, days per month. All of that's going to be set right there. Crop destruction, of course. Periodic plowing. I do like having that turned on. Fieldstone. Uh, you know, I'm <laughs> I'm back and forth on this one because it's just one more thing. So I think for right now, we're going to turn that off. Lime required. We'll leave that on and weeds will turn those off as well. Dirt, fast, obviously, automatic engine start. We're going to leave that off. And then fuel usage, high, as always. And then, of course, I turn all of these things off. And that's it. Let's go and save our game, and we'll be done. Hey, and uh, by now, hopefully, some of the cash has loaded itself up. Let's go ahead and get a nice one. Get out of here, birds. All right. Oh, my help window's on, isn't it? Let's go ahead and turn that off. We don't need that. We don't need no help around here. Double check. Make sure fences are here. Hey, yep. I don't know what happened, man. It just disappeared. <laughs> it was, I really wish I could explain it. it was, uh, bad things happen, man. Bad things happen. All right. So we want to look at the equipment that we get base game. I'm sure you guys have seen this with a bunch of people's videos already, but we're going to be taking another look at it just in case. Maybe there's something here that you haven't seen. Maybe you missed something. So we've got two John Deere, six R's. We also have a Fint 714 Vario. Love that tractor. As far as the combine harvester goes, I think it's a great one to start with here. We could go smaller. I do like this one, though, is the Class Tron 720. Now, we could go more with that if we wanted to. Telehandlers, my favorite in the game, period. JCB is awesome. It's awesome. Here's a, tra a trailer that probably a lot of people haven't used. You got your crappy half pipes. Pretty cool trailer, but we will get rid of it. We have the 10 meter header cultivator. Nobody needs cultivators anymore. Cedars, we've got this one. We might keep it. We might not. I'm not sure. Uh, the most popular roller in the game. We do have that big sprayer and so on and so forth. We don't need to keep going, but... We need to figure out what are we going to keep and what are we going to sell. Well, I guess that all depends on what fields we're going to keep and which ones we're going to sell, if any. So obviously we start with some big areas over here. We don't have the horse riding area. However, we do have the field that's got the pig field in it, or the pig farm in it. That's field 35 at a previous or a future update rather. 
they're going to make that sellable. They're also going to make all the stuff in this area sellable as well. Pretty cool. Field 4, that's looking good. Field 31, that's looking good as well. Field 31's actually got the sheep pasture in it. Uh, and then we've got field 15, which is kind of what we're in right now. So we've got all of that plus three massive fields as well. Two of which are ready to harvest. Field 3 and field number 6. It's barley and wheat. That's good because you guys know me. Flower simulator. It's flower simulator. Let's go. Uh, the one that you may look at to sell, it's going to give you a lot of money as well. $454,000 for field number two just from selling it. So if you were to do anything, if you were to sell anything, honestly, like field two and then these, if you're not doing grass fields, you can just get rid of those completely. I mean, you don't have to do that. You can plant something in there if you want to. And then I would go in, maybe purchase field five, something like that. That way you've got a little bit bigger land to work with. But what are we going to do? The first thing we're going to do is get rid of the fuel stations. That's right. These fuel stations right here give you a bunch of money. You've probably seen this before, but if you click this, 875 grand. Yeah, I want that. That's, that's a high price. That's a very high price. Also, if you go over to our next farm over here, there's another one right here. Boom, right there. If we click it, we can sell that too. $875,000. That's ridiculous. Uh, the, he also mentioned that there was some rubbish. That all you had to do was click on it. Maybe demolish. But yeah, that's it's just not working there. Another thing. So at least the last to check. See, sell the chicken pasture for 75 grand but it also gets rid of all of the fences and a few of the triggers i think maybe that was the problem that i had so just a heads up there you may want to be careful as far as that so at least we've got some money now 1.8 bajillion dollars uh now we can go around i think it's it's almost too much money right we've we've almost made too much money so we're gonna have to hide some of this money. Let's hide it by getting rid of some of the equipment and making more money and then buying equipment on top of that. But we've also got stuff that we've got to do for production chains and stuff like that. So there's a whole lot of money that we're gonna have to actually end up spending. I do know that I want to get rid of that. The telehandler's great. Not a fan of the trailer, so that's going to cultivators. Nobody cares. Uh, cedars. So this one is a, uh, what's the, the width on this? Eight meters. That's great, but for 240 horsepower, uh, that's just not going to do it. Roller, we're going to get rid of that because I've got a custom one. Sprayer, fine. Mower, that is not big enough. Nor is the, the baler. Telehandler tools, these are cool. We don't actually need them. I'll hang on to it. Why not? Header trailers. Well, we could hang on to that. But the problem is that header trailer is not meant for the header that we've got. Yes, it is on it, but it's not the one that's supposed to be there. Let's see if I can bump over and show you guys. Yeah. So it fits. Fits just fine. It's on there. Look at it. You can see it being on there, but it's not touching. <laughs> Therefore, it's not really the mod for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump in our handy dandy little tractor right here. We'll cut the volume up a little for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and hook up. I'm going to try and do as much with this possible. In previous uh, series, I've gone a little bit, I guess, I've gone a little bit ham. It's, it's my job after all, but went a little bit wild and crazy with stuff. So I'm going to try and take it easier. Maybe just kind of enjoy playing more than trying to make, like, ten quadrillion monies. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. I don't trust myself at all. But I do love playing Farming Simulator, and I play Farming Simulator a lot off screen. Like, probably more than a normal human being should play Farm Sim and do it. <laughs> That's how much I play Farm Sim. Oh, this is tough. There you go. All right, we'll get that backed up. I want to put it here for one reason and one reason only. I need this to be somewhere where the header drops into a safe space. Let's get it here. Just delete the header trailer. Boop. All right, safe space. If it's in there, it's kind of hard to get to. I could use heavy lift, but that's going to be, well, heavy. Next. 
we've got two John Deere 6Rs. These are great tractors. Both of them are. We've actually got one over here as well. But the question is, do we want both of those or do we want to start with something else? A lot of people are probably going to be using these John Deere tractors. So I say we get rid of both of them. I love the Fent 700. As a matter of fact, we could take a look and see if there's any other Fent 700 mods that we've gotten yet. Maybe I've accidentally downloaded one somewhere along the way. Yeah, right here. So we actually do have a Fed 700 mod. And also for this one, I think we're gonna use Trellibor wheels. I really like how the Trellibor wheels look. So I thought, well, let's go with them. They look great in Farm Sim uh, 19, 20. What game are we playing? <laughs> So let's uh, let's get ourselves one of these. We'll go with the big engine, uh, main color. We could go with something else. The thing is, you can't change the rim color. So the rings are going to stay red. You know what? I've never seen a white vent before. We're going to have one on this series, aren't we? Taking a look in our used equipment to see if there's anything that we could possibly work with here. Well, we can't maybe a bucket here. Uh, actually, as a matter of fact, is that run with tail handlers? I'm not sure. Tool could be uh, used for goods on your trail. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be for tail handler or not. It looks like a wheel loader thing. We do have the pace setter on here, but as you know, the pace setter is not going to work well on this map. It's kind of tight, so looks like, unfortunately, none of the used stuff is going to be good for us today. Harvesters. You noticed that I saved the, uh, the harvester, right? Well... I got a modified version of this thanks to 82 Studio. Uh, the thing is, the 73 and 7500 both have the uh, the regular holdings. However, this version looks like a bajillion. So I'm not really sure what I want to go with there. Do I want to keep it? Or do we go with like a Lexian right here? So I modified this one as well. Actually, is that Lexian? Tryon? The Tryon's the one I would want to go with. Ooh. What to do, what to do. How's about this? Instead of going with something bigger, I guess, like the Tryon, why don't we go with a Tucano? We could do this. Yeah. Uh, we'll set up. Ooh, let's go with a uh, wide tire right there on the Trello Borgs. That's looking good. Okay, everything's looking good here so far. Let's get this stuff reset. We've got a little, a couple things over here. So, store's going to be on your right hand side. Let's go ahead and take our uh, fent and get that. Reset, and we've got our combine here as well. Here's my question. Will this header work with this combine, or am I going to have to get another one? Let's go ahead and boom out the auger, see if it'll reach. I think that's going to reach. It hooks up. By the way, this is not the header for this. You're supposed to use about a 7 meter header for this. Also, the Tucano goes a little slow. Uh, I mean, it's powering it. I'm not sure it's powering it beautifully or not, but it's working. Uh, we... Uh, I don't know, give me a second. We, we may swap this up a little bit. I have to make it a few changes to the XML file. I know exactly what we're gonna do. Wow, those birds are super loud. Very, very rude. Uh, ooh. Little laggy coming in, little laggy. Let's get rid of this. <laughs> I know, I just got it. Hang on, let me go up to it. This will be the easiest way to do it. All right, so we will sell from here. That should give us most of our money back. And we're going to go in to the harvester. Should be down near the end. I modified something that was modified. Because <laughs> I'm good like that. Uh, we're going to stick with Trelleborg. We're going to stick with wheel setups on standard and we will be good. Yes, I would like to purchase that for more money than I just sold the other one for for some reason. Look at fresh. Why is it laggy? I don't like it. Anyway, everything's looking good there. So we've got a tractor. We've got a combine harvester. Love this tractor, by the way. And we've got a telehandler. Okay. Not a bad way to start off. So we've got Kloss, JCB, and Fent. What else are we missing? We're missing harvest time. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Let's get out there and get harvesting. Time is going by and it's going by without us. 
So we may as well get part of it. Uh, I think what I may do is wait until we, like, need stuff. And we'll just buy whatever we need to. Let's go ahead and enable that straw swath because we do want that. We've got quite a few places to sell straw on the map, so we'll be kind of spoiled for choice as far as it comes to where we're going to be selling straw. Or if. Yeah. If we sell the straw. So there is that as well. Let's go enable fast farming on this. I do not want to go slow. So we are going to go super, super fast. Well, <laughs> about 20 miles an hour. That's about as fast as we're going to go. I have gone through and played on this map. I played for a few hours uh, previously before recording. Just kind of having fun, enjoying myself, trying to get a little harvesting done, selling some grain and that type of thing to see kind of how I want to start things normally i do that i'll play around a little bit before i actually jump again to see where we want to record and i think for this one i'm gonna bring you guys on a journey of me finding things for the first time <laughs> which is totally the best way to do it uh finding things for the first time building our empire i guess building building on as we need things so we're not gonna build a farm and then start using all the stuff that we've purchased we're gonna get the bare necessities for each job that we need. Obviously, we've got $2.3 million. I think we got enough money. But, uh, you know, we don't have anything, really. We've got three implements for a telehandler with the machine itself, a combine, a combine harvester, and a medium tractor with a weight. We don't really have a whole lot. <laughs> We do have all the fields that we started off with, so we're gonna have to get some stuff for mowing, obviously. Probably what I'll end up doing is selling the areas that we've got animals on. We don't need to do that right now, so why not do that? I think one of the biggest problems that I have had uh, with series and with gameplay in general, just from the very beginning, was starting too fast. I, jumping in and being like, yeah, I'm gonna do this and this and this. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run two headlands around this farm or this field. Rather, you guys saw where I started and how I'm doing things. I'm I'm squaring it off right now because I'm going to show you how to hire a worker on this field. At least the easiest way that I found because I have restarted a few times. Our two headlands are now done. I finished both of them. So here's what we're going to do next. We're gonna turn around. I started at this top corner. You don't have to start here if you don't want to. As a matter of fact, starting up here where the top of your screen is actually the easiest place to start this field. Curious what field I'm even in. I'm field number three, we're doing the barley. Yeah, welcome along. So this is where I would start probably if I were you guys. Take a look at the, the ground. It tells you exactly which way north to south, east and west is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up the tip top here. It's not completely flat, but it, it, it's close enough. And I'm just gonna hire a worker. Most of you guys, including myself, will use a worker when harvesting fields. It's just a little bit easier. Plus you can come in behind it. You can you know, run a cart or you can pick up the, um, the straw, which we are going to do today. You can see we got to about right here. I'm gonna stop him, go ahead and back it up. There we go. Help out the worker as much as we can. So now we've got an almost straight line from one end to the other. So we're gonna flip this back around. We're gonna find that straight line. I'm gonna line this header up with that. And it's gonna make about, I don't know, two, three passes until we get to another area where, well, we might run into a few more problems. That's gonna be over where the turn is right above the combine right now. So here's where it's gonna get tricky, especially if you're like me and you like really smooth lines in the straw. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to let this helper go back the other way one more time. When they come back, they may even miss a little bit, but that's going to be okay. They're going to put us in line for the rest of the field. And the rest of the field is, well, it's kind of important. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and hire down about right there. That will work great. Straighten it up. Hire worker. We're going to let them go down come right back and as you can see we should get almost all of that and we may even go back up right in line perfect by the way this combine's got a 100,000 liter capacity that's why i've gone without having to unload we got 34,000 liters in here already and as we come up on this we're gonna line this up almost perfect 
I think we're gonna get just a wee little bit, but it's almost gonna hit this good. It may even stop. Doesn't look like he's going to. And we're gonna come right through here. We're just gonna have a little bit of speck right there at the tip top. And that is all we're gonna have to deal with. We'll go ahead and back this up, hit it. And then we're basically done with everything we need to do as a human being on this field, with the exception of picking the straw up. I'm still debating on how I'm gonna do that. I might get the uh, the round baler up. Yeah, like a big round baler and just let it run. I've also thought about getting another different piece of equipment. We'll find out and see. All right, hire the worker and now they'll be able to get the rest of this done for us. And I have harvested this field twice now. This is the third time. So I know that this combine harvester with 100,000 liters We'll be able to do this build without having to unload. Come on, Harvester's doing a great job. So now we are going to switch over to the JCB. I love this JCB. You guys haven't seen me use it, but I've used this a ton off screen and I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It's my favorite, it's absolutely my favorite. Let's get rid of that. I'm curious about some stuff and we're gonna find out exactly here today. I'm going to take this. There's This bucket's really not going to hold a whole lot, so it doesn't matter if we cheat in a little bit. So let's take this, and we're going to cheat in some straw. There we go. So we have 2,640 liters of straw. You see this silo right here? I don't know if you can store straw here or not. If we go in and take a look, and like I said, you guys are going to learn along with me. Maybe you already know. Straw, zero liters. Does that mean that we can store it? I don't know, but I'm about to find out. No! All right! <laughs> Turns out the answer is absolutely not. At least not here. <laughs> you know what? I got a better idea for this. <laughs> I don't know where you can store straw, but I do know that it's not right here. Let's go into the build mode. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. Uh, let's go to soften. And all you gotta really do is just like boop that one time. There you go. So everything's... <laughs> that didn't really work well, did it? All right, so I don't know where you could store straw. I don't know if there's a hayloft around here somewhere. I've tried to look it around, but I can't really find anything. So if we just take the tip station, so this is something neat that you can do. Um, you can take your tip stations. As you see, we've got water tank, we've got Comsden 2, remove junk, we don't need to mess with that, liquid fertilizer, and Comsden silo 1. Well, th those are the only places on our silos. Now, of course, we do have some tip stations around, so you can see Garden Center, uh, Lime Station, but we're looking for one that looks like an arrow pointing into something. And as you can see, sawmill and water tank are the only places like that. So I don't know where we're able to sell or store rather the straw, but not anywhere that I can find. Well, I'm sitting here thinking, I'm probably never gonna need this. I'm probably never gonna use this. This is the liquid fertilizer silo. And though that's cool, very cool, I don't think I'm ever gonna need it. Also, I'm looking at this. I don't think I could ever sell this. <laughs> Great. Uh, you can't sell that. But, but I could still sell the, yeah, the chicken pasture for 75000 and literally every single uh, thing to go along with it. So it doesn't look like I'm able to sell that. But what I do want to do is place down one of these. So this is a silo that our good friend... Uh, uh, Trucker Matsy has put together, um, not for us, is one that he had, but I <laughs> stole it. We could put this down somewhere. We could put this down somewhere. I want to be careful and to make sure that this is put on some flat ground because otherwise it's just going to be a total, total disaster. So the question is going to be, okay, I need to put this down. Awesome. Where am I going to put this down where it doesn't cause trouble? Am I going to put it here? I'm gonna put it like that, but I don't even need straw at this farm. I need straw at this farm. Where do I put it? It doesn't do it here either. <laughs> I, I just wanted to double check, but yeah, it, man, it doesn't work anywhere, does it? Not even a little bit. Oop, we got 98%, 99%. 
was gonna say, how am I losing straw? Well, it keeps dumping it out. That's why. Uh, can I do the little, the little trick? It where? <laughs> where am I? <laughs> I'm glad you guys are along with this to kind of help make fun of me. I really need you guys for that. Uh, let's see. Let's go like that. Ooh, we're not able to go in there with that. Oh, boy. Um, hang on. Let me empty that out real quick. And let me see if I can get this straw up. I may have... I may have overdone it. We may have straw on the ground for eternity. Yep. We're going to have straw under there forever. <laughs> All right, so uh, another idea that I looked at was possibly getting the silo in here. Of course, as you know, uh, the silo comes out and goes towards the outside. Well, you could also put, you know, something else under here if you really wanted to. So if we take the silo that we had, which is uh, this one, you can see I am able to put it in here. I'm just not sure it's a good idea. Um, it doesn't stick out, so that's great news. Um, there's really nothing we would put under here. I thought about putting the Combine Harvester under there. You know, I'm just really not sure. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold off for now. I'm going to... Huh. Worker stop down there. And you know what's interesting? He did that when I was doing tests on this as well. That's odd. There's something over there. Let's go onto the map and find out and see. Doesn't look like it shows anything over here. Oh, it does. Look at this. You got a toolbox and a, uh, whatever that is. Underground. How in the world does this happen through all of the testing and everything? How does this get by? I would have found this immediately. This is an owned field. And you miss that. Come on! I think for right now, maybe just doing bells is probably our best thing instead of trying to pick up loose straw and then keep it for cows that we don't even have yet. Maybe this is the best way to do it. Just put it in bells, put it to the side, and eventually, eventually, we will have enough straw to do whatever we want to with. So, Trelleborg, looking good. Let's go ahead and buy that. There's some more money down the drain. We'll have this reset over to the main farm so we can get uh, ready and probably... Oh, hey, speaking of getting ready, look at this guy. This guy, 92% in here. So we have 92,000 liters of wheat. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and collect this little bit right here. We'll bring that there. Line it up with this so if any straw pops out. Nah, it doesn't look like that was enough wheat to put any straw out. I am going to run this backside. So we've got a baler, should be over there now. It's also in the power range of our uh, Fin 700, so that's good. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, we're not having to buy an extra tractor. I did want to use the Corona. I'd actually planned on using the Corona. Just didn't turn out that way. I wanted to use it, which don't... The tractor that we have right now isn't powerful enough to run it, and I just don't care. I just don't care enough to, to get a more powerful tractor just to run that. It's got the horsepower for it. I'm just not sure the weight is uh, right where we want it to be. So, come through there. Pick that up. We'll run alongside this line until the straw is done. And then I think and by I think I know that will be it for today's video. Let's get to selling stuff and make it a little bit of a more easy free cash. How's about that? So I have looked at the comment section since the last video and a lot of you guys said this is sellable. Well, oh, wrong button. Let me, let me show you why it's not. And then I'll show you how it is. See, I am all over this thing, clicking everywhere. But what about this? Yeah, yes please, thank you. Here lies the problem. It's down there. <laughs> I don't, I don't want the tanks to still be there. I want. <laughs> Come on, man. I just, I want, I want these gone. I don't need these. If the trucker's not there, I don't need these. Bad oversight. Another thing. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're starting the video like this. I've tried digging these out and I've tried selling these in the middle of our field. I guess they filled three or something, but unfortunately these do not delete. I don't know why these are here. I don't know how they made their way under my, <laughs> my farm, but get out of here tolls. So after I've totally brutally mutilated my farm, let's jump back in here and let's kind of do this again but more so the right way so i've got some equipment sitting around we've got stuff in its place but we've got stuff that we need to buy and we've got a, something else to buy as well evidently field 23 is free where's field 23 at it's also ready to harvest as well that should make it easier to find false where's field 23 at Ah, it's right here. Look at this. So, evidently, Field 23 is free. Yeah, value. Zero dollar dollar bills, y'all. Um, somebody was saying that it's oats in the comment section. For me, at least, it is soybeans. But even though it's free, I still have no use for this farm. So, I or this field, rather. So, I'm not going to worry about buying Field th uh, 23. It means nothing to us. One thing that does mean something, though, is the house. Now, this is interesting. So if I wanted to make a little extra cash, all I had to do is sell this. Look at this. Sell this for 875 grand. You know, I don't need the money. That would be a lot of fun though. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff you could do. And, and even if you want to get rid of all the fences and stuff, well, all you got to do, click on the fence, any fence at all, and it's linked to the chicken pasture. And if you do that, all the fences disappear. Be ready. There's a lot of quirks to this. It's real interesting. A lot of stuff that the community's finding since it's just come out. But you know what? As I mentioned in a previous Farms of News, there's an update. Should we get to farming? We should probably get to farming. Here's what I've done since the last episode. I have gotten a little bit of work done. We've got a trailer. We've got the Roland Pack auto-loading trailer that is trailed. I decided not to go with the larger uh, Ponge Pack. No, 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 no. That thing's not getting around <laughs> very well on this map. This, this will get around perfectly fine. The reason for it, we got 67 bells that have been produced because I decided you guys would assume that bailing was boring. So I went ahead and did it off screen. Uh, this is all done. No cheating, nothing like that. I just spent a little bit of time doing the bales. Now, we've got to go in and actually buy some stuff. We've got to buy a lot of stuff today. I've got... Like a tractor, weights, trailer, plow, spreader, mower, cedars, rollers, windrow, and loading wagon. All things that we need to get. So, let's take a look at some of the equipment that we're going to be buying. The first thing is going to be a new tractor, a large tractor at that. I've gone back and forth between a couple different ones. Yes, we're, we're already booming on this whole one tractor thing. It ain't working out. So, I thought about going with the Fent 1000 Safari. Then I was like, well... Don't we have a modded version of that out already? We do. And not only that, I can make this setup almost exactly like the tractor that we've got. The Fent 700, meet the white Fent 1000. But I decided not to do that. <laughs> Instead, we're gonna go with a black Massey Ferguson with wide tires, big uh, engine in it, and we're going to go with black wheels, a blacked out Massey Ferguson 8700. This is a throwback to my Oakfield series of Farming Simulator 17 that I recorded on PlayStation 4 back in 2018. That was a long time ago. <laughs> that was a very, very long time ago. So that's why I'm going to go with this. Uh, you can also see I've also changed up the license plate a little bit. So the middle two are numbers. Uh, and before it was DJ 69 ham, <laughs> I thought it was funny, but I was like, oh, if I change the nine to a zero, it just still says DJ go ham. So I decided to do that and we're doing license plates on the back only. So there is our tractor. We are going to get a wait for this as well. So let's jump in here and buy ourselves a nice little weight. Also, the reason I needed a bigger tractor, I want to use a little bit bigger machinery. Not huge, not huge, just, you know big enough you know what i'm talking about so let's go with this since it's a blacked out version we need a blacked out weight for it 
And to go along with that, we're going to get the same trailers that I always use. Eventually, we're going to have to start carting some stuff around. So, uh, if you want to download my pack, you can, as linked in the description below. But it comes with this, or at least one of the things it comes with is this. Uh, I modified the base game Brantner trailers, so both of them uh, have been modified we're gonna go with two of these. They're pretty easy to drive around overall on this map. So uh, let's see, Trellborg tire, sweet, wides, cover, yes. Uh, main color, we are gonna go with black. I think we're gonna go completely blacked out on there. Rim color, all black as well. And we're gonna be buying two of those. Again, these hold 50,000 liters each. Yeah, it's cheaty, but it's, it saves you trips. That's about it. Also need to get a plow because this field's gonna have to be, actually all of our fields have to be plowed. So we're gonna go with the Lizard 6MT 9MT. We're gonna go with the 9 version. We're actually gonna do this, check this out. I'm gonna do a JCB yellow on it with black, jet black. Actually, you know what, let's go with Onyx black on the bottom. I don't know, I just was like, ah, yellow plow. Why not? We also need a fertilizer spreader. I know I said I wasn't gonna do a stuff, but these are all things we're gonna use today, so I have to own these to use them. We're gonna go in here. There is one that I'm using right here. Uh, I love this. It's super, super easy to use. I think I've got lime turned off. I may have it turned on, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll figure that out from there. It, regardless, there we go. We have a fertilizer spreader. We also need some mowers as well. Now I have gone back and forth here, and maybe you guys could tell me we're gonna we're not gonna buy these yet. Should we go with the Vernland uh, stuff here? So there we go. These, or should we go with something that requires a little less horsepower, but doesn't look as cool? The base game Puttingers. Let me know. We're also gonna need a cedar. Now the cedar that we're gonna get is the exact same one that I keep using over and over and over again. This right here, it works. Why would you not use this over and over again if it's not the best? And it is, so we're gonna go with it. Why is this the best? Holds all your seat. That's good. It's a direct drill. The base game version is not. This is, and it's available for all platforms. It says nine miles an hour. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure that out when we go past it. Anyway, we're gonna get ourselves one of those. We also need a roller for this. I'm gonna go down to the DJ Go Ham Pack where you guys, again, if you're on PC, you could download this. Got a couple different goodies in here. Oh wait, <laughs> my rollers aren't in there. My bad. My rollers are here. Well, I'll figure out how to get these released. So here you can see we've got all kinds of stuff. I think I'm gonna go with the same look on this as I did on the uh, on the plow. I think I'm gonna go like this. I don't know, it looks cool. I like the yellow, I think it looks nice. So there we go. Uh, we also need a windrow and a loading wagon, but we don't need those until we start mowing. I will show you what we're gonna get just so you can get an idea. So the windrow, I can find it. We're gonna go with this. I like this because I can merge everything left and right and be done with it. Uh, and then as far as the loading wagon goes, we're actually gonna go with a super, super modded version right here, but we're gonna keep it pretty tame overall. It's only gonna hold 100,000 liters, so as much as our combine harvester. I know it's a lot, but <laughs> we got a lot of work to do, man. All right, I'm gonna get all of this stuff back to the uh, main farm, and then we're gonna start kind of moving stuff around, getting stuff to work. So we've got a bit of work to do today. And now everybody is nice and put away. Looking good, looking good. And our tractor is looking super, super fresh. Man, I love this Bassy Ferguson. It looks so good. All right, let's get everybody put away, at least for right now, for where we're gonna be. And let's jump back over here. Now this Fent 700 should have no trouble whatsoever moving all these bells around. If it does, we will swap it out. Go ahead and turn everything on. We'll put ourselves into operating mode into the help window. And now we got a bunch of bells to pick up. Oh yeah, one other thing. Had a couple of people ask it about uh, game settings. Well, uh, well, we showed off the game settings. But one thing that I need to change up is the economic difficulty. We're gonna go into normal. We're also gonna save that game real quick. Never know might happen. Uh, see, times two. Oh yeah, we are currently doing our uh, gameplay, so we need to put that into times two. Eh, just cause. <laughs> and as far as all these bells, we've got 67 bells to, uh, to babysit today. These bells are gonna be put away and we're going to sell 
all of them. Maybe. I don't know. Selling all of them to get a... You know what? We're going to get a bunch of straw before we end up buying cows anyway. We may as well. So, we're going to sell all these bells. I just had an idea. So, we've got all of our bells picked up. Obviously. Uh, we've got a couple fields that need work done to them. Yes, we do. So, why don't... We jump in our Massey Ferguson here. By the way, I'm loving this. Super, super uh, European. Kloss, JCB, Massey Ferguson, and Fent. Oh, it's a great setup. I did want to go with an original all Massey Ferguson setup, but unfortunately we don't have a small Massey Ferguson combine harvester. I know we're not using a small one anyway, but I didn't want to just start yay, with an ideal. I didn't think it was appropriate. I thought it was just a little bit too much. That's why I didn't do it. Straight up. Let's go over here. Let's head over to... I have no idea how to get there. I'm just going to go straight through the field. Let's go on over to our other field up here. So we have one field that probably a lot of people don't even pay attention to. Field number two. Field number two. It's ready to go for us. It is ready to go for us. Before I start this, this plow, super awesome. I'm actually going to run a couple headlands around this myself before hiring a worker on it. Just so we can get this project finished. Because all of our fields need to be plowed. So why not do it a little bit easier? If you flip the plow around, basically it requires zero horsepower, which makes life just great. So <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do there. Now that I've got my head lens run around, I'm going to flip the plow because for some reason in Farm Sim 22, the worker hates, and I mean hates using this. Also, one thing real quick, I've got to put some wheel weights on this thing. It's, oh, please, please be the tractor that I wanted. Okay, I guess we're redoing all this customization again. Um, we gotta have some wide tires with weights on here. Uh, it's just, it's a little bit much. It's bouncing around quite a bit. Also, I did forget to put the warning signs on there the first time around. There we go, customization, sure, sure, sure. We'll hook everything up, hook. And then do the same thing here, and we'll hire our worker on here. This should make this a little bit more stable, because it was extremely unstable jumping around this field like it was. All right. Do like that. Hire a worker. And it looks like we're good. Cool. All right. We'll let this guy just do his thing. We'll hit this entire field. And we get to go back and sell some bales. So the straw, where are we heading with it? Man, my mouse keeps disappearing on this map. I don't know why. Let's find some straw. Here we go. Also, this zero right here, this is how much you've got in your animal pens. Again, another thing uh, it has been overlooked a little bit. So we've got uh, all spheres and Cotswolds. Now, if I remember correctly, both of those are kind of down here. A little bit. I believe one of them is around here. Yep, so we got the Coswalds there. And then I believe our other one is down here, if I remember correctly. It's that one right there. So it's kind of how far do you want to drive? I will say that we're going to have to take this road anyway. They're both the same price, but I would rather take a straight shot all the way down than I have to come in, turn, and go all the way around like that. So where are we heading to? right here tag the place let's go one thing i will say it is an absolutely beautiful drive through this map there's a lot of tight spaces yes but remember this is not a town city center map this is not somewhere based uh in a huge population area this is this is a map kind of out there a little bit so it's kind of nice to be able to drive through the countryside a little bit of an uninhabited farmland countryside i love it i think i think the setting of this is just absolutely perfect well, let's do this first time we've come in here at least on the gameplay we've of course showed all of these areas off in the map tour so if you haven't checked that out go ahead and do that linked in the description below let's go and get these sold i think it was giving us about uh, 60 something per thousand liters so 15 grand, not too bad. With 67 bells, we're going to be taking, I think it's around four trips. So, not bad. Not bad at all. 
Give us a little nice little bit of money, even though we got 1.5 million dollars. Here's our last run right here. Uh, <laughs> evidently, it was only two runs plus 11. My bad. I told you not to let me do math. All right, we'll get these unloaded real quick. We'll see what our final take is. So we had 15, 15, and about six. So right around 30, 31,000 dollars uh, ish, maybe close to 32. That's how much we got for all of the bells that we sold. That was 67 bells. That's quite a bit. Uh, now again, I'm playing in normal mode, so <laughs> these prices are a little bit odd to me because I've been playing in easy since we started. But I think that, I mean, the price. Come on, we have 1.5 billion dollars. We're set. All right, so about one hour in game has passed since we started, and we're working on getting uh, um, plowed up. Field two is getting close to being done. Uh, then we're going to have to hit field number three, and we're going to have to hit field number six, which leaves us a couple grass fields to look at and some animal pens to look at as well. Next little bit is lime and fertilizer. Now we're going to be putting down the lime first, which means I need to customize this to hold a little bit more. Right now it only holds about 10,000 liters. Yes, I know it's cheating. Gets it done faster. Leave me alone. One thing that I need to do is we need to do something about seeds and fertilizer. Here's the problem. Beforehand, all I've done is I've gone through here, fill, lime, done. Now I've got 100,000 liters of lime. We didn't really pay for that, did we? So I would like to actually have to pay for lime and, and fertilizer and seeds. I'd like to have to pay for all that. But I don't really know what to use. Now I'm sure that there's some stuff. We could put down pallets if we really wanted to and go into containers. And we could take a look and see uh, different stuff through here. I would like to use this. I would really like to use this. The unfortunate part is, it's a little bit expensive. <laughs> Actually, it's a little bit cheaper than you would expect, but uh, it's still a little bit expensive. So I may go through here, just taking a look at some stuff. Of course, we have seeds, fertilizer, herbicide. Huh. Let me go take a look at this mod real quick on Mod Hub and see if there's anything to it. So all the modder says about these is that you could place them down, they cost a hundred bucks, and the seeds and stuff also cost you money. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, the thing would be, um, so we've got fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, and seeds. The thing is, normally, you, if liquid fertilizer and herbicide, they kind of go together, right? There's different ones. Fertilizer, there's not one for lime. So maybe, maybe lime is free. Don't, don't tell anybody. Lime's free, yes. So I've decided I'm actually gonna turn off lime required. So we're still letting dude right here, letting him rock and roll. I've already ran a headland around this. Since I can't actually buy lime the way that I want to, we're just not gonna buy lime at all. Uh, which means I'm gonna go through here and we're gonna edit this to go down a little bit. Yep, back to 10,000. That will work for me. Perfect. But now we need fertilizer. So let's go in here, back to containers again. Or was it in tools? Maybe it's in tools. It was definitely in tools because it's right there. Let's find ourselves fertilizer. There it is. And let's place one of these down somewhere. Actually, you know, right here might be a great place for it because it kind of blends in. Uh, we'll give it a little bit of a spin just to see which way it should go. I think about right there would be perfect. Boom. Uh, did mess with the ground a little bit. Did flatten it out right there. So what I will do is go into landscaping. We'll go to smoothing. And then we'll just kind of do a little bit through here. Just like so. Just to kind of make it about the same. That should be good. All right. Let's go ahead and drop down the fertilizer spreader. Probably should have done that when I got over here. Open it up. And fertilizer's flowing super slowly, though. Are you kidding me? Hold on a minute. All right, so I'm going to stop it right about there. That's going to be 12, 13, almost $1,400 per thousand liters. Hold your roll. Home slice. All right, never mind. It's cheap. Resume. 
All right, this is just taking forever. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, 82 Studio, I need you. Let's put you down. And we'll put you down about right there. Still gonna flatten it out. Eh, not too bad, not too bad. I uh, did mess with a few things. So let's go in, we'll try and make this a little bit better. Painting, oh yeah, I forgot there's not a lot of, not a lot of painting to this. Uh, is there missing ground type slate? That's not it. All right, well, guess we're leaving that as is. Hopefully this isn't in the way too much. We'll go ahead and fill this the rest of the way up. See, about 10 grand, not too bad. Uh, that's actually a little bit cheaper than you would expect it to be. We'll head over and we'll go ahead and fertilize one of the fields. So uh, I guess our way of doing things is going to be plow, fertilize, seed or direct drill on top of that, uh, roll, and then fertilize again or fertilize and then roll. Um, just depends on what it allows us to do and, and what exactly we need to do. But I think that's probably going to be about the way that we do it. And we're going to be using, um, purchase fertilizer, or as you can see, solid fertilizer, at least for the time being, this is a massive spread and I've got a modified version that holds a lot and go fast. There is a version of this on the mod hub right now. If you guys would like to use something a little bit smaller now. We are done here. The fertilizer spreader is completely finished. Let's double check it to see. Oh, what is this? What did, did you just go? Nah, I'm good. I don't feel like doing that part. I'll tell you what we will do though. We can go ahead and fertilize. Either we could do this field right here that he's working on, or we could go and do the other field. Probably what would be better for us is if I leave this field alone because who knows what he's gonna be up to. Also, probably between now and the next episode, uh, there may be a few days in between, like real life days, of course. I'm recording this on a Sunday. It's gonna come out on a Sunday. Well, as you guys know, normally I don't do gameplay videos during the week. What I'm gonna try to do in the meantime is go back and get all of the work that we've done. So the harvesting, the plowing, everything, keep the specs the same, or at least the very, very least, I'll copy the specs over, so at least we know what we have done, but I'm gonna try and go into Giant's Editor, and I'm gonna try and delete those things that are in the field. I'm also gonna try and delete a few of the uh, placeable objects that are around that are causing some issues. Again, I know there's an update to the map coming soon, but every time I make a pass on that field over there, I really don't wanna have to be worrying about those things that are underground, as well as, I would love to put some of the straw in a silo and, and keep it. And we can't do that currently. And I've got one that'll work perfect for it. Just need the space for it, that's all. So, uh, yeah, we we may do that. Oop, miss a little bit. Let's not leave that. Let's come on, let's let's come on back and get. Yeah, there we go. Whoop, whoop, got him. So I've done about as much as I could do right now, just sitting around waiting because, well, obviously this guy's just taking his dandy time so let's go buy another plow and let's get to work on that other field now these plows are well the power rating it's a little bit much 260 for six speed this used to be i think it was 180 so uh somehow power requirements have gone up since the previous game and there's no way we're going to be running a nine meter plow on the back of that thing but i think a six would probably do okay. I think this would be doing just fine. Something else that would be kind of cool is if we tried to run like the same color design just to mess with the plow like that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna run something like that. I think that'll work okay. But I don't know. I like this design. I think this looks good. Let's go with this. Again, it's a little bit more money. I know I'm spending money like it's going out of style, but well, I mean, there's kind of nothing to do right now. We're just waiting on dude to finish plowing the fields. So why not take matters into our own hands and get to work on another field? It'll be just fine. Also, I've been using this as a uh, shortcut. I'm sure you guys have as well, but man, that's a great shortcut. I love it, yeah. And with that, we're gonna start by selling something absolutely we are we're gonna sell the baler that we've got because well moving forward 
what's the reason in keeping this? So let's go ahead and select it. We are going to not repair or repaint. God, just got 20 grand to repaint? I don't think so. How much is this giving us? 121 grand? Get out of here. That's way too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of money just to repaint something. All right, let's get ourselves a new Baylor. Now, we've got two different ones to go for here. We've got the Class Quadrant, or we could go with the Corona Big Pack 1290. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's go with the Corona, because I've already got a Class Combine, so let's go with that, because I don't have anything Corona yet. So let's do that. I'm not going to go with the silage additive just because we're not making silage. Today we're just going to do grass bales, and we can choose what we want to from there. Uh, this is going to be chassis color. We can change that up. I kind of like the green, but I also kind of like that as well. I'm not really sure what I like through there. And then we could also change up the design color under that. Uh, I know I don't like either one of those, so black is what we're gonna stick with there. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with the uh, the gray right there, the tan color, just because with that, I can see it. So let's do it. And we got license plate DJ Goham. Is this showing up on the back? Yeah, there it is. Let's do it. It's not too much more expensive than what we made. Uh, we lost about 50 grand, but we got one point, well, four now. Now we need to find ourselves some mowers. I'm actually back on this baler right now. Uh, so I looked online and this is saying that it's got a 10.3 meter working width. All right, that sounds good to me. That means that whatever mowers we get, if we want to swath them, we have to make sure that they're 10.3 or smaller. You say we've got a 10.2 there. Uh, let's see, I think the class is, yeah, that's a 10 meter. And then we've got on the Potagers right here. This is a 10 meter as well. This may be the way that we want to go. I thought about choosing these to begin with. I also thought about these, but they won't do us as well in the long run, I don't think. You can't figure out what kind of swath you want. You're stuck with a uh, main swath the whole time. Similar story with this. Although I thought about buying this, putting it on the front, and then putting the baler on the back. I'd... I'm not sure if it's going to work like that, though, or not. This is a pretty big mower, and I'm just not quite convinced that it would work. Although I do want to try it. Moment of truth here. Let's see how this plays out. I'm not quite sure. We do have uh, weights on the back, so this... I mean, it might work. It, You know, it should work. Ooh, that's heavy. That's pretty heavy on the front of this. Ooh. <laughs> I wish that the steering or the turning rather on this flipped around because that would make this a little bit easier. <laughs> it ain't easy right now. Also, I got to get this this field planted. I may, may try and like run one of these and then <laughs> maybe try and get these fields planted with the smaller 7 series. It should work. Ooh, look at the... She twitchy, boys. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, don't crash. We don't need no crash counters at the beginning of the video. All right. This is a little bit silly, but these are pieces of equipment that exist in real life. So, I mean, it's not that bad, right? I'm, I'm going to try this. If this doesn't work, or at least if it doesn't go the way that I want it to, we'll probably swap these out for the Potegger mowers and we'll go from there. All right, so as far as the mower goes, that's pretty easy, just put it down. I wanted to do this so it'd be easier, but this is gonna be way more difficult than I wanted it to be. All right, let's unfold. Looking good, looking good. I'm actually gonna turn that volume up a little bit. Ooh, it is some good sounds going on with this. All right, we'll go ahead and lower down. Looking good, looking good. I need to turn my help one on because I want the biggest bells possible, 240 centimeters, and that's going to be what we feed the uh, feed everybody with. All right, turn that on. Turn on the baler. I'm going to enable fast farming, the real speed limit mod, but we'll see how it works. <laughs> All right, so I've actually got plenty of power to do this. Is this working? Oh, I just got to be careful. I actually can't get too close because of the windrow over there, and that's going to hurt something. 
But look at this. Make it turns nice and wide. It works. But here's the thing. When you look at this, I mean, we're going about eight, nine miles an hour. I could go more than twice as fast with each piece of machinery by itself. So what's the real winning here? Is this the answer? Or is this just a solution to a problem that no one has? Uh, man, I don't, I don't know. It's not working awful, though. So whatever. Uh, I'm going to try and do this a little bit, and I'm going to see how well this does. We'll get through this field, and then I may make my decision after that. It's... Is working. I'm just not sure if this is the way that I want to do this or not. Well, that lasted about as long as I thought it would. Uh, it didn't. <laughs> Had to trade them out, man. I just, I mean, I got this field done in like, just not long. Not long at all. It's, it's, it's cool. All right. Like, it's funny how I can just fold up the rear mowers, but the front one's like, I don't wanna. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit all of our fields, all of them, all the grass fields that we've got, which are quite a few. Also, it still bounces around with these mowers on here too, but just not, not as bad as it did. That's for darn sure. Plus taking turns, you had to worry about the front, the rear mower, it's, it's a pain. It was a big pain. Now I don't have to worry about that anymore. We are good. Let's get in here. Also, I'm just loving the way this looks. Uh, it, just, it feels, I mean, this almost feels like a ooh, crash counter. It feels a bit of a throwback-y episode to Oakfield almost. This map reminds me a lot of Oakfield. And that's not a bad thing at all. That's a huge, huge compliment. I love it. Absolutely love it. So what I'm going to do, like I said, we'll hit the rest of this. <laughs> well, I guess we'll... See you when we're done with uh, field 31 and 4. I don't I don't think these want to be mowed. Mowing is done! And I've almost got a clean tractor because I accidentally pressed this button. <laughs> I don't... Uh, I don't know <laughs> what I've done, but I'm pretty sure it's a mod that I downloaded maybe early on in Farming Simulator's lifespan. It's the insert key. And it's a lot of fun. Actually, will it do the front mower as well or just, just the back? Hey, I guess I'll only do one implement at a time. But uh, yeah, it immediately made this beautiful, beautiful tractor. Sparkly clean and brand new. Get out of here, Dare. I wonder if he'll do this. Ha <laughs> ha. Hee hee. Nope. Hey, there it is. <laughs> cool. All right, so we've got all of that. Now I need to figure out, A, where to put these mowers, and then B, we're going to go ahead and do the, uh, the, <laughs> what's that other thing we needed to do? Plant, yes. Also, I don't, I don't know about you guys, I don't think I'm gonna put these at this farm. Ooh, here's a new area. So I thought that this was here. A couple of you guys were talking about it. Uh, looks like we've got our workshop and everything here, but this opening is plenty big enough for these mowers. And I'm going to have to back in and pull out and turn back around, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But look at this. Fits perfectly. I know this area is probably meant for grain or potatoes or something on the ground. But this works. And there's no traffic on the map. So I don't have to worry about coming. It's like, come on, taking my face off. Love this, yeah! Click, clink, perfect. This is one thing that I love about smaller maps is you never really know what you're gonna get on. I know this is a full 2X with huge fields. I know, but it's, it, yeah, you can't really use massive equipment, can you? It doesn't really allow for that. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's clean the weight. <laughs> There we go, we got that. Let's jump in the fent and let's go ahead and hook up and get some get some planting done. We shouldn't have too much trouble with this. The planter says it requires about 180 horsepower. 
We have about uh, 2, uh, 240, something like that. So we should be okay. We do need to fill this up with seeds. We are going to use the handy dandy uh, filler upper machino right there. There you go, 90 or 3,900 bucks. Not terrible, not great, but not terrible. And we'll go ahead and unfold this. One thing also, you remember we had that stuff under the map over there? Well, uh, I have acquired, uh oh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Let's go ahead and save the game real quick. Uh, I've acquired a fix from 82 Studio. Uh, and I want to give a big shout out to him because without him, um, I would still have a bit of a broken bit. Uh, also, there was a member of the Giants modding team that was in the live chat as David was working on that. So that was pretty cool. All right. Uh, then we got to figure out what are we going to plant? Well, obviously, I don't have seasonal cycles turned on. Oh, yeah, I got wheat and barley to do as well. We should probably build some production factories. <laughs> Nonetheless, um, I'm thinking oats. Of course, I'm always thinking oats. But the reason I'm thinking oats is I'm going to simulate a yearly cycle. And in where we at? August right now. In game, generally, if I was using my personal geo, I would plant oats. And then I would harvest those oats. And then in the spring, I would plant... Uh, either like wheat, barley, canola, something like that, and then harvest that on the, I think it was the first or second of summer. I think it was like the second of summer. And then in either June or July, we'll plant like soybeans, get a little cash from that. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do oats at least for this first run around. And then uh, from then on, we will kind of do our bi-yearly cycle. Soybeans, funny enough, really don't do much for you anymore in Farming Simulator. They're not, uh, they're not the end-all be-all when it comes to crops anymore, which used to, soybeans were like, if you wanted some, some, some good stuff, you got soybeans. Speaking of good stuff, is this? It's not even fertilized! You didn't fertilize? Come on! There we go, that's done. It's almost like I got to do everything around here. Come on. All right, where was I? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, I think what we're going to do is we're going to run all three of these fields on oats. And then from there, we can take uh, these oats to whatever factory that we've built at the time. Probably going to be a uh, flour mill or, or uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Grain mill. There you go. All right. So the biggest thing right now is going to be running about two headlands around this and then straighten everything out so that the worker can get what it needs to do while we go bailing. So we'll skip ahead to that part. Time to see if this paid off or not. Keep in mind, there's a chance I could have been done by now if I was just using this as a setup, but I decided not to. Can we get both of these at the same time or am I gonna have to go down one row at a time. I think I could do this. Okay, I'm missing some. Don't don't tell anybody. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm missing some. Yeah, I can't take turns very well, but it's it's getting most of it. It's getting most of it. So we did don't need a windrower in this configuration, which is very very nice, and we don't. Yeah, miss a whole lot. Well, we seem to be missing a lot more than I want to miss. Uh, what am I? <laughs> this didn't work the way I wanted it to. No, no, no. Uh, it does look like that this is a proper windrow. And then going into the baler. So I actually need to baby this a little bit more than I would generally. Uh, normally I would just fly up and down these rows hitting both sets, but... It looks like that may not be what I need to be doing. I gotta be careful, but I am making bells. We're making bells and we're making them pretty decently, hitting little spots that I could have missed. So it's not bad. Plus this is a really cool machine. It takes a lot of power as well. I mean, I got 400, I think, 400 horsepower in this tractor, four or five, something like that. This baler says it takes 245, but it is taking every inch of just anything that I could give it. All right, so there is one field. Not too bad. We did pretty well on this field overall. 
Oh, now one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I think we got seven and eight right here popping out. Yep, so eight bills off of there. Not bad. Cool. All right. Let's get it folded up. Let's get over to the next spot. We got more to do. I thought all things considered, I did pretty well on both of these fields. What I normally do is I'll run one full headland and then I'll run one like merged headland that kind of hits all the little spots that I missed running around in circles. And then one really nice one after that. So three kind of headlands, but it's really um, one point or 2.3, I don't know. And then back and forth. This should be pretty easy, I think, overall to go ahead and hit this. So here we go. We'll go ahead and turn that on. And then all I got to do is follow in line with the middle here. And I shouldn't have any problems at all. I say that. But I'm sure I'll find a way to mess this up somehow. But it's working. It's working just fine. One cool thing. The grass, I think it only had like a 30% boost. And we got plenty of grass off of this field. So at 100%, this is really going to be fun. The bales are done. And this field looks to be close to completion as well, which is good. Because so are we. Helper A, not quite an idiot. He's done well. <laughs> Doesn't even look like he's missed much, if anything. So that's great news. All right. Everything is working. Everything is looking good now. All I got to do is get this uh, baler parked up here. Not too bad. Best backwards driver in farm sim. Still, clutch can suck it. All right, there's that. And I just need to find me a bell trailer, and we'll go collect all of these bells, and we'll take them over to where the sheep are, or however, will be. Oh, yeah. So here's the scary thing. I don't know if this works on mod maps or not obviously the uh base game sheep they do take bales but i don't know if they will on mod maps or not this is actually all the bales that we got off the smaller field and this field we do have a lot more on the other field but i figured i was like well we're already here may as well go and unload these i'm trying to get it straightened up at least so i can do it proper <laughs> properly good enough how about that not properly uh we'll go ahead and unload put them about right there and then drop them hey and it works because grass just appeared in the uh trough great news okay let's go let's pick up the rest of the bells over there we'll put them over here close by and then we're gonna buy the sheep and then we're probably gonna be done here's the last thing 200 sheep have been purchased for about 10 10 10 ish grand i don't know and there in here nice and i can walk through them are you cute like giant said you would be you're adorable oh my goodness the sheep is eating 60 fps yeah i'm talking about you what up home slice look at that sheep eating at 60 fps that's something else let's get out of here <laughs> one thing that i forgot um i gotta plow this field up oops <laughs> so i gotta remove these bales Put them over there with like the other bell stack and then come through here and plow this field up with the sheep just chilling. Sorry, you about to be fertilizer. <laughs> Let's start off by picking up a trailer for the animals. We need to get something that we're going to put water in. So let's go in and let's find animals. Here we go. And I've actually prepared a mod just for this special occasion. What I've done is I've gone into the um, Mad TGS tank pack and I made a modded version. He's pretty. We're going to go with the Continental Tire main color. I've kind of gone back and forth with this a little bit. I want something a little bit older that doesn't look like something brand spanking new. But unfortunately, really the only color that makes it look like that is beige. And that's not fun for anybody. So we can either go with a polished metal or chrome. I'm thinking polished metal would work perfectly here. And then as far as the rim colors go, we've got some browns in here. But nothing really look good so i'm thinking just onyx black be done with it and of course of course we got to get our license plate going here so dj 6d ham is dj go ham <laughs> all right let's pick that up let's reset if you guys didn't know comes then you've got a reset point right on uh, your main farm here so we reset that and then boom there it is now I just got to figure out where to fill this thing up. Here's an interesting one. 
Uh, here's my dog. <laughs> He's just chilling, doing his thing, walking around. I have noticed that there's some times where he's not by the house. We're, well, we're right here. The house is here. That is way too far for the dog to be away. But he's just chilling, doing his thing. So if you didn't know, yeah, the, the dog will just go walk around aimlessly all around town. It's great. We're heading down to our second farm now. And at this farm right here, we actually have a water place where we can fill stuff up. I've never used it. Actually, I've never used a water filled place in the game before. Don't tell mom. Uh, yeah, I... Is that it? It looks like it. This also looks like it. But it's not? Oh boy. Uh, which... Does anybody know which one it is? PDA says that it's this one. Let's... Let's hope that it is. Uh, still nothing's happening. Let's go in here to this. Ooh, maybe we need to open the cover. That did the trick. Uh, unfortunately, the money is going down, which is not always exciting. But I did say I wanted to start paying for things. So this is what I get. We'll just start with 10,000 liters and see where that leads us. The, the base tanker for this anyway holds 8,000. So I can't imagine we're going to need much more than 10. Maybe? I don't know, we'll find out. As you know, most of the animals in the game, you actually don't even need to give them water. However, on Comston, you do. I'm glad that Oxygen David included that. It was very, very good. Oh yeah, don't worry about the field. We're, we're getting there, man. We're getting there. All right. Um, I don't... Did I choose the wrong thing? I don't even know how to uh, activate dangerous goods label. No, don't need to do that. All I want to do... Nope, don't need to open doors. Don't need to... Oh, boy. All right, well, let's just... We'll enable that and see what happens. There we go. Got the trigger. You had to really pull in here. Goodness gracious. All right, so we overdid it a little bit. They only took 1,500 liters. That's all right. Okay. So now, now that we've got that done, let's go... Let's grab this tractor still, but a roller. We're going to go ahead and start rolling the other fields. That way, we can get over here and start planting. Oh boy, crash counter plus one already, of course. Now, rolling in Farm Sim 22 doesn't really do a whole lot for you at the end of the day. Uh, it does give you a little bit of... Uh, rolling, I guess. It gives you a little bit, but there's really not a whole lot to this. Just start rolling. I think it gives you like 5% or something like that. So we definitely, definitely should have fertilized this before rolling. Hang on, give me a second. Nice, we've got everything done. Okay, so, a lot of fertilizer done. Uh, you can see right here, this has been missed. I don't know what I did, <laughs> but there it is. Let's go ahead and turn the roll back on. You can actually see where you've been, what needs it, etc., etc. So, let's get it done. Let's drop this down, and it'll start working immediately as soon as you drop it down. I am going to go ahead and enable fast farming, because that's going to make this a little bit easier for me. As far as... We're rolling, just yeah, get you rolling. You know what I'm talking about? Is this working? This is working. Okay, you just can't tell. Boy, do I wish you could tell. It's it's pretty difficult. Seed bed and after seeding and everything, and it can get a little bit interesting, nonetheless, seeing one from the other. Usually, you've got some crop down, but since we plowed up everything, it's a little bit more difficult to see everything. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and run the... Uh, required headland that we need for this and then I'm gonna hire this on worker and we are gonna get seeding and idiot number one has started their work <laughs> we're good we got all this done I got a little spot right here mess but whatever who cares I'm gonna let this guy do his thing he's not gonna do it fast but at least it will get done in the meantime we need to get planting out some grass we have three fields that we need to go ahead and plant and if you could see at the top right hand corner of the screen it says 1457. Uh, what I've tried to do when I'm playing is play it two times. That way we've got actual stuff that we've got to get done in a certain amount of time. Did I fertilize these fields by chance? They look fertilized, at least for one state anyway. Let's go ahead and drop down. We will go ahead and turn it on. We are doing grass. What are we stuck on? There's nothing there. <laughs> 
I don't... I don't get it. I don't get it at all. The great thing is, at least these grass fields are not big. So this isn't going to take us too awful long. Um, and one thing to know as well, as far as I'm aware, there is no grazing in Farming Simulator 22, at least not yet. I know in Farm Sim 19, we did have a grazing mod and we had a grazing feature. It's a moxie maps, but I don't think it is here. So I'm totally cool seeding this into grass. And then once we get cattle, still coming in here mowing i don't think that's going to be a problem at all and yes that is the goal to get some cattle in here as well um i do want some pigs too i don't know how exactly we're going to handle the pigs the pigs are going to be interesting because they're just going to create poo and that's about it i'm not planning on selling them i'm not planning on doing anything like that we just want to get them for the poo and be done with it. Ooh, it's 1,500 hours. That is, who is that? 12, what was that? About 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I think. Something like that. So uh, we've got another, well, we're in August. So we've got another about five hours in game. However, that's going to go pretty quick. And I've run at times two playing with you guys the game since we started. And yeah, we're still on day one. <laughs> Episode four, day one. <laughs> Let's go. Caulfield is done. Now it's time for the glitchy sheep. Oh, he's just having a blast, isn't he? Uh, it is a known fact as well that the sheep glitch a little bit when they're running around slowly. Uh, this is the first animal pen that's been built into the game that we've seen in Farm Sub 22. So maybe there might be a few problems here and there. And that's okay. Things happen. And we run over sheep. That's okay. Things happen. <laughs> All right. So what do we got left? Well, not a whole lot. We're going to do Field 31. And we're going to do field number four. We still own field 35. But I don't know what to do with it. I mean, we do have an update in the works right now. So hopefully soon. Uh, once that update does pass, we'll go ahead and buy this entire plot of land right here. And we'll just turn all these into grass fields. So pretty easy, pretty standard stuff. I tell you, when you're doing this, be careful. Because you have to get real, real close to these fences and hedges. All kinds of stuff. And with something big like this, it has not been easy. The field behind us took a few extra minutes longer than it probably should have. Needless to say, I don't want to use a big cedar anymore on this map. Oh, here we go. We're going to get stuck in the fence. Don't do it. I'm going to have to ride this fence the whole way down. And this is not going to be easy. The great thing is, at least... We're almost done. This is our last field. Oh, you can see a couple little spots that I missed whenever I was plowing. That's all right. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, yeah, a couple, uh, couple of spots here and there. And we're... Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Problem is, if you miss something, you got to go back. If you were planting a field or something like that, you know, a dirt patch here or there, that may not be awful for you. If you're doing grass and you've got dirt patches like this in your grass field, well, you just missed something, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Also, it's 1526 now, so time is flying by. It doesn't even feel like I'm spending half that amount of time in real life. Oh, I am riding the wall, aren't I? Sure am. That whole area right there, huh? Well, may as well <laughs> plant up through here while we're doing it. All right, this is our last field. And then once we get this done, we should be about finished, at least with this job. I know as far as rolling goes, uh, he's about halfway done with this. Well, maybe a little bit more than halfway done, but he's missing a whole lot. So we'll, we'll have to figure out what we're going to do there. And now finally, we can put the cedar away until November or December when, <laughs> whenever our oats are ready so we can get in our uh, winter wheat and winter barley. That'll be great there. As far as this, let's see if we can find our roller. It looks like he's all the way down there in the bottom of the field. I'm going to swap these tractors out because that roller could definitely use a more powerful tractor. Even though it only requires about 150, 160 horsepower. And the tractor we've got down here has 240. Got almost 80 to 100 more than it really needs. This has got 400. So this might do a little bit better. Plus, it's heavy. Rollers are super, super heavy. Something that a lot of people don't think about. Myself included. Really don't think about the weight of things too much. But you got to remember, Farming Simulator 22, weight is a big deal. Is that a pun? I think that was almost a pun. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see how much of this I can get done. It looks like, yeah, it looks like Helper Idiot right here did not do a great job of, of doing any of this. So 
Let's see if we can find these little brown triangles around and get to rolling. Oh yeah! On to the next field now, and I think as you could tell, rolling is going to take a while. We've got quite a few fields that we've got to do, so I think what I may end up doing is getting a hold of something. Maybe a bigger tractor with the big roller, something like that. Just so I can get this done quickly. If you don't get this done before it starts growing, it's not going to turn out good. Because you can't really roll something already growing. Um, the first stage only is when you can roll. So I'm going to try and... Well, try and get everything done. Uh, we still got a little bit of time left. And today... Actually, we're only about halfway through the video. We got a lot more to do. Let's go! One thing that I have learned doing these so far is you need to do three headlands with this piece of equipment, at least on this map. Most maps, you don't have a bunch of stuff. And I say most, I think we got, what, six total that we can play on right now? <laughs> There's not a lot out there. But something I've learned very quickly is run three headlands and you will not be disappointed. I think three would have made the other field perfectly fine. I wouldn't have had to come back through and clean up after them and figure out exactly where all the problems were. Here's what I'm doing, because I'm at the end of headland number three right now. I'm going to hire a worker on this and be done with him. We are going to lease another tractor and we're going to lease another roller. And those are going to be what I'm going to run around with. I think that that JCB, the modded version that we've used in our live streams, I think that may be the, the move because you can get 800 horsepower in it, which will be more than enough. It is super fast and it is all wheel uh, drive and all wheel steer. Well, everything's all wheel drive, I guess, in farm sim, but it's all wheel steer, which means that we can kind of get into some places, especially in those animal pens, that eh, they're a little tricky. So, hire a worker, let's get in here and do this. I've also thought about buying that tractor for this farm as well, but I didn't want to get like an 800 horsepower tractor. Plus, we only need two anyway, at least right now. We don't need a whole lot. So, I don't think buying it's the move. I think leasing it's probably the move. Here it is. Let's take a look. Uh, see, we're using trail board tires on this farm. Let's see. Duels are not the way to go here. Wide tires, that'll work. Uh, let's go with the big 800 horsepower engine, 243 grand right there. And then as far as colors go, I've really enjoyed doing the gray. So I think that's kind of the move right there. That's it right there. 244. Let's see, leasing is, ooh, leasing's 12 grand. We might as well just buy this. But again, like I said, I don't I don't want to buy it. I just want to lease it. I leased it. It's, I'm not proud of myself, but I did it. <laughs> let's go into rollers. Let's find ourselves some rollers. And uh, let's see. The modded version right here. Trailer Bork, sure. Uh, let's go with a roller that's about the same color just to mess with it. Or should we go with a white one? Huh? What do you guys think? If that, if that big gray is probably the answer here. And then the uh, wheel color, we'll just make it exactly the same. Lease that as well. And then, here it is. And I understand, we we still have another tractor we could use. I don't want to use it. <laughs> I just want something that's fast that I can get things done quickly with. All right. Let's get in the field. In the words of Jeremy Clarkson, sit rep. We've got a lot going on. We are doing good. It turns out three headlands was the magic move because on field number two, they did perfect. I got a little bit left fertilizer right here. Plus, we just finished 15. Yeah, there's a couple little spots here and there where it's not <laughs> working. That's okay. We have two fields left to go. Rolling will be done. I'm going to go through fertilize a little bit. We'll probably check in with you guys once the rolling is completed. And uh, then it's going to be time to go ahead and skip to the next day in game. Look, what was that? Why is the dog in the middle of the road? Get out of here. We are now all done with all of the work finally in day one. <laughs> There's a lot going on, man. Let's go ahead and return that tractor. It was a good 12 grand investment there. We've also got a few more things that we need to start thinking about. So as you know, we've got some wheat and we have some barley. Well, with these, we can make flour, which in turn we can take and make bread. And through that bread, we can sell that and make some decent cash. Well, the unfortunate part is right now, uh, we don't have anywhere where we can make make. We don't have a grain mill on anywhere. So we've got to figure out where are we going to put it? Are we going to buy this massive area right here? Or are we just going to try and settle for 
this area right here. Now, this is about half of the amount of money that we have total right now. So we we really need to we need to be careful about how much money we spend because I'm trying not to spend as much as possible. Uh, just for fun. Just for fun. Let's go into productions. Let's we're in our factories. Let's find a grain mill. Let's see. Here's a grain mill. We would have to find somewhere to put this. Do we have a Let's see. Do we have another grain mill, oil mill, gray bakery, carpentry, dairy? I don't know if we have another one. Yeah, it doesn't look like we've got another one. So that's going to be the one that we have to put down. But where do we put it? Do we put it over here and where the cows are? Do we put it in this field right here? Do we try and find somewhere in town to put it? Which also may be a good idea. Possibly down here where everybody plays B-Bell outside the school. I might find somewhere to put this. Because... I have no idea where I'm going to put that at all. One thing that I forgot but totally realized is I don't have a vehicle. We don't have a car. We just have a tractor. So I decided, you know what? Let's drive the Tattleheadler home today. <laughs> also, where's my house? I don't... I'm not familiar with... Oh, I'm in front of it. That's it, huh? I don't think I've got anywhere to put this. And I'm pretty sure the local council or, or whatever... Is going to be super mad at me for bringing this home. But don't care. Going to park it in front of my neighbor's house. There you go. Got the pup dog out there doing his thing. Let's go over here. Ooh, piece of candy. Nice. A thousand bucks. I like it. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed till nine o'clock in the morning. And let's see what has changed. What fields have grown. What do we need to do? I'm sure the sheep are going to be super disappointed and annoying, which is why I've actually brought the telehandler with the bell spikes. All right. So $14,000 leasing costs. Do I have anything else leased? I don't. So that's good. Do we have anything good for sale? The telehandler, of course. <laughs> well, I guess it looks like we don't have anything that we need yet. Let's go ahead and turn this on, let it warm up, and take a look at our little baby sheepies and see what they need. Oh, they need food. Um. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. At least there's grass, so that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to take some of these bells and just sit them on top of the feed trigger. That way, nothing crazy happens. I was actually going to do that, but it, we plowed this up like one or two videos ago. In real life, it's been like a week. I forgot. I forgot. Leave me alone. <laughs> what if we pick up four at the same time? I don't know. Let's give it a try and see. I'm not sure if this is the best way to do about this, but... Okay. Doable. Yes. Smart. No. <laughs> I'm going to try it anyway. I, I mean, I, I think it'll work. I think this will work fine. But this is one of the reasons why I wanted the telehandler. I love using a telehandler. It's one of my favorite pieces of equipment in the game to use for whatever. Problem is, I never do it. I never do manual labor. I just use auto-loading and, and I just grab stuff and throw it. I never do things for the fun of it anymore. So we're going to do things for the fun of it anymore and have a good time doing it. All right. Put these down about right there and back away slowly. Taking a look. Okay. So they've got 3,000 liters of grass. Not too bad, so I think those bells are probably going to be way more than enough than what they need, but I'm going to go grab a couple more just in case. Since we're rocking the telehandler right now, I wonder if we can bring down the water barrel for these guys as well. So I'm just going to leave the water located over where the bells are instead of having to bring it all the way up here on the main farm. So this has got a regular hitch. That's got a regular hitch, but doesn't look like I'm going to be able to hook up. That's a bit of a bummer. I would have loved to have used that, but eh, I guess it is what it is. We'll just have to use a normal tractor. Hey, I'm cool with that. Pull this right in here. And for the last uh, minute or so of the video, while I do this and get this job done, let's talk about the future, what we're going to be doing with this. I'm probably going to start a new game save as soon as the next update comes out. Uh, a lot of people have talked about, you know, do you need a new save? No, but there are some things that you probably should use a new game save for if you want them to be completely fixed and want everything to be okay. So 
I will be starting a new game save. However, I'm going to try and get all of the work that we have done. I'm going to try and get that done off screen. That way, well, we don't have to worry too much. Why are all the sheep walking that way? Oh, oh, you never know. Uh, so I'm going to try and get as much of that done. No, back it up as possible. There we go. And you know what? I'm just going to leave that there. Why not? Makes it easy for me. So new game save once the new update is out. That way we're using a great, perfect version of the map. And we don't have to worry a whole lot. And I'm down with that. Uh, as far as everything else goes, probably the next time that you guys see me in game, it's going to be either November or December, depending on how long it takes for the crops to grow. Uh, as you can see, we are well into it. We have planted oats, so it shouldn't take too long. And generally those do grow by November or December when planted in August, at least the way I do things. So hopefully, We'll see these done. All right, let's do it. Today is going to be about buying some new stuff because as I mentioned at the beginning of the series, we would only buy equipment when we needed it. Well, we need some more equipment and it's going to rain soon. I'm actually going to be running time at zero time today in this episode because it's woods well, about to rain. I, I fast forward time a little bit and then I had to go back to the, the old save and fast forward time again. It's all fun and crazy, but you can tell we're good on our fields, but the oats have not grown yet. We're in November. We fast forward, I think, two months, three months since last episode. So field four, field 31, and field 15 are all ready to go. We got grass in all of them ready to be cut. So here's how we're going to do it. Field 15 and field 31 are going to be mown, and those are going to be used for silage. We're going to place down a new silo, as a matter of fact, uh, and that should do some magic for us. Thank you, Trucker Matsy. We've also got field number four. Field number four, because there's nothing in it and it's fairly squared off, we're going to ted that and turn it into hay. I think I made hay three or four times in Farm Sim 19, because once you got into seasons, you had to ted it like four or five times. I hated that so much. <laughs> you had to sit and wait on it. It sucked. It didn't make it fun, at least for me. So we've got this. I've already purchased it. We're ready to go. But we got more stuff to buy. We're going to do that right now. Let's jump in and get some new stuff. First on the list is a new silo, and we're going to be placing it down on this farm, what I kind of call farm number two. We're going to place it right here, and we're going to get a little overlap onto the road. So... It's silos. We've got a special silo that's been sent over just for this. Actually, Trigger Mancy made this a few months ago, but I'm going to use it for this specific thing. Now, we've got a little clipping issue going on with the trees. Don't care. we got a little clipping issue with the road. I do care about that because you can see you get to a point and it just disappears. So I want to get it just perfect to where it's lined up with the road and it just almost disappears into the road. This way, whenever we drive over it, we could still see it, but we don't go boom, 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 boom. Right there. Be quiet, be quiet, we're gonna click it. <laughs> Got him! Oh, this way. Got him! <laughs> yes, we're clipping through a few things on the ground, but you know what? I could drive straight over this now with a loading wagon or anything like that and be totally fine. Yes, there's trees going through it and whatever we're gonna have to have a new game save eventually anyway and once we get the new game save i'm just gonna go in and modify the existing silos done that's number one number two we've got a loading wagon we need to get a merger and we need to get a pallet auto loader so the first thing is going to be forge wagons we're actually going to use this one that i found on third party site i can't remember which one it was but it's the uh, shootmaker rapid 580v modded this is from modder flish F-L-I-T-S-C-A-G? Fliché? I don't know. Uh, regardless, this is sweet because I can modify colors, I can modify capacities, and you don't have to make so many trips going back and forth. Since we are using uh, Michelin, or not Michelin, we're using uh, uh, Trelleborg tires. However, Trelleborg, they're, they're not available on this. I'm going to go with the Verizon tires. I think they look pretty sweet. And we're going to go with a, a more capacity. So I will have to make a couple trips, but it's only 100 grand. Same thing there. And then colors. I actually don't know what color I'm going to make this. So I'm going to go through this and we'll figure it out. Got it. Don't ask why. I thought orange was cool. So there's one down. <laughs> 
Now we need a merger. Now this is going to be a little bit easier. The base game one's going to work perfect for me. I like this one. I like this version a whole lot because this makes getting in and out of spaces pretty darn easy, especially it works with a great with loading wagon. So we're going to go with that. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have something that works like this yet. Now, I have seen that the modder does have the windrow portions on front of this as a separate mod, but they haven't released it yet. And I could make silage and hay bales, and that was actually the original plan. And I started recording like that, but I ended up deleting all the clips and reverting back to an old save because I didn't like the way it was going. Took too long. I didn't like it. So we're going to get the Merge. Merge Max 9. 50. And lastly is a pallet auto load. So I need to go into all of the mods DLC stuff that I've got and search for auto load. Now we do have a couple pretty sweet pieces uh, like the Brimmer and we have the Bachman, but we're going with something a little bit bigger, but not too crazy. So there's uh, one in particular that I'm looking at. Of course, we've got that one, but I'm not actually going to get that one specifically. There's one more. And you always have to go through here and find where it says auto load. This version right here. I like this version. It works super, super well. And you can carry a lot of them at one time. Those smaller trailers really don't do a good job of doing that. So we're going to go with this. Now, there's a couple designs that you could go with here. This one where the sides go up. That's pretty sweet. And you got the normal design. Yeah. And then this one where the sides do go up, but it's nice and small and it's kind of cool. And I haven't used this version yet. I've used this version a lot. So I thought maybe trying to use this version. I don't know. I, you know, maybe we could do something cool with it. We may have to go back. Uh, here we need to find colors again. So give me just a second. What do you think of this color combination? That's not bad at all. So the main color that I'm using is the uh, Bachman. And then the room color I'm using is dark gray. Ah, it kind of looks kind of cool, right? Please tell me this looks cool because I'm buying it. Now for some handy dandy resetting and we can get to work. If you guys are playing on this map and you're not resetting your equipment to this farm, what are you doing? It's so easy. It just goes bloop and there it is. So let's get to work. The first bit we're going to get done is collecting the wool. The wool is in the field currently and I just want to get it out of the field. So we'll get this, take this, put it down. Uh, if you're wondering, I did buy this piece ahead of time and I used it with the other rig and I liked it. Worked really well. Uh, the Viking Fanax works really well. I like that. If you're not using that, check it out. Hey, you might like it. Also, are you even doing grass work? Let me know. <laughs> I love doing grass work. I like doing grass work in real life as well. Uh, I just got a mower and I'm kind of pumped about that. Speaking of pumped about that, check this out. So this is how this works. The sides come up just like that. Um, oh boy. Uh, we're gonna have to change it already. <laughs> it doesn't have straps on this version. No, it looks cool, but there are no straps. No, boo, customize, <laughs> design one. Yeah, we're gonna have to go with that. Oh man, that stinks. Well, you know, at least the sides do open and close and that kind of thing. So we can go ahead and bloop, 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 bloop. I was trying to avoid using this version because we've used this a bunch. Oh, well, it is what it is. So here you can kind of take a look and see what we've got. Again, the grass is ready to go. I was surprised I didn't even cheat any of it. I did leave the water in the middle of the field, though. So there was that. And here is all of our tool that is ready to go and we'll try not to select that one way way off in the distance if it pops on to here i do apologize we'll go ahead and double check and make sure it says that there's seven available and there are seven close by Ooh, now there's only five available Ooh, now there's eight no seven yes all right let's see if we can make this happen tip side left is perfectly fine i just want to make sure and then of course we need to change this to your palette Bloom, 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 bloom. Hey, got him. Sweet. Uh, and then this is just going to go over here. <laughs> In the next version of the map, Oxygen David has said that the horse area over here is going to be sellable. So you could sell all the stuff on the field and just use this as a normal field. And this is actually going to be my placeable area whenever we move forward because well, I generally, at least, 
don't run horses in any fashion in the game. So uh, this playthrough won't be any different. Next on the list today is Moen. And we're actually gonna start with the field that is going to be tetted. Uh, we're not gonna tet it right away, but we're going to start with it. Uh, one thing, and a couple of you guys mentioned this in the last video that I used these. I think that was episode number three, possibly. So the punchers actually boom out a little bit. I did not have them boomed out. And by the way, if you want a quick way into this field, that's a pretty quick way in. There's a whole do. There's there's a lot of ways in here to cheat it. Regardless, this is the way I like to do it. Nonetheless, with these, they will run windrow in, and that's great, and that's actually the way that I prefer to do it. But there's a neat little trick that these have. So I'm gonna go ahead and unfold the front, and we're gonna go ahead and unfold the back, and I'm gonna open up my help window and show you. Now remember, ooh, I don't know what that was all about. I'm on PC using an Xbox controller. As you can see, on the left, I could move this in and out. And we actually move this out much further. We could do the exact same thing on the right side as well. So now I'm getting, instead of like that eight meter spread that I was getting, now I'm getting the full 10 meter spread that I should have been getting the entire time. Just for fun's sake, you could see how close I am to the wall. Actually, I'm gonna get right up on the wall right there. There's that. And now when I bring this in, and I'll just show you how much room you're missing. Well, that's not actually a lot, is it? Huh. And it's a whole lot easier to control in like this as well. I figured something out. <laughs> We're running on swath dropping right now, so I'm going to go ahead and turn these mowers on, and I'm going to get to work. We're going to get this field mode up. Yeah, we got a couple of things to shut this we got a couple other things to do as well so i'm gonna get this field and a couple other fields done as well and then i will jump back in and see you once all the mowing is done as i'm finishing up mowing here this is the last field that i've gotten <laughs> quite a bit of time has passed real life since the last clip with this i've totally got to tell you guys i'm buying cows we're probably gonna get them either today maybe it's gonna take 24 hours for the silage to do its thing so maybe tomorrow but nonetheless we are going to be getting cows and especially since tomorrow in december the oats are going to be ready to harvest so we're going to have straw we have a lot of straw we're probably gonna to have to sell some of it uh we're gonna have plenty of silage we're gonna have quite a bit of hay as well so we're gonna have i think enough or almost enough to buy all of the cows that we possibly can i think you can get 200 we will double check that before we get them it's it's not a big deal right now but i would love to max out the number of head of cattle that we can get make sure they're all able to produce that way we're getting uh folding's not allowed you know what's here's the funny thing it irritates me i can't fold the front mower but i can turn it off then raise it and then fold it the back one i just hit fold and it turns it off it raises it and folds it I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be tetting, but only one field. That's this one right here. I believe this is field number four. Way over here. There you go. By the way, I think I want to buy field one and make it grass, but it's more money than we have. Eventually, we're going to have to start making money. We haven't done that yet. <laughs> Oof. Let's get this field done at least. We're gonna be tetting. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. That way we don't have to worry too much about it. We do have a little bit of grass on the edges, but I've tried to mow in a way where it's easy and we can just come through with the windrow and be done, or the merger rather. And with the the other two fields, all I have to do is merge the outer windrow because I kind of do like a 1.3 width type thing. It's a little bit weird. No, I'm probably the only person that does it like that, but it works for me, so it's great. Uh, this tether is going to throw this grass around. Drop it down. Yeah. One of my favorite animations, by the way, in the game. However, uh, it just flings it everywhere. So it it does, uh, it does it's going to be fun to pick up. That's for sure. <laughs> But I do love this. It looks super cool. It's a lot of fun. 
Uh, and thank goodness we've got a great merger. That's about all I can say about that. All right. This is the only, I repeat, the only field that we have to do. So this should not take long. Now the tedding is done. I've put the tether away and we've got our merger on the back. And I'm going to show you now why I think this is the coolest one ever. Other than the unfolding animation, which you have seen is just epic. We're going to open up our help window and there's a couple options. So we can toggle our work mode, which is neat. So if we lower this down and we've got it left, well, everything that we pick up is gonna go to the left. If we change that, we could say everything goes to the right. Well, in today's video, we're gonna split it and everything's gonna go down the middle. That way, whenever I come through to pick it up, well, it's like normal. Now, if all of this was kind of together, if I hadn't, done some wind rowing ahead of time while mowing well this would be a little bit more <laughs> fun shall we say but now it's going to be totally civilized and it's super easy just turn it on and and there you go whatever you pick up just kind of goes down the middle and it's also got uh well i was gonna say it's got a steering axle as well but that's not something that it has <laughs> let's go ahead and shut that off there we go so, but the great thing is, I could just drive straight down the pathway of where all of this stuff is, and I am good. It's got a working width that is extremely similar to our mower. That way, our rows shouldn't get too close-ish together, but probably I'll end up going through the rows and kicking one row to the left and the other one to the right, and that will merge two rows together. That's less time I have to spend driving up and down. But I think this is an incredible, an incredible merger, Windrow. Whatever you want to call it. It's got a couple different names. I think this is actually a, technically a merger. Nonetheless, check it out. Definitely a cool thing. And it's a base game. Ha <laughs> ha. I had to jump back in. I want to show you guys this thing in action. So I've just finished my head rows. And I want to bring in every other row together. So I'm going to open back up my help window. I'm going to go in here. And then I'm going to change my working width to left. So that's gonna take everything that I pick up and kick it to the left. But when we come back the other side, it's gonna kick it, well, to our right right now, but it's still the left. Here we go, go ahead and turn it on and we'll go straight down. And I'll just kind of show you why I wanna do this. So everything that we're picking up is popping over to the left. Now your working with does go down whenever you go uh, sending things left to right, but eh, it's, still works just fine so there's that cool 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 and then we just spin it back around and we line up with where we want to be and then now the entire thing is kicking over there how cool is that this works great with doing straw hay grass uh, anything you're mowing it just works works really well and i think it makes your life a little bit easier as well so i'm gonna do this to this entire field and then I've got to go around and I've actually got to hit some head rows on like everything. So yeah, wish, wish me luck. I got a couple other fields to do in the meantime. We are getting very, very close to completion here today. I'm super excited about it. And I'm just going to, you know, show off my backing skills a little bit. Uh, I know Trucker Matsy's been gone for a little while. I just needed to remind him who the best backwards driver in Farm Sim is. Ha ha! Suck it! <laughs> Love you, dude. <laughs> All right, let's get this put away. We've got one more job. To, I'm not even halfway. Sorry about that. We got one more job today, and that's going to be to go collect everything that we made. All the fields are done. Man, I can't wait to harvest this, by the way. That's going to be the next episode is harvest. Oh, I'm real excited about that. It's going to be harvest and buying cows. Ooh, it's going to be fun. Let's go and pick up that front weight because I know we're going to need it. We'll get backed up out of here. Again, best backwards driver in farm sim. <laughs> oh, thank you. And load up. So a bunch of hay, as you can see. And we've got a bunch of grass. Now that grass is going to be turned into silage. Uh, it only takes about 24 hours, so it's not too bad. Uh, and plus, we have the magic silo. Also by Trucker Matsy. Uh, th thanks for the silo. Love you, dude. <laughs> i tell you what. I'm not saying I did a great job, but I did a really, really good job. I'm gonna save myself a whole lot of time. Uh, one thing about wind rowing, and we've, we've talked about this before. However, if, you're, if you've got two rows, right? Let's say over there in the grass field, if you got two rows 
and you run down the two rows with merger. Now you've made two rows into one. And you're like, yeah, I saved myself time with the loading wagon. Have you, though? I don't think you have. Because you're still having to run up a down that field twice. Ooh, crash counter plus one. So that's one of the reasons that I have not gone through that field and wind rode a couple of those rows together. Could have, very easily could have. Uh, it, but I still would have had to go down once to do the windrow, and then I would still have to go down once to do the loading wagon. So I'm still having to go up and down that field twice, and it's just a whole lot easier for me just to run this loading wagon. And I've done one side, and I'm already at 20%. That's 20,000 liters of, of hay. Man, that's a lot of hay. I feel like I have barely even got anything of this field done. I've gotten around it, what, less than twice? And there I am. A hundred thousand liters and we're full. All right, <laughs> we'll take it over there and drop it in the silo and do it again. Load number one coming in the silo and that's exactly why I put it right here. Because man, oh man, is it so easy just to pull straight forward and unload in the road, somewhere where you already are. You don't have to turn around. It's perfect. I love it. Trucomancy, you're the man, I love you, dude. Also miss you. Start making content again. Love you. Where you at? Hi. Um, should we do the outro now? I think it's probably a good time. Let's do it, man. I am ready for this big old harvest. We have three massive fields of oats ready to go. Go and get everything turned on, raise it up, and of course, unfold. We also need to make sure our straw swath is enabled. It is, which is great news. That way, we're able to actually run this thing. Now I've got a spot that I like to start. You guys can start here too if you like. You don't have to, it is what it is. Uh, this makes things easier for me, especially when hiring a worker, especially with running combines and things like that. I do try to do two headlands around here. I, I try my best. I think I have crop destruction turned on. I'm not sure. Well, let's find out and see. Is that, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's double check real quick. I think I turned crop destruction off. Nope, it's definitely turned on, so we should be very, very careful about how we're going to start this one. How about we just start it right here? That's going to be totally fine. We'll go ahead and get everything turned on. Get that combine sound down just a little bit, a little bit hot. All right, so three big oat fields. We've got a whole lot of work ahead of us, especially with running one single combine. Eventually down the road, I would like to get two. Uh, I like this one, so maybe we'll just buy another one just like it. it. Works really well for me. This is the starting combine, except this is a modified version that uh, that our good friend 82 Studio helped put together. So this one holds a million liters and goes a little bit faster. It, you should be used to that by now here on the channel. Pretty much everything holds more and goes faster. But class try. Love this thing. All right. Two headlands, let's get them done. Moving along pretty quick this morning. I'm very happy about that. I'll let you guys know, this video is probably gonna progress pretty quickly as well. Since we've got three fields, I'm not sure I'm gonna do all of those in this single video. However, what I will tell you is we're gonna be buying those cows pretty fast because all I need is this straw. I actually don't need these oats for anything. I'm sure we'll figure that out. Probably at the end of this video or in the next video, we're gotta build a grain mill because I don't think there's one here on the map. We need to start getting flour made because this is Flower Simulator 22. And then we've got to start making some bread. This is the best time of the year right now to be selling that stuff in December. Problem is, we don't have any of it even built. We have wheat, barley, and oats. We've got it all, man. We just need to do it. <laughs> all right. So this field could be a little bit interesting. Here's where we are. Field number three. The shape is, well, it's different, isn't it? The thing is, you can still go straight up and down. You just got to be careful. Find your front left point right there, right? And then you kind of take a look into the ground and see all of the ways that I planted in circles. <laughs> well, find some straight lines. See if you can line up with a couple of those straight lines and just hire a worker. What that's going to do is that's going to help to start get all of this kind of straightened out for you a little bit. You can see it's definitely not going in line with the rows that we've got, but at least it's working. And be ready to hot fire the worker because he's just going to keep running straight. And I don't want him to do that. I'm going to back it up. 
we're gonna go all the way back around there and do it again after we run it the second time it's probably gonna be done i don't think we're gonna need to mess with it again after this but our worker and this should kind of get him on a straight path to do this entire thing now of course you kind of get this little triangle effect as you go along through here because the combines well they do oh i missed a few things well we'll come back and get those later uh the combines do miss a few things here and there but not too bad also we're over 25 percent full already just from the two headlands head rows what are these somebody let me know so that i get it right all right so that part's done. Now we need to go and do the second part that I want to hit today. This is going to be picking up straw. As soon as we can pick all of the straw up, that's, we're ready. We're ready for, for cows right away. This ain't going to take too long. This is the same one. Why did I lower the front weight? I never want to do that. There we go. We'll go ahead and turn that on. Uh, this is the same loading wagon that we were using in the last Let's Play. So, hey, check that out if you haven't already. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that one. A lot of grass work. You guys know me. I love doing grass work. Okay, so we've got a bunch of straw to pick up. We're going to pick up the first 100,000 liters. I doubt I'll even get around <laughs> the first row. And then it's cow's time. Yeah! While we're waiting, I figured we can go ahead and hit this spot as well. I don't know how full he's getting. Looks like about 40,000, but yeah. Definitely needed to go ahead and empty him real quick. By the way, I've got 100,000 of uh, straw. We made it all the way around one way and made it to about where the combine is on the second run. And that was it. Let's go ahead and put our straw in our handy dandy little silo right here, which has all of our silage. It has our hay and now it has the straw. And now that it has all that, let's go ahead and add one more thing. Let's go in animals. I've got a feeding mixer that I put together. So this is the Kinemec Fiber, Kinemec Fiber 365 from 4D modding. Now this is a mod that's supposed to be coming to consoles eventually. However, right now it's only available on PC on their website, Air Agri Modding. I'm gonna go with, uh, I think it's a Flotation Pro tires. Let's do, well, we really don't need any of those things, but they do look good for an extra five grand. Why not? We've got, we got the money and then no registration plate because well, that just keeps our DJ go ham. I like that. This is going to hold a hundred thousand liters and it's going to allow us to mix a lot of food at one time, which is going to be perfect. And this is empty. So it's time to go get it. And here it is, man. Oh man. Do I love this mixer? So I use this a lot on Oakfield Farm. I had a personal gameplay series that I was doing just for fun on Farm Sim 17, well 19 rather, Farm Sim 19. I had a great time doing it and I love this. I do need to turn my help window on. Uh, it looks like we do need a little bit of uh, mineral feed. I didn't know about that. Uh, we will go sort that here momentarily. In the meantime, let's start by trying to figure out what our uh, mixes are going to be. So in Farm Sim 19 and 17 both, I used a 40-40-20 and that worked pretty well for me. Um, and if you've got a little bit more silage versus something else, like for me, for example, I have 200,000 liters silage. However, I only got 173,000 liters of hay. So in this case, you could maybe use a little bit more silage versus hay, but I think we're going to be okay. So let's start off. Let's do Oh, hit that just right in a 40,000 liters of silage. Uh, let's go over here to hay. We'll bring that up to 80. Whoa, I am way too good at this. Let's go. Straw. Uh, I think we'll try and get this to like 99, 98. I'll take it. And lastly, we need to put some mineral feed in here just to give it that little extra b -b -b boost. But I don't have any mineral feed. So we need to go get some real quick. I feel like doing it this way is probably the easiest. We do have one of 82 studios. I don't care what it is. Just give it to me. Silos right here. So let's just go in here real quick and we'll buy some uh, mineral feed. I'm sure we could put it in here. Maybe. Probably. Hopefully. Yeah. There we go. All right. Not too bad. 15. Is that 1500 bucks? Yeah. 1500 bucks for 26 it's not too bad for this part i'm not really sure how i'm gonna do this do i want to dump it in or do i want to put it in the silo and pull it from there i think i'm gonna put it in the silo and hopefully the bucket will allow it to dump into the silo we'll go real slow and see if it does yay 
<laughs> I was really hoping that that would work because I have not had good luck with buckets and silos in the past. All right, so there's that. Nice and easy. Dun, 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 dun. Why did I turn that off? We'll pull forward. That'll give us our 2%. We'll go ahead and turn the help window back on just that way we can see our feed ratio. Pull it forward. There we go. And give me mineral feed. There we are. 100,000 liters. Perfect. Yeah, ma'am. Now we get to go buy some cows. And I've got somewhere for water, but we'll have to go pick that up. Let's go ahead and pull this right inside here. Uh-huh. We've got our uh, feed trigger, but let's buy the cows. We should probably close that as well. I, I read a post somewhere where the cows are getting out. I don't know how that's happening. As far as the tests that I've done goes, I think that the Holsteins right here will give us everything we need. I thought about going with these, the Brown Swiss, just for the fun of it. <laughs> I don't just... Something different. I think I'm actually going to. I think we're going to go with those. Uh, and I think it's the middle ones right here that it was showing that they will allow you to, uh, to to have milk. That's that's what I want. So I think we could buy the ones in the middle and get milk. I think. Uh, 150 head of cattle, by the way. You uh, can't get 200 in here. Thought it was 200, but... It is not. Yeah, see, I like these cows. These are nice. Now that's up. Let's give them some food. You can see down at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, a lot of helpful stuff pops up. How many animals you have, how their health is, the food, milk, straw, and slurry. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and feed them. This should come out pretty quickly if I've done it correct. And I'm not sure how much it's going to dump, but they are taking it like it's going out of style. We may have to go make some more. And that's totally fine with me, but all right, maybe we don't. <laughs> what I can do is leave this here because I don't actually need this for anything else. This is this machine. This is one job. So I am just going to leave it sitting right there. Now, what else do we need here? Uh, let's see. We got the food mill. Oh, straw. We need to give them straw. Actually, this machine would work really well for giving them straw, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. I don't know how much straw they need, but they can't take much more than this. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not sure because I've never fed the cows on here before. Like I said this series is kind of like a learning experience with both of us. Um, well, I got the trigger for it. There we go. Okay. I was about to say, I got the trigger for it, but then it disappeared immediately. Straw's going in. You can see the straw's going up on the bottom right-hand corner. 38,000 liters seems to be the magic number. Not too bad, not too bad. We'll go ahead and take the rest of this food, or the straw rather. We'll go ahead and put it back in that silo because the animals are probably good for about a day, maybe two days, something like that. I do know that in the next update, which by the way, I'm recording this before the update comes out, just in case it's out by the time this video drops. Um, yeah, they, the animal pens have been increased because the sheep, you basically have to feed the sheep like every six to 12 hours and water just goes out immediately. Uh, doesn't seem like a whole lot of, a whole lot of research went into that. That is what it is. The last thing that we need to do, at least for the cows today is going to be to grab our water tank and go over there and fill them up with water. Um, moving forward and fast forwarding time, I think it's going to be a bit of a pain because like I mentioned, these sheep need water like every couple hours and their tank or the uh, trough just completely empties and i'm really worried that the cows are going to do exactly the same thing that type of thing i i know it's being fixed man it really just doesn't make for a fun gaming experience does it you don't need to do that in real life come on there you go all right by the way i didn't know that was there thanks for whoever pointed that out in the last comment section <laughs> let's go give them some water and then uh, the cows will be completely done at least for right now, for today. The water trough looks full. Do I actually need to give them water? Um, well, that's showing me the field. Uh, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Cows? Um, hay grass, whatever, no, that's fine. Oh, I don't need to give them water. Huh. Well, JK about the water thing. I guess we're not giving them water today. 
totally fine with me. That's one less thing I have to do. All right, so the cows are now done. They are completely finished up. Of course, the grass over here, uh, we've got a good yield bonus, 98%, not too bad. I do have lime turned off. Plowing is turned on. Hopefully, we don't have to plow that up. But eventually, we are going to have to look for a new grass field. And now that we're kind of in this nice, happy medium where things seem to be working pretty well for us. All right, dude, don't lay right in front of the water tank. Get, stop, quit doing, quit doing what you're doing right now. You're being weird. We, we're going to need a new new field. I will say there is one that I have been eyeballing. And it's field number 25. Because currently field 25 has barley in it. And it wants me to harvest it. The problem is we now don't have enough money for it anymore. So we would have to take out a loan. On top of that, we would not be able to. AI workers completed their task. Ayo, we got something going on up here. Let's go check out what's going on in the main field. Uh, I've still got to buy a bakery and I've still got to get all of the production chain stuff for doing oats. So I, I've got a, a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky suspicion that we are going to run out of money quickly. We started with a lot. Actually, there is one thing that we can sell if we want to get some more money. But that's going to be way over here at the main house right here we could sell the house <laughs> uh, click on the boss we could also sell the dog house for six hundred and ninety thousand dollars nice uh, that may be what we end up doing I do like that the <laughs> do you like that the dog just runs around everywhere I think that's super cool I don't want to lose that but I think if we have to lose anything that function may be the one that we have to lose all right Let's go and get this turned on. We'll do a little quick double check just to see what we've got and what we don't have. So we've got a spot here, a spot up there. So we'll clean this up real quick and then this field at least will be done. Getting one more final unload right here. We did pretty well overall. All right, let's just go ahead and turn that off. Leave that sitting for a sec. We did pretty well, 90,000 liters of oats. That's just on one field, just one of our fields. So moving forward, Let's talk about how we're going to plan this out, because unlike in Farming Simulator 19 and 17 and 15 and 13, also known as Farming Simulator, well, we've got silo limitations. And I'm not talking about the grain silos that we're getting ready to fill in. I'm actually talking about the one behind us right now. So that silo has a limitation. The limitation is 4 million liters, right? Well... In that 4 million liters, we actually have to be a little bit careful because I need to put straw, hay, and silage all in that. Well, that is going to be a bit of a problem once we start getting millions of liters of the different... Oh boy, that's a crash counter. These trailers may have not been the right choice. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit much once we get into it. So let's go in silos. I just want to look at this because it's always good to kind of hash it out while you're thinking about it. So 4 million liters. If we've got a 40% need for silage and a 40% need for hay and a, a very small need for straw, well, that puts us at a predicament, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I don't know what the math is on any of that, by the way. But yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out eventually, but we'll, we'll kind of have to limit ourselves. So every time we do a harvest, we'll have to limit ourselves to a certain amount. And then once we go from there, we could just sell off whatever's left. Hmm, seems to work. Works pretty well in my head. What do you guys think? Are we done yet? This is taking forever. Moving on to the next field. I figured I would let you guys know I figured out my silo. Uh, not the exact numbers, by the way. Of course, I didn't do it the right way. Um, so the numbers that I'm going to rock with are one and a half liters or one and a half million liters each of silage and hay. So that puts us up to three million. Half a million liters of straw, although we may need more than that because we've got to have it for feed and for bedding. So I'm not sure how long that's going to work. Uh, we, we might do a little bit more than that. And of course, we've got to have room for grass because we have to put grass in there and then it will, you know, magically turn the grass into silage. Don't, don't tell anyone. <clears throat> I'm not cheating. You're, you're cheating. Get out of here. So we, 
we've got a lot for at least a little bit of each but we've got to also be aware of how much we're collecting and that type of thing this is not something that i've ever had to do before i've never had to prepare never had to do it the right way we're gonna have to prepare and do it the right way unless i increase that leaderage up just a ton but hey at least we won't be wasting any right <laughs> Right? So today we've kind of got two different storylines going. We've got this storyline of the harvesting combine and, and bailing b baler. And then we've also got a fertilizer spreader that we're going to be running on another field. So it's going to be kind of fun and interesting and a little bit different. I've got a full setup of stuff for us to do today. Of course, we're going to be harvesting and bailing. We've got to fertilize, etc., etc. But we've also got to plant. We've got to roll. I've got a game plan for the silo. I know the last episode we talked about that. Well, here it is. I'll tell you right now. We're going to be holding 1 million liters of each. We're going to be doing silage slash grass. We've also got 1 million liters of hay. And we're going to hold 1 million liters of straw. Now, great for me. You see, straw's gone because we had just about 1 million liters. Actually, 997,000, I believe. So we've got all that collected, which means all the straw from this field and all the straw from the barley field on 25 is all going to be turned into bales, which is pure profit. I'm very excited about that. Plus, right now in game, we're getting the best prices as well. In the winter time, you get really good prices for straw and barley and stuff like that. It's really nice. Unfortunately, we're not going to be selling any of our barley or oats or wheat we're going to be turning that into flour. Now, moving forward, we're going to be building, I believe, in the next episode. We're going to be building all of the grain mill and things like that. We might even need to build two grain mills. I'm not sure if we have to actually build two or not. But I know that, well, we're going to have a lot. And I, I really mean it. We're going to have a lot. Uh, wheat, we don't have a whole lot right now. But barley, we're probably going to have close to 200,000 liters of that, if not more. And oats, we're going to have well over 200,000 liters once we finish this field. And all of that together is going to be going to the grain mill. Also, our first harvest for year number two in game is actually going to be wheat and barley. So we're going to be doing winter wheat and winter barley, of course. Field 25 off in the distance, which is huge. That's going to be a big grass field. What we're going to be doing with the grass is I think we can get like three cuts per year. So my game plan is to utilize all of the fields around us. So as you know, we have the uh, cow field, we have the sheep field, and of course we have one of the other fields right beside. I think it's field number four. Well, those... Those are going to provide us with more than enough grass and, and hay and probably even silage that we need. So I think what we're going to do is turn that with the grass maybe into a massive like silage bale field because it's right over by the BGA. So what would be more beneficial than doing that? I think that's probably the best idea is just doing a whole lot of silage and make a little bit of cash money from that. You know what? I think this farm is going to be running itself in no time. Let's keep the storyline going. The next setup is going to be fertilizing. So what we've got is we've got field, of course, three and two. These are going to be what we're focusing on right now because we're getting work done in field number six. So I'm going to fertilize down. And then we, I mean, after that, all we have to do is plant. So I may, I don't know. we got to figure out how I'm going to do that because this tractor, I don't think can plant very well it I'm, I'm sure it'll work i'm just not sure if i want to do it <laughs> if that makes any sense uh but it, anyway so these two fields are going to be wheat so at least they're you know close by we'll be using these for flour and of course for straw uh, we'll see how much straw we actually go through through the winter i'm not sure exactly how cattle do i haven't really done much with animals yet i have of course chickens sheep and uh honeybees if those count uh, I've, i'm familiar with all of those however with pigs and with cows not so much as a matter of fact i rarely did anything with pigs at all in farm sim 19 I, I just wasn't a fan of the way they worked in seasons however cattle loved it super easy great to work with stuff like that so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna hit this field we're gonna fertilize it we're gonna fertilize field number two up there and then we're gonna get ready and 
possibly think about how we're going to be doing planting. Let's do it. Now comes the fun part. We've got everything fertilized, at least on these two fields. We don't need to do much more than that. Now it's going to be time for planting. And I'm going to go ahead and start doing that because I might as well, right? We've got a tractor here that can <laughs> almost do it. So let's rock and roll, baby. Let's hook up. We do need a little bit of seed, so we'll come over here and fill this up. One thing, you can fill this up without opening the cover, because the cover doesn't open unless the piece is unfolded. Ah, it's a little bit annoying, but it's all right. There we go. Cool. So now we'll just switch over to wheat. So these two fields are going to be wheat, like I said. Field behind us, that one's going to be barley. Well, I'm going to plant. I don't know. There's really not a whole lot more to this. <laughs> We're going to go straight through the hedge and plant. We're going to run our headlands, and then I'm going to hire my worker. And by the time I hire my worker, I think our combine harvester is going to be almost done. As a matter of fact, let's check on them real quick. Yeah, they're definitely going to be done by then. Once that's completed, then we've got to get a header trailer for the header, because there's no way I can get up there without using a header trailer. Once we've got the header trailer, we got... Actually, you know what? I think I can... I don't know. I don't think I can make it through there. <laughs> Not with this, anyway. We'll try to get that up there, and then we'll get to bail. It's going to be fun. we got a lot going on today. And now everybody's doing their thing. So our uh, planter right here is doing his thing. Uh, until Handler's doing nothing, as always. And we've got our combine. So this is going to be interesting, because we're going to go ahead and unload. We've got our oats, by the way. Field looking fresh. I love that. You guys know I love making the, the straight lines and making them all look good. I'm going to go ahead and unload real fast. That way I don't forget to do it. Yes, I know there's a silo behind us, but we're using that only for forage crops. I'm going to go ahead and dump silo in here because this is the main silo that we're using. We're actually not using Comsden Farm 1 silo because you have to back in and things like that. And though it's fine. It's kind of difficult to get in there. Uh, by the way, whenever the update comes out, I'm not playing on the updated version yet. I don't know when it's going to be here, but... I'm going to swap these silos out. I'm going to make them hold more, and we're going to use forage crops in them. Because remember, we're starting over. So <laughs> we're going to try and get it back to normal. <clears throat> Choke counter plus one. <clears throat> Come on, DJ, get it together. Ooh, bird just glitched out. Nice. Okay, we need a header trailer. Unless I can get down in there, but... I think we've already looked at this. You guys will take a look at it with me? Hey, maybe this will help you guys out as well. I don't think there's a way to get combine down here without running into something with a header. We might be able to get it through there, but we're still going to run into walls over here, and there's walls all the way around that field. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So we need a header trailer for our header. So one thing, let's... Oh, yeah, by the way, you stuff, anything good? Negative, negative. All right, let's take a look at the header that we've got. So we have the Klaus Convio Flex... 1080, okay. So we'll go over here to headers. We'll find that exact one, coming in flex, 1080 with combinations. And this will show us what we need with it. So we'll just get this. We'll lease it. 357 bucks, whatever. It's useful enough for us. Let's have it reset over to the main farm. And now we just got to get our combine over there. To pick it up and then bring it over here and then drop it and put the header back on it and then grab it back with the combine harvester and get over there. Yeah. See, not too bad. It works. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, man. These cows are cool. I am loving the animations on them. Everything's looking good. They're happy. Different colors, too. That's one thing that I noticed. When you buy the cows, it's not just like one color of how now brown cow. It's like how now gray cow and brown cow and brown cow with spot and, and gray cow. Okay, maybe they're just brown and gray. <laughs> So there's two instead of one. Nonetheless, that'll be all right. So this is the game plan right here. Unfortunately, all of the other vehicles that we've got are being taken up right now. So this is kind of our only option. And we got to line it up just perfectly. It should uh, snap down. So that's nice to nice to have. Nice to see. And give it a little boop. Just like so. You should see it kind of snap unless it's in a good spot. Oh, there it goes. Hey, hey nice. All right. We'll pick it up. One thing uh, you've probably seen, especially on this trailer and quite a few other articulating trailers, they slide. They slide and they move around a whole lot. I don't know why. Eh, who knows? All right. 
Let's see if we can make our way up to field 25. I don't know how I'm going to get up there. I think we found our entrance. I think. Yep, it'll work. Let's do it. Oh, I'm not going to be able to make that turn. Uh, <laughs> uh, I might have to plan this one. No, I think I got this. Yeah, check this out. I was right in line. I didn't even have to worry. Nope, not a bit. And the combine's also uh, clean now. Don't. Don't worry about it. I had to take I had to take a picture. Leave me alone. <laughs> I think out here is going to be fine to drop the header trailer. Maybe about right here. Something like that. That'll be okay. And we could just go ahead and get on in there and be done with it. Yes, sir. Also, here's something fun. Um. There, okay, never mind. Uh, I was going to say, there's no beacons on here. There is a beacon on the trailer. I've got my beacon hat sitting behind me right now, and I, I was trying to turn the beacons on to take a thumbnail picture. I was like, yeah, it'd be perfect. I was like, wait, there's no beacons on here, but it's working. There's one on the trailer. Right there it is. Made a fool out of me. All right, so let's get a game plan. How is this field going to be? Obviously, we're going to run two headlands around it, and I think from there, maybe the best thing to do is just try and straighten this line out and just go back and forth like this. I think that might be the best thing. We'll go ahead and double check, make sure our straw swath is enabled because we don't want to waste any of that because 100% of the straw from this field is going to be sold. Actually, all the straw that we've made today is going to be sold. So we don't want to waste any of it. Yo, this is a cool field. I'm excited to be in a new field. I tried to get a, a uh, what do you call those, contracts, yeah. Try to get a contract on this field. No good. No good at all. Oh well, what are you going to do about it? All right, let's hit our two headlands around this field, and then I will jump back in with you guys and show you how I'm going to get this straightened out. So I've just finished the second headland around the field. What I'm going to do is come over here, because this, this looks pretty straight, right? Doesn't look too bad. Not at all. As a matter of fact, you know what? It's so straight yes then i think i'm gonna start over here now we're not gonna get all of it and especially when we get to the other side we're gonna have to come back through and do a little bit of cleanup but i don't think it's gonna be too bad we'll turn it around right here try and line up maybe with the bottom we'll give it a little bit of overlap and we'll take a look at the bottom of our screen the bottom right we're gonna try and line this up where it says 90 degrees. Now, this is from a mod, I can't remember exactly which one, Enhanced Vehicle Control, something like that. Uh, very, very cool mod. About there, that'll work, about 90-ish degrees. Hire the worker, that way it's going in a nice straight line. Oh, or you could just line it up parallel or perpendicular to the lines on the ground. That also works, all right. So you can see we're missing some, but once we get to the other side, we'll get a nice overlap. We'll actually have to come back to the left maybe once or twice. And now we've got a completely perfect straight line where all I gotta do is hire a worker and they'll do this entire field for me. How cool is that? Man, it's so easy. Ooh, we got a lot of straw to make as well. You wanna go make some straw bales real quick? I'm down. Not only are straw bales not next, they will be after this. Uh, <laughs> our planter's done. So we're gonna go ahead and open up. We're gonna fill it back up with some seed and get right back out there. One fill done and only three more to go. Yes, sir. Let's pull forward here. I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't think it's even gonna reach. <laughs> Who needs visual things when it'll just work without you even thinking about it? Nice. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy set, ready to go, and get our uh, wheat in the ground. JK, not making bells yet. Uh, this combine harvester is almost full. I think it's got like, yeah, 88%. We've barely got half of this field done. <laughs> so we're going to have to hit this. I think this trailer holds bulk. Yes, it does. Okay, thank goodness, because I was about to be in trouble if it didn't. So, rock and rolling, doing pretty good. I'm extremely happy so far now. I know that, God, this is going to be a whole, whole lot of straw. I mean, but we're going to bail it in the, the place we're going to sell. It's right over there. 
there's a nice cell place at the BGA, so that's going to be perfect. All right, so this Combine Harvester should not have to be unloaded again for this entire field. So we're going to take this back over. We're going to take it to uh, farm number two, dump it off, and then we could start making some straw bales. It's about time. Here's our field. <laughs> Man, I love this biller so much. Hispano modding did such a good job. It has done some really, really cool stuff with this thing. I'm just... I love it. I love lamp. <laughs> All right, we'll grab a hold of it. We are going, it looks like about normal speeds. We'll go and speed that up just a little bit. We're making big straw bills today. So 240 uh centimeter bales big bales was that 2.4 meters something like that they are very very long and then we just kind of roll through you guys if you're not using this baler what are you doing i know it's not quite gonna reach two headlands or both uh, they so we're still gonna have to follow along just like we would a normal baler like this right however the great thing about this is i don't have to be straight on i don't have to you know these huge chunks at the end, normally we miss those. We have to come back and make like two passes on the same spot. You know how annoying that is? That's very annoying. So how many bales do you think we're gonna get off of this field? So far we've plopped out three. We've made a total of about four and a half. I don't know, look at that. Choom, 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 choom. Didn't even have to worry about it. It just popped out. Dude, this, I mean, it really is one of the coolest pieces. It only comes in two bales, by the way. You've got a Chrono and you've got the Kloss. Now, I decided to go with the Chrono versus the Kloss because we have a Kloss Combine. Speaking of, check out all that straw up there. Look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful sight right there. Combine Harvester working in the background. We're sitting here bailing. Oh, I... Man, this is a beautiful map. There are some... some <laughs> it's got some special corks, that's for sure. But it's a view, beautiful, beautiful map. And you can do a whole lot with it and have some fun. I love it. Just finished with the bailing and we've got this... I don't... I don't... I don't really know this many. Uh, it says we made 33, but uh, it's been a couple hours real life since I made that clip. So, I'm not... I'm not sure. There's a bird. Let's jump down to the ground and move on because we've got another field. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is probably going to take me some time off screen is what this is going to be. What was I thinking? It is beautiful though. That is, if if you like straw lines on a field, that's, that's nice. That's real nice. That's one of the reasons I love using workers. So, Probably what I'm going to end up doing is doing that part off screen. And then the next episode, the next time that we join each other, I'm going to take all of the bills and, and all that good stuff. And we'll take it over and sell it. One thing I may also do is take all the bills, take them off the field. And I may go ahead and plant the grass in here as well. We'll figure out that decision very, very soon. And we're done. There it is. The entire barley harvest. We got a whole bunch, man. We probably got, I don't know, close to 160-ish thousand liters off of this field. And it is pretty. <laughs> Tell you what, one thing we're going to go ahead and do, because I'm pretty much done harvesting until the springtime. So we are going to take our header. We're going to drop it. And we see right here, I'm just going to go ahead and reset that. And now I don't have to take the header trailer back up there. Because it's all going in the same place anyway. Also, something I could do is take the header trailer and go ahead and return that. Do we have any sales? Oh yeah, I have time set on zero right now. No sales. After putting in all of the barley, we now have combined with what we had at the first field. So keep that in mind as well. 254,000 liters of barley. We're killing it, man. Barley is like my middle name. Michael Barley. That didn't work. That didn't, that didn't work at all. All right. So what is left? What is next? What do we have to do? What do we have to look forward to? Well, we've got to fertilize this field. We've got to plant it as well. We're planting. <laughs> you guessed it. Barley. We're putting barley in this field. So wheat and barley harvest. We got to do everything to the other field. So that's bales. We've also got to do fertilizer, 
plant it, roll it, fertilize it again. A whole lot of stuff. By the way, I'm probably going to roll these fields off screen. I know that it can get a little boring and a little bit. Eh, he's rolling. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm not going to put you guys through that. So that is the game plan. That is what we're going to be up to next time. So uh, bales, getting those taken care of. We'll probably hire on a field to get that stuff done on field 25. And hopefully... We're going to build our first productions. So the first thing we're going to be doing today is plowing. I've got the smaller plow in because we have a dirt skirt. <laughs> and dirt skirt. We've got one of those around field 25, but I don't want it. But we're planting grass, so I would rather just keep everything the way it is. No dirt skirt. No dirt skirt whatsoever. So let's drop it down. Turn on create fields and go along now i do want to be very careful usually i would go super fast as a matter of fact i got the big plow over there but i've gone with the smaller one here for this one specific instance because i know me and i'm gonna go too fast and i'm gonna overlap way too much and i'm gonna do something problematic it's what I do. So I'm trying to go very, very careful here. And you guys could do this as well. I think this is going to be the perfect grass field. It is massive. So it's going to take you some time. However, it's fairly squared off for the most part. Super worker friendly. If you haven't seen episode number seven, do go back and check that out. Because I showed you guys how to hire up a combine harvester on it. And do all that stuff. I think we did that in episode six. I'm not sure. Check out the last two episodes if you haven't already. So... I'm going to run around real quick. We're going to get rid of the dirt skirt and see you soon. Oh yeah, there's also a little green spot as well. So these happen from time to time when you may, you know, the creator, so Oxygen Day may not just overlap the field creation def enough or something like that. So uh, we're just going to handle this kind of easy. Currently it's not a field, but it's so small you can barely even tell. So I'm just going to put this down just real quick. Boom, just like that. That is all you got to do. Just put a little bit of a plow on top of it and you're good to go. Plus, we could still hire a worker on top of that as well because there's plenty of overhang. All right, let's jump back into it. But just heads up, if you want it to be absolutely perfect, you will need to do that as well. Now, the dirt skirt is gone. Goodbye, dirt skirt. <laughs> That's one down. Now we're going to swap over to a different tool. You know how people working in workshops, stuff like that. They always use different tools for different things, different jobs. So there goes one tool. Now the next tool is going to be the larger plow. And I'm going to hook it up backwards because I still have to finish some headland work. So we're going to hook up to this and we're going to run at least one run with the plow turned around backwards. Now, if you are curious which plows I'm using, well, they are the WM... Something, oh goodness, I can't even remember what they are now. These guys right here, MT, there you go. 6MT, 9MT, these are from Black Sheep Monic. They're available for all platforms. You got multiple color options for like everything, which is super cool. So just check it out. They're fairly low power-ish requirement. They have a pretty high requirement set, but I don't think you need that much. So just, just a heads up, you may not need as much as it says you do. All right, so now we don't have to have turn on plowing turned on. Double check, plow create fields. We don't need that anymore because the only little spot that we had a problem with is a field now. So we're good. I'm going to enable fast farming a little bit. And the reason I got this turned around is because it requires pretty much zero horsepower. So I can get this job done quickly. And you can too. Now, if you're not on PC, you can't make it go fast, which sucks. But hey, at least you can get it done with zero horsepower requirement. So if you don't want to hire a worker, this is a great way to do it. Back around now, and we're going to hire a worker. Let's go ahead and take a look, see if we can find the farthest out little run with plows and stuff like that, especially when you're not starting straight on. These aren't too bad. Oh yeah, by the way, you can't hire a worker with it like this, which stinks. Ah, see the top worker C could not start. The tool is attached incorrectly. Why do I get the feeling that Giants put that on there just for me? Got it lined up, ready to party. So what I'm going to do is hire this on the worker, which I've already done. And once it gets to the end right here, I'm going to fire the worker. I'm going to clean up the little bit here on the left-hand side. You can see we're going to miss some. And then hire him back on the worker and let him do his thing. So we are right here 
in case you're curious kind of where we are and what we're doing, I'm just straightening it off right here, running a 90 degree straight over. Pretty sweet, huh? All right, so next, we're gonna be building, well, we're getting ready soon to build some factories. First, we got a bunch of bells to sell, and I think we're gonna make some good cash from it. Here's our bell set up, and I totally put the bells in the wrong place already. Of course I did. So the bell cell point that we're gonna be using is behind the BGA, which I didn't realize is not technically in the BGA. I showed this off during my, my review of this map, and like an idiot, I didn't pay attention to my own words. Oh boy. Yeah, that's fun. So I've noticed that if you, <laughs> I need, I need help. There we go. I noticed that if you unload a, a bell thing, right? And then you reload and then you unload again, you exit the game and you come back. The bells like to push everything around. They're bullies, it's crazy bullies. So I need a new tractor. I spent all day yesterday in real life trying to figure out what tractor, and by all day, I recorded all day. So I'm sitting here going through, using the Massey, using the vent, and trying to figure out what other tractor can we get? I don't know if I want something larger. I don't know if I want something smaller. I have no idea. And I have no idea where to sell this. <laughs> I think it's right here. Yeah, <laughs> let's go ahead and tag that place to this so we're clear. So I'm thinking smaller. I'm thinking very, very small, but I'm also thinking maybe classic tractor. We've got a lot of new stuff right now, right? So maybe um, maybe the Valma Voucher that comes with the base game. Maybe, well, let's see what we're gonna get from this because we have four of these. So we're gonna make about a hundred grand. So that makes me really happy. So just jumping in here real quick, I'll show you one of the ones that I was thinking about right here. I love the sound of this tractor. It is beautiful in every single way. Uh, sounds absolutely phenomenal. Another one I was thinking about was another base game tractor, the Steyr right here. Price is much, much lower. However, so is the horsepower. So uh, I'm thinking something in that realm. Maybe you guys can think on that while we're moving bells around right here and you can tell me what you think I should go with. Should I go with an older tractor? I want to get something that sounds good. That way you can turn the volume up and here we go. Wah! The last bit right here. And if I did my math correctly, this is going to pay for at least one of the production chains that we're going to need to buy or build today. And we only may build one of them. I'm not really sure. So 22 to 24 times four. Kaboom. We're almost at 600 grand. And now let's make that go down a little bit. So you probably know around here, we go into build mode. There's some areas that have some space. For example, if I wanted to go into productions here, we'll click on that. We'll go into factories. Let's find ourselves a handy dandy grain mill. Well, some of these things fit ish, not particularly well, but ish close to in some of these little areas, right? Well, I'm noticing that as well. And I'm thinking maybe putting the grain mill like here or possibly here, something like that. But there's one other thing we need to do. We need to think about this. This is our bakery because we're going to be turning the flour that we make into bread because that's how we're going to make all our money. Everybody buys bread. Hopefully it snows. Oh, we should get milk as well. Bread milk. Hey, you know what sells good. But what I want to do, all right? So, you know, here on the right-hand side, this is where you put everything, right? This is the one from the American map. Well, if we take the grain mill, we'll go back over here to it. Find it. Where is it? DJ, get it together. We'll take this. The area on the right-hand side of this where the grain or the um, flour drops, I want to take that and overlap it with the intake from the other so I don't have to pay delivery costs. Huh? Yeah? Yeah, you get, you get, you're smelling what I'm stepping in. The only problem is I don't know how I'm going to overlay it because I've got to put it like here and then you've got a certain like pickup window with the other. So it's a little bit confusing and a little bit difficult and it's like, well, if I put it here, how am I going to 
pull in there to it it's it's not fun i'm not having a great time figuring out how to place this so i'm going to take some time figure out how to place this we will come back in and hopefully then i will have it together <laughs> one thing i think i've got a mod installed where i could build anywhere i don't know i don't own this this area right here let's see if i can do anything with it all right, so this is far enough away from the ground. Man, I wish the menu at the bottom would go away. Even The Sims isn't that rough. Let's put it about right here. That'll kind of get it out of the way just enough. We could pull in there and kind of turn around, that kind of thing. Eh, about right there. That'll work. Hey, talk about cheaty stuff. I like it. And then let's find ourselves a bakery. And we need to spin it round. So about right there. And so the bakery's actually gonna overlap just like so. That way, whenever anything is purchased, or I say purchased, if it's dropped rather, in that area, it should, I think, pick it up. <laughs> oh, watch it not work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think about right there. I'm not I'm not confident with this at all. I'm start I'm having flashbacks, man. Put it down. Just put it down. It'll be it'll be fine. All right. So there's one. I don't know if we're gonna fill this up or not, but I got a bad feeling that's not gonna be enough. All right. Let's uh let's get a little landscaping done. Let's get some painting done. Let's go in here and draw some pretty pictures, and we'll be back once it's finished. Welcome back, and it's done. Uh, let's see it for the first time. We've got a load of wheat behind us. What are we looking at here? Okay, so I've built a little bit of a road and coming from this direction, it's not exactly gonna be the easiest thing to turn into. We've also got a little fence. I put some trees down, even some lights. Did you know you could place lights on top of buildings? I didn't know that. I know that now, but I didn't know that before. <laughs> All of this is lined up Perfectly. I've got a little bit of a dirt skirt that I drew just to kind of make up for the one that we plowed up But I think for now at least it's probably gonna be okay We'll get in here and we'll go ahead and start dumping that it's not gonna take long to empty So let's set this up because this is one thing that a lot of people sometimes forget to do So we need to do this today We need to activate and we're gonna be activating the barley and the oat as well so that's all done, good to go. Uh, and it is storing, which is good as well because that's gonna drop it into the same area where our bakery is gonna pick it up. Speaking of the bakery, let's go ahead and activate bread. So bread, all that needs is flour, which is great. And it says materials missing, that's okay. Totally cool. That's kind of it. Bread, we want that to be storing as well, which it is. Good, 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 good. How do I get out? <laughs> All right, so that is one down, and we've got a, li well, a little bit more to go, actually. Uh, 254,000 liters of barley. It's going to be three trips with this trailer. And then oats, we've got another three trips there. But you know what? Totally, totally worth it. Oh, how's our field doing, by the way? I fired this worker and I hired the other guy. Uh, is he working or did he stop? He appears to have stopped. Idiot! <laughs> You're right in front. Watch, I'm gonna hire a worker. Crap, okay, maybe not. Pull it forward here. Yeah, right there. Okay, so it was just a few fi You stink! I can smell you from here. Get out of here. While we wait for the silo to pick up, there's another option that I wanted to throw you guys at. The Landini. So this is from Pepe978. And I was looking at this and we've got some pretty sweet Pretty sweet wheel options. We've got a nice wide tire there. Don't need no weights on there. Well, nah, no weights. Doesn't look good. Uh, fender, no attacher, color, boom, 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 and we go like that. So maybe something like this, $145,000. Uh, it's got, what, 176 horsepower. It is newer. It's not older. It is newer. It's mod, which is great for all platforms, and manual plus power shift transmission. So I don't know. It's kind of kind of cool there's also this one see if we can get everything to show up here um so you can also change this to a landini as well which is kind of neat there's no rim options which does stink because i would love to change those black but there's also this option as well although uh the massey ferguson in game is good you know 190 horsepower 
uh, that manual plus power shift transmission does tend to give a little bit of uh, fun problems here and there. Ooh, it's almost done. By the way, I've totally forgot this trailer will hold up to 1 million liters, but I have it limited to 100,000. So yeah, I'm only making two trips versus five. That's gonna make this so easy. Barley is in 254,808 liters. That's a bunch. Uh, double checking. Oats, okay, we have less than that. We should be good. And there goes the oats. We'll go ahead and take a look, see what we got. Click on our factories and we are good. Tons of stuff there. So a bunch of wheat, a bunch of barley and a bunch of oats as well. I'm kind of wishing that I planted all three fields with wheat now instead of one of them with barley, but you know what? It will be fine. Uh, we do have a, an interesting conversion rate between couple of these so five liters in four liters out 30 liters in 23 liters out and 15 in 19 out so at least with the oats we're going to be getting a ton of flour now once all that flour goes in you go down to bread every two flours equals one breads at least literage wise that's gonna be a whole lot popping out right there would be nice to be able to place down a sell point as well it would just automatically sell however Bread sells pretty good, but only like one time during the year. And you could take a look at that by showing price fluctuations. You see a January, best prices. So we're going to be holding all bread until January and selling it then. Fortunately for us, that's tomorrow in game, which should be interesting. And normally I would segue to the next day in game. However, you know, we're not doing that. Um... We gotta, we gotta plant a field full of grass and roll it and fertilize it. There's so much to do. All right, let's get this pate started. Grass is selected. We are good there. We've got it drop down. Do we have working speed enabled? Yes, we do. Turn it on. Do the thing. Maybe cut some lights on because it's for some reason dark at noon in December. And rock and roll. So what I'm going to do here, two headlands, and then hire the worker, let him do his thing. And I might roll it as well behind him. Probably going to come through off screen and roll this, though. I'm not going to push it too hard. So now that our workers are doing their thing, let's talk about the money that we've got and where we're going to be moving forward from here. Uh, number one, I don't need these trailers anymore. <laughs> I forgot that the, the loading wagon that we've got pretty much does everything. So I'm going to go ahead and sell these because they're selling for about 21 grand each. Yeah, that's 42, almost $43,000 extra. So that's great right there. I also want to do bees. I thought that'd be fun. Put some bees down. I don't know where I'm going to put them though. I think I've got a pretty good idea. I think maybe put them down there somewhere. So... We go in, go to animals, go to bees, click the largest one because there's no point to get the smaller ones. Maybe put a couple down through here. The thing is, they've got to be within a certain range of your uh, fields doing canola to make them work out. I think it's canola and some flowers or something like that. Flowering products is the dealio. I wonder if it says anything down at the bottom. You place beehives near certain crops, have a slight yield increase. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think maybe put some of these down here, possibly two, three, something like that. But the great thing is now we've got such insane amounts for for these, uh, these pallets. So we could put one of these down. It would be 24 or... We could go into productions. This is the coolest thing. So one of these in here, I think it's this one. No, nope, that's a lime factory. Spinnery, dairy, carpentry. Where, 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 where is it? Found it. It's in bees. Uh, <laughs> we've got uh, basically for much, much more, but we can hold instead of 24,000 liters, we could hold up to 31,000 liters, I think. Plus, this is a factory, so I can set this to deliver the honey. I could set it to drop it. Um, you know, anything anything like that. So, yeah, I think, uh, think we may do something like that. Might do that in the future, though. I'm not sure I want to place any bees down yet, because, frankly, we don't need them yet. Want them? Absolutely. Need them? Not even a chance. By the way, this guy's doing good. He's almost done with this field. 
looking fresh. Let's start off today by talking about some changes that I've made to the animals since we last recorded. For me, at least personally, in real life, it's been almost a week since I recorded the last video on here. And since then, I have been able to make some changes to the files. Mainly, the amount of animals that I could hold. I could now do 250 of each. It's actually super simple. All you gotta do is open up the placeables in Comsden and do it that way. Super simple. I've also increased the amount of food that they could have up to, I think it was 500,000 liters for the cows and the sheep can hold 100,000 liters as you can see there. Well, those grass bells are melting quickly in the snow, so we gotta get rid of that. So that's one thing that I have done to change things up. It makes it a lot easier for me. I can feed them and it lasts a whole lot longer than it normally would. Plus, down at the bottom right hand corner, you can see today I didn't have to feed them. Well, you can't see that. I thought that, that was really nice. So yeah, big changes for me at least on the map. And these are changes that you guys can make as well in the XML. You don't need Giants Editor anymore to change the amount of animals that you can have in a certain pen. All you gotta do is just change the number. Maybe eventually I'll try and figure out, can we do 500 animals? A thousand animals? <laughs> oh, that would be a whole lot. What's also a whole lot is the amount of wool that we've got. This is the wool from, well, yesterday in game. <laughs> and there's the wool that we've got today in game. I gotta turn on the help window because I don't remember what to hit here. We've downloaded a new auto loading button since this happened. So let's Let's see, uh, da, 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 da. ooh, uh-oh, uh, forgot to check this. Tip side, yep, that's good. Control, that's all good. Unfold trailer, nope, don't want to do that. Um, interesting. So, I'm having a hard time figuring out exactly how to do this. Uh, so I've downloaded this new mod that's supposed to make auto-loading a little bit easier because we've gotten some new stuff for that. Over here, if we go take a look, auto load stock trailers, these require this mod, but not the old ones. So I'm gonna have to back out and delete that real quick because it seems to have made what I need disappear. Huh, well that stinks. Well, now I'm starting to think that that wasn't the problem at all. Uh, <laughs> so my loading is back. So maybe it was just because I left this. Hello? You're welcome. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, I think it was because I left everything loaded on here. Sometimes auto load trailers can be a little bit interesting is the word that I would use. Let's cover over here and let's see if we're able to pick these up now. Another thing we need to do is find somewhere to put all these. Oh, and there's more. Hi, I don't know what to do with all this. <laughs> Not in the least bit. We've got a bunch of wool right here and it's just kind of hanging out. We could build a spinnery, but I'm not ready to do that yet. But that's probably what we're gonna have to do. So we may as well go ahead and start thinking on it. Also, uh, I'm having a great time driving in the snow right now. Uh, I have no grip. <laughs> it's just spinning forwards. I love the snow, but man, sometimes it is not fun to drive in the snow. Uh, let's go ahead and take this stuff and let's unload everything to the right. Perfect. Now, let's buy a new area. Actually, I don't know if it's an area that we need to buy or not. It's this little area right here. Okay, so 6,100 bucks, not bad at all. Let's go ahead and buy that, there we go. We need to load up some bells because these bells are starting to rot. We take a look here, 6,500 liters, 1,575. 15,499, 6,5, Some of these are higher and some of these are lower for whatever reason. And I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but I don't want to leave them around to find out. So I'm going to load up these onto our trailer right here. And I'm going to show you guys how to make some stuff disappear. Here we go. Check this out. So let's go and open up. We've got some really interesting uh, dirt and mud here. Of course, it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't lock you down or anything like that, but it is pretty sweet to see that. So we've got all this. Well, what do we do here? We're gonna go into build mode. We're gonna go to demolish. 
And it says, do you want to remove the junk of the barge? Yes, I do. Okay. So now we have full access to these. Also, you can't even walk in here if you don't remove the junk. It just stays there. So that's kind of right, neat. Not neat. I'm not sure. One or the other way. I'm not. All, I don't know. All right. Now I got to figure out how I'm going to get these bells in here without causing too many problems. I think what I'm going to try and do is get them. Oh, that's going to hit, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay. Good enough for me. We'll get it to about right here. And then I'm going to unload them as far to the right as I possibly can. Boom. Just like so. Now I got to back this thing out of there. And we've got a mod for this as well, but I don't know if it works for this trailer or not. Yes, it does. All right. No, it does not. Crap. Don't mind. Oh boy. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to get this trailer out of here. Come on. Now that that's over with, we've got some happy sheep and everybody is good. We've still got their wool over there. We've still got the wool trailer, the pallet auto loading trailer over there, but here is our grass. Hopefully, and we don't lose anymore. Now, a lot of this is still good at 6,500 liters, but some of it, as you can see, like 15, nine, this one's at 357. So there's, there's a few problems with these bells. Anyway, let's go ahead and close that up. We'll go ahead and close this gate up right here. And that is it for today. Ah, you think I'm, <laughs> get out of here. We're going to spend a bunch of money. Not the way you think we are, though. I need to fix everything. Some things need to be repainted. I'm not repainting them, but I will fix it. So let's go in here. Ooh, a little laggy right there. Not too bad, not too bad. We'll go ahead and fix this up. So repair costs are going to be $3,100. And it's just going to go from there. $12,000 for that. What's the weight need? 38, not terrible, not terrible. How about this weight? 23, okay, okay, okay. How about this tractor? Do I want to know? $7,600? Well, that kind of money. And of course, we're going to hit everything else as well. Now, I'm using a mobile workshop trigger kind of thing. Um, it's not the toolbox mod, though. You should definitely go get that for sure. Uh, let's see, we got that. I think we got some more stuff around here, around the corner. So we're already spending way more than I thought. I thought like total, this might be like 20 grand. I think we've already spent, what, 25, $30,000 on stuff? Ridiculous. Over here, about 500 bucks for the header. That's not awful, but the planter's gonna be bad. 1,300, yeah, it's, see, it's just not great. <laughs> it stinks a lot. 11 bucks, okay, okay, okay. 65, that's a lot more than 11. Actually, since we're all done with that, let's go through here. Here's a door that not many people know is there. And bloop, it's right there. That's pretty sweet. I bet these are going to have to take a little bit of cash, huh? 53? Okay, not bad. Well, we hadn't had that long. Anyway, in 185. Not terrible. All right. So that's everything on this farm. I'm going to go ahead. Ooh, we got bail or, uh, mowers as well. I'm going to go ahead and head to the other farm. And we'll get everything repaired up. And then you guys can see how much money I've spent. Oi, we're already in the 200 grand. I'm gonna have to sell my house for this. Repairs are done at least on this farm and it wasn't too bad. What have we spent? Another couple hundred bucks, something like that. It was not terrible. Now everything is fixed. It's not painted, but it's at least fixed. But there's one of the laggy again. That's OBS, not the game. I just don't know why it does that. Anybody know what? Is anybody an OBS wizard? Love to pick your brain. Oh yeah, let's go pick up and figure out what's going on in the factories. That's going to bring us all the way down here near the BG-8. And as you can see, we have... Why did I appear there? Uh, we've got... Is that flour? This is flour. Yes. Um, hang on. Let's just let's go ahead and push all this in. So it looks like... It, so this is working, right? Obviously, this is working. However, it's only working for one pallet spot, and that's it. Everything else, no, 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 no. However, the bread is working, so that's good. And this shows me one thing, that this works. This works really, really well. We'll take a look at them in the Paul's menu because this is the best place to take a look at all of your factories and what you got going on. Now, we own the BGA, but we're not using it currently. 
Um, taking a look at all of our different flowers, of course, you can see we've got plenty, 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 plenty of everything. As a matter of fact, I'm upset with myself that I planted barley. I should have planted wheat. All the fields. Now down here to bread. You can see we've got bread that is uh, storing right now. Flour is going in. A bunch of flour actually has gone in, but <laughs> that's all we've got to show for it. Maybe one day we'll get a little bit more than that. Nonetheless, this is working good. And at least I'll know in the mornings, I'll have to come in here and push that back in. Speaking of mornings, we're kind of done for the day. Uh, I will double check and see, do we have anything in here that I want? I think this would be the only thing, but I just don't care. <laughs> I'm looking for like an actual small tractor versus something itty bitty tiny like that. So nothing there, unfortunately, but everything is looking good. If we take a look at our growth real quick, if you guys want to see kind of how everything is rocking, we'll go ahead and turn grass on. So everything's looking good so far. Take a look at growth. Our grass is growing very well, so that makes me happy, and everything else is growing uh, pretty standardly. Uh, it does look like 15, 4, and 31 are ready to be harvested. That doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Is this ready for harvest? There's no way. Yeah, I, th I think there's a little bit more to go here. And it's still trying to tell me that this is ready. <laughs> False. Uh, by the way, we're in February now. Looking good, looking good. We'll say grass looking fresh. Yes, sir. Uh, we're going to come over here and push these things together so that at least everything's going into the bakery. Oh. Hey, we actually get to watch it happening. Check that out. Oh, I wonder if two more are going to plop down. Do it. Do it. Do it. Plop, 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 plop. Oh, of course, when I look away, get out of here. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, everything is looking good. Looking good indeed. I'm going to go ahead and push all of this together and see if we could uh, make flower. Yes. Flower simulator. Welcome, everybody. Uh, oh, there's going to be a whole lot of this, isn't there? Oh, boy. All right. I think we're safe. Unfortunately, the bakery itself isn't safe. Not at all. Because the bakery's full. We're absolutely full with this. One thing we could do, we could build another one. Uh, we might, we might have to do that eventually. Take a look. Flour, completely full. Uh, we're nowhere close to being empty with all this. I mean, this is gonna make a bunch of flour. So I think what we might need to do is... Get another bakery. I don't want to. I'm sure you guys know that. You probably know for, for a fact. I don't want to get another bakery. We do this bad enough as it is. Let's, you know, let's take a look though. I don't want to be rude or anything. Let's let's just take a look and see kind of how, you know, the bakery. You, you, you guys are familiar with the bakery. Yeah, you, you know the bakery. The muffin man? Nah, the bakery. All right, so about right here, possibly if we want to get these lined up together, we could also... And, and this would make things a little bit easier for me down the road, possibly, is maybe put this here. And that would definitely pick up some of the, the stuff in here. The only problem with doing it this way is I'm still going to have to get around to the backside to get the pallets. Now, I could kick those out to the side and be okay. And I think that's what I may end up doing. I think doing it this way, at least for the time being, is going to be helpful rather than hurtful. So let's do it like that. The price isn't awful. It's only $50,000, so it could be worse. We'll double check all the sides, make sure we're good to go. And about right in here, I think is the, the best place. We good? We good? Place it down. All right, so there goes some of my money. I'm going to go in here to landscaping. We'll just kind of make all this look nice and neat, and I'll get back with you. Ta-da! Now all we got to do in is activate. So let's make some more bread. It's going to take us about another day or so. And I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff out. Yes. Oh, yeah. These are going to be like a year before we sell these. Oof. One thing I almost forgot. We, we got to go get all the wool. My bad. All right. So we're good there. Spin my head back around the right way. Um, one thing a lot of people have complained about is sheep and animals yelling at them. Now, I don't know why, 
But I don't think the sheep on this map make noise. Could be wrong. But I'm in the cabin. And I'm not getting any loud nothings from the animals. So I think everything's okay. At least with these guys. Uh, yeah, I exited the game and came back in. And it was like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, you didn't get any of the wool. So I'm not going to place any more down. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> like it was doing me a favor. <laughs> All right, so there's that. I'll just kind of keep... Oh boy, I'll keep this by because this is the last thing that I need to do today. So we'll just do the exact same thing tomorrow morning in this exact order. Now the great thing is the next day in game is spring. Yes, if you said it out loud with me. So I'm really excited because that means I get to, uh, let's, let's find out. How? Is it because it's spring? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to refill these guys like all the time now. Oh boy, that's not gonna be fun at all. You know what? Whatever. We're, we're getting wool. I'm happy with it. I guess what I'm gonna have to do is just instead of sleeping from like early morning till the morning the next day, I think what I'm gonna have to do is just come in and fast forward time during the day, pick the wool up before bed, and then do it again. So now we are in spring and there's a lot to do today. We've got mowing that's gonna have to be done, which is great. It's gonna be our first mowing of year number two. We get to do the big, uh, the big field as well. All right, please uh, unload. Good chunk. Nice. Let's go ahead and drop that right where that lays. Uh, let's double check over here real quick and see how everything's going over there. Yep, just as I figured. Let's go ahead and push. Oh boy. Go and push everything, please. I don't want to ride it. It's just go forward. We got to fill this thing up as best we can, and there's going to be a lot here. I think I may have accidentally fast forwarded a couple extra days in game. My bad, without even thinking. So nice and easy. Go forward just a little bit. We'll do this. I'm going to do this for probably you know, two or three minutes. Wish me luck. Well, that didn't last long, so now that's all done at least. We've got one thing of bread right here, and I got an idea. Yeah, let's get about right here to go. Well, nope, that didn't work. Yeah! Crap! <laughs> it's on the roof! Um, I'm going to have to get that down. Hang on. This is the only way that I know how to get up here. We'll do that and then fall back to the ground and then push it off. Of course it did that. Of course it did. All right. So what should probably not do is show off again. Might be best for everybody. Yeah. While we're getting everything prepared for spring, it might be a good idea to go ahead and feed the cows since I haven't done that in a minute. I think since December. It's March. It's currently March right now. We need to give the cows some food. I know that they've still got plenty, but hey, we might as well feed them while we're at it. We'll go ahead and take a look and see what they've got. Um, coming over here, we'll go down to cattle, and they are telling me that they've still got about 200,000 liters of TMR and about 113,000 liters of straw. Now, slurry and milk, we're doing pretty good on those right now. So, slurry, we're at 143,000 liters. We need to get that out of there because that's a lot. And milk, 66,000 liters. That's a lot as well. By the way, I increased the capacity for milk and slurry. That's why so much looks like so little. It's a... It, it's going to mess with your head a little bit. So I need to figure out milk and slurry. When's the best price to sell those? Because slurry, we could probably sell that pretty soon. Itch. Where's milk? Here it is. When's the best time to sell milk? September and January. Of course it is. Well, it looks like we're waiting a lot longer to sell milk because milk is terrible right now. Um, How's about uh, the other thing I said? What was the other thing I said? Slurry. Here we go. December. Of course it is. All right, well, we're just going to leave those sitting. Lastly, we'll go ahead and give them a little bit of good, good stuff to last them a little while. You can see, early morning cows are very, very hungry. We'll open this up. This uh, Keenan Mech Fiber, this is a 4D modding mod. It's not out yet, at least at the time of recording, nor is the update to the map. So if you're watching this right now, I'm still not playing with the update to the map. Actually, this recording's, I think, done two days before this video comes out, something like that. Nonetheless... All right, so there's the cows. We'll just double check and make sure that the food is up. Yep, food is up. We're good to go there. 
we could give them some straw, but we probably don't need to. But everything else looks good. Uh, how are our sheep doing? Sheep are doing fine. I don't need to do anything with them at all. And I'm super glad because I don't want to get the telehandler out and feed them. So before we start today's video, let's talk about why you would need to start a new game save as I did. Well, I'm making these videos on YouTube, so I need to make sure I'm using the most recent version of things. However, that sometimes that's easier said than done. So field 23 being free. If you didn't like that, you need a new save. Added the option to buy the BGA in multiplayer. If you were not able to do that and it was causing you problems, you need a new game save. They've reworked the placeable sell values. Well, now you get zero dollars for pretty much all the placeables. So if you want to make less money, you need a new game save. However, the next one is the one reason that I started a new game save, and that's making the horse training field placeable so you can remove it and farm if you like. That was huge for me, so I started a new game save. I would have anyway, to be fair. Also, fix the floating tree. Speaking of the horses, well, here it is. You can remove all of this. I got a few things that are in different places now, but you can sell the horse, you can sell the training area, you can even sell the pig area over there. And, uh, well, we're going to do all of that today. Um, things that I've done. I may have raised the animal capacities to 500. I know it's showing 250 right now. However, they are most certainly 500 each. That way the animals can breed. And that way I can get to back playing the way that I did in Farming Simulator 17. I'm still chasing Farming Simulator 17 gameplay because I I preferred it way more than anything else that we've had so far. And I was on the Xbox, so I'm looking forward to that. Also, I've added multi-fruit to both, not just one, but both of the silos in-game. So they both hold everything, and they hold 10 million liters of it. And <laughs> I guess that's it, huh? Yeah, 10 million liters. So this silo right here holds 10 million liters. Now, in Farb Sub 22, that's total. That's not of each, that's total. So 10 million liters, let me out of here, uh, <laughs> of everything. So I could put straw in here, grass, silage, TMR, stones, whatever I want, it will work just fine. So that's on both of them. Speaking of, I've also gotten rid of our factories. You can see the factories are no longer there and I've even removed the, uh, what do you call it? The, well, these things. I removed the bread. So the bread's no longer over there either uh, because I'm going to maybe get away from doing factory stuff at least for now. I know I can make more money, but it takes a long time and I'm not sure we're ready the first year. So we're just going to sell everything normal. Speaking of, I have reimbursed myself with things that we had before. Uh, there's a little extra wheat than there was, but at these it was like 5,000 liters. We're actually getting ready to use that here in just a moment. Barley, 290, that was about what we had. And oats, 243, that's about what we had. As far as the other stuff goes, well, milk, because I've purchased the animals again and let them go. But we've got 100,000 liters of silage, that's roughly what we had. Grass, same thing, hay, same thing, and straw. Here's the interesting thing about straw that you guys need to know, and I don't know what's going on. However, after I changed up this, you can see down there at the bottom, it's still showing... 1.09 million liters of straw. That's for the cow barn large. Uh, <laughs> and if I come around here to Comsden Farm Silo 2, it's showing 1 million liters. I don't, I don't know what's going on, man. Uh, as far as I can tell, if I put straw in this silo, the cows get it as well. I'm cool with that, by the way. I'm sorry I didn't have game volume on. I don't know why, but if I don't ever have to give the cows straw again, I'll be super, super happy. Speaking of, you can see right here, one million. <laughs> I don't understand exactly what's going on right now, but it's showing the straw being super low, but it's at 1.09 million liters. I got nothing, man. I got nothing. Anyway, TMR is all the way up. 500,000 liters of food for these guys. And if you look here at the top right, I can buy up to 500 
of them. So I've been able to change that up. Unfortunately, I haven't changed the horses. I haven't changed the pigs and I haven't changed the chickens. The chickens are connected to all of the fences in the game. And it gets really, really confusing when you start messing with that file. So those are all the changes. Those are all the extra bits. Now it's time to get to work. Starting right off the bat, we've got a bunch of harvesting to do. And it just so happens that we've got a combine harvester in here that's part of the pack, the PV pack, that uh, we've had some friends make for us. And well, this it's on sale and it matches what we've got. Also, uh, we do have another try on sale as well. However, this is the base game version, only holds 10,500. This holds 100 million. No, I'm just getting 100,000. So I think this is what I'm gonna go with. We're gonna throw on some uh, some wide tires here so that it matches our try on. I think that'd be super cool. I know this is some big equipment, two combines. It's a lot and it's gonna be expensive as well because the header costs about a third as much, actually a little more than a third as this combine. But I think it's gonna help us overall. We're getting between two and three harvests a year. So, I think it's gonna be worth it. So here's our brand new combine. Goodness gracious, this thing is absolutely massive. Let's go ahead and repair it for 10 grand. Get out of my house. Yeah, no. Uh, so that's that. We're now down about 300 grand and it's about to get worse. We're only gonna have like $100,000 left. Uh, we've got a header in here from Stevie. Now this is pretty sweet because I can take this and change this up to just about whatever I want. And it's got a draper, well say draper, of course it's a draper header, but it's got the stuff built into it. So I'm gonna go with this. It's gonna help us out a little bit, especially down there. Oh, why did I buy this? I don't need this. I only need this for right now. Oh, um, can I, can I mulligan this? I've only got two, I thought I had five. I made a mistake. I need to go back in time. There we go. Much better. Kind of back to normal-ish. A uh, couple things that we need to do real fast. We need to delete some placeables. Like this one that doesn't give us a bajillion dollars anymore. Which kind of stinks. I was looking forward to that. But I don't need these on my farm anyway. So we can still delete these as I would have deleted them regardless. So there we go. We've gotten rid of those. We also have a few things over on this area to get rid of. The first thing is going to be the horse barn. I don't do horses in the game. Goodbye. Uh, we could use that flat area for something else. How's about this? The horse riding field. I actually have to pay for this to be removed, but it is gone. And little baby piggies. We actually get five grand for that. Don't do pigs in the game, so ta-da. Yeah, that's it. That's, a, that's, all we're, that's all we gotta do. Uh, still, if you click on the uh, fences, it says sell chicken pasture, that's because all of those are tied in for some reason in the same XML. I don't know why all fences are just one X, X, I, they're things that I don't understand. We're gonna go ahead and save the game just in case because I don't wanna break anything. All right, so we're basically starting over. That means that I've repurchased field 25. We've got barley in it again. We've got all of these filled still, and I've purchased all of this, so we're good there. By the way, did you know that there's a secret field into woods in the middle of all this? That's not all trees. That's There's something over there. It's pretty sweet. Anyway, we've got wheat and, well, wheat and barley to harvest, so let's get to it. One of the great things about having so much straw and not needing it is all... All of the straw that we get off of this field is going to be able to be sold. So we're gonna be able to make some cash from that. Also, we are going to sell our uh, barley and oats once we get later on into the year. I'm still trying to figure out exactly where I wanna put down factories. I wanna make a place in the game that looks like it's supposed to be there, but for some reason, I'm just not doing it well. Maybe I need to hire Paul Strike to get on here and help me out because he is the best builder in farms and by far. And I'm not at all. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to re-smooth all this stuff, aren't I? Sure am. Another thing that's been changed up for this version of the game is there's nothing under this field. So whenever you're hiring workers and things like that, you don't have to worry. The workers are just going to go back and forth like normal. As soon as the game released, I think it was like a day or two after the game release, I spoke with 82 Studio and he actually made a version on his live stream, which was super cool. He didn't have to do that. He shared it with me. And fortunately, thanks to 82 Studio, 
we didn't have to worry about that stuff being under the field and because of some of you watching this live stream and watching this tutorial you were able to figure out how to do it as well but console players unfortunately we're not well now everything's fine everybody is good speaking of uh we are gonna have a lot of work <laughs> this poor little combine is going to be put through its paces because not only do we have this wheat field we got the barley field or this barley field and that wheat field i'm gonna get those confused we've still got 25 to redo as well remember 25 we're gonna be converting that back into a grass field yet again for a second time we didn't even let it grow it was awful but you know what it's it's totally cool we're, we're fine i'm i'm fine i'm just fine how how are you so i have purchased myself a new trailer and we're gonna go ahead and fill this thing up real quick it holds i believe it's oh come on come i lost him how did i how did i lose him i just barely put anything in here <laughs> i can't keep up what in the world just happened it put just a little bit in here and now it's just toasted holy cow is there something wrong with this trailer i think there might be something wrong with this trailer there you go let's come on evidently it's this trailer man is this thing rough uh i would have used the other first but i i wanted to go with something that held just a little bit more but unfortunately this thing's like halfway through the ground just from 16,000 liters a little heavy i'm buying chickens and i thought this would be perfect put it like right here let it boom out over the feed area and it would just empty like that see see how easy that could be <laughs> i mean it works that poor trailer is rough man it is right through the ground anyway let's uh let's see if we can find the trigger there it is uh we're gonna buy some chickens yeah uh let's see these are zero months old these are six so we're going to get the uh healthiest chickens that we can there we go one hundo chicorinos and it looks like the food is up and the food is done nine thousand liters for the little baby chickens all right we should be getting eggs over here soon this one's already laying one right on the ground oh, oh sorry didn't mean to disturb you hey Oh good we're getting there while we're at it we should totally go ahead and get rid of all of the junk and debris and stuff like that here uh let's see i can't remember is it demolish click on this remove the barn junk yup cool all right the so junk is gone nice nice now we gotta figure out what we're doing next and we've got a bunch of wool and i need to double check and see can we sell the wool or is that something that we need to do something else with so let's come over here to our prices category i do love this category it's so much easier just to go through find what you need and be done with it minus the fact that i i always go over what i'm doing here we go all right so decent let's show price fluctuation so may is the best august not so much so it looks like we're going to be saving all of our wool at least until may which means waiting a whole nother year. That also means that I now have to find somewhere to put all of this. And here's what I'm kind of thinking. So uh, these two fields right here, I believe are gonna be used for grass fields. However, this one, because we're gonna have to do a little driving in here. We've got, you know, eggs and stuff like that. We may as well just turn this into like a staging area for stuff, at least for now. So I think that's what we're going to do with the wool. I'm just going to bring it over here to about like here-ish. Drop it over to the left and be done with it. Now bread, we've got some bread over here. That's the bread that we made. That's going to be selling, I think it's a little bit later on in the year. December, something like that. So let's go ahead and pull by. We're going to load this up and do the same thing with it as well. Also, I have downloaded the auto load specialization mod uh, and it's changed nothing from what I was doing. So I was scared of, of nothing. It was like a big, big, big bad wolf that didn't exist. I don't know. I'm a child sometimes. <laughs> there we go. We're good. We'll go ahead and unload the bread over there because why not? Cool, cool, cool. And then I'm just going to leave the trailer sitting here because why not? Ooh, you know what we can do? Let's pull it over here. This is a base game trailer. It's just been modified so I can straighten out the axle and back it in right here beside that. Let's see. Let's see if it'll work. Hit the Y button. 
Nope, that did not work. Do it again, maybe. Nope. All right, uh, I don't, I don't know what I was saying. Cool. As we hook up to our mowers right here and go ahead and start getting some mowing done, there's a few things that we need. To, oh, I have a wait. Uh, there's a few things that we need to be mindful of with the new animals, the way we've got them. Uh, as you may know, you know what? I'm gonna let some breeze go through. Here we go. Let's go ahead and open that. Why not? Uh, there's a couple things that you may know. First off, only eight wool pallets spawn. And on top of that, I think there's actually only seven that legitimately spawn. Well, because of that, you know, that's with a hundred, I think, I don't know, 200 sheep. That's with 200 sheep. Well, what happens when you multiply that by, was it 150 times? You get 500 sheep and I think that's the right math. Well, that means the pallets are going to spawn a whole lot faster, meaning that I'm going to have to be on the ball at like morning, noon and night getting up the wool pallets. There's going to be a bunch of them and we need to make sure that we are ready. Also, I'd love to get rid of that hedge right there. I hate it so much because it's so much easier to get it through this way. So, oh yeah, by the way, there's a piece of candy over here. Sorry, squirrel moment. Ooh, piece of candy. Got him. All right. Over here, let's get to mowing. Uh, I think this field, we can mow it a little bit. We might get something off of it, but we're going to have to... We're definitely going to have to plow this up. We're going to have to plow all of these up. Two things that I'm not going to be doing from here on out. I will not be mowing the sheep pasture. There's sheep in it. Uh, it's not realistic, but I do feel bad about it, so I'm not going to do it anymore. Also, the cattle pasture. I will not be mowing that anymore either. So, just a heads up. I'm not going to be doing either one of those. You know, it's funny. I, I, I talked about this with these mower sets before. This is just the base game pot and gun mowers. The, uh, ooh, Helper B already has nearly full grain tank? Ooh, uh, er. He needs some help. Hey, I don't know what to do first. Uh, I guess this will, yeah, this tractor will work on the trailer. This part's always the most nerve wracking because you're trying to make it out here in time and get under that pipe before the helper does his thing. Come on, 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 come on. Down, 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 down. Now he's going to try and drive away. Stop, stop, stop. If we can get him to stop, there we go. Yes. Ha, 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 ha. Gotcha. Uh, I think this is the million version. Yeah. I, the This trailer... So this is another trailer. If you guys want to download it, you can find it on third-party sites. Just, I'm, I'm not going to have it. But uh, Flish, 580V by Flish. I'm not quite sure what that is. But regardless, uh, he's got this trailer mod right here that will hold everything. You could use it as a regular trailer. You can use it as a loading wagon. You can use it as a forage trailer. It's kind of an all-in-one. And most people would say that's not totally realistic. However... I would like to point you to a trailer that we just recently got. Uh, if I can find it. Is it the Krona? Yeah, it's the Krona. So, this is more or less a forge trailer. Not a loading wagon, but more or less a forge trailer. Got your stuff at the back here, and most people would expect that. However, this will hold everything. So, it's realistic enough, and that's really all I'm looking for. <laughs> and that puts us back here. Double check that our swath dropping is on. I am sticking with the... Uh, smallest in way on this, as you know, you can kind of extend these out. I do like the fact that you can bring them in, however, because for me, that works great. I can make them nice and close by, and I don't really have to worry a whole lot. Also, I do my own way of mowing, so just leave me alone. <laughs> All right, so moving forward, let's get a game plan for what's going to be happening next. So in the next episode, of course, we're going to have a lot of straw to bale up. We're going to have eh, some grass. I think we're only going to be mowing up like two fields. So at least this first bit, this first harvest set time area, whatever that we're doing right now, this ain't going to be a whole lot. We are in August, so, you know, it's a little, little later in the year. We're probably going to be planting in canola, which means we're going to be getting bees, which I'm very excited about. So I'm going to figure out where we're going to put the bee spawn point or if we're going to be going with the bee factory. I'm just not sure yet, but we will be getting some bees. We will be doing quite a bit moving forward. So big canola harvest, figure out what we're going to do with that. 
As far as right now, maybe I'm not going to be doing anything with production chains. Maybe we'll do that moving into year number two, as we were previously. Uh, otherwise, right now, I think we'll just sell what we've got to the highest bidder when the time comes, make that cash, and get out of Dodge. So first, let's talk about the new addition to the farm. I've decided on a third tractor, and thanks to Stealthbonger in the comment section of episode number 10, for suggesting this. This is the Steyr 9270, aka the Case IH 7200 series for Mat 26. This is available for all platforms, and if you want to download it, it's a mod hub. Check it out. It's one of the first mods that released. It is awesome. Plus, we have plenty, plenty of power, and we're going to be using that today, but not right off the bat, <laughs> because, well, I'm going to use the fed, but a little bit different. So I've gone and purchased a new bell trailer. So this one holds 28 bells. Not bad, but when you've got to move, I don't know, probably 100 today, more than that. Probably way more than that. Uh, this isn't going to get the job done. Not at all. One thing I do like about this, it's a little bit shorter. It's a little bit taller. And it loads very well. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to sell this. And I don't want to. I want to 18 grand. Oof. Well, we've got a new one right here. Let's go ahead and reset it. We'll hook up and get it put away. Now, this is longer, and I was worried about this from the start. We were going to buy this one. I decided not to, but we've done it anyways. The Ponge or Ponge or P P Pong? I don't, I don't know. Uh, po pokey? I have no idea how to say it. That word. That word right there. This holds 32 bales, which is incredible. There is a bit of an issue it's big. It's very, very long. And I'm not sure that this is going to be the right trailer for this map. That being said, I'm going to do everything I can to make it work. Yeah, but we don't need it right now. What we need is fertilizer. Some will run over here to 82 Studios, buy literally anything station. And we're going to fill up with some fertilizer. One thing I've done to kind of help me <laughs> moving forward, at least for this first harvest, I've turned off plowing. Normally, I don't like to do that. I like to keep that turned on. That way, if it needs it, well, we have to do it. But I've turned it off. I think it's going to make things a little bit easier. You can see here we've got the soil composition. Well, no plowing is required, which is super, super nice, at least now. Because I plowed all this, like, three episodes ago or <laughs> something like that. So, fertilizer's going on first. This field, uh, well, using this tractor because it's quick. Then we're going to be hooking up the K, or sorry, the Steyr. We're going to get some planting then. Canola's going into the ground today, boys. Fertilizing is done, and I totally didn't mess up the first time and have to restart. Absolutely not. I would never do that. Not me. Never, ever, ever. Hopefully this has enough power to do its thing. Also, I did go back through down here and smooth this out. I hope I did a good job with the planter that I'm using. Yeah, you, you really have to go into landscaping going into sculpting, softening, bump it up to as high as it'll go, and just go up and down this all day. It's fine with massive cedars, and it's fine with smaller cedars, but somehow this area right here around the trees just hates, hates the limkin, which stinks, because they love this little thing. This was, uh, well, I said if it had direct drill in Farm Sim 19, this would be OP because it's cheap, low power requirement, and only does seed, no fertilizer, which I prefer. And it doesn't! It was like, what, the third, fourth week that the game came out? It's here! Yes! All right, so now this part's pretty simple. Ooh, and it is doing a pretty good job too. 15, 16 miles an hour, not bad, especially hiring on a worker. I'm not even gonna see this in you know, any other tractor that goes faster still wouldn't be going any faster than this, so not too bad at all. I'm gonna run around, two headlands, you guys know the drill, and then I'm gonna hire it on a worker, and then, guess what? I got a secret field into woods, let's go! And we are all set, ready to go. Worker is hired, and I've had no problems. Still having issues on the edge of the field, though. This planter really, really does not like to follow the ground very much, so maybe once some, uh, some John Deere stuff, maybe some case stuff starts coming out. We can get that to seed and plant everything. Regardless, next, I want to show you my secret field in the woods. Dude! Oxy added another secret field in the woods. Where are we right now? We are right here. So 
Uh, left of the chicken pen and the sheep, here's your main farm right here on field three. Just go directly to the left of that. And it's this wooded area, but it's not a wooded area at all. It's just a line of trees surrounding a secret grass field into woods. So I'm going to utilize this field and we're going to plant the, or, uh, you know, do the thing. There's grass. So I'm going to make sure that I can go ahead and mow this and then we're going to plow it up and make it a field and, and actually make the grass work in here. Make it do well. Dude, I'm excited. Drop that down. Why is the front mower got to follow directions, but the rear... I love these mowers. I do. Man, some, they're like children. Uh, they're a little bit annoying sometimes. Drop, swap, dropping. Hey. Let's get to mowing. <laughs> I'm going to bring you guys along just to kind of show you. Ooh, we have to turn some lights on it here. Uh, we'll kind of follow along at least around the edges. I haven't done this field before. Sometimes I'll come in in advance and can take a look and see and you know if I'm gonna work a field for the first time maybe I'll get a little bit extra work done or something like that but not today. I've done literally nothing with this field. Ooh, we're going a little bit slow. Let's go and speed that up a little bit. We do have trees that are reaching all the way in so we do have to be careful about that but this is one of those that I think it's neat that, uh, ooh, missed a little bit there, uh, that Oxy's added this area right here. And it's it's part of owned land as well, which is super cool. So you, you could do this. Come over here, mow this, use it for some free grass. If you don't need grass, well, plow it up and plant something in here. The only issue is getting equipment in here. Now, grass working equipment is not going to be a problem. However, pretty much anything else might be difficult because the entrances well don't really exist too well we do have a couple entrances on the other side of the field and i'll show you guys those when we get around to the other side yeah but it's you know it's neat it's nice i like this i also like this massey ferguson a whole lot if you guys haven't checked it out yet go check it out the 8700s uh, this was a uh, blacked out version that we had. Of course, we had this in Farm Sim 19 as well. But in Farm Sim 17, this tractor was a PlayStation 4 exclusive. And I had to have it. I loved it. I actually used this on my Oakfield series. And this series is kind of a, a throw to that as well. I did a lot of grass work on that map. A lot of grass work. I had a great time doing it, but it was a lot of work that had to be done. And I'm having a really good time doing it here as well. The good thing is you get a lot of grass for how much you actually work in uh, 22, which is very, very nice. So real quick, there's a couple different ways you can get in here. Here's how I'm getting in. I'm going around this wall and then we've got our tennis court there right in front of us. And if we drive around in through here, you've got your garden, which connects over to the old horse pasture. So that's how I'm getting in. There's a couple other ways you can get in as well, but that seems to be the way that I've found that works the best, at least for me. So I'm gonna go around. We're gonna go ahead and hit these headland and, and just do this entire field. And we're going to be doing uh, just loose grass pickup with it as well. So we don't have to actually do a whole lot. I will have to come through and do like a miniature headland with the windrow or the mer merger, but Shouldn't be too bad. Everything's mown up, ready to go, but I still got to get out of here. Oof. You know, it's, it's not too bad. I just don't think it's meant to be used how I used it. Also, is it crop destruction on? It is, but I, I don't, I don't. That's not the right one. Back up, back up, back up. Woo -hoo -hoo. We almost got taken out. And because I decided to mow really, really awkward lines around the first headland, well, I gotta go through and do this so the loading wagon can actually get everything. Real quick, I made an addition to this farm that I didn't tell you guys about. And I wanna show you real quick because I totally forgot to mention it. And it's important because I haven't done this in, I don't know, since Farm Sim 17, I built a road. Ha <laughs> ha! So cool, huh? No, that's not it. Manure. Look at this. Yeah! I put down a manure pit all by myself. Now, this thing says it'll hold 4 million liters. I'm going to call its bluff. We'll see how long it takes. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know how long it's going to take. But the great thing is we could look down there at the bottom right-hand corner. We could see we've got 250 animals, health to 40%, but we've only had them for, what, half of a day, something like that. Four hours, five hours in game. Uh, we've got food, milk, straw, slurry. We're doing good. And I think the trigger for the manure is like way over here. Yeah, it's right here, which is really awkward. But uh, anyway, 1,457. And that's just since I started recording this video. It's pretty cool. Heck yeah, man. All right, let's go pick up the loading wagon and let's get that grass picked up. I wonder how much we got. Going through to get the last strip of grass right now. And we've got a lot in here. Almost 200,000. I bet we're going to hit. Well, if we don't hit it, nah, we're not going to hit it through here. But man, that's a lot. 199,471. We're going to have plenty of silage when it's all said and done. Also, I found a cheaty way through. It's on the other side, so it takes a little bit longer to drive around, but it's also much, much easier. So I think I should create my own way in there. It'd be kind of fun, right? Oh, yeah. All right. So let's take this grass. Let's take it over to the silo. We'll dump it in. We'll let it start doing its thing. Hopefully we'll get some silage soon. And then it's going to be time to make some straw bales. And, well, we've got a lot. Currently, we've got field three, field five, and field 25. All straw ready to be collected. This is going to take a while. Okay, so I got an idea. You see this Samaz Twist 600 right here? I feel like it wants me to use it for, well, how much was that? Okay, thank goodness it wasn't a lot. I was really worried that it was going to be super expensive and I just bought like a $50,000 piece of equipment. We can't afford that. Some of you may already kind of tell what my, uh, the gears in my head, what's, what's left of them are turning. I'm going to put this on the front. And instead of only being able to reach one of these swaths, I'm gonna try and hit two of them and get everything in one go. Now I do have my weight on here, so I need to remove that. We'll put that up here, about right there, that'll work. And why not, we'll go ahead and give the whole thing a bath. I love that button, that's awesome. We'll go ahead and swing around. We'll pick this up here. Got it. So here's what I'm thinking. Swing them both open. Oh, I did not think about this right. Um, I kind of thought that it would be to the... I'm not sure what I thought, um, but, but that's not what's happening right now. You know, we could use this for the loading wagon, so, so that's... It's... It, I didn't waste my money. You wasted your money. Get out of here. Okay, so where was I before I was so rudely interrupted by my own idiotic brain? Uh, we are going to make a whole lot of straw bells today. We're going to make a bunch. I don't know how many. A bunch. That's that's all I know. Oh, and I'm stuck already. Of course I am. Let's do a quick count. Just real quick. We'll take a look at bells produced. Zero made today, but we've made 200 at 25 total and i've also played for 27 hours not terrible let's see how many bells we can make after one field not too bad 49 bells although those are the big 240 centimeter versions after two fields we're up to 82 total bells which is just insane especially the, the, the big bell well, we said that the big bells look at that they're everywhere nearing the end of the stint now of doing bells and People ask me why I like to go fast. Why do I like to G? Why do I like to go fast and speedy? Well, because it's taken me an hour with this baler to do all three fields. This this is why I cheat. <laughs> when, when you record videos and when you do stuff like that during the day, when you're making videos for YouTube and things like that, uh, well... Sometimes time is of the essence, and sometimes you need to get things done quickly and kind of move on. Get you a 20-minute video and go home. Um, it It is quite literally taken. As a matter of fact, I could tell you. Uh, I've been playing for an hour and three minutes. 
and it's taken pretty much that entire time. So that's when I started the previous clips. 158 bales. We eh, didn't quite double the amount of bales that we have. We'll go ahead and uh, top that off. Get that last straw bale out of there. Kaboom. Kaboom. Now is going to be the real fun part of picking all of these bells up and bringing them over. Now, when I bring them over, I'm just going to sit them beside the BGA. This seems like a pretty easy place. Prices are decent-ish. The thing is, straw. When can we sell straw? Well, let me show you. Go to straw. Go to show price fluctuations. You can see January right here. I think we showed that a couple clips ago. But uh, this video has taken me three days to record in real life. <laughs> That's what you get. Hey, at least we're getting these done, right? Okay, so let's take this. Let's get the baler. We'll uh, wash it, I guess. Haha, <laughs> I love that button. We'll go ahead and put this away. We've got to get our bell wagon, and we need to pick all of these bells up. Oh boy, that's going to take a little while as well, huh? I've taken some time and actually going ahead and moved some bells. Now, I've got all the bells off of this field because I... I still have a lot to do. Guys, this is taking me so long to record this specific Let's Play. It's absolutely ridiculous. So I'm going to put that there. We need to jump in here because I need to put fertilizer down on this field and I need to get it seeded quick. Otherwise, it's just going to take forever. And I believe it was how many days? Three episodes? Maybe four? That it actually took to run the first couple episodes it was ridiculous the same day it was, it was absolutely insane so what i'm trying to do is uh, limit that as much as possible by trying to get some you know some easy stuff done yes we've just restarted the series with the new update and things like that so we're trying really hard by the way if you haven't seen the last episode episode number 10 definitely check that out also at the time of you guys watching this we should be getting ready to release the episode one through ten supercut so you definitely want to be on the lookout for that uh it's about three and a half hours long but there's minimal ads uh, instead of one like every you know, five or seven minutes i think there's one like every 20 minutes or something like that so uh it's for you guys that want to binge watch the entire thing sit back relax uh treat it kind of like a movie season one of something like that Anyway, I'm going to go and get this fertilized, and I'm going to go ahead and start running a cedar on here as well. So we're going to be doing... Ooh, we missed a little bit. We'll have to turn around. Uh, we're going to be running canola on all of the fields, all three of the big fields. And then, of course, the massive, massive field. We're going to be running grass in that. I'll probably get that planted off screen, though. There is one thing that I've wondered about for a while, and I still can't figure it out. Uh, uh, I don't even know what to call this. A dirt skirt? <laughs> I'm not sure. You could see that it's still showing barley on the edges right here. I don't know if it's because it needs to be plowed or what. Uh, this happened on the base game maps as well. Uh, I, I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on here. What I do know is that I'm going to plow this up. Yeah. Uh, this field does not need plowing in any way shape or form but this seems to be the only way to do this well this is cultivating really you could just rip up the ground and be good so direct drills for some reason do not like to run this little section you can see right here as we keep going what it looks like before trying to seed i don't i don't know man i don't know I know how to fix it, so at least there's that. We're finishing up picking up all the bells right now. We've got, I think, four stacks of here. Yeah, four stacks of 32 each. And this is going to be a stack of 31, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So there you go. That is your uh, straw harvest. <laughs> year 1.1? I don't, I, don't, I don't know what year it is anymore. It's 2022. That's all I know. All right. Let's put this away. Let's set these nice to the side there. There we go. We're off center just a little bit, but that's all right. Drop them, and we're done. Let's take this back over to the main farm. We'll get it put away because we don't need this trailer anymore. I'm going to hook up the roller to the back of the Massey, and we're still getting stuff done. We're still getting stuff uh, rolling and moving and grooving. You, you guys know how it is. All right, let's get this party started. So the first thing we're going to be doing is plowing up a few fields. Let's take a look at the ones we're doing because you might want to do these too. So what I'm going to do is the horse pasture. I've already sold all the stuff in that previous episode. We're also going to be selling up 35 and 
you can see in here, we're going to be doing this as well. Now, one of the neat things is it looks like this might already be plowed up for whatever reason. I didn't do it, but it looks like it is. So we'll, we'll kind of poke our way in there just to take a look and see. See, grass is all in that. I, I'm not sure what's going on with that. So we're going to get in there and get that done as well. Coming around through here, we've got three fields to do, and this is our first one. I want to show you how I do this. Maybe I do this differently than you, and you're going to be like, DJ, you're doing that such the hard way. You got to change it up, man. Or maybe I'm doing this in a way that you might find interesting. So I'm going to leave. Eh, I'm kind of back and forth about leaving this open to close. We'll, we'll go ahead and close it up. We're going to drop this down. We'll turn on create fields. I start usually near the edge, near a uh, turn like this so that I actually have to get that turn. A lot of people will start in the corner and you get kind of a squared off first. Okay, well, I guess that's a placeable and not uh, drawn into the ground. Eh, fine for me, whatever. We'll come through here. Also, somebody had mentioned that there's a way through into the secret field into woods. We will take a look at that. Spin around right here. There you go, very nice. Now grass is probably gonna be growing up on the edges of this. So I don't want to get too close to it. Also, uh, in real life today, I'm having a little bit of asthma trouble. So if you hear me coughing or anything like that, I apologize. I'll try my best to edit those out. Just heads up. I know a lot of you guys, this time of year, it gets to you. Hey, I'm just a normal person like y'all. It does the same thing to me. So there you go. That's uh, This is kind of my, <laughs> my, my run right here. I will also run a second headland around this. Uh, and then I will probably just go back and forth. I've also got a big plow over there. That's going to be what I'm going to use for all of that. So that is step one done. I don't need to use the smaller plow for this. But yeah, another thing. People ask me, why use the smaller plow? Just use the larger one. Get the job done twice as fast. I will, but I like the precision of the smaller one. So the, I like both. <laughs> you guys just got to download both. Go into your plows, go find your 6MT, 9MT, buy one of each. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. They're great. I love those. Oh, and one more thing, because I got called out for this in the comment section of the last video. Uh, I'm very, very aware that I did not get bees. We will get bees today, I promise. Even if I have to force it, we will buy bees today. I got you, fam. I got you. <laughs> All right, let's get through this. I'm going to go ahead and finish this setup, and then we'll go ahead and do some big plowing, and we'll head into the uh, secret field into woods. All right, we already got a problem. Not a big one, but I just want to share this with you guys. So this area is super bumpy. Really, really bumpy. So I'm going to bring in a little bit of help. We're just going to try and smooth some of this out to make it a little bit less bumpy. Beforehand, this was a pig field. And that's totally fine with it being bumpy. However, we're going to be working this field now, and I don't want it to be bumpy. I'm not a big fan of bumpy fields. I understand it's realistic. My front yard is bumpy. Uh, I bounce up and down when I'm mowing the yard. Yeah, I get it. This is a video game. I don't want it to be bumpy, man. Just nice and smooth, bro. Nice and smooth. And lastly, our secret field in the woods. We're over here. You can see it's fertilized now. I think this is actually showing up as a field. I can't be sure, but I think it's actually representing itself as a field, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, I didn't hit plow right there yet, and it was already plowing that up. So this is definitely a field. I'm going to go through and plow this up just in case anyway. Actually, I really don't need to do this part, do I, huh? Uh, we still need to get in here because it is a field uh, that we're working. We need to roll it. We've got to do quite a few things to it. So we may as well do this part. Yeah, might as well. Turns out our not-so-secret field in the woods does not need to be plowed up. And if you've got periodic plowing turned off, you don't need to do anything with it. It's just ready to go. Fertilize, do, do what you need to do. You're fresh, homie, you're fresh. All right, so what do we have left to do? Well, I've actually backed out and restarted because I would have had to have planted. Well, that's just gonna be more work to have to do. 
So I'm just going to go through here. We're going to get the rest of this stuff plowed up. And then we've got to come through and plant and then roll and fertilize. And we should, at that point, be completely done, at least with this area right here, with these two fields. We're also going to have to go fertilize in our secret field into woods. And then we'll be done with this area. And then we got to plow up some interesting spots of fields, which is really, really going to be interesting. Anyway, I'll check in with you throughout the progress so you guys can see what I'm up to. Now that the plowing's done, every field needs to be fertilized. So we've got the two fields behind us that we plowed up. We've got our singular field right here. I believe this field number four. Yep, field number four. Plus, we've got our secret field in Dewey. So, let's get it started. Fertilizing's out of the way. Everything is looking good so far. We don't really have a whole lot extra work to do. Just these two fields right here. And that's it. Drop it down, enable speed farming. Kaboom, baby, let's go. Grass into the ground and uh, harvest in like, I don't know, a, a week. Yeah. Planting's done. Now we gotta get this rolling done. I'm not saying this is my least favorite job in farm sim, but I would quite literally want to do anything. <laughs> Other than rolling. And please don't go back and look at my first Let's Play where I said rolling was so much fun and I loved it. And it was one of my favorite new parts of Farming Simulator. Please don't go look at that part. No. All right. The last part that we need to do before we get anything else finished up is we got to put one last bit of fertilizer on. As you can see, it's not really hitting everything <laughs> because some of this was actually already a field which is really, really interesting. So the parts that was a field, we're fertilizing right now. And the parts that were not a field got fertilized when we plowed it up. I know it's a little bit confusing, but the good thing is once we get this last bit of fertilizer down, it's not gonna be real weird like this anymore. It's actually gonna look pretty normal. Like whenever I finish this, I'll show you the PDA and it actually doesn't look too bad. All right, so speckled field, right? Well, and here, Fairly normalish field. Uh, there's still some spots that I missed rolling. I don't. I don't care. I really just don't care. You see, down at the bottom, we're looking good. Whatever. Uh, there is a 98% yield bonus uh, instead of a 100% yield bonus on a lot of my land. I can't remember if that's because I haven't gone through and done what it wants me to do, uh, which I think is like plowing or lime something like that i mean i've got lime turned off plowing's turned off i've got the uh weeds turned off so this is this is a few things that i have turned off man it makes life easy though <laughs> all right so fertilizing is done all the fields every one of our fields has been fertilized it's good it's done it's ready to go um and for those of you that mentioned yes i i realized pretty late on uh, that I could have bought field five instead of 25 and used that as my grass field and been way closer to myself. But then again, there's not really a sell point over there. So maybe one day we will own that field. Until then, we're gonna have to go put this way because we missed some spots in our fields. It was weird. I don't know what happened. We got spots in our fields that we've missed. So we're gonna go fill those in real quick. And here's my contraption to do it. So I've got my Massey Ferguson here. We're gonna unfold the cedar. We're gonna unfold the plow. And we're gonna go around and we're gonna find these little spots that for some reason, we're not having it. This is one right here. I don't know how these pop up. I don't know what the problem is, but if we go in here, all of these spots all right well it says needs rolling but i th i think there's more to it than that uh they're they're like everywhere uh, if, uh, all right real quick. i'll just show you that it doesn't need rolling how about that all right so we're in here we got this little spot right here i don't know why it's there i've rolled over it i've done everything that i'm supposed to do drop this down we'll go over to such and it just stays like that. I don't, I don't know what it is, what I've done, what I haven't done. No idea. We got a couple little dots right here. You see these little dots? We'll go through, see if we can roll these over, make the dots disappear. All right. All right, well that seemed to work. 
It did not work the time before that. Maybe I just let these grow and see what happens? Uh, maybe that's maybe that's the best thing to do in this situation. I don't know what's going on. All right, maybe that's maybe that's what we do. We go through and we fertilize the first time around. We harvest and then we see what happens. Well, certainly, oh yay! Uh, certainly saves me a whole lot of work then, doesn't it? So I want to put down some bees, and I've gone into the help menu because I cannot for the life of me find where they have said how close or how far away they need to be. It just says that uh, place them next to the fields that uh, will have canola, sunflower, potatoes, and you can increase your yield. But it doesn't say what the yield increase is or how close they need to be. So I'm thinking we go in here, we go to aminals, b -b 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 bees, and we find ourselves, eh, these, eh, these, these are fine. I don't, you know, these are okay. These are these are all right. We're we're doing good. We're doing all right. I thought about maybe putting them over here because I don't do anything with this area. There's nothing here. There's nothing to do, and I use this area right here as a shortcut, not this area. I don't even drive in here. I just drive straight over the crop. So I'm thinking maybe put them here, and they're pretty close to this field. So we should get a uh, a nice little b -b -b bonus, yeah. There we go, we'll place those down. So they are kind of expensive each. They're $19,000 plus the cost of uh, leveling out the ground. So the question would be, do we want to <laughs> be, uh, do we want to put more? Because we can get more honey at least. I don't know if it's gonna increase the yield the more honey bee things we have, but I think for right now, that's okay. At least two. Uh, we could also place one maybe over here. So I don't use this gate for anything. So technically, we could just place one like right here. And this would be between the two fields. So we could still get our bonus there. I had also considered placing a few down here. So we do have a freely placeable area down here on the other side of this. So I had thought about putting uh, putting some areas here. Now, if we try and use the <laughs> the place, it just kind of slides through. But if we get our mouse in here, we can actually place this properly. So I thought about maybe putting a couple here as well. It doesn't really matter where your honeybees are. It matters where your, your cell palette is. So I, I thought about maybe one more there, but I think for now, we're going to leave it be. <laughs> Yep, did that on purpose. Next, we gotta figure out where we're gonna put our honey cell point. So what I would like to do is to find where it lets us, and my mouse has disappeared, there we go. Uh, where it lets us sell our honey. I don't think there's anywhere for us to sell honey. Is there? Okay, there is. This is good. Uh, so the next thing is placing the honey down so that it sells all the time with one exception. Well, the prices fluctuate a lot, and they're gonna produce honey every single day. So where do we put it? Well, I made my choice, and it was actually a pretty easy choice to make, considering that this is where I'm putting all my pallets anyway. Well, it just makes sense to put these here. Now, I don't know if I wanna place it, let's see, 212, this one's 15 grand. I thought about putting one of these down. This is nice because these will deliver your honey, so you don't have to deliver it. This will not. So there's, there's a bit of a price difference, plus this holds more. I thought about getting one of these, you place it down maybe like right here or something like that, even though this whole area is gonna be production chains eventually. I thought maybe this is the perfect place to put this. Flattening failed, your face has failed. Get out of here. <laughs> Quote me on that one if you want to. Uh, yeah, I think about right in here is good, but unfortunately, those wool pallets are way, way in our way right now. All right, let's do it, y'all. Let's do it. Let's put this down. I want to put it maybe as close, far away up here as possible. We don't need that trigger in the very back, so we can keep keep well away from that. Maybe about right in here. Yeah, all right, that looks good. Place it down. Hopefully, it didn't cause any issues. How you looking? Looking good. We do need to smooth a few things out real quick. It, this is, I mean, it's pretty easy. Ooh, a little shaky. Thanks, OBS. You are awesome. Let's smooth this out. Sculpting. 
Soften. Yeah. Soften it out. Let's go. Perfect. So now all of our honey will come here because we've got kind of an in and out. Honey in, honey out. It's it's actually pretty genius. Uh, production cost per month because it's going to cost me $50 a day. Uh, so that's, you know, it is what it is. We do need to figure out how we're going to do things. What's nice is you can throw storage in, and this is where the honey comes out. So I need to figure out, all right, so let's activate it. Right now it is storing it, so we'll store it inside. We can have it sell it or distribute it somewhere else. However, we don't have anywhere to distribute, so right now we're just going to have to stick with storing because we've got... Uh, virtually an entire year to wait before we can actually do anything with this. So at this point, we've done basically everything that we could possibly get into, possibly manage, possibly do, other than whatever I'm doing right now. I've actually got to go over here and manage the wool because wool is interesting because I've got, what, 250 sheep, and I think this is going to fill up once every about 20 hours or so. Uh, looks like there's only one pallet over there right now, but that's going to increase dramatically. So I need to prepare myself to be picking up wool pallets. We've also got our chickens in there. They're going to be producing, so that's going to be there. Man, we are in it now. I think I've done everything that I needed to do to prepare ourselves for moving forward. We've got our new game set up. We've got everything that we needed to do done. I think at this point... We can fast forward until the next day in game and well, see what happens. Well, good morning to a super rainy, icky September morning. We've got a couple chores around. We've got wool that needs to be done. As a matter of fact, I don't actually need to pick this up. I think just putting it to the side will work. Uh, the sheep did not produce half as much wool as I thought they would. It, quite literally, uh, they produced, what, three pallets overnight? Not as much as I thought they would. Let's also go down into our animals. We have to double check and see. So a reproduction rate on chickens is fine, but we maxed out. So that's not going to help any. Reproduction rate is low on our sheep, but that will go up over time. And the reproduction rate on our cows is actually really good. And they're looking great on everything that they've possibly got. So we've got a good amount of milk, 35 gram, it's 35 gram, 35,000. Straw, do not pay attention to that number, it's 81,000. And slurry, we've got 51,000 liters of slurry. I am planning on utilizing the slurry and the manure for fertilizer, at least at this point. I might go back on my word there, so just <laughs> bear with me. One of the great things about slurry is you could do double rate application. So if we've got enough, I could modify a trailer and instead of spreading fertilizer twice, we could put slurry down once and be completely done with it. And as a matter of fact, we've got quite a few pieces of equipment that allow us some really neat things. So if we go into slurry tanks, we've got like some massive drag hoses and things like that. See if I can find one. So like right here, 36 meters, absolutely massive, huge, huge amount of stuff there. We've even got a few things in, I think, is it a miscellaneous? No, no. Where, where is it? Forestry? No. Grape? Technology? No, no. Huh. Animals, maybe? No? Uh, <laughs> help? Large tractors, possibly? Yeah, I think this is going to be where it is. So we've got a class. You know what? I can't. I can't do this. Where's, where's my brands? Let's just go to C. Go to class. This is going to make it a lot easier. You guys know what I'm looking for. I just can't freaking find it. Come on. There we go. Saddle track. I don't know where this was. But we've got this. Right? So we could get maybe a big saddle track. Big Zarian right here. Uh, and spread with that. That would do fertilizer pretty well. Plus we could utilize that as a big track. I mean, we have 400, almost 500 horsepower on it. That's a lot of power. Let's double check our manure as well. Looks like manure pile is going up pretty good. So uh, 2,900 liters. Not a lot, but enough. Some, I think, the, yeah, the word some comes to mind. And uh, slurry is starting to accumulate down at the bottom. So a lot of hard work. Seems to be paying off pretty well. And I think at this point we could probably fast forward possibly another day in game because well, there's nothing 
nothing going on. And if we go take a look at sell prices, because we're not putting down any of our placeables and things like that yet. So we're just going to be selling off things that we have. So that stuff's staying. However, this stuff, we're going to be selling this stuff. If we show a price fluctuations, we're showing January for all of those. So we're going to have to wait. But rest of the stuff's looking good. Our day today starts with not grass work, but with eggs. And we've got a total of uh, one and a half pallets. That's all we got. Fortunately for us, it's been, I think, only two days in game, something like that. It is November. Just a heads up. I think it was August the last time we saw this. Yeah, it took us a few days. So we're going to be taking our eggs and we're going to be going to the general store bay number one. This is giving us the most amount of money just by a few bucks, but the most amount of money indeed here. So check this out. If you go in, you go seasonal fluctuation. Sorry, it's early in the morning for me recording and my mouth doesn't work yet. November is giving us our highest peak. Well, it's November. So let's go get these sold and hopefully in the meantime i can wake up on the way there i don't expect to get a ton of money for these i mean it's only about two thousand liters worth of eggs but this is going to be good because it kind of starts off our money making time we've gone almost two years now we almost started making money and then an update came out and unfortunately we had to stop doing our gameplay because of that well the good thing for us is we're back we're ready to go. We've got a ton of stuff to sell as well. If you guys are following along, tomorrow in game, at least, uh, in December. Ooh, let's not go over that. I don't know if I can sell eggs there or not. Uh, tomorrow in game, we're going to be getting a lot. We're going to be selling wheat. We're going to be selling the barley. We're going to be selling the oats. We're going to be selling the canola. We're not selling eggs? No, we are. We are selling the eggs. Okay. Money's going up, so that's good. Uh, and we're also going to be selling straw tomorrow as well. We have a lot of bells that we're going to make even more. All right. There it is. $5,100 in the bank. So I think if I'm not mistaken, at least for this series, that is the first money we've actually made because we're not using any cheats on here. We're not using any hacks. I'm not taking the loan and making it 0% interest so that I could just take out whatever loan that I want. I don't have any money mods in. Yeah, we're going fast, but eh, this stuff takes a while. I'd rather just get it done quicker. Still doing the work, right? Right? Before we get started with mowing, I did want to show you guys this. We have been busy. Very, very busy. So we've got everything kind of moved around doing its thing. Actually, we've got a bunch of honey pallets over here, and I'm worried that they're going to be taking up a little extra space. Let's pick these up real quick. I should be able to pick them up, no problem with this. Turn it on, do to do loading fill type, Euro. And we'll come through here. Yeah, it's giving me the option to pick these up. Boop, 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 boop. Got them. Ah, oh, now I got them. All right, let's take these to the side. So we've got a bunch of honey on here. I think this holds 31,000 liters, which is pretty darn good. But we don't need... 31,000 liters. We've got 2,800 right here. We're, we're, we're doing okay. Also, we don't want to leave these on here, so we will boop them off. But I don't need that anymore, so we're just going to leave that sitting there. What I need is to show you how much wool we've got. Yes, sir! Check this out! <laughs> we got plenty of wool, man! Uh, I don't know. I think this is 32 and then some more, and they're 1,000 liters each. Yeah, we're going to make plenty of money on wool. Actually, ooh, real quick, I want to know. All right, so now's not the time. I think it's in May. Yeah, we're in May. We're in November here. Prices are low. We're going to be making a lot of money, baby. Yes. <laughs> All right, it's time to get to work. Let's get rid of that help window. We don't need that anymore. Let's get this done. What are we doing today, at least mowing-wise? Well, pretty simple. We're going to be doing 35 right here. I'm going to do the field south of that. We're going to do the field west of that right there, the secret field in Dwoods. And then I'm going to come hire a worker on field 25. I have decided that the end goal is to be able to get field 5. So I'm going to trade field 25 for field number 5. Field number 5 is closest to us. It's on the same road. I don't have to bring anything over. And if I decide to not use a, a grass in it for whatever reason, if I want to do, you know, canola. 
right here, which we're going to be harvesting the next time around. That's going to be easy. Plus, straight. Hard worker. Be done with it. Nice and easy. Good to go. Cool. Let's get these unfolded. Let's get them dropped down. Set my worker on a nice little spot right here. I say worker. I'm going to do this myself. And then rock and roll. Oh, we should probably make sure. Working speed, 22. Good. Talk of working mode. I don't... I don't know what the working mode's on. SWAT dropping. Perfect. Turn it on. Turn it on. And let's go. And about 30 minutes of real life later, we are almost done. I'm at least done with what I personally have to do. But we've still got to go to the largest one. Field 25 and hire a worker on it. It's going to take a hot minute. But just wanted to show you what we've accomplished since we've been off screen. So we've got all three of the fields done here. I forgot there were three fields here that I needed to do not just two plus we just uh, came from the secret field in du woods now i do know a lot of you guys have been talking about this area up here saying dj there's also a secret field right above the store this is true i mean kind of uh let, let's take a look at it real quick so if i go over here and we select grass okay showing up just fine we deselect it it's not actually showing as a field i could jump over here real quick and at least show it to you it's very easy to get to, and you can come over here, mow this, and then plow it up and plant grass or make it a free field, whatever you guys want to do with it. I'm probably not going to be doing that. However, you can if you want to. I mean, it's owned land, and there's quite a bit of it over here. So just check it out. If you guys are looking for free land, free area, check it out. It's a little bit far away from my farm that I really want to be going to, even though Field 25 is pretty much exactly the same distance. Uh, I won't say that out loud if you won't. <laughs> so, we've gotten all that done. I did mention it in a previous episode, and I'm sure some of you guys will notice. I did not mow the uh, sheep field, nor did I mow the cow field, even though those are technically fields. I think they both even have field numbers on them. Well, because we've got animals in those, I'm not going to be mowing them. I don't know if that's realistic not realistic whatever but i'm not going to be mowing those fields just because the animals are in there i did the same thing in farming simulator 19 and 17 as well once we got animals in a pen i usually did not mow that pen anymore so i don't even think there's fertilizer in there i did switch all that so good to go there now we've got to head over to the largest field that we've got field 25 i think this is going to be too much I mean, we're getting three harvests, three grass harvests per year. And I don't think that we need to get three harvests off of this field every year. I mean, we could probably make some silage bells or something to sell them at the BGA. That's probably going to be plenty. Woo! This is a big old grass field, man. I'm kind of losing myself right here. All right. Let's drop it down. Dude, leave me alone. I don't these front mowers do not like me. I'll tell you what. All right. So what I got to do is I've got to run our headlands. They're going to be a little bit different than the way that I normally do them because I don't want to waste a bunch of time. Whereas normally I tend to waste time running headlands. Uh, I'm going to try and behave this time around. I don't know. We'll find out and see what happens. Well, I would say we've done pretty good over here. Hey, that didn't show anything, did it? <laughs> Man, it is still too early. It's the morning after the Super Bowl, and I'm in a food coma still. Yes, sir. All right, let's line this up. I'm going to try and offset it just a little bit, because if we come in here, we can see uh, it, it does go over just a little bit. So we're trying to line this up, see if I can get to 90 degrees. About right there is good. Hire a worker, and they're going to do their little thing right here. Hopefully they don't miss too much. All right. And off they go. I'm going to have to clean up a little bit on the other side whenever they get to the end. I don't think they're going to miss any on this side of the field. No, nope. but we are going to have this little, you know, the little triangle area on the other side. I will have to do that. But then I can just hire this guy back on a worker and be done with it. Because as soon as I do that, we get to go pick all of this up. Yay! And I bet you're curious, how much does the loading wagon that I have hold? Well... Why don't we find out? One million. It, uh, <laughs> it holds one million liters. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. All right. I got to figure out exactly how I'm going to do all this. 
<laughs> All right, got to drop down. We need to turn some lights on. Let's cut the F1 menu on just so I can double check and see what I'm doing. All right, so that's how that works. Good, good, good. Let's go ahead and turn on our loading wagon. Uh, and we'll figure out if this is going to work or if I need to go faster, slower, what's going to happen here. So I've taken the base game uh, Pottinger. So if we go in, we go to tools, we go down to loading wagons, forge wagons here. I've just taken the base game one. So nothing too crazy here. And if I slide down a little bit, uh, we should find it in the DJ Go Ham pack. Here we go. DJ Go Ham modded tools right here. Literally exactly the same. Just holds 1 million liters. I figured that'd be easiest. I needed a loading wagon that this trailer could pull or this tractor rather could pull, but I wasn't quite sure exactly which one I was going to use. Also, I'm not sure if this is going to pick up everything in turns. But I guess the answer to that question is 100% no. All right. Well, uh, this is still working pretty well nonetheless. Doesn't seem to be missing much, if anything, even at quick speeds. So that's good. Uh, just in the turns. All right. So note to self, don't turn with this piece of equipment. Hey, the good thing is it's still windrowing it all together so I can still come back through and get it all. But this is definitely something that you guys need to invest in. This thing, of course, I'm going super, super fast, but I'm, I'm trying to remember exactly what this is. It's the Samaz Windrow, if I'm correct. Yeah, the Samaz Twist 600. There's no customization to it whatsoever. It just kind of is what it is. And it, it's for all platforms, which is incredible. Goes on the front of your tractor and... And you could put a baler behind it, a loading wagon, whatever you need to do. And it picks it all up. <laughs> I've also heard that there's another modder that's supposed to be bringing something together. Uh, Hispano modding. Something like we've got in, uh, uh, what is it, on the, the front of those big mowers? so Or big uh, balers, rather. So that's kind of cool. Uh, one thing I am going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pick up all of this stuff from the outside of the uh, field. That way, I don't have to do it later. This is good. Plus, one cool thing, our mower here, he's doing a great job, is missing a little bit here and there, uh, as you could tell, but we'll, we'll come through and we'll fix that. But at least for now, I'm gonna try and go through and see how much of this I could pick up. I don't wanna bother you guys with just going back and forth in the fields like this, because we've got other stuff to do today, stuff that I wanna do. But this still is pretty cool. Piece of candy. So I've been running this thing for, I don't know, two or three minutes now, something like that. And it is epic. Dude! So the, the loading wagon, there's nothing special about it. All it does is holds more, that's it, and doesn't weigh a bunch whenever you put a bunch on it. But this front piece, man, this Samaz is killing it. Look at this. We go all the way up the side, it doesn't matter. No matter how fast I go, it doesn't care. Uh, the baler that we've got, you gotta be careful because the baler can only pick up so much at a time. I'm probably gonna have to modify that baler just so it'll pick up more quicker. But this thing, no, no sir, this is epic. I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I, I, can't, I can't sit around all day doing this. Oop, missed some. Uh, I can't sit around all day doing this. It's gonna take me forever. So I am gonna have to go ahead and lease or do something with the uh, uh, rapid windrow. Uh, we're gonna use that to get the rest of this done. Fortunately for us, uh, because <laughs> well, I started recording this before doing a mod news day. So I'll record generally for like an hour to an hour and a half before getting work done. And then I'll turn around. Let's see, we'll go ahead and, oh, we gotta turn that off first, huh? Raise it. And then fold it, possibly. There we go, yes. Uh, so I normally record these videos in early morning before doing any of the other stuff. Uh, so I normally would just let this sit while I'm doing farm some news. So like, this guy's already done. Yeah, it's just it's pretty cool, huh? Uh, it's gorgeous, by the way. This area, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that! That's awesome! I still think I'm gonna do silage bells. I'm I'm still kind of back and forth on all that. 
As far as the one field around here, by the way, yeah, that was the only field that I picked up. We got 181,000 liters of grass off of that. So that's pretty good. What I've decided is that of everything we pick up, 40% will be set to silage. 40% will be made as hay. So we'll do a half and half there. And then the remaining 20% will be kept. And we're going to use that for just grass, for feeding the sheep and things like that. As a matter of fact, I could probably go ahead and feed them now but we'll, we'll do that later i'm gonna we'll feed we'll feed everybody right when we need to so here's what i'm gonna do to make my life a little bit easier because i'm gonna be here all day i'm gonna be here all day i don't i don't want to i don't want to do it i don't want to be here all day it's supposed to be fun it's not supposed to be work i don't want to do it there's a lot to do so i'm gonna take the loading wagon here we're gonna dump it and then I'm going to go lease the big one. I know you guys like to see that one. We haven't used it a lot, at least on the on screen. Let's empty this and see how it looks and how fast it dumps. All right, so that's going to take a while. While we're at it, let's go in here to Forge Wagons. Let's find ourselves a handy dandy this. There we go. We'll throw, uh, let's see, it's a 1 million liter or I think 10? 10? 10 million liter? Yeah, so we'll just do the 10 million. We'll do a trailer board. We'll set up a cool windrow system. Absolutely. Since we are using the Massey, I say that we go full blackout mode. Yeah, something like that. That'll work. And then rims, we'll go with a uh, black there as well. That is looking fresh. Uh, it is going to cost us a little bit of cash to lease it, though. $7,700. And I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to go back on that. If it costs money to use it, we're going to... We're going to have to pay. Yeah. I did buy this Pottinger, by the way. Kind of excited about this thing. Though. Let's back it up and have a little bit of fun in the video today. How's about that? <laughs> I got so excited I dropped my weight. <laughs> oh, that's way funnier than it should have been. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I think before I had said that we needed to fertilize the grass fields. I don't think that's going to happen today. Not... Not with the amount of time that we've got. Also, we gotta figure out exactly what we're gonna do with the grass for field 25. Ooh, this is heavy. Oh, this is a lot heavier than it was in Farming Simulator 19. I should probably go in and modify the weight a little bit of this thing, because that's, it is quite heavy. Um, yeah, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with that, because I think there's probably gonna be about two million liters of grass on that field. I don't know for sure. I'm just ballparking. I'm sure most of you guys would have good or better guesses than I do, but I think there's going to be a lot of grass on that field. So we got to figure out what are we going to do with it? Are we going to do loose grass? Are we going to bale it up? Are we going to do it in this episode? We're going to do it in the next episode. Are we going to get like this again? Wee, 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 wee. Why did I lower the front weight? <laughs> no one does that. All right, let's try this again. There we go. All right. Uh, so yeah, I got to figure out exactly what we're going to do with all of that again there's a ton of it i think maybe the best thing to do would be to make some silage bells and then try and sell those but even silage because silage bells are pretty simple to make the thing is whenever we get in and we start looking at silage it just like everything else has price fluctuations so we can't just let it sell throughout the year because it's gonna take a while i guess i could go in and modify the bga Unfortunately, I gotta tell you, I don't know how to do that yet. I've been messing around with the code, but I still haven't got it all figured out. So we don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Uh, we'll have to get it all sorted and figured out definitely because there's a lot going on up there. Whatever we do, we need to make sure we're making money. So that's that's kind of the, the big thing there. I think with three harvests per year, these grass fields in this area... I think these are going to be totally fine for us with the bonus being 25. So maybe now go with me here. Uh, just listen to this one. Maybe we don't always do grass. Now it is kind of nice having your largest field not have to be planted every, you know, three, four months. Cause obviously we're going to be getting quite a few extra harvests out of fields, but I don't know. Like I said, there's, there's a lot to think about. There's a lot going on. We're doing pretty well. We're one day away from, I would guess, over a million dollars coming in. Only one day away. And I'm pretty pumped about it. Because we're going to get a lot of cash. 
But I wonder how many grass, how much, how, how many? You know, we should probably just go to the outro because this whole episode's just been me trying to figure out how to say words. Let's, let's just put me out of my misery. How about that? So let's start the episode with something that you probably didn't imagine I'd be doing. I'm going to buy a new weight for the tractor. Yes. I don't Why? Well, I've been chatting with Polly Count Taz uh, the past couple days and he's got a, a uh, weight out. Now, if we can go through and find this bad boy, it's the self-made weight. And I'll actually explain why it's called the self-made weight because this is kind of cool. This has a, a story to it, which is neat. I didn't know about. I think about 900 kg should be pretty good for the front of it. This is something that's really used on his family farm. Even the hydraulic pin right here as well. They did that so they didn't have to get out of the tractor and go cha-ching and make it work. How cool is that? I need to go in here. I need to change this to case IH red and then design. I think I'm going to do like a beige. I think that'll work pretty well with the styre that we've got. <laughs> I think that's beige. I don't know. Let's, let's get in here and go whoosh. <laughs> I love that button. Let's reset the weight just to make sure that it fits the color options properly. But uh, yeah, he was telling me that this is something he really uses. He sent over a video of this piece of equipment on his uh, family farm. I was like, that's awesome. Why am I not using that? He's like, I don't know, man. So we're going to use it from now on. We're going to hook it up. Kaboom. Yes. Definitely looks a little bit more cool rather than just a boring way till the front doesn't it yes it does all right so now we've got that uh, i think we're done with this tractor for the whole episode so i'm gonna put it away sorry bro anyway that's a really cool weight i love that thing next we need to head down to the bga because we're gonna place another mod down from another friend of the channel omatana we're gonna be using her fermenting silo and well if you know me uh, you know i've probably done something to it omatana i'm so sorry <laughs> I added the words modded to the end of it. Uh, I may have added two zeros to every number that you had, uh, except for one of the numbers. So we'll share what those numbers are later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place this down over here, maybe like in the corner or something like that. So we got a back end to fill this up, but it leaves us room. Well, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just show you later. So I'm going to place this about right in here-ish back about as far as we can because we're going to be using a belt system to run the silage into the fermenter uh, it's going to take it a little while so might as well do it like that kaboom just like so uh this is going to make us way more than 30 grand so i'm totally fine placing this down in here yes oh i'm so excited if you guys are not familiar with this mod you really need to go download it so what this will do is it takes grass hay or chaff and turns it into silage. Now, I've added, like I said, a couple zeros to the end. So normally it does 1,000 cycles every, I think it's like 12 minutes in game, something like that. It runs five cycles per hour. Well, I made mine do 100,000, and it holds more. It holds, it, it might hold 10 million liters. By the way, base code, this holds 2 million liters of each crop. You could put a lot in here. I didn't even need to change that. We're also going to need a belt system to be able to go from here over to here. I think it'd be pretty cool. I, I don't know if you can actually dump stuff there or not. Uh, this is using the base game Planet BGA, so it's not modified in any way. Once I can figure out exactly how to do that, I'm going to do that. But the BGAs confuse me so much. So I'm kind of waiting on Caster's BGAs to come out. Regardless, that's where we're at right now now let's take this so this is the grass that we gained from all of the fields that we did in the last episode so that includes 35 the little one down here the secret field in du woods and field number four and this is all going to be grass and of course this silo will do some some magic to it as well and i'm totally not cheating off screen whatsoever so we've got this and I decided not to get rid of it. So why don't we take this over to that big old field over there and have a little bit of fun. One thing I'm not sure about when we get into here is how much we're going to have. I know there's a bunch of grass in here. I mean, this took, oh goodness, I don't, I don't know if it took an hour. 
It took a solid like 30 or 45 minutes to mow all of this. Like I did all of the research for Farm Sim News while the worker did this job. So it, it's going to take a little bit of time. All right, we'll kind of open that up, drop it down, turn it on. And we should, as long as we line up properly, we should be able to get three, three runs. Yeah, I think we could do this. Uh, three runs the whole time. Normally I'll just shoot for two. And that, that's, that's fine for me. That, you know, I'll, I'll take the time and get the job done that way. But doing it this way with three was going to save us a whole lot of time. And I think we can reach it. One of the great things about uh, choosing your loading wagon, or for me, choosing your modded loading wagon, you also get to kind of choose and figure out how you're going to do a couple other things as well. For example, uh, your mowers. You don't want them to be too... Uh, too wide or too narrow because then you can't pick everything up so a couple things to think about there plus now we've got like super modified versions of balers that'll have windrows on the front and everything there's so much more to think about now that just do the job and figure it out later unless it's taken me three four farming simulator games to figure out that's the whole thing anyway yeah. am I dumb all right, let's let's go ahead and pick some of this up. We've already got a hundred thousand liters, which is just crazy. After just picking up the rows around the outside, we've almost got three hundred thousand liters, which is crazy. Uh, I suspected between one and two million liters on this field, and I'm sticking to it. I think we're going to be getting about three. I don't know, say too much. Two million. Maybe. I don't know if we're going to hit that. Maybe one and a half. One and a half seems a little bit more right. All right, last pickup right here. This is it. We barely got a million liters. So heads up, if you're going to be doing this field and you've got it full to the max, all the things, you're going to get a little over a million liters. That's not disappointing. Shocking. Very shocking. I thought there was a lot more grass than that. Maybe... Maybe I'm just so used to seeing that much straw and be like, great, six million liters of straw. My favorite. Let's back this bad boy in right here. So this grass is going to turn into this exact amount of silage. At least it should. There we go. <laughs> One million liters in. Kaboom, kaboom. We'll go ahead and take a look at it just to check and monitor. You can see we've got a grass in there. Perfect. And then every, oh goodness, uh, five minute 12 minutes every 12 minutes we'll get 100,000 liters so that'll take uh, about what two hours ish yeah about two hours that should be perfectly fine so we don't need this anymore also when does silage sell do you guys know wait hang on grass silage not active now it's active i <laughs> got him let's check real real quick and see silage prices tell me tell me tell me When's our best time to sell some silage? January, okay. So we've got two months to do well. Unfortunately, that's gonna be the only grass harvest that we get from that, so it is what it is. Also, we don't need this anymore. So let's go ahead and detach. Kaboom, there you go. I don't wanna buy that. It's it's kind of a special thing. I know I used to use it all the time. <laughs> all the time, that's probably an understatement as well. But I don't know. It's, I like using it. I know some of you guys like seeing me use it, but it's, you know, I don't want to use it all the time. It's just a little bit too easy to be cheaty, even though everything else is cheap. You know what? I didn't call myself out. You Leave me alone. All right, let's move on. <laughs> so the last thing that we need to do at least for that field is we need to get fertilizer down. So let's come over here to 82 Studios, buying anything you want and everything you want. It's all good. We got it stationed. Ooh, a little expensive there. Uh, it's about a thousand liters per, or thousand dollars per. So yeah, that's a little bit high. Woo! Love that little shortcut right there, dude. I've been using that all the time with this little tractor. It just jumps right in. And yes, I understand the John, the uh, Fit Seven is not a small tractor by any means, but it's the small tractor on my farm, and I love it. It's actually the first tractor we built. Have you guys watched the uh, episode 1 through 10 Supercut yet, by the way? It's, this is episode 14. You should have seen it by now. If you haven't, go check it out. I normally link stuff like that at the very beginning, so it should be in the cards. Uh, wherever you click to see the cards on mobile or on your uh, desktop, 
uh, you should be able to find it there nice and easy. So I'm going to yeet right in here. <laughs> We're going to fertilize this grass field up real quick. And then I think it's going to be ready to fast forward time another day, which would be very nice. Before we head off into the next day in game, which by the way, tomorrow in game is going to be epic. Uh, well, I got to come over here and watch this because this is going to fill up overnight. <laughs> it's never, ever, ever fun. So time to fast forward time. Unfortunately, because of the way I've got everything set up, we've got 250 sheep. Stupid sheep. Uh, and, and well, their wool fills up super mega fast. So as soon as one pops up, I got to move it. This is not happening as fast as it normally does. Uh, let's see in the morning? Yeah. All right, well, not as many pallets as I was expecting us to get, but we still got quite a few. We got six plus one. This holds eight, so at least, uh, at least we know that's good. Um, you should probably pick these up, but don't really have enough to get a full trailer, at least as of yet. You are adorable. Uh, yo, when when Jai said that the sheep would be absolutely super, super cute and adorable, they were not kidding. I want to pet the sheep. Come here. <laughs> One of the great things about December is we get to sell our oats today, and we're going to also be able to sell something else, our canola, which we have none of yet. But don't worry. <laughs> she ready to harvest, boys. Let's go. Look at that canola ready to harvest. Yield bonus 98%. Yes, I love it. All right, so what I want to do first, I think I want to make a little bit of money. And I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get the harvesting done today or not. We will find that out. Let's find out first where we're going to be taking our oats to. And it looks like it's pretty obvious right here. $1,300 per thousand liters. We have 243,000 liters. December, best time. Usually... I think it's like the, the month before this, like November is the best time, but you know what? It's it's fine. Ooh, Farm Bay is better. Yep, let's let's go there. Tag the place. All right, so we're going to need to get a massive trailer for this because 243,000 liters isn't going to transport itself, nor is it going to transport itself in, by itself. And I don't want to make 200 and how many ever trips. That sounds awful. That's 10 trips if you're doing 24,000 liters. So what we're going to do is use this trailer. Now, this is a highly modified Chew to Maker uh, Rapid 580. That's a deer. Let's hit it. Got him. Uh, we, we're going to modify this to go all the way up. So this trailer has been modified to hold 50,000, 100,000, or 1 million liters. That's great news because we've got over a hundred thousand liters to transport so i'm going to modify this super quickly there we go put that about right there come over here modify so we're going to go down to capacity for more to most that's going to bring us up to a million liters which is perfect and then we want do i have five hundred and seventy-five thousand liters of barley what how am i just realizing this goodness gracious that's gonna give us a whole lot of money, even under a hundred thousand dollars or under a thousand dollars per thousand. Oof! I am playing in normal mode, by the way, as well. I I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah, we're we're playing in normal mode. At least we should be. We should probably double check that as well. Um, is it in here? Yeah, difficulty normal. I haven't played difficulty normal in years. <laughs> It's like Farm Sim 17, probably. Yeah, it did. Go me, I guess. All right, how in the world do we get down here and where are we going? All right, so it's right there. It's at the store. So we just need to go like we're going to the store. And that'll be perfectly fine. And uh, also something else funny. I don't think I've ever driven to the store on purpose. I always reset everything. Yeah, well, this should be a fun trip. All right, how do I get in here? <laughs> Uh, okay, this looks pretty self-explanatory from here. I know I've done a map door and everything on this. I just haven't really paid much attention to how to actually get in and out via a tractor. Also, there's a lot of pieces of candy around here as well. All right. Go in and out of here. Swing over here. And this is it right here. Okay. 
We are going to get a lot of money for this. And I am really excited about it as well. There goes the money. This is some of the first... Actually, this is our big first bulk... Big... <laughs> money! Yeah, we're already over 200 grand. Going up into the 220s now, 230s. Woo! We got 150,000 liters left. We haven't even done half of it yet. We're already over 100 grand. Oh, it makes me happy. And what's that final take gonna be? Here we go! Boop. $321,000. Yes, sir! What's on sale? <laughs> Anything good? Well, we got a little uh, older fin. A little fin favorite. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah. Forgot to buy a, uh, a belt. We should probably do that. I don't have a trailer hitch on the back of this, though. Uh, I might I might do a, a reset kind of thing. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But, yeah, I. <laughs> that's one thing that I may have forgotten about is buying a belt system. We should, we should go check on that. How's it doing? probably done yeah it's it's done we've got our 1100 liters of silage in there ready to go it wants to be sold man we need to go sell it there's a couple ways that this could work and i'm hoping that it works the way that i want it to so we need to get silage from that into this now unfortunately i don't think we're going to be able to get very much going on through here at the same time uh double check real quick silage there it is so uh, let's see, cycles per month, 24, as opposed to 120, uh, though we are doing 21, but under 100, yeah, this isn't going to go as fast as I want it to, so we may, this might take a long time to get all of the silage down, we have a million liters, it's going to take a minute, so here's what I'm thinking, so we've got that, a couple other things we need to double check, real quick, again, silage, when's the best time to sell it, I'm sure it's not now, We'll go from there. Uh, December, January. Okay, so it's not terrible, but it will be going down soon. But I still think it's going to take about a year to sell it all. So here's what we're going to do. Let's save this location. We need to go in and we need to get ourselves a belt. Now, this one would be cool, but unfortunately, I don't think that one's going to work for what we need to do. So let's go in here. Belt systems. I think this is the one that we need right here. The Grimmy. Is there any customization to it? No, oh, nope. Just is what it is. Uh, it's going to cost us $38,000. That's totally fine. Got that. Hey, and it even put it here for us. All right, cool. Go ahead and reset that and jump in here. I need my help window on because I don't know exactly how to control this one. Raise it up. Which way is forward? All right, so that way's forward. Back it around. Ooh, this does sound pretty cool, though. So you guys probably see my idea. I don't know if I could get a tipper over here, but I think doing it this way, at least for me, this is going to be the easiest. S slowest for sure. But if I don't have to think about it, then it's fast. Right? <laughs> I don't know. All right. So about right there. Uh, it's not giving me the trigger to empty this, which is a little bit worrying. Oh, boy. Oh. Uh -huh. All right, we got that. Boom that over there. Still not giving me the uh, the option. All right, we'll we'll go unload here. Oh man. Um, hang on. All right. Well, I'm not saying this doesn't work, but what I am saying is it doesn't work for me, and I don't know why. So that that stinks. Uh, how am I going to do this now? I have a game plan, and the game plan is to do it like this. Uh, I don't I don't know if this is going to work, man. Uh, let's be straight up honest with each other. Is this going to work? I don't, I don't know if I could dump to the ground or not. All right, we'll pull under here. We'll do that. I am going to modify this one again. We don't want it to be on most anymore. I want it to be on normal. 50,000 liters. That should be plenty. We'll go through here. Oh, we can actually get hay, chaff, and grass out as well. That's kind of neat. All right, all right, all right. I see you. All right, Oxy, did you let us dump it on the ground in front of it? Or do I have to actually get up in there? I can't even get over the, that little... Hey, Oxy's the man. All right. We'll dump this in here. I don't know how much it's going to hold. 
I guess we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> Hang on. Massey's damage is at 44%. Are you serious? It looks totally fine. I don't know. All right. So it looks like 50,000 liters was not a bad go, at least to start with. So I'll take that. We should start making a little bit extra cash from that, which is great news. And I don't, I don't really know what to do with this trailer right now. I know I'm going to need it later, so maybe I'll just take it back to the main farm. Also, I know we've got a bunch of bells to sell. I forgot. I forgot. We could have done that today, but we're going to have to do it tomorrow because I don't have time. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's so many bells. All right, let's go over here. We'll do our outro with the bells. And with that out of the way, let's get it rocking and rolling, everybody. So we're going to start off with the claws, the nice, beautiful Tryon. Now, I really really wanted to get another one of these i like the uh i like the combine i like the header option on it 10 meters that seems to be just about perfect for what we do here on the map and it all works great however we've got something on sale and i think it's going to be just a little bit too hard to pass up we'll go in here real quick and it's not the case. Funny enough, I do like the case. However, uh, it's running about 227 grand, which is about half our money. And I don't want to spend about half our money just on the combine when I still got to buy a harvester. However, the new Holland's on sale for 105 grand. All I got to do is buy the header with it, which ain't going to be that expensive. And we're good. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. We're going to be getting the New Holland Harvester. So that will be our first New Holland piece of equipment, which I'm kind of excited about. We've already got the Steyr, so it's kind of like a case. Let's go through, double check, make sure that our straw swath is enabled. As I was mentioning in the last video, I've got a mod installed that will allow me to get canola straw. Uh, I, I don't know how it works. <laughs> But I know that it works, and as you can see, it definitely works. So the canola straw is going out, and we're going to be, of course, bailing all of this up and including it with everything else. I might try to get the straw harvest done today, or it may be in episode 16 in the next episode that may be there as well. Either way, we're getting a new harvester today. All I got to do is run a couple headlands around this field and then hire the worker so that it's all getting done. It will be in our new combine. So let's get to it, baby. Yeah. Come on, Harvester's Rock and do it his thing. We got everything set up. So let's get in here and get ourselves a new Harvester. So it will be the New Holland CH770 PV22. That means it's a little bit cheaty. Uh, we are using Trelleborg tires on this map, but I'm not opposed to kind of going through and taking a look and seeing what else we've got. I do like the look of those rice steins on there. And of course, BKTs are always gorgeous. Ooh, Midas. Hello. Nah, I thought, you know what? I, I think Trellborg's going to be the answer here. We've got a standard wide tire. Anyway, we do need to go with the DJ60 ham. DJ go ham. What up, what up, what up? Okie dokie. Got it on the back. Perfect. Let's buy it. Boom. Now, we also need to get a header for it. So the headers, uh, you guys can use your just uh, standard, actually. Yeah, super flag 20, that's seven and a half, eight and a half. Oh, yeah. That, I'm sitting here going through my head going, wait, there's two? Yeah, there are two, but we only modified one of them. <laughs> the larger of the two. Yes, sir. No customization options for this one. Does kind of stink, but whatever is what it is. And it looks like I may have to babysit this guy coming back, so we'll just keep an eye on that. In the meantime, here it is. Let's jump out of it though. I want to get this reset. This is the easiest thing. Boom, got that reset. Boom, got that reset. Now, it's right here. Perfect. Got our buddy over here working just fine. So those of you astute may say, DJ, this one is a little bit smaller than your other one. No, but yes, actually this one's quite a bit smaller, about three meters smaller on the header itself. But that's, that's okay. I. You know what? I'll I'll get over it. Three three meters might be a trigger, but it is what it is. Let's bring it in. Let's make sure our straw swath is enabled. Ooh, it is disabled by uh There we go. Come on. Hurry up. There you go. Alright, we'll turn it on. We'll enable a little bit of fast farm action going on. One nice thing about this though is that whenever we come through to pick up the straw, we should be able to pick up two 
runs at the same time because the baler that we use is bigger. I think it runs at about 10 meters. And since we're already running a, a headers that are 10 meters, it barely reaches, so I don't even try. But with this, I will definitely be attempting to pick up two swaths at once, which might even make our overall workflow a little bit quicker, especially since this header, or this combine rather, is meant to be set on a worker and forgotten about. Run your headlands around the field, hire the worker, do whatever else you need to do. That's why I've purchased this, not to get things done quickly, but so that I can just get something done a little bit faster and for a little bit, you know, a little bit of money. We spent about 150 grand on this entire package altogether, which again, totally cool with. And it's working just fine. Check this out. This thing is rocking. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on all wheel drive just in case we had a straw swat that we can't handle. Otherwise, I think we're doing pretty good right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get this, uh, the headlands finished. We'll hire him on a worker. And then I guess we can go ahead and get started with bailing because that's gonna be the only other thing we really need to do. I'll tell you guys what, pulling this machine out of the barn might be one of my favorite things to do. This is such an epic piece of equipment. Huge, huge baler, absolutely massive. Love it, love it, love it. Only thing is I'm a little bit worried about getting into the head rows down there. So I might try and behave a little bit and <laughs> just go back and forth, back and forth. Let's double check, make sure we're working 20, yeah, 240 centimeter bells. Perfect, perfect. We'll go ahead and enable fast farming. Can we? Yeah. And turn it on. Now this is what I was talking about. This baler almost can reach over there, but not quite. So I don't even try. However, with the combine on the other side, I think it might be pretty advantageous to at least attempt to do it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Yeah, I left a little pile right there, didn't we? <laughs> Oops. And I'm just gonna go back and forth, picking up some straw, making some bales, doing my thing. Now, if you remember, a couple episodes ago, we made a bunch of bales. Matter of fact, let's. Let's go ahead and get up in the air a little bit and take a look at them. So as you can see right here, we've got five runs. I believe that's four piles of 32 and one pile of 31. I don't know how many that is, but it's plenty. That's how many it is. Oof, a little far to the ground there. We're gonna take all of these bales in combination with these bales that we're gonna get off of every one of these fields. And by every one, I mean all three. Oh, we're going to have a whole lot of bells. Oh, I'm so excited. Not very long after, and one of the fields is already done. Can you guess which one it is? Well, I'll give you a hint. It's the one in front of us. <laughs> Field number three. All right, let's go ahead and do this because I think we're at like 92, 93,000 liters. This holds 100, so it's very, very not... Not too bad, let's go ahead and turn it on because combine harvesters need to be on whenever you're unloading them. It's it's just a thing. Ooh, hopefully this will hold. I don't have a 50,000 liter limit on this thing, do I? Darn it. I think we can, we can fix this. Customize. Yeah, normal. Why is that on 50,000? When did I do that? Oh, I did that in the last episode, didn't I? Sure did. All right, there we go. Yeah, cool. All right, so that's in there. That's doing good. Love that front weight, by the way. You got to check that out from Polycount Taz. So that's one done. We've still got this guy, who I think's eh, well over halfway done, maybe three quarters of the way done, something like that. So he's doing fine. We've got one other field to do, <clears throat> and then we're done. Ooh, and so is my voice. Goodness gracious. All right. We're doing okay so far. We've got plenty of bells being made over here. I'm very happy about that. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this first because you try and, it, and you'll probably understand this. When you're trying to go through and figure out, okay, who am I gonna set on a worker? What jobs am I gonna do? You kind of have to prepare for the worker first because they can get stuff done when you're not working. And even when you're preparing stuff for the worker, you're still working. If that's confusing, it should be because I'm, really confused right now we should move on you guys want to move on let's move on at this point everything's looking pretty good yes sir so let's uh i don't know should we do a a, a, a doobly dump is that what it was called i don't know i think these unloaded the same amount yeah they unloaded the same amount 
<laughs> there we go. All right, so that's in there. We'll take a look and see exactly how much canola we've got. Boom, boom, I think, oh, right here. So we got 144,000 liters in there right now, but we've got plenty more coming through with our combine harvester right here. 76,000 liters in there already. And they're not too far from being done. So that's pretty good. What I need to do is I need to go ahead and get all of this stuff put away. I am going to keep the combine harvester on this farm. I think if I can find some room for it, I think what I might have to do is move the telehandler. By the way, should we sell this? I don't think I've used it much. And we don't do grass bells anymore. We're only doing straw bells. I mean, it's fun to have. So that's cool, but that's about it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. You you guys tell me. Ooh, can we pull this all the way through? Yes, we can. And we can put the telehandler back in there. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. Well, that makes that easy, doesn't it? Hey, now we've got a reason to keep the telehandler around. So we can move it to get the combine out. <laughs> all right. So... Let's see how many bells have we made so far. I can't remember. There we go. 65 bells. Not too bad. So we got a bunch more up there. And we've got a lot more to be able to make right here. Now, can we? Can we pick up both swaths at the same time? I think it'll barely reach. Which is good. Can we do this? Is it going to work? We're going to be able to reach both of them without having to come back through? I think we are, yes. Now I'm going to have to behave and pay a little bit more. All right. Why does this keep missing stuff? Is this just not picking up? I think what's happening is it's piling up so fast in front of the baler that it can't pick it all up at the same time. All right. So that's definitely something that I'm going to have to go through maybe in the code and the files and mess with myself because... I don't want it to leave straw in the middle of the field. I would like to be able to have all of this, please and thank you, even though straw goes a little bit away. So, regardless, anyway, I'll quit complaining. I'm going to pick up some of the straw. We'll see how much of it I can get. Ah, we missed a little bit right there. That's okay. We'll pick it up coming back through. This is kind of neat. This should save us a little bit of time, even though I have to go a little bit slower to be able to pick it all up. So, hit these head rows and then coming through like this. I don't know if this was the best directional way to do it or not also i've modified this baler to intake fifty thousand liters a second and it's still not helping on the ends right here when you get a bunch of this so just uh just be careful go a little bit slower it'll take it all in just fine and you will be just fine as well uh going back and forth a little difficult uh this is about the limit of this thing so just barely being able to hit both of the lines left and right and then you get down to the end right here you gotta slow down a little bit hit all that make sure you're good then swing it wide in order to pick this part up just to come back in and do it again at the end it's it's interesting <laughs> it's not the easy oh, i'm missing a little bit uh it's not the easiest thing to do definitely doable i mean 100 percent doable you just really got to pay attention. I'm not even sure using a controller or a uh, mouse and keyboard is the best way to do this. You may you may want a steering wheel just so you can have super, super fine control over this. I think that's maybe the best way and possibly the only way to do this without any problems. But as you can see, we're doing just fine. We're almost finished with this field. Hey, I like it. And just like that, we are done with this fill. Let's go ahead and fold everything up. We'll take a look and see what is our bell count. Now, about uh, 15, 20-ish hours have passed since the last clip. So let's, oh, I'm going way too fast. Slow down, baby. How many we got? So we got 29 bells. I made 79 bells the last time around. So that's going to be a total of 108 bells total that we've made so far. Not terrible. Also, what are some other specs? I'm just curious. 38 hours on the gameplay series so far. That's not terrible. We've made almost 500 bells, which is crazy. Uh, 58,000 liters of fertilizer. Are you kidding me? Goodness gracious. Uh, and collectibles. One piece of candy out of 100. Oh, yeah. And all the combine harvesters and everything, they're totally done now. I couldn't remember if I did a clip showing <laughs> putting away the harvester or not, but 
Yeah, the harvesters are completely done. We can go in and take a look at what we've got. So we had a total of 224,000 liters of canola. I can't remember. Do we sell that today or later? Ooh, it's today, boys. Where are we selling it? Oh, man, those prices are not great, are they? Not at all. Uh, let's see. 231, 73. That's going to be the one right there. Cotswall store. So 1,200. We'll still make plenty of money on that. I'm just not crazy about the amount of money that it is. I want more money. Let's let's get in here and let's let's get to work. Uh, this is going to be the last run. Unfortunately, I can't do uh, double runs on this, so I'm just going to have to go straight up and down each of these. But that'll be a little bit easier on me. Rock and roll. Let's get this field done and see what our total bell count is before we can go sell some bells and make a bunch of cash, baby. Yeah. All done. Let's take a look at our numbers and see what we've got. So, 86 produced bells, at least in this gameplay series, matched with the 79 that I did previously. That's going to give us, I think it's 165 bells, if I did the math correctly. I know I'm not allowed to do math, but I just did something there. I think it's right. 165 bells bales just on three fields well it's gonna be a lot isn't it sure is well now we need to figure out where we're gonna sell it and well figuring out where we're gonna sell it's a pretty easy solution considering where all the rest of them are if we go down over here to straw uh everything that we've got i think is at the uh Coswell's, well, prices are all virtually identical anyway these are one dollar differences per thousand liters it's not gonna make a huge difference i mean We've got a lot, so it'll make a bit of a difference, but not enough for us to really care too much. But we do need to start getting all the bells up, and we do need to get ready and sell them. One thing that I'm going to do to hopefully protect ourselves from price craziness is I'm going to take the time down to zero time while I'm selling. I've been playing at 0.5 just because we got so much to do today, and it's December, so you don't get a lot of sunlight. All right. Go get our bell trailer and get moving on 165 bells. Oof. Drop off number one. Load number two. Offloading number three. Number four. Five. And lastly, number six. Although this one's not really that impressive. We're going to sell these first just so we can kind of get it over with. And then we're going to come through and load up everything else. Like I said, we've got, I think it was five stacks over there we've got five stacks over here this should be a very very good money making opportunity for us and we're going to try and do as much of it here with each other as we can so the sell point inside i believe is right about here i think i think this is the one bell sell point hey -oh. all right let's do it uh we will offload the bells just like so perfect 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 there we go all right Four grand for those, not too bad. Ooh, I almost forgot that we need to take that time down to zero. There we go. The reason for doing that is because I don't want the price to go down. Usually when you sell about 200,000 liters of something, the price goes down. Well, we have a lot. <laughs> All right, let's reset. And we're gonna try and pick these up one load at a time. There we go, perfect, perfect, perfect. This should make things nice and easy. But again, that's what I'm doing. Back and forth, picking them up one load at a time. Uh, also, we should definitely check on our BGA and stuff. I did have one person that sent me a uh, modified version of the 200KW uh, BGA and uh, gave me some instruction on how to do that. I thought about doing it, but I'm still a little bit back and forth on what I want to do exactly. I know this map can be a little bit funny when you try and move stuff. So I wonder if I could just delete that BGA and put down a new one or if... We're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. I'm not sure. Either way, uh, we got a lot that needs to be done. All right. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Bell sells. <laughs> I love how the bells tried selling this game. Cracks me up. Also, dude over here in the middle of my trailer. Get out of my trailer. Cool. All right. $25,000 per load. That's going to be about 200 grand. Two, 250. Somewhere around there. It's a lot of money. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start selling all these, and we'll pick back up whenever we're hitting our last load. Going in to pick up the very last load now, and we have more than doubled our money. We're at 517 grand right now. Insane. 
boop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop got him uh yeah don't go too fast by the way if you're trying to do that don't just fly past it it farms them 19 and 17 they would just magically appear on there uh they take time they do take a few seconds to go old in, uh, in 22 so just be careful it's it's not quite the same this is our last cell right here i'm averaging about twenty five thousand four hundred ish dollars per load so let's see what we get here Gajunk, gajunk, gajunk. And the last bit, 25, 569. Couldn't have ended on more of a nice number than that. So now we can at least uh, forward time a little bit more. We'll head it to 0.5. And we have made money. A lot of money. Let's go in here and see if we can find bell cells. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Right in here. Sold bells, 257 thousand dollars i don't even know how many bills that is but i do know that's a lot of money and i'm real happy about it and with that let's quit flying and let's get right into it what i did we are gonna sell the bga now i'm trying to swap out the bga in the files it doesn't seem to be working we do have some stuff in here for example, if we go down and take a look in silage, you can see we've got about 800 and some liters of digestate. Uh, we do have 47,000 liters of silage, which is quite a bit. We may pay ourselves back for that. We may not. But you can see here the recipe not looking great because I added a bunch of zeros to these in the files and they're not showing it. Well... I have invested my time and efforts into one of these. Now, I've had a couple people send me BGAs. However, I decided to, uh, well, modify and make my own. It's quite literally the same BGA that's already here on the map. So it should fit pretty well. Uh, the only thing is it costs 100 grand. And this one, well, you, you see what we sold it for. Not a whole lot. But the good thing is... We could put this down. So let's make sure we're all kind of nice and squared off. I think about right there will be good. Okay. Looking good there. Looking good from the back. And go. Oof. All right. So now we need to figure out, is this going to be worth it? Hey, look. It's my extra zeros that I added. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. So we need to go. We need to find ourselves some... How much silage do we have in here? I'm just curious. One million liters. We're going to be so rich. While we're at it, let's go ahead and sell some canola. Because today is canola day, baby. Oh, yeah. Ooh. A little bit squirrely right there. I did talk about purchasing possibly a new weight for the front of this. We did get a new weight that came out a few days ago. At least at the time of recording this video that extends out a little bit and helps with stability. Well, I don't know if I want to do that or not, but this seems to be working all right for me, at least right now. So we're going to take the trailer that we've got behind us. We're going to bump that up to the most capacity. So it's going to be 1 million liter capacity. We're going to take our canola and we're trying to find a good place to sell it. And then we will be good. Uh, at least at the time of recording this video, the new patch for Farming Simulator 22 is not out yet. I know a lot of you guys like to go back and rewatch these in order. So you'll know exactly what's going on there. Oh yeah, <laughs> we've got so much stuff. I didn't change it. Crap. Uh, maybe I could change it right now. Possibly customize more, most. Look up. There we go. All right. So this is going in. Now we need to figure out where we're going to be selling this. Let's go to our prices. Let's go down to Canola and we'll find the one with the most amount of money. I think it's Cotswold Stores. Tag the place and figure out where it is. Oh, no way. It's down at the BGA. Yo, that makes things a little bit easier, doesn't it? One other thing that I did not mention that we're going to do today is fix all of our vehicles. Uh, if I select this tractor, for example, you look at the bottom right hand corner. Uh, it's low. It's real low. <laughs> it's basically broken is what it is. I don't want to make it all the way broken. So I'm trying to only fix the vehicles once a year, but I think we might have to fix them more than once a year because they are really, really needing some attention, some love, care, and attention. And boy, oh boy, is it not getting it right now. 
So all in all today, we've got canola cell. We already did the BGA. We need to fix the equipment. Uh, we're also going to be moving slurry over here to the BGA as well. I'm trying to get that sold because we have well, enough. But right now is the best time, the best time to sell it. So we're going to take full advantage of that and get as much money as we possibly can. So we'll pull around through here. We will get this canola sold. Should give us a pretty good amount of money. Select it. There we go. All right, I don't know how long this is going to take, but I do know that money is going up fast. Nearing the roundabout way on the end right now, and what did we get? $284,000. Not too bad at all. I am playing in normal mode. Beforehand, I played in easy a lot, and it turns out easy mode is a little bit too easy a farming simulator once you start making money. Also, yes, I'm not using production chains to sell this stuff. Usually, I would make canola oil or I'd be making flour. Well, I do a lot of flower simulator, so yeah, changing it up just a little bit. Maybe we'll get there one day, but I think uh, I think I'm pretty happy with that sale. Now, this next one, this is going to be fairly easy as well. I'm just going to go under here. We're going to unload all of the silage, and we're going to dump it in. I think it's got a 10 million liter capacity for silage. Ah, great. Crash counter plus one. Good job. <laughs> I need to make that a little bit quieter, but it'll be all right. All right, silage. Uh, this actually won't hold all the silage that I'm going to be dumping out. Well, that's fun. We'll have a little bit extra left over. Nice. You know, it's funny. You really don't think too much about how much 1 million liters is until you can actually put it all in one trailer at the same time, which I love to be able to do. Please tell me I can dump this on the edge. Okay, thank goodness. Boom. Dump it. Get it good. I want to get that down. About 50,000 under. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I am going to... Oh, we're stuck on that piece on the side. I'm going to back up and go ahead and fill the rest of this up. We got another like 50,000 liters in here. Something like that. There we go. Oh, that's not quite uh, as much as I was hoping we would be getting out of that. Um, well, let's see. How much do we have left? 24,000. Okay, that's not too bad i guess we can go ahead and back that up do it again this is this is the fun part right here all right we'll dump that there we go okay that's everything now we can officially dump all that we've got available right into here we'll go ahead and pop in we'll take a look we will activate our silage right here um this will do uh cycles per month yeah 14 on 4. it does 60 cycles an hour which i believe is one a minute yeah one a minute indeed Actually, it's already doing cycles. I can't do it fast enough, even at half time. <laughs> oh, cycles per hour. Or is that cycles per minute? I think I put too many zeros on it. BRB. While we're waiting for Mr. Silage to make his cash money. Let's go through here. Let's pick up some silage. The liquid. Liquid con. Yeah. Slurry. Ooh, back it up. There you go. Let's pick up some slurry real quick. I haven't done this yet, and I don't really know how, but I'm sure we'll figure it out right about now. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, Open cover. Maybe that's what we need to do. Start filling. Hey, cool. Oh, look at the fill plane going down. Look at that. All right, that's kind of cool. That's neat. It's going down super fast, but, aw. Oh, it only holds 100,000 liters. I'm going to have to make two and a half trips. That's going to suck. Uh, we've also got a bunch of manure as well over here. We'll kind of take a look. Sneak peek at the bottom right-hand corner, 50,000 liters. Now, the manure doesn't need to be sold, I think, until later on. This is the great thing about this. You could just look and see when anything is. Uh, so we'll go through. Do, 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 do. Give me manure. Show me some price fluctuation. January. That's tomorrow. I don't need to do that today. Boom, boom, boom. I'm not saying I added a couple zeros to the end of this, but I may have added one. <laughs> one zero. Is that okay? Yeah, it'll be all right. We'll come through here and we need to get this. We got moved because this is all done. Oh, it was already on. Oh, that was weird. Uh, yeah, this is all done. We've got to get this pulled away. And we're all finished up here. Might be able to move the manure with this. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to move that, though. So I could figure that out. Go ahead and open up our covers. And we should be able to just crash right into that. Nice and easy. 
Um, not getting a dump. Maybe here. This is probably it. Yeah, I should probably use the BGA more. <laughs> I think we started like a massive uh, bit in the uh, the American map, and that did not work very well, huh? All right, we'll put back in here, take a look, and slurry. We want to activate that as well. So silage is down to 781. I don't think there's enough in there for it to actually do another cycle, so that's uh, kind of funny. You can see at the bottom right hand corner, numbers are still trying to go up, trying to go down. Digestate number is moving very, very good. Nice, 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 nice. One thing we are gonna do, I'm gonna make the investment and we're going to figure out how to do some type of slurry injection. That way we don't have to fertilize more than once. And we talked about this a little bit uh, beforehand. And I don't actually remember where, is it in crop protection maybe? I'm not, that's not it. I have no idea. Absolutely no idea where in the world this is, but I know it's right here, so that's okay. I thought about getting this. So we'd have a nice big tractor, we could you know, do whatever we wanted to with it, and we'd have a good time rocking and rolling with it. But I've also been kind of creeping on here waiting for a slurry trailer to pop up. We do have one right here, but I want to find something where we can inject, that way it's literally the full amount all the time. Ooh, very cool. Although we did just get a new modded version of that. Anyway, let's, uh, we'll go ahead and back out. We'll get this taken care of. We'll get this moved around. Do we need to? And then I think it might be time to fix some equipment. And that's gonna be a lot of money. Taking a look through our uh, menu now and we can kind of see what needs a little bit of help and what doesn't. For example, the, the mag C forks and stuff, they don't need anything, but uh, going through here, we could see we do have some stuff. What is it, Viking Fenix? Oh, yeah, to make uh, hay. We could probably sell that at this point. How much can we get for that? 12 grand? Not too bad. We may need to do that. Uh, seed tender? Oh, yeah, feeding chickens. We, we may want to feed them soon. Uh, the biggest thing right here is going to be the massive. 19% right there. We really, really need to do that. So... I don't know any other better way than using the mobile workshop. So I'm just gonna come up and we're going to repair each one as such. Now this is gonna take a bit. Uh, let's see, what's the total cost? Say we had 732, so there's 2,500 bucks. $20,000 to repair that? Why? $44 to repair a weight? <laughs> It must be worth their weight in gold. Goodness gracious. 2500 bucks to repair that tractor? Goodness. So you can see this is getting quite expensive quite quickly. I was not prepared for this amount of... Uh, oy. Oh yeah, I was not prepared for this at all. Ooh, that does not need to be repaired, so that's kind of nice. We'll spin around here. Just show you. Man, we really... I'm not saying we're getting robbed on these prices, but they are high. I have installed the mod where you can kind of adjust the prices a little bit, because they, they are pretty up, up there. Granted, we're going to make plenty of this money back, but still. Uh, I will say I, I can't get it to work. That mod, it's supposed to be in game settings, and it's supposed to be at the bottom, but I don't, I don't have it. Maybe it's a general settings, but... I still don't have it. Or additional settings, but I don't have it. It's installed. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe one of you guys know, but I sure don't. So I'm going to go around. I'm going to finish repairing everything, and we'll catch you when we're all done. Maybe it'll be time to use this bad boy. Let's go back now and revisit a problem that I've had since the very first harvest. We got these little spots in our fields, and no matter what I've done, I can plant whatever I want over them. Uh, things aren't really working the way I want them to. Got a little spots all over the field that nothing's growing through, even though it looks like nah, nah, nah. Nothing grew through there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my plow, and I'm just going to do a little bit of a yump right over it. Just like that. That's it. Just a little spot. Nothing too crazy. Just a little itty bitty spot like that. And I think I've got a few of these around, so I might have to do a little bit of driving. 
to find all of the spots. Oh, 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 I got another one. E. I did come through and get all the straw off the field, so that's really easy to do if you're curious on how to do that. Go into your build mode, go into landscaping, go to soften, and then you can literally just do whatever you want around the area. It won't mess with it field-wise, but it will mess with it like anything like straw or grass, grown grass on the field. So just be careful about that. Otherwise, if you got a crop, it could be grass, it could be wheat, barley, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you're good to go. Oh, we got a little, another little spot right there. Kachunk. Didn't even have to do anything to that. Gotcha. Um, let's see. I don't think I've got any spots in this other field. And I'm actually going to use this in <laughs> the flight mode to come over here and take a look. I don't see anything, probably, because this field was cultivated at the time of jumping in. So that's a little bit easy. But what I can do is maybe utilize up in the air. Oh, we got another one. You can't hide from me, little piece in the field. I can see you. Gotcha. <laughs> all right. I don't know if that's all the spots in this field or not, but... We could certainly drive up here. I think I've actually got a couple little spots. So if you've got these in your field, they're so easy to get rid of. Just get a plow, a cultivator, subsoiler, disc harrow, uh, anything like that that will change the field style. Anything except a direct drill because a direct drill makes it worse. <laughs> Just like that. Now, the good thing is as well, because I am going to direct drill over top of all this. I'm still going to be able to see really well when I'm coming through and rolling. There we go. Got that, got that. Looking good. I'll do one little run up here just to make sure. I think we're good there. We are all good. Should we look over here just in case? One of the neat things about uh, looking around for these little spots, they're literally going to be in the exact same spot for you guys as well. Oop, okay, we got a little spot right there. A couple little spots. Are, oh, it's all poking. Oh, there's big spots over here. They're all over the place around the edge down there. So... I'm just going to go through, we'll get those plowed up, and I think none around the center, which is really weird, but it is what it is. <laughs> Let's get these up. Now is kind of the boring part, because we've got fertilizing to do. Yes, I know we've got a lot of uh, digestate up there, but uh, right now I don't have a mod for any of that yet, so we are back to using regular solid fertilizer, just like so. We're going to go through, we will get all three of these fields fertilized, ready to go. Just kind of double check. Ooh, look at all these little spots that I had to do. Not too bad, but you know, I mean, they're, they're definitely there. No fertilizer on the field, so we will have to get that put down. Field number five. Field number five is looking good. It is all plowed up. Do we have anything that we can fast forward to over there to maybe take a look at it? Yeah, maybe not. I wanted to get field five because we've got field 25 here. Field five is massive. Uh, let's see, what's the price on it? Ooh, I don't have enough money for it. Yeah, maybe next time. <laughs> let's get all these uh, fertilized real quick. Fertilizing's all done. We got all of the fields looking good. Well, at least the first stage of fertilizers on all of them. Next is going to be the planting. Now, I'm not sure what I want to put in here. I'm thinking just wheat. Though, I might do wheat and barley? I'm, you know, I'm a little bit back and forth between the two. To be honest with you, I'm not quite sure which one I want to do. We'll go ahead and hook up, and we'll go over here and fill it up with seed. So, we did canola, and that was our uh, third harvest, I guess, whatever it would be. We're doing two a year, so it's a little bit easier that way. There we go, full seeds. So, I'm thinking, because our wheat and barley and oats will all be gone by this time tomorrow. I'm thinking maybe we, we could do sorghum as well, but the problem with sorghum is it doesn't give us any extra like straw and straw makes money. And I like making extra money, even though we have to wait all year to sell them. So uh, this harvest should happen, I think at about April, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we'll do a grass harvest in March. That'll be spring number one, which would be very, very nice to have. Go ahead and turn everything on. Crank it up and rock and roll. So we've got three fields. All three of the fields are going to be wheat by the time I am all said and done with them. Oh boy, what am I thinking? While we wait on the worker to complete their task and they're gonna take a little while, 
let's jump into our style right here and get some feed mix made. The next day in game on January is going to be feeding day for the animals, and we need to make sure we've got everything that we need. How many times do I say need? You guys know what I mean. So this will hold, if I remember correctly, 1 million liters. Well, I have formulated 400,000 liters of silage, 400,000 liters of hay, and then we're just going to tip, tip, top it off with some straw. So bring it in. We should be able to find ourselves, yep, 400,000 liters of silage. This should empty out completely. And it has done just that. Next is going to be straw, not straw. Easy now. Not quite straw, not just yet. Hey, yes, we need to empty out the hay. Not bad, not bad. Here we go. This should be ending here in just a moment. And it has. And lastly, let's top it off with some straw. Straw is basically filler. Uh, also, uh, for the mineral feed, I have seen a couple people doing tests, and it does nothing. So if you don't want to use mineral feed, you don't have to. Uh, and probably you shouldn't. You're just going to be wasting money on it. So coming through. Good, good. And there we go. There is our 1 million liters of TMR. It's a little bit much, but it's enough. Uh, also, there's another thing that I want to tell you guys about. So the manure, right? So the manure, I can come through here. We're going to put that right there. The manure trigger is right here. And it tells us exactly what's in here. It says 50,310 liters. Okay, 50,310. 50,310. Well, that's not what this says when I go take a look at it. It says 218,000 liters. And so does this silo right here. Now, I don't know what's happening or what's been happening, but what I think has happened was, I think that this silo right here that's holding 50,000 liters of actual manure uh, has also been depositing into the multi-fruit that I cheated in over here. Thus, putting all of the manure in before I bought the manure <laughs> pit into our silo. How convenient. Well, uh, if that's the case, I'm going to be getting rid of the manure pit because there is no reason to have that if this does the job for us. So this is just one more reason why I love this piece. And I think you should guys do it too. Man, I've started to cheat way more than I used to. Gotta love it. So let's get this potty humor party started. Oh yeah, so we've got a bunch going on. First and foremost, I wanna let you guys know that today's Let's Play is gonna be done in times zero. I know that's really nothing special or different, at least for my channel. However, we're doing it for one purpose because the sun's going down and I know we've been on this same day and gave for like four episodes now, something like that. We got a lot to do, man. You guys know how it is. You probably spend quite a few days on the same day in game in real life playing. So it's very similar on my end as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hire a couple workers and get things moving. So we've got rolling to do. I've already rolled one field, but the one to our left still needs to be fertilized. That's field number two. We're on field number three currently. This needs to be rolled and fertilized. And field number six needs all of that. All, all of it. We haven't even planted it yet. So all that's going to have to happen today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish running around this. I'll jump back in with you when we're going to start planting. We'll get that worker hired. And then we'll get some fertilizing done. And then uh, we got to do all of that on every field. <laughs> It'll be a fun day. Yeah. After about, uh, well, it feels like forever, uh, we're done with the rolling part. At least the part where I have to do it. Go ahead and hire the worker on that. Uh, if you are using these fields and you're using this specific roller, heads up, you're going to need to run three head lens around. It's just not going to do it. You're going to have to run a third run around there anyway because they're going to miss a lot. So you may as well just do all three yourself. <laughs> Next, we're going to take the second slowest thing that's going to take us all day. This is going to be our cedar. We're going to turn everything on. We'll enable a little bit of fasty farming action going on. And rock and roll. This one only takes two headlands, which is very, very nice. You can kind of cheat around on the second one if you want to. Get that fast farming action going on. By the way, if you don't know anything about fast farming and farming simulator 22, 
You need this weight, put it on the very back and use that hydraulic hitch to hook up whatever you're gonna be using. So for example, this uses that exact hitch, so you would be good to go. Don't lower the weight down, just lower the implement down and it will go fast. I'm using the real speed limit mod, which is for, uh, on PC only. So heads up there. Everybody asks me how I go fast. It's a real speed limit mod. That's pretty much all of this equipment is unmodified in any way, or the equipment is modified to go maybe a little bit faster, or hold a little bit more. But yeah, that's how I'm going the full speed of the tractor, the real speed limit mod. Console players, use that weight and you're good to go. And we're good to go. <laughs> Let's go and finish this headland around. And then we got to fertilize. Oh yeah. And those spots that we plowed in the field the last episode, check this out. Going right over them. Boom. Perfect. No issues whatsoever. I forgot to show you guys that in the last episode on the other field. But all of the parts that we plowed up, well, they are working just fine. And because they have an overlap with a massive area that we're already doing that looks like it is plowed over, direct drill anyway, um, and mulched, that type of thing. Well, it's going to give you the same features and the same looks there. So all is good, man. All is good. We'll finish this field up. We'll see you guys over on field number two, the smaller fin. Oh, yeah. By the way, I want a bigger tractor. <laughs> I know I keep saying that every single episode, but I think we're to the point where we might need a bigger tractor. I think we're running into the problem now of, like, for example, that roller on the uh, on the tractor we got it on right now. It's not doing great. It's a little bit slow. You know, it, I mean, it's going about 60 miles an hour, but 270 horsepower may not be enough for that. I think we're going to need to get around 400 horsepower. Perfect. That'll be absolutely perfect. So we need something maybe about this size, possibly a little bit bigger. Start thinking on that, but that's going to be my goal during the winter months is to try to find something on sale that is massive. All right. All right, the worker. Ooh, we're going to miss this. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Great. Fertilizer time in one of my favorite tractors of the series. I love this fence. Something about the white. The, the fence in general just kind of leads itself to being anything except for green and i've tried to modify things to look a little bit different than they do i mean we took a case and we're using it as a styre we've got the white fin we have a blacked out massey ferguson i like the the setups and the designs and the the way that we've kind of changed some of the equipment on here really like it i really do I'm trying to figure out do i need lights or not december at 1357 it's a little bit dark. It's a little bit dark. Of course, having HDR turned on does not make it any better. It makes it a whole lot worse. HDR is awesome unless it's dark content or you're watching movies. Ugh. Anyway, back to it. <laughs> we got a lot of fertilizer to do. All three of these fields are going to be done. But as soon as we're done with these, then we're done done. We can fast forward to the next day and move on. So I had recorded about a, uh, I don't know, one two minute clip of me rolling the last field Ooh, about rolled over is what i did uh it turns out what i had done is not hit end from the clip before it and when i hit the recording button it stopped the recording and then when i stopped the recording i recorded 12 minutes of myself rolling a field it was exhilarating <laughs> just like this whoosh clean so here's here it was bad. Uh, here's what we got. We're going to put this away. We've got one field that I think is done. You need fertilize. Yep. And we're almost done. Almost done. So close. Everything's good. We got one more bit of fertilizer on this field. And we are done with today in game. Of course, once it's all said and done, we've got to go babysit the sheep because for some reason they can't handle things on their own at night. So we're going to have to uh, just make sure, you know, the, the wool doesn't get backed up too bad. Um, I, I understand. I know why. I did it. I've had a couple people say it in the comment section. I see y'all. DJ, the wool's, uh, you know, piling up so fast because you've got too many sheep. You cheated in too many. I'm aware. I did it on purpose. <laughs> And I don't know how to make the spawn point for the wool bigger. Therefore, it, it is what it is. It's it's fine. We're, we're fine. Everything's fine. You guys good? All right. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. We're going to finish fertilizing this field, right? As soon as we're done fertilizing the field, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the next day in game. In that time, I'm going to go babysit the sheep off screen. 
we'll wake up and we'll be time to feed the animals because January 1 is feeding time. And welcome to January, whereby I've been frantically trying to get wool out of the spawn point. <laughs> we got a lot of wool, man. It's There's a bit of it here. We're doing pretty good, though. I mean, we've got a lot of it. We're going to sell in May, which is good. We've been selling this, or saving it, rather, this entire time. I haven't sold any wool yet. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be real good. And we've got a whole stack of it over there. Actually, we've got more than a stack. We've got a huge pile is <laughs> what we got yay we got a huge pile of it let's see let's jump into our tractor please let me really oh yeah i forgot if you uh get at, in a tractor out of a tractor something and then you try and pick something up and then you try and get back in it doesn't work i don't know why triggers are the same way and i have no idea why they behave like that oh well what I do know is why wool behaves like it does going into the trailer like that. Because it's awesome. We've got a bunch of it over here as well. I'm going to go ahead and load it all in together. That way it's stacked up nice and neat for us. We'll have probably, I don't know, three pallets? Four, four trailers worth to take with us? I think this is about two days in the game, maybe three days total. So it's not too bad. We'll load these up, get them all nice and organized, and then we will drop them back. So that's almost a trailer load. Oh boy, it's not taking them from where I wanted it to. That's awesome. Just take the closest ones, you idiot. Why would you do that? Ay, it's fine. Things are fine. Life is fine. Everything's okay. Nothing's wrong ever. Ay. Watch it not take half of the ones from the other side now. Yep, told you. Oh, there's two right here. It's like, oh wait. Oh, those? No, I can't reach those. Get out of here. Arr, come on down. Get in there. All right, there we go. We're good, we're good, we're good. Bish. That's what all, all I wanted to do in the first place. We've got a couple right here. Nice, neat, organized. Looking good, looking fresh, looking pretty. I love it, I love it, I love it. Sometimes. Uh, let's... Let's just put these right there. There you go. Okay, so. A lot of pallets. <laughs> a whole lot of pallets. That's going to be a lot of wool and a lot of money. But like I said, it's going to be, I think, May until we can sell that. So, well, no point to get all excited about it now. Speaking of now, now we need to go feed the animals because they're going to get real mad if I don't. First up are the cows. And smart me actually did myself a little bit of a flavor the last episode if you saw i've already got the animal feed mixed in the trailer and it's already in the oh yikes it's already in here all i gotta do is feed them but this is gonna take a little while <laughs> i mean it empties fairly quick but i don't think that i've got it empty that fast so we'll go in here pop in take a look at the animals real quick we're over here at the cattle oh they're almost full look at that oh well, uh, it turns out this does empty extremely fast. Uh, they took 300-ish thousand liters. Wow. All right, well, that's pretty good, and that'll last for a little while. And the rest of this, we're going to put into the silo. Now, I don't know how much TMR I've got in the silo, because unfortunately it doesn't tell you how much you've got. But if we can go up to it on the right right there, you can see at the bottom right-hand corner, if you even go near a silo, It'll tell you exactly how much you've got in uh, ascending order. As a matter of fact, or descending order, rather. So that's cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, I was about to say, uh, I crashed my game. Nope, we're good. Uh, let's go ahead and save. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go and save that game. Wow, I could not walk. I don't know what in the world just happened right there. That scared me uh, too much. Yes, it did. Too much indeed. All right. So... The feed mixer can now be put away. We probably won't use this for another year or so uh, in game. I could probably even lease this and be done with it, but I don't know. I like owning it, plus we've got plenty of money, so we're okay. Uh, one other thing that I did find interesting is at midnight, we did not get any money from the BGA. Are you supposed to get money for the BGA? I don't... I, I don't... I've never used it. I don't know how it works, but I do know that I didn't get any money. 
And we sold a lot of silage, so maybe once a year you get paid? I really wish I knew the answer. <laughs> Nonetheless, we're good. Uh, we'll take a look at straw. Straw's very interesting because I made the silo over here hold a lot of straw. And for some reason, they're both connected. I don't, I don't know how I did that. I... I have no idea how I did that. Oh, I know what's going on. Uh, my controller, for some reason, is disconnecting from the computer. Which is super cool. That's awesome. So much fun. Exciting. Uh, let's, let's get some grass. <laughs> I don't know how much grass we're gonna need. We'll take a look at the sheepies real quick. We've got two different sets of sheep in here right now. Let's see, 250, 250. Hang on, do we have 500 sheep? No. Hold on. There's no way that they made that many babies in one day. No. Really? 250 sheep made 250 sheep? <laughs> All right. Um, it looks like 300,000 liters may be too much. This might be too much grass. Doesn't look like 500 sheep in here, but maybe, maybe they did. Uh, that's a lot of sheep, man. Like too much? Seems like too much. All right, so that's filling up pretty quickly. 200,000 liters, nice, nice, nice. I might have to come in here and fill that back up to a certain point. I didn't think I could hold 500, maybe I can. We'll take a look and see. Oh yeah, I forgot the triggers in the middle of the road. We have 500, yep. Yep, we do. Uh, brand new. They are, they are babies. All right. Well, I guess wool is going to be our most profitable crop now. Welcome. <laughs> All right. One more animal to feed up. We've got, uh, we got our chickens and of course water for the, the sheep as well, but that'll be easy to do. Water is going in and chickens get fed. We'll go ahead and boom this out all the way and we'll just kind of reach over here reach over here. I love this little feeding mechanism right here. You just gotta get close-ish enough. Drops in. I can't tell if that's moving super fast or it just looks like a bunch of ants doing their thing. Either way, uh, that's it there. Cool, cool, cool. And the chickens are fed for probably like four years. <laughs> they, don't, they don't need a whole lot of feed. We'll put this away, back it in. Now it is time to get some other stuff sold. So we've got bread, milk, and manure. All things that need to be sold. So I think the first thing maybe we could do is since we're right here beside the bread, uh, at least what bread we've got left from the previous game save, we could go ahead and sell this. So boop, 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 boop. Got them. Now we need to figure out where we're going to sell the bread. As always, go to your prices and then find whatever it is that you're wanting to sell. Right there, we can see January, perfect time. Now we just need to find what gives us the best one. It looks like General Bay One. Tag the place, figure out where in the world General Bay number one is. Uh, oh, it's all the way at the top, cool. So even though bread does very well, the problem is we don't have a lot of it. 6,000 liters and that is it. Also, I think this might be our first time going to this sell point. So that's kind of cool. We need to figure out exactly which one we're going to here. I think it's the one smack dab in the middle, and it is. So we're going to actually be able to go up into this. Oh, bread's not accepted there. Perfect. That makes that a lot easier. I don't have to skip by that every time. And going through here, should sell immediately, and it is. We're not going to make a lot of money off this. Maybe I don't know, 20 grand, something like that. Yeah, $19,000. So not a bunch. Not a bunch at all. Although I did see a piece of candy over there. Look at over here to see if there's any more. <laughs> uh, ooh. Hello. Piece of candy. Gimme. Got him. Thousand bucks. Any more over here? Any more? Bueller. There's a horse. Got him. There's another thousand bucks, and I think I saw one. Yeah, tractor. Got him. I'm not actively trying to find them, but I will say if I see them. I'm gonna pick them up. Ooh. I can't. <laughs> gotcha. Boom, baby. 
Is there any more over here? Ooh, there is one right over there. Uh, maybe I'm, maybe I'm having too much fun doing this right now. Let's go and open that back up. Get to the outside. Oh, it's lagging so hard. Give me a piece of candy. Got him. All right, next, we just need to figure out where to get the milk from. That way we can sell it all. And I have no idea. I have no idea where it is. I think it's this one. So I'm going to go ahead and pretend that it's this one. We'll pull up to it. We'll open up. See, I'm so smart. Look how smart I am. I, I'm so good. <laughs> Start on the help window. Just to double check, make sure everybody's good. Everybody is good. I want to pop in, take a look at the animals. We'll see our reproductive 50%. Well, we've got all the chickens we need. We don't need no more than that. Uh, milk should be done. Yep, 183. Ooh, ooh. That's a lot of milk. We're going to make a lot of money is what we're going to do. Let's find out exactly where we want to sell this. Should be pretty simple. Price fluctuations. January, we are good to go. And then, which one's giving us the most? I think it's this one right here. Tag the place. Coswold. I think that's down at the BGA, if I'm not mistaken. Ayo, see you at the BGA. One of the interesting things is this milk has only been collected since August. So we've had, I think it's about what, five months, something like that, worth of milk. So this is only representative of half a year, maybe less than half a year's worth. So this is going to go up pretty quickly, especially with the way it's playing and everything. I'm kind of glad we're doing this game, say, in normal mode versus, like, easy. That'd be, that'd be too much money. I think, just like normal, right? <laughs> All right. After this one, we've got one more thing that we need to do, and that's going to be manure. Now, I know where some of the manure is, but some of the manure has been eluding me, and I'm not quite sure exactly where it's located or if we even need to continue keeping the manure bunker that we've got. I need to figure all that out. What I don't need to figure out is how much money we made. Holy cow. We made a quarter of a million dollars. 254 grand. Ooh, that's nice. We're at $964,000. We're doing good. The last task today is going to be manure. Now, I know where some of the manure is because randomly it started appearing in this silo before I started placing down the normal area so we'll get this filled up uh -huh. well that's a lot um hang on <laughs> maybe we should customize this to most yeah there we go all right so we've got it customized to most this should put all the manure in that i know that we have however i think there's some more around here in the bunker we pop over that, we should see some more. Yeah, there's more here. So it started going from the silo into this, which is gonna take a while to get out. Um, I think I got an idea. Bucket modded. Good job, DJ. All right. I love the way I do things. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna make things a little bit easier. I went ahead and sold the bucket that I had and I quickly made this one. And this will be A-OK. -okay. This holds 100,000 liters. Let's go. And here we go. I should be able to get all of this plus like twice this much in one go. Let's see if we can line it up just about right. There we go. And can I have some newer, please? The answer is yes. Oh, yeah. I might try to get rid of this just because... It, it, not a fan of doing all this myself. I would love for it to just magically appear into the silo. So I think what I'm going to do just to maybe do a little bit of trying is delete that and maybe put something in its place or something like that. And then we'll go from there. I like using the tail handler. I like doing stuff like this, but sometimes you just don't have time for it which is most of the time. So we'll uh, we'll maybe try and do that. Actually, we can go ahead and do it right now. Go in here, click it, sell it. Absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. We'll do that for now. We'll see if the manure goes into the silo like it did before, or if that was some type of fluke, or maybe I did something wrong and it magically appeared. 
I guess we'll find out soon enough, huh? And this is the last thing that we need to do before March, getting well into year number three, or season three, if you want to call it that, here on Comsden Farm. So, manure, get it sold, get it put in here, and be done with it. I still haven't made any money from the BGA, so I have just no clue whatsoever on how I'm supposed to handle that. Let's come over here real quick. We'll get this. Let's see. Silage is good. Slurry's good. We'll go ahead and activate the manure as well. Take a look at these. Silage, digestate, good. We got a, I mean, we got plenty of digestate. Everything's looking good there. I just don't understand. Maybe this costs money? I don't, I don't know. I thought maybe we would make money. It, it is what it is, I guess, huh? So, there is, uh, there's that. <laughs> Nothing to do in February, so the next episode that you guys see here on the map is going to be in March. In March, we're going to be getting our first mowing done, so that's going to be nice. There you go. All down, and it should digest it pretty quickly. Uh, well, at least it would if I had 1,000 liters to process. We have 36,000 liters to digest. Eight. That ain't too bad. March is going to be fun. And with that, let's go still. I'm, I'm, let's go help our fellow farmers with their harvesting and everything. And we're totally, totally not going to steal anything from them at all. What we do need to do is get some header trailers, though, for our headers. Because I don't have any of them. Do these take the same one? 60-30? Ooh, 60-35. Ooh, ayo. All right, so let's go ahead and get these purchased. Let's go and get the one for the class right now. Nice and easy. Spare wheel. Sure, license plate. Well, that's not quite right. We need the DJ 60 ham. Back only. Sounds good to me. Now, we are repurchasing these. You may be remembering back in the day, we actually had these. Yeah, I don't... I got rid of them. <laughs> I don't have these anymore. So we're going to have to buy a header trailer, at least for both of these. I'd like to go ahead and run both combine harvesters on the field. I think we'll get it done way, way faster. But... I'm also not quite sure if it's a good idea. It might take a little while to, to get both of them down there and then back. Is it going to snap in or did I put it? Hey, love it. Uh, I think maybe to start with, we'll start with one harvester. Because really, I'm just going to run a couple headlands around it and then call it a day. Yeah. I'm just not quite sure how I'm going to get down there. Oh, yeah. What fields are we doing, DJ? Well, we're going to be harvesting 13. 13's big. Like, here's the size of, what, 25, right? Well, this is probably 50% larger at least. And 25 took a while, which is why I was saying we might want to take both combine harvesters just to be safe. So let's get ourselves down there. Let's find our way into the field. I still have no idea what we're going to do. Oh yeah, and we're doing 21, 17, and 9 for the fertilizing contracts. They shouldn't take too long because we have a 50 meter spread and we can go super fast. So I don't suspect those are going to take a while. Also, today in game, we need to sell some honey. We've also got uh, grass that needs to be done. So we're, we're, we're going to have a fun time. Uh, this episode uh, 18 may be split up in 18 and 19 for all of the work that we've got to do. Just traveling along as I do. We're almost to the field, but check this out. Got a little, little river crossing down here. I've seen this before, but I've never tried to bring any equipment down through here. Ooh, <laughs> that was dragging just a little bit. We should be right up here. Oh. Well, that's a big field, huh? This. Oh, this is going to be fun. Uh, I think getting our other combine over here is not going to be too difficult. We may still want to get a header trailer just to be safe. Go ahead and unfold. We'll go ahead and open up our combine harvester here. Nice and easy. We'll also double check to make sure that our straw swath is enabled. Yes, I understand that this is canola. However, I've got a mod installed from the mod hub on PC, which allows me to get straw off of canola, which is pretty cute. Yeah, let's put this about right Yeah, I'm not sure which way I want to go to start with. Maybe maybe we'll go around to the left since I'm so familiar with looking that way. Double check. Make sure we're good. Disable straw swath. That means it is on. We'll go ahead and open her up. And go. All right. Harvesting contract has begun. Now, 
when doing straw swaths and taking them away on uh, contracts and things like that, especially a PC, you have to be very careful you do things in a specific order. The very first thing would be to harvest. It doesn't matter where you put the crop, and most people don't use common harvesters that hold a million liters or 100,000 liters, which this one holds 100,000. So you may want to put this in your own silo, something like that. Then you want to collect the straw off the field. Once the straw has been collected off the field, then you could go and deliver your, uh, deliver your crop wherever it needs to be sold, and then you will complete your contract. If you've completed your contract, you can't get your straw off the field, and that gets annoying pretty quickly. So make sure you do things in the correct order. My, uh, my order of operations, at least today, is going to be to run two headlands around this field completely and then find a straight side to hire a worker on. And because it is so massive, I do think two combine harvesters is going to have to be the way we go. All right. So I'm not saying that I'm recording this clip three days later than the previous one, but it might be a few days later. And at this point, update patch 1.3 is out yes it is one thing i need to do is we got to go through and figure out exactly how i'm gonna get this worker hired i think i'm gonna hire him like this because i get the majority of the field done without having to do anything that being said i think going this way might be beneficial to get more of it i'm not man i don't know I don't know at all. I, I think probably the best thing for me to hire this worker and not have to come back is side to side. Because I'm going to have to do a little bit of work the other way around. I've also looked at the new Massey Ferguson and Fenton Combine Harvesters that we've gotten. I like them a lot. A whole lot. So we may swap out that uh, new Holland for those eventually. I don't have any modded versions yet. So we'll go from there. We'll go ahead and double check here. Make sure that we've got a straw swath coming out. Yes, we do. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit of uh, finagling right here, but that's all right. No problem whatsoever. One nice thing about this update is we can now see the actual price fluctuations. So we've got to sell honey, and that's going to be the next thing that we do. So I've come in here, looked at honey, say, okay, these are the prices. What's the price fluctuations? This is March, so the high should be around... $2,019. Well, we're getting 2039 That makes me feel a whole lot more comfortable about what I'm about to do. And I'm about to sell some honey. Let's go. As soon as I, as soon as I hire this worker and get him going. It's honey picking up time. Let's do it, man. Uh, one thing that I've found after this most recent update is, boy, oh boy, is it a little bit laggy. I've had to load in and close out this map about three times to get it to not be so laggy. And that's for every map that I've played on for Farming Simulator 22. Not just this one. Why is some of that on the bottom? You know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. Uh, and that includes first person. Check this out. Look how bad that is. That's not good. That's that's not fun to play with. Uh, yeah, so... it. In order to get everything to load correctly, and I told people this it was soon as Farming Simulator 22 released, the cache is kind of being reset a little bit. So if you want everything to be looking right, nice, smooth, etc., etc., you're going to have to play in those modes because it seems like there's either two different caches or something going on with memory where it's basically a whole new world as soon as you go into first person. Now, every vehicle's the same, so that's nice, but... Eh, you just got to be careful. Hey, where are we selling this honey? I got 5,600 liters. Where I need to know where we're going. So let's figure that out. Over here, honey. Take the highest price that we've got out of all these. General store bay number one. Let's tag that place and find out exactly where we are going. I have no idea. Oh, so we're going up here yet again. All right. I'm not too hugely familiar with honey prices, the selling ways or anything like that. Because I haven't done it a lot. Most of the honey that I've done, I've had delivered directly to the cereal mill over on the American map. So I'm not uh, very versed in in this part of things. So let's find out. 11 grand for all that honey? Alright, can't just be me, right? That seems like a waste of time. <laughs> I'm not sure honeybees are the way to go anymore. That's, that's $11,000. 
for honeybees that we've had for, what, seven months? Eight months? I think we need to start making cereal. That's what I think we need to start doing. Now, I don't know if I had mentioned this at the previous uh, bits or not, because it's been literally half of a week, but I'd originally planned to mow this episode. Now, we had a lot of mowing to do, and we're going to have to do that the next episode, so we may have an entire day full of mowing and picking up grass and making hay, but I enjoy doing that. However, today, because we've got contracts and things and, and that sort of dealio, well, we got a few other things that need to happen. The first one is carting. Yeah, I, I'm not used to doing that. Oh, let's go and hook up to this. Uh, let's see, I believe this is the most. Yep, most it is. Let's jump in here. Uh, we got to take this all the way out. If I looked correctly, the combine harvester, what well, holds 100,000 liters, but it's like at 75%. 76%? So we gotta get this out there. I need to go ahead and do a little bit of carting. This will hold 10 full loads from that combine. So, I mean, it's gonna hold plenty, but we still gotta get out there. Don't tell the farmer that I'm in his field. Oh no, <laughs> I missed it. No, go, 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 yeah, go. We got a little bit. I need to go ahead and pull away that way. <laughs> that way the, uh, yeah, there you go. I, what do we got, 11,000 liters in there? Just barely, man, just barely. Uh, they're doing good. I think this may have been a mistake doing it this way, but as you can see, th they're not missing any. I think this is definitely the way to do this. So if you guys are doing this field, man, the least trouble and the least amount of work that you would have to put into it, man, I think doing it back and forth like this, this is the best way to do it. Also, uh, I love this combine harvester and I love this trailer. Uh, the trailer, the common harvester, I've got a, like a version of the, um, ideal in my pack. And then as far as this trailer goes, unfortunately, uh, this is a trailer that someone else made that I added some zeros to. So unfortunately it is unavailable for download on my pack, but you can still get a combine harvester similar to that one. Uh, actually, 82 Studio made that combine harvester for me. So let's give a big shout out to 82 Studio. He's a man. Ooh. The TLX 2020 is out as well. Oh, I think we might have to get a truck on this map. Something else we got to do is we have got to get some fertilizing done. We have three fertilizing contracts that are active right now that we haven't even started yet. Speaking of 82 Studio, let's go ahead and use his multi-filling station. Don't, don't pull past it now. Let's use his multi-filling station and let's find out exactly where we are going. So we've got 21 up here that's probably going to be the first field that we hit 17 likely the second and field number nine and that's going to be the last one so this one we actually get to go behind the secret field in du woods Ooh, that's going to be fun oh don't drive in my crop don't drive in the crop nice i always love coming up on new parts of the map that i haven't been to yet and i've flown over this a hundred times for map tours and things like that but i've never actually been up here for this, which is kind of cool. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a little boosty boost all the way to the top of the map and put it down. Nice. Uh, now this, uh, this contract in particular is going to be a little bit difficult for me. What's well, fertilize the contract? So that's normal, right? Well, <laughs> I can't see where it's putting it down. So I think what I will have to do is rely on the map and just pause over and over and over again you you think i could do this i hope i could do this <laughs> i hired a worker got him uh i did miss this part and some spots over there but don't worry uh two passes maybe three and this whole section will be done one pass i can get that and then i'll be finished and it'll be just fine yes sir so with this one it looks like maybe your best bet if you guys are on field 21 doing anything Probably just hire a worker trying to go back and forth through here. Maybe hit one at the top, one down the side, and then one down here, and then just hire a worker going straight back. So definitely start whatever you're doing at this bottom left-hand corner. Go up to the right and down. I think that's going to be the best way to get your worker going. Go and reset that. Yeah, look at it. It's perfect. I'm perfect. Contract done? Uh, I mean, there's some more left, but I'll take it. <laughs> Where's our contracts? Build number 21 is done. It's right here. Yeah, here, there we go. So you completed 21. Okie dokie. Collect. This is 12 grand. Not bad at all. What's next? 
Field number 17, I believe, is going to be next, and that is all the way down here. Ooh, that's going to be a long drive. Can I drive down through here? Could. I think it may take longer, though. I'm going to drive across the fields. I don't want to be that guy and say that uh, cheating and driving across all the fields was the best idea. However, it uh, it took like 25, 30 seconds to get over here. So if you're driving from field number 21 to field number 17, drive through everyone's fields. <laughs> this one's nice. I could actually see where I'm going with this. So I'm just going to harvest or harvest. I'm just going to do this one myself. Uh, it's not going to take me that long. Plus, it's not squared off. So hiring a worker would be uh, not impossible. Just not a good idea. Check this out at the top right hand corner, field 17, 39% completed. I've never seen that before. I knew that Giant said that they'd added something like that. There is also a PC mod that does this as well that just happened to come out the day after I started recording this video. I was like, hey, that would be perfect. And then Giants, of course, added something as well. I was like, well, oh, that'd be perfect. So yeah, you can kind of keep an eye on your contracts just by checking out the uh, little white text at the top right hand corner of your screen. So keep an eye out for any text that may pop up saying, hey, you've done this much. Hey, you've done this much. Because another one popped up for the other field as I was doing this one, which I thought was very interesting. So I had to jump over. I was like, ooh, 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 turn OBS back on. I need to tell the people. I wonder if it'll pop up again. I don't know. Let's, let's, let's give it a try and see. I'm still going to just continue to go around in circles. Oh, there we go. Field number 13, 42%. That's the other field. That's down even this one. So it did. Oh, hey, hey, there we go. Field 17, 54% completed. All we have to do is get to that 80% complete mark. Well, 80% of the field, I think. And then it's done. How cool is that? I think that's awesome, man. So definitely, definitely, definitely keep an eye out on the top. Uh, it may give you updates here and out. Um, the thing that's really odd is it's not like... 15%, 25%, 50%. As you saw, I was like, yeah, that one's 17% uh, done, 42% uh, 40, done. Uh, yeah, that one's, oh, that one, 38% done. The numbers seem to be a little off. Contract completed. So that's in green, and it looks like all the other status markers are going to be in white. So no big deal through there. We've still got all this left, which is what it is. But hey, it's completed. 35 grand. Ayo. And... We are officially, for the first time, realistically, with money that we've made, kinda, millionaires. Hey, I love it, I love it, I love it. We're millionaires, baby. We got all the money. Every bit of money. It's our money. Let's go. I gotta get to field number nine, and this is... I don't think I could drive straight across the map. Perhaps driving halfway across the map was beneficial after all, because here we are at this field. Uh... Double check on this guy real quick. 64%. He's doing okay. After I finish this next contract, though, we definitely need to hit that. Oh, yeah. These can change colors now. So, I'm thinking customize. Oh, yeah. Let's do this real quick. Uh, see, chassis color. So, we do have New Holland Raw Smash. That's nice. But this is cloth. So, let's do that. Extension color. What's the extension? Uh huh. The top part. Let's go with a bright white for that. And then rim color. I mean, duh, right? Vent. <laughs> no, it's cloth. The problem is, hey, there we go. There actually is a real cloth color. Nice. Uh, wonder if we could change this to like a dark. Yeah, I like that so much better. And why is the license plate not DJ60 ham? There we go. Perfect. Cool. Yeah, love it. Yes. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Much better. Much, 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 much better. All right. One more field. It's down here right across the right across the river. Field number nine. Finally, we're getting close, guys. We're getting very, very close. Get a little wash up on the wheels there. Oh, boy. This is another one of those fields where I'm not really sure how in the world I'm going to do this. But I'm sure I'll figure it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Straight from the top. Go for that a top view. Looks like this is corn, so it's not going to be too difficult to see through. Unless you're looking at it like that. We look at it from above, you can see perfectly fine. So, if you're doing corn, look from above. Hey, helpful tips and tricks from DJ. If you're going fast. Hey, 
10% complete. Let's go. And there we go. Field nine contract completed. Also, our combine harvester up there is already at 80% already. This is going to be the second unload for that one, which is just insane. Let's go ahead and find him. Where's he at? 85%. Goodness gracious. So we'll take a look at the field real quick. So we've got, we've got a solid two thirds of this done. And you can see this right here is where we were when we emptied. He's done a lot of work. I mean, a lot of work. And as I mentioned before, if you want him to do the whole field without having to worry about it, you got to set it side to side, top to bottom, anything like that, not going to work. Now, I will also acknowledge the fact that a lot of people will say, DJ, use course play. It'll do it all. I'm aware consoles don't have course play. I'm trying to do things that everyone can do. So no course play over here. I'm not a fan of the mod anyway. It doesn't fit with my play style. I don't think it's a bad mod. I think it's an incredible mod. I'm uh, probably one of the top 10 most popular mods of farming simulator history. It's just not for me. That's all. No worries. It's all good. All right. We'll get this unloaded. I think obviously you oh, go, 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 go. I think obviously this is going to take a lot more time than just one episode to get this contract done because we've still got to come through, pick up the straw and uh, make some bales, go deliver those bales over beside the BGA and maybe take over an area beside it. Uh, looks like we're good here. So I'm going to go and bring you guys over here real quick. There's a field up here right beside the BGA. And I'm thinking about, yeah, field number 30 right here. Ooh. You know what? Never, never, never mind. My, my idea was dumb. It was so dumb. I don't even have enough money to afford it. So let's just get move forward. huh? So this job wouldn't be so bad if we only had, well, you know, these few bells around us. But unfortunately, there's, well, I don't know how to say this. <laughs> there's too many. I made too many bells. We got way too many. So we're going to be using the brand new JCB, uh, JCB 450. I should really go in and change those names up a little bit. What I've done is I've taken the JCB mod that I used early on in the Farming Simulator 22 lifespan, and I have modified it slightly to use the engine setups uh, from that one, and then crossed it with the designs of the one that we just got from Schnibble Monty, which by the way, you should definitely go download to check out because he did a fantastic job. And through that, I've now got 450 horsepower in here, and it'll go nice and quick at about 54 miles an hour, which is perfect. So we've got uh, the best of all the worlds. I have a high horsepower tractor, a fast tractor, and it will do just about whatever I want it to do. The only thing is, in Farming Simulator 22, tractor weights are everything, and this thing doesn't weigh a thing. So it's not going to be able to do all the jobs that we want it to do, but it'll do most of the jobs that we want it to do. And that will round out our four tractor setup. I limit myself to four tractors. If you may know that, you may not. In Farming Simulator 19 from gameplay there, what little bit I did, and I do apologize for the very, very few amount of Let's Plays on that game. We're back, and we're better than ever. We've got some good stuff planned for you guys on this series as well. Now, eventually this series will come to an end, but I don't know when that's going to be, and you probably don't either. So if there's another map that comes out, maybe something exciting, you guys want to see me or my take on that map, please, please, look, ooh, get it, get it, get it. Ah, if you guys have any other maps that you want to see me play on or you want to see me tackle, definitely let me know what those are in the comment section below, and we will get to them. One thing. All maps have to be off platforms. So even if I modify the heck out of the silos and the cows and the sheep and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, still has to be for all platforms. So stack number one, where are we going to be putting these and how are we going to do them? Well, before I put them to the left right here, and I just don't think that's a great idea, especially for bells that are going to be sitting here. Well, it's March currently, and these bells are going to sit here until December. So best thing to do is going to be to place them. But I think I'm going to place them to the right this time instead of the left. I think putting them over here might make a little bit more sense. That, uh... <clears throat> that didn't happen. You guys didn't see anything, right? Right. I can do this. We could, we could do this without causing trouble. Yeah! All right. So that's uh, one stack. <laughs> 
I don't want to do this. How many more do we have? After all said and done, quite a few minutes later, been watching a lot of AR-12 gaming on YouTube. Don't tell him. I'm going to get in trouble. Oh, no, no, no. We're pulling it. Stop. Stop doing what I'm doing. I need to unload the bells before I start picking up anymore. This is a good spot right here. And boop, boop. Now, a lot of these are leaning over to the left. I tried to come in here and smooth this out as best I could, but unfortunately, I can't jump over them and I can't do anything about it. So, yeah, I tried to smooth this out as best I could. However, it does come right up to this little wall, and I want to make that look as normal and as right as possible. So, that is our storage for straw bales, at least for right now. That's, what, five and a half fish? Not too bad. Get out of here, birds. <laughs> Let's move on. And the last thing that we need to do, at least for the contract, is deliver the goods. And I don't know which one I need to be going to. All right. Yep, yep, yep. So which one is that? <laughs> it's going to be this one. I'm going to go ahead and tag it just so I know exactly which one it is. Now, we are using our modified trailer. So this thing's going to dump out a little bit faster than I want it to. So what I'm going to have to do is go very, very slowly. Uh, and we're going to do this about 50% uh, of the time, halving it every time. So we've got a, what is that, 250,000 liters of canola in there right now. So what we need to do is sell about 125,000 liters of it. So we'll get that down to about 125. Doesn't dump crazy fast, but it's fast enough. Close enough. There we go. So we've got 51% transported for that mission. However, what is our mission status? I can find the missions. Here we go. We're 91% completed. All right. So from here, we'll go at about 20,000 liter increments. We'll stop it about right there. So 58% transported. Not bad. 62. I think we need to get to, I think it's 75% transported, something like that. So because this dumps so quickly and we will be getting things that dump even faster than this, uh, especially for all platforms, We've got to be kind of careful. Oh, there's 74. 75%. 79%. Are we not done yet? <laughs> All right, well, it looks like that uh, giants have changed things up a little bit on us. 83%. Really? Is it going to take all of this? There's no way. 91% completed, so we're almost there. Oh, come on. Is it? Oh, there we go. All right. So we at least got to save a little bit and we sold a little bit as well. Let's go and complete those contracts. We got a lot of money for the contract. Looking good. They're looking good. So now we're up to 873. Way too much money than we actually need, but we're doing all right. Since we've got more tractors now, I think it's time that we get more mowers as well. I do really, really like these pot and mowers. And of course, I think I've had them delivered to this field down here. Sure enough, check that out. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and reset that point right there, and we'll go ahead and reset these as well. We had to spend a little extra cash on it, but that's okay. It should be right in front of us, and they are perfect. So this tractor right here is what I'm going to set on the worker, I believe. Uh, it should do just fine. Unfortunately, I don't know how to change up the driving style of this. But I'm sure the worker will figure it out even at like 54 miles an hour. So this is going to go to the big field and just get the work done. That's all it needs to do. I've gotten really good at driving the other tractor. So that's the one I'm going to drive. This one, we'll just let the dude do it himself. Because this tractor is a bit of a speedy boy, what I'm going to do is limit... Lower the stupid thing. Uh, I'm going to limit the mower to 31 miles an hour. I foresee some problems down the road, and I don't want any problems. Let's double check. Let's make sure our toggle working mode is set to... Oh, well, it doesn't tell me what it is, does it? Here we go. Widespread. Nope, we want swath dropping. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. We'll go ahead and turn on the front mower. Be good to go. So now is going to come the uh, tedious process of running headlands around this field shouldn't take too long it will be very 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 simple but it's still gonna take a hot minute so we'll go ahead and run i think i'm gonna do three headlands around this at least this time around so we'll see you when we're done with three yeah jk on second thought 
I want to use that JCB. It's awesome, and this thing's gonna work perfectly fine without me. So we'll go ahead and set our cruise control just to the right speed. We'll double check and make sure. Yep, fast farming is enabled. I've run our three headlands around this, and we will hire the worker. I understand that the uh, rear mowers are in versus in the out position or extended position as most people would run them. I prefer to run them in this. I get a nice tighter swath, and that's what I prefer. Ah, great. Hey, all right, well, this is done at least, so that guy's doing his thing. Now we get to jump in here and do our thing. We've got about, I think it's four grass fields, maybe five grass fields over here. We've got three right here and then one, so we've got four. I should never be allowed to do math, ever. One thing I noticed about using this is because it's zero turn, or zero turn, it's got all wheel steering, I'm able to take those corners at a much higher rate than I would normally. So instead of having to come through with a windrow later on, I, well, I don't have to do that. This will just take the turn for me without having to worry too much. I love this. You can actually see into the field in here. We can find nice little sneaky spots into the secret field in the woods. Love that, man. Love that. We'll go ahead and drop everything down and get ready to do this. But I want to show you the benefits of using this mower if it will do what I want it to the first time. <laughs> we'll see. Usually when I take a turn like this, I have to come back through and windrow it together in order to pick it up. However, we take the turn kind of like that. The swath stays together. However, we do still miss a little bitty bit here and there. So... There is a trade-off. You do miss some. However, the swath stays with it. So, you know, hey, if that's what you're looking for, rock with it. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Again, we'll spin this. And again, the swath stays with itself. So I don't have to come through and do any windrowing with that. Straight on. I love that. That's awesome. All right. So, more fields to do. Shouldn't take too long, but gonna take long enough so let's get to work i'm almost done with this field now and i want to tell you guys this jcb or really any zero turn tractor all-wheel steering tractor in game man if you're doing mowing like i am you have got to switch over this has been so easy so simple look at this boom back on it again the other tractor I had to do a little little three-point turn at the very end this one oh, shut up i'm not kidding Hold up, I don't care. Uh, it's been so simple to be able to just zoop, 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 zoom right back and forth. I probably cut off one or two minutes at least from this field from the time I did it before. Absolutely incredible. All right, so that's that. Now is going to come the rest of these. And for these, I'm just going to mow. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm just going to get the job done and move on. Speaking of moving on, I wonder how our uh, our other little buddy is moving along. Quickly! Wow! Zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> He's got a lot of this field done. So, that's great. Let's get back to work. See when this field's done. All right, so now everything is completed. All of the fields have been mown and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The thing is, picking it up with either this loading wagon right here or... The other loading wagon that we've got is going to take a while. It's, man, it's going to take a while. So what I've done is I've picked something up. And a lot of you guys would say, DJ, just buy it. No one cares. Just get it. So I did. And I got it in dark green and like, I don't know, it's kind of military colors-ish. Uh, I thought it looked cool. So this figured, let's go with it. This is a 10 million liter capacity version. We can lower that down if we really need to. But I wanted to get something big. I wanted to get something awesome. And I wanted to get something that would give my largest tractor a little bit of a... Well, not a problem. But it's going to take a hot minute. Also, this is not our largest tractor anymore, technically. It weighs the most, but that's about it. It's got the least, uh, second most horsepower now to the JCB, which has got a lot. But I'm still going to use this anyway. The JCB, I'm still unable to, like, turn it without all wheels st steering. So, whatever. I don't care. We'll just go with this instead. So, we've got a lot of grass. I did not think about this being green and the grass being green. 
Good job, DJ. <laughs> this is going to be fun to figure out where everything is. Nonetheless, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get all of this up, and we'll have a good time doing it. Uh, one thing about all of this, I'm going to pick up this stuff and this grass from uh, the three fields over here nearest our farm these are going to be used for the silo we're going to put them in the silo and they'll be used to turn into hay or turn into silage which by the way if you guys would like to get your hands on um, similar mods and maybe not the same ones but similar ones that i'm using uh, you can do that they're available right now on the mod hub i just came out recently so check out my most recent mod video you see exactly what I'm talking about. Got a mod that turns grass into hay and grass into chat or uh, silage. It's really cool. So definitely check that out. You want the mod. I've gone a step beyond what the mod does. <laughs> Maybe don't do things the way I do. I'm cheating a little bit, but that is what it is. Nonetheless, all right. Let's pick all this grass up. And then this grass will be sent over to the main silo. And then we'll have another one to pick up, which is going to be all going to the BGA. Dunzo, my man. Here's the first setup right here. 686,000 liters. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. Let's get it dumped out. Should take about <laughs> 0.5 seconds as it was figured out. I think it's at 1 million liters per second or something like that as the unload speed. It's pretty crazy. Now, we've still got, if you can see across the screen that whole field left to do so we have a lot more to go still but remember that's all just for making money all we do is literally just mow that up pick up the grass make some silage go home do it again maybe uh you know i should probably go ahead and check all these animals real quick they should be good i think we can do all right but wait you know what We'll just double check and see how about that okay so after a few days we did feed them on january 1st uh they are looking good so far so it looks like we're gonna get about six ish months maybe seven months worth of food total depending on how much they eat in the summertime milk's good straw is good slurry's good everybody is good so i think we're okay doing it this way for now we'll try and see how long it takes or anything like that also we are kind of coming up on the end of, uh, well, it's the video series season two, but it's kind of, what's well, episode 19, isn't it? We've got one more episode and then we're done with the second season in game, if you want to call it that. And we're in our third year. So we need to start thinking how long and how far into this series are we going to go? Are we going to push it? Are we going to do a 40 or 50 episode series? Or maybe are we just going to go with like 25 and say like, you know what, from here, really, it's just smooth sailing. So let's just, let's just call it. Are we going to do that? Or are we going to do it any other way? Let me know which way you would rather do. I think for me personally, going about 25 episodes or so, and then maybe doing something else, trying something new, jump in a different map, something like that. I think that might be the best thing to do. That way people aren't getting bored doing the same thing over and over every time. Because eventually, this farm is going to be self-sufficient. All we have to do is work the land every day. So, I want to make sure I'm making the right decisions for you guys. So, let me know what you think those decisions are. Is there something I'm doing you would change? Feel free to let me know. Hey! This is a community effort. It's not just DJ over here. Almost done here. We've got a little bit more and then we'll be completely finished. Again, we're over 1 million liters off of this field, which is great. This is going to bring us quite a bit of money. Um, the unfortunate part is I looked back and I didn't see any money that was accepted from the last time around on here. So I'm not really sure how to make money off of the BGA. And I'm really, really embarrassed to say that out loud. Good thing is, prices coming around, they're not great right now. So it's not like I'm going to sell this anyway. But still, you know, it would be nice. It would be nice. Go in here and take a look real quick. I'm probably going to run into something, whatever. It's fine. So in here, you can see da 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 da, -da all the good stuff. Um, pricing wise and things like that, if we go in here and we find ourselves some silage, that's manure. Do we have silage? 
Oh yes, Helen is up here, isn't it? Sure is, there we go. All right, so from in here, uh, you can see this is definitely the one right there. Having a hard time seeing what the exact number is there, but our price, price fluctuations are pretty, pretty far around, especially when you're talking so many different leaderages. So in January, that seems to be the best. We're still looking around, was that 200, $324? So 324, it's still not bad. I'm just not sure it's quite how much I want to make, especially with how much we could make. We probably won't do anything with that, at least this time around. But what I am going to do is go and dump it in here and we'll get it moving. We'll go ahead and get the silage uh, getting turned in from the grass. Uh, that's not going to take very long. Yeah. So there you go. We'll just sit. We'll wait on that to turn into silage. And then that's probably going to be for another day. So today's going to be big. It's going to be interesting. And I have no idea how I'm going to get all this wool transported. As a matter of fact, I actually do know how I'm going to get all of this transported. We're going to get another trailer. I think I can get away with only one or two more. We definitely got a whole full load right there. But I think these three stacks right here, we might maybe just be able to get away with running two more trailers. So let's get those real quick. What I want to do is figure out, A, which one we've got. B, is there anything on sale? There's a John Deere 4, 7. Oh my goodness. I do love that one. I do love that one a whole lot. Doesn't look like there's anything that's going to benefit us too much in here. So we'll move on. What are we using right now? Oh goodness, I got to find it. Here we go. Bell trailer. So we've got the Ponge for doing bells. And then we've got our auto load right here. The Eggraliner PWO. So let's go in and let's see if we can find that. Got it. Now we just got to figure out what color we're going to make it. I think I'm just going to stick with a standard design. Just the same thing that we've been used to. I think one thing I might do is just go with like an all black look. That way it separates itself from the ones that we've already got. This will be perfect. We'll lease a couple of these. Boom, 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 boom. Done. All right. Now let's jump in this. I do love this tractor so much. I think I've got it set to auto loading normal stuff. Yep. All right. Let's do a little click, click, click. We'll go as fast as we can. That way it'll line up perfectly. Got it. All right. That's trailer number one. <laughs> oh, this is going to be, oh, this is going to be heavy is what this is going to be. How am I going to get out of it? Oh boy. So it has come to my attention that that I don't know if I can get out of here with all these trailers in tandem. We'll figure it out. I mean, maybe, maybe we'll be able to get out of here, but I'm, you know what? I don't think we can. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's see if we can go and get all of this loaded up. Doop, 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 doop. And hopefully everything that's left will fit onto one trailer. I'm hoping. Also, we're definitely going to have to swap tractors. There's no way. There's no way that I could pull all of these. I mean, this will barely do one. I think it's just going to laugh at two and three is going to be like, you won't wait. Hold on. You want me to do what with, with what? <laughs> oh, I'm stuck, aren't I? All right. Let me host the powers this thing out of here. One more. I didn't count. Probably should have counted. Do you guys count? Yeah. yeah. There you go. There's your first question of the day called action. Do you count your wool pallets? And does it even matter? <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's get these loaded up. I do want to do this because it's super satisfying. Normally, I just click off, but like, man, that's so satisfying to just watch them go boop on there like that. Yeah. Now, a lot of people have been asking questions about uh, auto loading for consoles and things like that. And uh, it, there is a thing that is do. Oh, boy, that's that's not completely right. Oh, we got it all. And we've got one spot left. Oh, I'm so good at what I do. Uh, console players have been asking. Oh, there's another one. Seriously? And it's got a spot open at everything. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cheat just a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't tell anybody. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I'll talk about consoles here in just a second. Hang on. Um, <clears throat> the console version of this does work. And it works very similar to this. However, it works like a trailer. You know how you tip into a trailer... Uh, like this, for example, you tip into this trailer and then like this heap of uh, wheat pops in. Well, basically, that's how the console versions of these are going to work, but they will be here and they're going to come with other mods as well, which is kind of cool. 
I'm very, very, very excited. Did I, did I nail that perfectly? That's literally the exact number that I need. I'm so good at what I do. Yes. All right, there's only one way that this is going to work. I know it. You know it. Oh. <laughs> all right, so maybe there's not even one way that this will work. I don't think it'll work at all. Uh, I can't get this, the wheel to, to go because it's so heavy that I can't. I can't make it work. Okay, maybe I can. I don't. Man. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I, give me just a second. I, I think I got this, but this is going to take a hot minute. And there it is. The entire setup. We've got it all. How much do we have here? 94,000 liters of hool. Oh, boy. Um... Well, I can pretty much tell you we're not getting out that way to our right. I think going this way might be the only way out. And yeah, the the little fit is pulling, man. It's got 200, I think 270 horsepower or something like that. So it's not, it's not a baby. But when you've got this much of something on the back, especially something as heavy as wool. Yeah, it's, it was just heavy extremely heavy but we're gonna have a great sale because this is selling pretty good right now it's selling, i think it's like twenty one hundred dollars per thousand liters not terrible we're going to the garden center up at the top left hand corner of the map fortunately for us we're already about i don't know halfway there third of the way there there's our column our beacon the green beacon in the sky oh this is gonna take a while i can't do it it's not gonna work <laughs> Also, uh, that gate down there is invisible, so that's fun. Uh, this is like hump day hill climb back in the day whenever I used to do hill climb videos with tractors to see how much weight they could pull. This, I mean, it's doing it, but I'm in the middle of a field, which is not exactly ideal for traction. I did set it to uh, all-wheel drive, so everything's going. She's going full blast. What was it? 2,000 RPM, 1,700 RPM, something like that. And I'm getting a little bit of slap, but I'm still going one mile an hour. We're doing okay. All I got to do is get over this hill, and we're perfectly fine because it's all downhill from there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Turns out the poor little Fent could not do it. It got stuck in the field. Now, I don't think this is going to do it either. This has twice the amount of power, but because it's geared so quickly i don't think it's got the pull even though it's doing just fine actually twice the speed it's going 200 percent faster 100 percent. i don't i don't know man shut up uh <laughs> this is working this is working just fine it doesn't have the weight on the ground i mean this is i think it's about four four tons total lighter but it's working. It's working just fine. It's going to get the job done, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. I oh, love it. And we should be able to go a little bit quicker as well. So there it is. About 95,000 liters of wool moving at 25 miles an hour. That's scary. That's terrifying. <laughs> let's get it over here and let's get it sold. I love this JCB. If you guys haven't downloaded the new JCB yet, definitely check it out. I've already modified it because I love it. Oh, no. <laughs> Crap. Uh, oh, I'm on a bridge. That's not good. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we're okay. So it looks like I'm going to have to go in from this side. Uh, this is just... This was a bad idea. I've had a lot of bad ideas. We can all agree. This is, this one was, was pretty rough. <laughs> hey, at least it's getting done, right? All right, let's pull it in here. I figure instead of trying to edit through and go through all this, hey, I'll bring you guys along for the ride because this is slightly cringe and difficult. Uh, what's, the, what's the largest load that you've tried to pull through here? 10 trailers? 15 trailers? 38 trailers? Let me know. <laughs> All right, uh, time for the selling. This gonna take a little bit of time. 
Oh, and please tell me that's not going to open inward. Sure is. Thanks. Pull it through. Get it done. Get these sold. Money's going up like it's going out of style. Oh, it's selling fast, too. Dang. All right. I have no idea how much money we made. So we're going to have to go into here and see uh, what it is. $208,000. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and re er, uh, return these. That way we don't have to deal with them later. And I can get back home safely. All right. We're done with, well, all of that. By the way, we sold a bunch of stuff. Since we got that new loading wagon, I was able to sell our merger, our tatter. We also sold the other forge wagon and the little piece that goes in the front of it. Now, we get to start working on harvest time, which I'm really, really excited about. Let's jump in the new Holland. I did try to modify the new Fent Ideal, the uh, the MP series or whatever it is. I tried to modify those, but they're a little bit interesting because they're literally the same models that we've got in game. They're just diff changed engine, I guess. I'm, I'm not quite sure. The, the base files are referring to the base game Fent Ideal and Massey Ferguson Ideal, which by the way, the Massey Ferguson Ideal also uh, forwards to the Fent Ideal. So really out of those four mods, well, there's only one. I say four mods is four base game pieces of equipment. Uh, yeah, they're all literally exactly the same as far as game code goes. So that's fun. That's very interesting. So I, I was gonna use the uh, Fent or Massey Ferguson ideal, the new one, in place of this tra or this combine. But why? It's the same thing we've got. It's just got a different name on it. So I decided not to worry too much about it. Eventually, we will replace this new Holland Combine Harvester. I love this thing, really do, but working with is a little bit small. Uh, eventually, we're probably going to upgrade both combine harvesters that we've got, and we'll just go with some some big, big ones, something that we can throw uh, one of those draper heads on that has its own trailer on it and be done with it. That's the game plan, at least. <sighs> Maybe one day. I say that. We got $960,000, and I don't plan on spending a penny of it. Eh, maybe one day we'll go ahead and uh, do that over. Hey, possibly at the end of this year in game. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go through and complete one more uh, or complete this year in game. And I think from there, we'll probably call it at least on this map. I will be going on vacation like in real life here in about two weeks. So probably what I'm going to do is I'll have a video releasing every day from this series on that. And once that is over... We'll probably call it on this map and we'll move on to whatever's next so speaking of moving whatever's next let's finish this field up we'll run our two or three headlands whatever we need to get done and then we'll get on the cloths start working on the big field you know what no i decided we're gonna do it now we're gonna get rid of this thing <laughs> so we'll go ahead and dump that into there we don't need that anymore as a matter of fact i don't even know why i'm driving this back I, I, don't, I don't know. I got no excuse here. We're going to get another Claus Combine. I don't know. I th w okay, maybe we won't get a Claus. I'm not sure, but let's let's buy it first, and then we'll sell this. How about that? Let's go in. Just double check and making sure nothing through here, nothing through there. Uh, so we've got this right here. This is the larger Claus Combi of Flex header. No, that's totally fine, but I think I've got... Some kind of crazy modified version of something in here. Yeah, the one by Stevie. So these are, let's see, one's a little faster than the other one. That one goes six miles an hour. We'll just stick with this one. So we'll go with Kloss here. That's going to be our brand on the side. Main color, of course, that's going to be a Kloss green as well. There we go. Design color, I think this is on the side. We'll go with white. Yeah. And then I don't know exactly which color is Kloss, but uh, I think this will be just fine. Now, of course, the Kloss in real life is going to have red, um, what do we call it, tumblers, whatever it is in the front. Um, the rotors, they're going to be red. But I think this is going to be fine, at least for what we're up to. So let's go and buy that. Oh, I don't know where that put that. Oh, I do know where it put that. Yep, it put it right there. Oh no, let's go and reset that. <laughs> let's do that. All right, so next is the harvester. Now, there is a, uh, I believe it's a modified version of a modified version, something around in here. Uh, give me a second. Is this it? 
No, I don't think that's it. Turns out the version I was going to use is an update to the version that I've been using. Oh, right. <laughs> Where are we, man? Where are we? Did I save the game? I sure did. All right, so here's our header right here. Not too crazy. Looking good. Next, we need to get in here and find our harvester. Now, I'm going to have to go into mods DLCs because I don't know where it is. I think this is it right here. The 8900-5300 modded. Yeah. So this thing is epic. It is absolutely awesome. Uh, and it turns out one of my uh, upgrades didn't work. Hang on. Which one didn't work? That one. The 8900. For some reason... The 8900 uh, is still 18,000 and not 100,000. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I do like that kind of weird top on it, but I think I'm going to go with this. The Lexian 7600. It's got 500 horsepower. Totally fine for us. We are using Trelleborg tires, so nothing too crazy for us. Now, we do have a tracked option, but I wonder... Let's see. Okay, so we're not showing any... Uh, we're not showing anything wild and crazy. So why don't... I, I kind of want a wheeled version, but we're going to... It's, it's big. You know what? We'll just go with a broad. Yeah, there you go. Broad number two. Bring those tracks out. Make it nice and large. Um, I think the distributor header is like 13 point something. So we'll do 13 meters spread. Ladder on it. We'll do foldable ladder. Looking good. Ooh, the price is getting high. Oh, no. Uh Double flash beacon. I don't know what that means, but sure. I think that goes choom, 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 choom. Uh, field scanner. Don't know what that is, but we'll we'll not have that. And then the pipe. This is probably going to need to be a long foldable. Uh, I think 7X. That may be a little bit too big, but I think that's going to have to be it for now. $400,000 for a brand new combine harvester, which ain't looking terrible, baby. It ain't looking bad at all. There was a modded version, something like this, that I saw Farming Simulator 19. Very, very beautiful, beautiful combine harvester. I'm kind of excited about this. Uh... Ow. Well, they look awesome beside each other. Uh, big, big problem. Why is it over here? Why is it, why is it not on the other side? This should definitely be on the other side. Why does this look smaller? <laughs> you know, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Let's let's go ahead and hook up here and get this thing rocking and rolling. Again, I am pumped about this combine harvester. We're going to use this on the larger fields. Definitely. There's no way we're going to be using this on the smaller fields. We'll go and fold it up. Pick it up. Looking good. We'll drop it down. Just check the height. Height looks good as well. All right. I don't know if I can get this around here without hitting anything. <laughs> oh boy, I'm excited. New combine harvester on the farm, baby. Yeah. Of course I'm stuck. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, <laughs> uh, is this cringe yet? It feels very, very cringeworthy. All right. So this combine harvester is going to go to the other field. I got to move. Get, you know what? Give me a second. All right. Just stay stay where you are. Don't move. One thing we don't want is three combine harvesters. So we'll go over here. By the way, this is the mobile workshop mod. I had somebody asking me uh, for a previous video and uh, just commented on their video like a, a minute ago. So yeah, mobile workshop mod. Good to go there. Oh, I'm so excited. Unfortunately, I need to get this worker hired before I can use the new combine harvester. No. Well, hang on. Did the Combine Harvester really sell for $47,000? Oh, I got it used. I forgot about that part. Maybe, maybe moving forward, we double check and see the, I think I made 80 grand on something that cost me 500 overall, maybe even more. Yeah, we started with nine, 900,000 something. Oh boy, I'm bad with money. Workers hired now. Let's jump into the new boy right here. We'll double check. Uh, straw swath enabled. We need to make sure we do that because I want all the swath off of the straw. Drop it in. Do it to it. Uh, is the speed set up yet? No, it's not. Now it is. Have I talked to myself a lot during this video or is it just me? 
I, I feel like I've talked to myself a whole lot. I, I apologize to anyone watching at home getting uh, getting whiplash right now. <laughs> okay, this this is pretty epic right here. Oh yeah, I'm still gonna run two headlands around the fields, but I tell you what, it ain't gonna take long to get them done. That's for sure. Oh, I love it. So we've got 65,000 liters in here. If you guys saw episode number 20, by the way, go check it out if you haven't already. It's also out available right now in a, uh, like a super cut kind of thing. It's pretty cool. Check it out. All right. So there's that boy. boy. He is working. Let's go ahead and hire this one right here as well. We'll get them working and we're good. Okay. So we're going to let them run, do their thing, at least for now. We, on the other hand, I've got some work to do. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be jumping in, picking up all of this straw. This is gonna be loose straw that's gonna be going straight. Oh boy, he's right there. Uh, this is gonna be going straight to the cows. We're gonna take this over to the cow farm. I try to get one harvest for the cows. Burp, counter plus one, sorry. Uh, and then we've also got one harvest per year where we collect everything and use the bales. I'm hoping that we can get some stuff in like other fields, maybe do a couple contracts and get some more bales because we've got about half as many as we did in the previous year. By the way, uh, talking about Supercut, so Supercut of episodes 11 through 20 is out now. So if you haven't, check it out. It is a long watch, so you might be sitting for a hot minute, but I promise it's going to be worth it. You can watch the, or the second third of Comston Farm right there. I have decided we will be continuing through to 30 episodes here on Comston Farm, at which point we will be done. That's going to bring us all the way almost to the end of March. I think it'd be Monday, March 28th, if that's a real day uh, this year, where the next, uh, or Tuesday maybe, <laughs> the day after that, where we will launch the new gameplay series. Of course, we'll have to go through, figure out which series or which map we want to do or anything like that. Uh, I don't know yet. A lot of people want me to go to Valley of the Old Farm. Is it Valley? No, wait. Old Stream Farm. Man, black sheep modding maps. They kind of blur out a little bit. I'm really, really heavily considering going to the Old Stream Farm. It's an absolutely beautiful map. It's a lot of fun, and I think you guys would really enjoy it. So I think that's going to be where we go with that. Speaking of where we go with that, I need to get out there and uh, empty this bad boy out. So I'm gonna do that. You guys sit for a hot second and figure out which map you think would work. Problem is, that's gonna be in like 25 days from now. It's gonna be a little while. So we may have a bunch more stuff come out between now and then, and I hope we do. One other thing, it was also requested that I make a return to Elm Creek and finish that series. Uh, if you guys don't know, I think we're on episode 27 or 28 on that. So we could definitely bring ourselves to that 30. Oh, come on, go! I don't have the power to catch up. Slow down, goofball. I'm gunning it right now, and I can't keep up. Stupid, stupid, stupid. All right, well, I'll show you what I do here. So this guy's gonna go through. He's gonna back up. Ah, oh, come on. It works just like it does in Farming Simulator. Stab! Idiot! The one downside about going fast, man, it's hard to keep up with something with 600 horsepower. <laughs> uh, a lot of people have asked that I go back and finish up the Elm Creek series. Uh, yeah, I think we're on like 28 or something. Actually, I've already recorded the first clip of the next Let's Play. I did that. I don't want to tell you when I did it, but I think it was about two months ago, at least at the time of recording this video. It's been a minute, man. And I apologize. I apologize big time. We have a hundred thousand liters in here. How did we get a hundred thousand liters in here? That combine harvester will only hold. Huh? The combine only holds a hundred thousand liters. Uh, this is definitely one of those times where I'm more confused than I should be. You know what? I'm just going to end this clip right here. I'm going to go empty this guy out. You can see we got a lot of straw to pick up. I got another uh, field that needs to be done. This guy may be the first one on the job. We'll see. Ugh. Life is fun sometimes.
69,000 liters off of this field. Very nice. Couldn't have planned that better if I did it myself. And I did not. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and get this dumped out of here. Uh, so what is next for us? What are we up to next? Of course, I mentioned that we're going to be doing a soybean harvest. We are going to get another planter. And I am going to get maybe something that will do corn. Something like that, maybe? Uh, in here, of course, you probably know what we're using right now. If you go into Cedars, I am using the Seeding Options mod, and we were using the one on the far left, the Solitaire Limkin. Now, I love that one. Uh, low horsepower requirement, 180 horsepower. It ain't bad, but now we've got two tractors that can pull well more than that. So, the question is, do we upgrade to a Amazon, or do we jump into the planter category, and do we utilize some of the mods that we've gotten in here uh, that will direct drill. Now, with the seeding options mod, uh, by the way, if you're not using the seeding options mod, go download it right now. Hit pause. I'll give you like three seconds. One, two. All right, that's enough. They're probably back by now. Go download the seeding options mod because it adds direct drill to everything, which is super, super helpful. And speaking of super, super helpful, it's looking like this Cavernland right here. It doesn't hold a lot of seed or fertilizer for that matter. Uh, however, you can turn fertilizer off. It's not bad at nine meters. Doesn't require a ton of power. And we could stick on that front Cavernland seeding tank, which has got to be around here somewhere, right? Oh, boy. Do we not have one? I thought we had one. Well, I made an idiot out of myself, didn't I? Anyway, I thought maybe that would be a good uh, <laughs> a good one to go with because it will also do uh, soybeans, will also do canola as well. So whenever we do a canola harvest, that might be the one for it. Huh. What do you think? Let me know. And this right here is why I always used two combine harvesters. The Farming Simulator 19, not so much. I usually had one, but most of the time I had two. And uh, definitely in Farming Simulator 17 on consoles, I always ran two combine harvesters because that one, he's finishing up this field. He'll get that done perfectly fine. I'm on my way over here to hit this other field now. So if you're running some big fields or anything like that, definitely highly recommend that you guys change over, save your money a little bit, and get two harvesters. I promise you will not be disappointed. You can get the work done, well, twice as fast, right? Usually it's about, maybe not twice as fast, but about 150% quicker. Especially we have three big fields. Am I talking too much? <laughs> Tell you what, I'm having a good day today. I record all these videos early, early in the mornings, usually about 5.30 in the morning, maybe a little bit earlier than that. And I'm having a blast. This is 5.45 right now, I'm having a G Fuel, and I'm getting to hang out with you guys. Which kind of wish this was a live stream. Maybe I'll go live stream later today. That'll be fun. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit my two headlands around this field. By then, the other combine harvester should be ready to go. I will pass this work off to him because larger, uh, larger engine horsepower and a larger header. They'll get this done way, way faster. I got a lot of straw to pick up, huh? Oy. If you guys remember in the last episode, we were coming through and we sold a lot of wool. I think it was like 100,000 liters, something crazy like that. Well, I have found, cured something very, very close by to that same area, but this time we only have to bring a combine harvester through. Well, but we'll have to bring some other equipment eventually, but right now combine harvester will do because this is the field that we fertilized in that episode. This is a big, 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 big field of oats. And it's gonna give us some more, uh, some more straw, which is very, very nice. Let's go ahead and unhook from everything. I figured, you know what? We're not doing anything else with this combine harvester. And I decided to go ahead and leave the other one where it was, doing what it was doing. Hey, what's perfect? A contract. Love a good harvesting contract. It does seem like they've been nerfed uh, a lot in Farming Simulator 22 from 19, where it seemed like we only had to deliver 75% of the goods, and it was done. Well, Farming Simulator 22 is a little bit different. I think it's about 95% has to be delivered, and still... Uh, some other fields don't require that. It's really strange, to say the least. But nonetheless, we're still going to do it. Because guess what? The straw's free, man. Yeah, it is. 
I'm gonna steal it all. Don't tell anybody. All right, so where are we? Well, our Tryon is... <laughs> well, we started on this field on the last clip, and he's almost done. I've been working because this field is getting about there as well. Now, I did have to kind of square it off a bit. Let's say a bit. I had to square it off a lot. You had to do a little bit of work. But that's okay. Field 21 is a very interesting field on Comston. Eh, why not? I love it. Uh, and then we need to go and get back to work on this. We've got a lot of straw to pick up, man. I am going to pick up the straw that's on field 21 loose, just so I could get it done with the same machinery that I'm doing here, and so I don't have to uh, move bells down there. Now, speaking of bells, I think what I might do is give myself kind of like a straw allowance, if you want to call it that. I think I'm going to do that. Give myself a straw allowance. And so every year I know exactly how much straw I'm going to use or how much that I'm allotting myself. And the rest of it, when it's time to sell straw, was that in uh, November, December, something like that? I could just sell whatever's left and go from there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. The straw that's on field 21, we will take that and we will keep it for now. Just for now, of course. Uh, other plans, of course, we've got uh, there are three fields. I think we're going to do soybeans in all three of them. Uh, this is May right now, June. Tomorrow and summer number two. Is that summer number two? January, February, March. March, April, May, June. Yeah, yeah, okay. June, June is summer. Uh, give, give me, give me a, uh, give me a little bit of help right here. It's 6 a.m. right now. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do is take June. We'll get our next grass harvest done. We'll take some more up to the BGA. That is just sitting there right now. We got 1.1 million liters just sitting there, waiting on us to do something with it. And we are going to do something with it. That's going to be a massive silage cell. And it's made super easy as well from Omentana's fermenting silo. It's perfect. Love it. All right. Let's get to work. Let's get some more stuff done. I'm going to pick up as much straw as I possibly can. The contract's probably going to be completed. And, of course, our other worker's going to be done by the time it's all said and finished. We're moving along. I love it. And welcome back. So what have we done? Harvesting's done. We're completely done with the harvesting aspect of things. Now it is just cleaning up and finishing what we've started. Shouldn't be too hard, right? <laughs> I don't think we're going to get any planting done today. We'll find out and see, but I'm, I'm calling it now, man. So all three fields have been harvested. Our contract field has been harvested as well. There's still straw on the ground, and we still need to deliver that stuff. Now you can see maybe the uh, the harvester over there, the Zerian. Zerian? Axian? I don't know what it's called, dude. Class names confuse me. Uh, the <laughs> that combine harvester is over there. It is still full of oats. We got 75,000 liters of oats off of that field. So we're going to have to take that as well. We're going to get this emptied out. And then this trailer will be delivered over to our silo. Here's another thing that I've decided to do. So, a couple things. Number one, I'm not going to place down any factories. I, you know, I, I, there was a joke and... <laughs> and it was it was my fault uh but there was a joke saying that it was a uh, um, flower simulator all right well we're not going to be doing that at least on this series this is just farming man sell your stuff whenever you're ready get done what you need to do maybe take a thumbnail if if you have to which i i do have to let's go ahead and <laughs> bring that in uh oh don't don't put it in there there we go all right so i'm gonna try and give me a nice little pretty thumbnail right here and then I'll jump back in with you guys in a moment. Uh, I got an idea and I want to share it with you, but first I need to make this pretty. Got it. All right. So here's the idea. I think what I'm going to do, because I've been looking for a personal gameplay series. I've been playing on uh, old stream a little bit on Xbox in the evenings, but not too much, not enough to where I would say I've been fluent in the map. So what I would like to do is continue to play this map off screen you know of course after the 30 episodes are over and yeah, i won't play anymore on here at least publicly and then maybe come back in you know a month two months six months a year or something uh whenever progress has been made continuing to play as i've played here because i've really enjoyed myself i'm having a good time playing this map specifically so it would be a lot of fun to come back and kind of uh explore the changes and the things that i've done differently or or crazily or excitingly uh different things that i've done so it'd be fun to bring you guys along in a couple months 
to show you how things have progressed. And of course, continuing along with whatever new series we decide to do. So that'll be fun. All right. So I can kind of start putting stuff away. Oh, 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 oh. One more thing. Got to do the, uh, the sploosh. Uh, I don't know if I want to use that word. Yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> nice and clean. Right, let's move on. I didn't say that out loud, did I? Yikes. As I said, now everything is done. We've picked up all of the oats. We picked up all the straw. The contract is getting ready to be completed here momentarily. And we just got to figure out which place we got to sell to. Um, what is that? All sphere store? Cool. I know that's down here. We'll click that. We'll go ahead and tag it just in case. All right, it's right there. I'd say even after 30 episodes, I'm not going to remember which one's which. So this one, as far as this goes, we need to make sure we sell, I think it's about 90% of it, something like that. We'll take a look here. So we have harvested everything. That gives us our total of 80% done. So we've got about 80,000 liters in here. So we'll dump until we've got about 20-ish thousand left. And that should give us an idea of what we need to do past that point. So here we go. There's 20,000, 79% completed for the contract. We're 96% total. So now I'm just gonna go in small little bursts of about 5,000. Here we go, 92%, we're 99% completed. We'll try and get a little bit of a dump here and there. There we go. Harvesting contract is completed. We got about 7,000 liters left, so that looks to be around 90%. So we're up from 70% of the total that was needed in 19 up to 90% in 22. Not bad though. Completed. We still got 11 grand for it. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm very aware that I'm trying to trick the system. I'm trying to cheat the system. That's a massive contract right there. Field 13 sewing? Really? Hang on. We'll take a look. Field 13 and field number one real quick because I'm kind of interested in those. Let's see. Okay. So field number one is right here. That's a fertilizing contract. That's not going to take long at all, especially for 30 grand. Now, what was the other one? Field 13 needs sewing. Oh, that was that big field. You know, I don't really want to do that contract. I'd love to. I'm just not sure it's a good idea because I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get some sewers myself. So we got we got to buy some, uh, maybe not now. Oh yeah. 1,999,000 or 996,000, almost 2 million liters of straw off of everything. Absolutely insane. And I think I've got this set to 1 million liter dump per second. So that's a lot. All right. Let's get everybody back to the main farm. Let's get all of the equipment put away and let's go and get prepped for sowing. I don't think we're going to start it today, but at least we can get prepped. We can buy another cedar so that we can run two. Uh, we might be able to buy another roller so we can run two of those as well. Uh, or I might not do any rolling anymore. It takes a long time. And for the extra benefits that it offers us, I'm not sure if, uh, if it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it anymore. Not for as big of fields as we've got and the time that we've got. Rolling takes forever. It's so boring. All right, let's finish it out by getting some of this prep work done. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to fill up our fertilizer spreader. This is gonna give us some nice fertilizer and I'll probably do this step off screen just cause it's gonna be a little bit easier to do it that way. Uh, we'll get everything fertilized first and then we'll come back through and do the uh, planting. Speaking of planting, we need another cedar. So let's figure out exactly what we're going to get. I mentioned this one right here. I like this. I think it's a good idea. It's neat. I think it's neat. I think that's why I like it so much, but we've got better versions of it. So I think I'm going to go through, kind of double check a little bit. I do like that John there as well, but it needs a lot of power. Um, I still think for the power requirement of this Cavernland, we're just better off. Going back, going into Cedars, and getting this one right here. Oop, that's the fast forward version. Don't want that one. There you go. I think we're better off just getting this one. It's going to be perfect for us. Trelleborg tires, DJ60 ham on the back. 165 grand. Boom. Done. 
got them. Uh, I don't. I don't really want to bother with a roller. <laughs> Will you guys be mad at me if I don't roll my fields? I know you have to. I just don't wanna. I don't wanna at all. Of course, we're gonna need some seed in here, so we'll go ahead and fill that up to the top. Fifty-eight hundred liters of it for thirty-nine hundred dollars. Not too bad. It's not too bad. A little high, but it's not too bad. We're using eighty-two's. Uh, silo right there you guys definitely go check that out you can buy literally everything and i don't know when the tlx phoenix is coming out but whenever it does with the auto low pallets uh you could just fill up with like wood planks or clothes if you want to you can just pull under that and buy anything you want now of course we've got mods we could do that now which is nice but you know what's better than pulling under there with a trailer and filling up with i don't know anything else that's funny uh Cotton? I don't, I don't know. I got nothing. <laughs> there we go. Seeds are full. Now we've got two seeders. We're going to run this. We'll get it done twice as fast, and we'll have a good time doing it. All right, let's make it happen. This shouldn't be too confusing or terrible, I hope. I hope not. Let's turn on some game sounds so you guys can hear it. First things first is fertilizing. This ain't going to take long. We only have three fields to fertilize, so what could go wrong? Everything, ev everything could go wrong. Uh, number one thing that we will not be doing today is rolling. I've decided that rolling has taken up too much of my life and is not worth the extra bits that you get in the game. Uh, now, I'm not 100% sure exactly how much you get. What is it, like 5%, 3%, something like that? I know at the bottom it just says, needs rolling. Ugh. I wish I could turn that off. Which wish you could turn off rolling and mulching, but it's parts of the game. I know mulching gives you, was it 2%, something like that. So technically I could come through right now and mulch all of this stubble down and it would be good. I could do that before or after fertilizing it, but we're going the easy route today. Again, if you missed the ending of yesterday's episode or the last episode, whenever it came out, that would be number 21. Is you curious, we missed a little bit back there. We talked about the future plans of the series. As of right now, the series is going to be ending, but not, 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 oh, yeah, not yet. Uh, it's going to be ending after episode number 30. So you've got a little ways left. We're going to be doing a super cut of episodes uh, 21 through 30, and then we'll do a final, like, master cut of the series so if you guys want to go through and watch literally the entire series you can if you want to and it's going to be taking up a little bit of time while i'm on vacation as well so that's going to be nice for me i'm not gone yet but it will be gone soon so that's kind of like a quick update um we're gonna <laughs> uh we're gonna take a look at a few maps as well i know a lot of people have been asking me to go over to the old stream farm i love the old stream farm I would play it a lot more smaller, no big combine harvesters or anything like that. And even even the tractors I think that we're using right here, probably a little bit too big for what I would need on that map. Maybe this JCB would be fine, but not with 450 horsepower. But at least as right now, that's kind of the game plan is to relocate myself over to Valley of the Old Farm. Uh, I will continue to play this map off screen. I might record every bit of it and upload it as uh, something, uh, but very likely it will just turn into a fun series that I do off screen. Uh, I'll just play and, and it'll be my way of playing the game and having fun by myself. So between now and then, let's get all of this fertilizing done. Again, only, only three fields and we're already almost done with the first one, so it won't take long. All right, it's bean time, baby, yeah! Let's get this stuff rocking and rolling. I'm going to start on this field versus starting on the other one because, well, you guys just saw me do that one, huh? Yeah. Another thing I want to do real quick because we had some trouble with this actually hitting the ground the entire way. So I'm going to go into soften a little bit. We'll kind of bring that all the way up. And the areas around here, this little spot, I'm just going to kind of give them a little once over, just kind of back and forth, try and bring them into each other's smoothly as possible. I don't know, I think that's about as good, a, good as it's gonna be. I've still gotta learn the new system and the new setup. I've been using, you know, the one in Farming Simulator 19 with you guys for the past three years or so. And uh, I'm used to it. I know how it works. I don't know how this one works, man. I'm still trying to get everything figured out. Also, let's go ahead and 
unleash the beast here. I'm going to limit it to 32 miles an hour because the speed that it will go is just absurd for a vehicle that you cannot take off of all-wheel steering, which I pray gets fixed. It's This has been a nightmare trying to drive this thing around. So front-wheel drive would be super beneficial in a very fast JCB. Yes! All right, so where are we and how are we doing? Everything seems to be doing okay so far. Obviously, we're just going to run around, hit our two headlands, and then hire a worker and let him finish the job for us. And, of course, we'll grab our uh, Massey Ferguson and we'll do the same thing on the next largest field. And then whoever finishes first gets to do the other field. It's a pretty easy job. So, let's get to work. So, the second worker has just been hired. Now it's going to be the time to... Maybe Pop around, take a look and see, make sure everybody's doing good. Okay, this guy's doing good and he's definitely going to finish up first, as you can see from all this. Needs rolling, we're going to go ahead and click off that and we're going to click off a mulch as well because I don't care anymore. Let's take a look at some contracts and see what is on. So we've got a couple bailing contracts, I'm not really interested in doing stuff like that. Cultivating, yeah. Uh, we do have a fertilizer contract, so I think we will accept that. Let's go ahead and accept the fertilizer contract. And we've got a harvested contract, but it's for corn only. So uh, I'm not going to be doing that. I don't have anything to do corn with. We do have a couple sowing contracts. See, field 13, I think we talked about that one at one point. And then we've got field 20 as well. 20 is a little bit smaller, uh, but it's sunflowers. We don't have the ability to do that. So I think maybe we might do this contract i mean 55 grand that's not bad especially when you got 300 some but fertilizing that's pretty simple field number one let's jump over to this oh yeah um i don't think we need this tractor anymore i like the weight i'll probably keep that but the tractor we we haven't used it in a hot minute i i never have th more than a couple uh a couple things in the field at one time gives us an extra 100 grand there you go actually i've got all the weights I'm sorry, Taz. I'm selling your weight, man. All right. So we've got some money. We're good there. <laughs> a little bit extra cash. And now we've got places for almost all the tractors. Having four tractors and two combines, especially when you only can drive one tractor at a time and only have enough stuff to put two hard workers in the field at one point. Why? Right? Why run them? You don't. You can't. You can't do it. Fill it up find out field where's field number oh field number one's right there isn't that like right across the road hang on yep totally right there i'm just gonna drive straight into the field and go yeah okay cool so this is gonna give us a little bit of money we will or should uh be over five hundred thousand dollars at least by the end of this contract Shouldn't take too long. And just like that, we're done with the contract. We have this much left, in case you're curious, and you want to do this for yourself later on. We'll go ahead and complete this. Collect that. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Let's refresh a few contracts. Doesn't look like any other contracts are going to be available right now. Just a bunch of cultivating. Like I say, we do have that harvesting. I would love to do the sewing contract, but it's the only thing that's going to keep us held back. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? It's the only thing that's going to keep us from progressing forward. And I just don't have the time to sit around and wait. Because today in the game, we're probably going to move forward and get a little bit more grass work done. I know we've been doing quite a bit of it lately, but hey, makes money. So why not, right? Yeah. Plus, we have a bunch of animals that need to be fed as well. Speaking of animals that need to be fed, uh, either tomorrow or the next day in game, we will be feeding said animals. So, oh. The Massey completed its task. That's not the Massey. That's the Massey. That did say Massey Ferguson, right? <laughs> I just want to double check and make sure. Either way, either way, we'll go ahead and drop this down. We'll hit this last little nyop right there. There we go. Uh, looks like we've got more than half of the seed left in here. So this field is much, much smaller than the other one. Very, uh, very excited. Actually, we're almost done. This is not going to take very long at all. Oh, I love it. Get out of here, deer. <laughs> Look at them. They're like, no, 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 no. Oh, by the way, IRL having some muskrat problems. They got a pond and they love it. 
Any suggestions? Any ideas? Anybody got any tips and tricks? <laughs> Let me know. Here we are with the last bit of planting and that is it. Got it. Pop it up, fold it up, be done with it. Uh, by the way, uh, this helper is showing up as JCB450 and the other one's showing up as Massey. I don't know why, but it it's like they got together. We're like, you know, hey, I'll I'll be you if you be me. It's like twins in a elementary school classroom trying to pretend to be each other. You're not twins. <laughs> You're a JCB and a Massey. You couldn't be more different. Anyway, so I've got a pair of idiots on the uh, farm. I should rename them Idiot 1 and Idiot 2. However, that mod doesn't work for me, so <laughs> whatever. It is what it is. We'll go ahead and back everything up. Let's go ahead and clean it up. There we go. Nice little splash of color there. Uh, we do have our roller here, but like I said, I'm not going to be using that anymore. I do want to double check and see what the actual amount of uh, crop. Let's see. Let's jump over here. So we're showing... Uh, fertilize 50%, yield bonus 73. So let's find out what that yield bonus is going to be after putting down fertilizer. I'm really interested about this, and I'm going to do this on screen with you guys right here, right now. Let's go and open up, and we'll fill this up. By the way, this should be getting an update soon, this little fertilizer spreader. I do like it. I think they're adding a few more features to it as well, which is very, very cool. And I love the fact that it's got a massive spread as well. All right. So let's head in here. Let's go ahead and start this uh, little headland area. We'll go and turn that off. Back back up. All right. So we're showing 95% yield bonus. So it looks like the rolling only gives us like three-ish. Bye. Getting finished up with the planting and things are going good. Let's go ahead and fire our worker. <laughs> Hey, finally it reads correctly. I had to quit the video for a second. Giants released a new blog, which was super, super exciting. You guys will know all about precision farming by the time, uh, well, this is out. Uh, and the series will be done by the time precision farming is out. A little sad, but it is what it is. I thought about getting one more big field when it's all said and done. Just like, you know, Unamas. I love field five, but yeah, it's so expensive. I did think about selling a few things to support my field buying habit. Uh, selling 35, selling field number four, and selling this itty bitty little plot right here. We're only using these for grass right now. Uh, and I feel like, you know, especially with this area right here, even if we don't use that anymore, this one field is totally enough. So let's see how much money we've got 530 grand, okay? This is 130, so it brings up to six, uh, 660. And then another one to 788. And then finally right over 800 grand. So not, not even close to enough money to buy. <laughs> so we couldn't do it right now if we wanted to. It does have beets in it. And man, am I not a fan of sugar beets. Uh, I was going to say, maybe we could buy it and like harvest, but... I don't even think I've cheated in anything or created anything that could cheat anything like that. Ooh, yeah. Um, fun stuff going on over here right now. Fun stuff. Let's get a little whoosh. Oh, didn't do it. Hang on, hang on. Disconnect the weight. Whoosh. I <laughs> love it. So now everything is done. We've completed everything that we needed to do, at least for today. We've got soybeans in the ground, which I think was a huge mistake on my part, actually, because they, well, you can't sell them till July. <laughs> Corn's the same way as well. So we're going to have to wait a little while before we sell either one of those. We don't have any corn anyway, so it's not like it matters. But as far as everything else, that, that's the problem. We're going to drop that down right there. Good to go. Good to go park this up those combine harvesters really are in the way aren't they yes they are all right there you go we'll just leave the jcb out tonight not gonna hurt anything let's do a little discount double check on everything going on right now we'll double check make sure we haven't missed anything too good sowing there but i really just don't have the time uh honey still looking good everything's getting stored there uh, fermenting silo grass is in, but we've already got our output of silage. Again, silage doesn't sell until January, so it's not like we can do anything anyway. And then as far as the BGA goes, well, it's pretty much completely empty because we don't have enough to even go through for one cycle. So 
Can't do anything about that. We do have 36,000 liters of digestate, though. Might be able to do something with that at some point. But at least for today, in game, not for the video, let's go to bed. One day. That's how much wool these stupid sheep make in one day. Literally every, like, two hours, they're popping one of these out, if not more than that. Arr! Also, I may have accidentally fast-forwarded time a little bit too much. It's... Currently 2.39 in the afternoon. My bad. Uh, we got stuff to do. Speaking of animals, let's take a look. All right, so our TMR is low on the cattle. Grass is about half on the sheep, so not bad. And, well, the chickens have too, way, way too much <laughs> food, so they're fine. We'll kind of poke our head in here and take a look and see the eggs. I think what I'll go ahead and do is take the eggs and just kind of push them out of the way just like so there we go so we'll push those out of the way we'll give this a little bit more room you ever wonder like what these guys are thinking every once in a while they'll just take off this one's still asleep in the afternoon i'm just waiting on one to just bolt across yeah there he goes yeah <laughs> i love that that's awesome all right Let's uh, let's jump over. Let's see if we can find ourselves some mowers. I think we're gonna return with the way that we were doing things previously. So the JCB is gonna go on the top field, and then we'll use the Massey Ferguson around. Actually, no, we use the JCB down here. We'll use the Massey Ferguson up there. That's that's how you do it. That's the way. All right, we'll drop it off. We'll grab some mowers. You know, just as I'm sitting here grabbing some mowers and sitting here thinking. We're kind of on autopilot right now, which is very, very nice. We've got every field that we technically need, and we've got every bit of uh, equipment that we could possibly need. And it's, if we were, you know, real life farming, go and watch that off as well. If we were real life farming, we would kind of be set. There wouldn't be a whole lot left that we had to do, needed to do, or maybe even wanted to do. Of course, we can make small changes over time to our farms and things like that, but do we really need to? I don't, I don't know. It's a good question. The nice thing is we're in episode 22 out of 30, and we're on a sweet little autopilot. So we might, might upgrade, change some things around a little bit, maybe do something that I wouldn't normally do. Again, we're not getting into productions into this... Uh, this gameplay series, I don't want to do that for the simple fact that I just want to farm, have a good time. Maybe in the next series we'll do some some really serious productions. As we mentioned before, at least as of right now, the game plan is to go into uh, the old stream farm, which has productions built in to the map, which are phenomenal. It's fantastic. Oh, we got some deer in the road. Are we going to hit one? Aha, got two. Nice, two points. All right, we got the big mower on the big field. We'll go ahead and just hire him out, let him do his thing. Now we get to go take care of all the smaller fields. Nothing too crazy here, and I think you guys saw me do this a couple episodes ago, so I'm not going to be filming any of them. I'm just going to get this stuff mown and be done with it. Field 4, 35, and these two little ones right here. All the blue fields. Let's get them done. All right, so it is all done. All of the fields have been... Oh, come there's one more. I don't want to do it, man. You can't make me. I won't do it. Ugh, I gotta go do it. This whole thing, like, having to do four individual little baby fields has made me realize how much I'm ready to invest in a large, larger field. Also, uh, while I was making this video, a mod has come out. Uh, it may or may not be 82 Studios TLX Phoenix series. I mean, it is, but it might not be. I mean, it is though, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy that it is out now. I'm happy that it's here so players can actually enjoy it and use it and auto load their products, myself included. I'm definitely gonna be getting one of those for this series, but doing all of these fields has also made me realize how much I really, really, really just wanna use one field for doing grass work and be done with it. I'm so tired of moving to these little itty bitty baby fields and, and doing everything. So uh, yeah, eventually we will upgrade ourselves to the single larger field. I believe that's field number five. Yeah, field number five. 
I think that's a good field. It's right next to everything, and it's not too far away from us. Uh, another option is field number 13. It is huge. Uh, and then we could literally do one grass field and then be done with it. But it is a little bit further away from our farm. So do we want to run one massive, large, large field? And that would take care of all of our grass work, just the one field. Or do we want to do two? I don't have an answer. So maybe you guys could tell me what you think. Should we double check prices for that? All right, so that was 13,833. Field five is 903. This is seven. So from 700 to 1380, what is that? I need 600 grand, which is less than I would need for one more field. I, you know what? I think this could work. I think the one field trick could work. We would have plenty. So the mowing's done. Um, I reset this guy, and and I don't I don't know what happened. Uh, I don't know if this is it's bad. Uh, let's see if we can reset it and catch it before it falls over. <laughs> Got him! All right, let's do the whoosh. Ah, I didn't do the back part. Come on! Got to drop the front. Whoosh. I have noticed that sometimes it'll do three things. It'll do an attachment on the front and the back, and sometimes it does not. Uh, anyway, off screen, I'm gonna be collecting all of the grass, so we're not gonna do that on screen. Um, but we do need to kind of get ready for aminals. Uh We got some aminals that definitely need some help, and we need to feed them. So real quick, we're gonna, oh boy. Oh, we're gonna run over to the cows, and we're gonna try and give them some oh, food. Um, you know what? I, I shouldn't be allowed to drive. It's just a solid crash counter plus one like every four seconds. It's almost as bad as driver 53. Oof. Do you guys remember when I did that oat contract like one or two videos ago? Well, uh, it's, oh, that's another crash counter. See, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, there's, there's oats in the back of this. Oh, come on. This stupid all wheel steering being locked up. Snibble, why did you have to remove the feature? It sucks without being able to use normal steering. All right, let's get that dumped in there. There's some oats for us. We can use that for our invisible horses or something. Uh, I think I've got some TMR in here already. We'll double check it real quick. But I think I've got like a pile of TMR. Yeah, 634,000 liters of TMR to be exact. Um, I don't know how much they're going to need. Real quick, just probably double check that. Hey, uh, cattle... So 50, 100, 200, 3, 4. I'm going to say they'll take about four to 500,000 liters. I think they'll hold 500,000. So they're definitely going to take about 450. All right, we'll put 450,000 liters of food in there. All right, let's see if my epic backing up skills will handle, uh, handle my set. Nap, 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 nap. You know what? I think I should just stop recording gameplay videos for a while. Because I'm a, uh, well, bad. I'm really bad. <laughs> All right, we're going to dump this out. This will take some time. But I think, if I remember correctly, I had this hold half a million liters. Because uh, it was numbers that I put in there. But I don't remember what they were. So this should be okay. We'll just double check, make sure this is fine. Uh, and then from there, I really don't have to do anything. As you can see, 2.7 million liters of straw. Why do they have that much straw? I'm... I don't know. I didn't do it. Uh, <laughs> this should be fine. However, these up here, I don't have to do anything, which makes it super nice. Also, uh, we still have 250 head of cattle. I think we can have more, but they just won't do it. <laughs> I don't know what other way to use. Uh, the cows aren't doing anything. Uh, and they are super slow-mo being epic right now. I mean, they're in... Yeah. I'm going to get demonetized. I should probably be careful with my words. Um, anyway, yeah, I mean, their reproduction is just fine. Um, these guys are doing okay. Five months and 18 months. These guys are 22 months. I mean, they're, they're fine. But they're not... Yeah. Um... It's reached its breeding age. Animals are healthier than 18 months. Can reproduce. Well, these are 22 months. And they're not reproducing. Reproduce. Do I need a bull in here? 
Yeah, I might. Ooh, ugly. Look there. Do I need to get a bowl and put a bowl in there? Because if so, I mean, I'm happy doing it. All right, we'll take a look. Half a million liters. Yep, yep, yep. Everything's good. Cool, cool, cool. All right, bye. So we've got a bunch of grass, and I really, really mean it. There's, there's some grass there. There's some over there. There's some off of the distance. This is going to take a little while. We're not going to keep you too long, at least not for this process and this part of it. Uh, all of the grass that's coming from the two, three, four fields on this side is going to be going in our silo. Now, that silo is going to be used for taking care of the cattle and taking care of the sheep throughout the entire year. As always, we're going to take the other silo and we're going to sell whatever grass is in there to the BGA. And that's going to be done in the form of silage. We'll have some silage pre-made and doing its thing. We've done this a couple times. Like I said, the farm really is kind of doing its own thing right now. It's in autopilot, as it were. And I know a lot of times a farming simulator, uh, I'm guilty of this as well, where you're never really happy with where you're at. You're always trying to do more. You're trying to go crazier and bigger and better. You're trying to do a whole lot buying something and sometimes it's okay just to be happy with what you've got and i think with doing 30 episodes especially uh here on calmsden farm where we've been so successful um i think sometimes it might just be good to uh count our losses count our gains and move on <laughs> i think that's what we may end up doing we've been extremely lucky we've done really well i've had to do a little bit of restart, but that's okay. Uh, also, most recently announced is there is an update 1.2 to this uh, game or this map, and you're going to need a new game save. So heads up there if you guys have been playing around on Comston Farm, there will be a time when you need a new game save. We'll talk about that update uh, probably here in the next clip, but I've got a lot of grass to pick up, so I'm going to at least pick up these next few bits. 269,000 liters after the first field. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and continue along. And uh, let's talk about the update a little bit. So this next part of the Let's Play is not really going to be as much of a Let's Play. It's almost kind of like a news video. And I'm going to try to read all of this off of Facebook while I'm just driving Oh, please don't let me crash into anything. So, updates. Uh, we've got a brand new fruit, a fruit of linseed. So, there's going to be a brand new fruit on here. Uh, they do say that this is update 1.2, and it's more of an update and an upgrade to the map. So, it's going to need a new game save due to the map structure being changed when adding new fruits. So, heads up there. Um, there's going to be a new custom geo. So, no longer are you going to be using the base game geo. Um, and we say geo, it's really just the planting calendar now more than anything. So, you're going to have a new one of those. It's by the Modern Disturbed. So, that's awesome. They got a couple new and improved ground textures from Bullet Bill. So, that's kind of neat to see. They've added stars and constellations at night. Yes, just like... Gran Turismo 7. Uh, he's also got gate animations, which have now been moved to the map. This is good because currently they are attached to the chicken pen. So if you sell the chicken pen, the gates are gone. I have no idea what in the world possessed him to make that the way it is in the first place. But I'm super grateful that it is being changed. And I'm sure there's a lot of you guys that are like that as well. Uh, they do say that in multiplayer, all players can now open and get, close the gates and doors because they're on the map. If you didn't own the chicken pen, you couldn't even open the gates. How that got through, I'll have no idea. Um, just a personal thing there. Uh, <laughs> also, they've fixed an issue. Ooh, I'm messing some stuff. Fixed an issue on dedicated server where swear doors and gates were out of line. So that's been fixed. Uh, the gate collision's been scaled down and improved. Get a lot of problems with the gates. Can you see the uh, the issue? They've also fixed a few collisions. Collision in the bunker has been removed. All productions can now be sold at the same sell point, uh, which before he had completely ignored all the, the uh, productions. Looks like now he's actually paying a few of those a little bit of attention, which is very nice to see. Oh boy, that wasn't very nice to do though. Uh, what else do we have? We've got some brand new HD weed textures. Uh, I'm sure you guys were asking for those. So new weed textures have been added to the map. 
Uh, they say cow parsley and nettle or nettles. Nettles? Is that a word? Um, placeables are now bought within the land itself. Cool. Hey, I like that. Chicken pasture can now be sold without the gates. Again, there were turn of stupid gates. Man, it was such an issue. I don't know why he did it in the first place. Hopefully it never happens again. Hopefully every map creator learns from that. And fix the junk in the barns and the horse items not being removed since the game patch 1.3. Fortunately for us, we removed it all before that patch, so we're good to go. So there it is. That's... Oh, that's the entire change log, at least what they've got right now for update 1.2. All right, so opinionated DJ is, uh, he's been put back in his corner. Uh, <laughs> apologize. I'm not trying to put anybody down or anything, but uh, there's some things that are like, how, how, how did that happen? Regardless, we will move on. So we've got, uh, it was about 600, 650,000 liters, something like that for the, um, for everybody. Yep. There you go. So double that was at 12, uh, 1.2 million. So that's a good solid amount for silage and for hay, even though we're feeding the, uh, sheep grass. So that's always nice. By the way, I don't think I fed them yesterday. I should probably double check and make sure that they're being fed. By the way, if you haven't, we've already released the supercut of episodes, I uh, was at 11 through 20, I believe. So they did release a little bit later than I was expecting. It's a long video. It took a little while to put together. So it's out now. And speaking about now, I am going to jump into the field. We're going to get all of this up. If I remember correctly, this is about 1.1 million liters-ish. Again, if I remember correctly. So we should be getting a decent amount off of all of this. And of course, this goes to the BGA because we like to make money from the BGA. Almost done over here now. We just hit 1 million liters of grass. That's pretty cool. Tell you what, there's a lot of people that make videos for Farming Simulator that don't really play outside making videos. And I used to be one of those, but only because I didn't have the time. And then for about uh, a year and a half plus, uh, I played the game, but didn't make videos about me playing the game. And now, do a little bit of both, a little bit of fun. Um, the way that I play off screen mirrors pretty closely the way that I play on screen. Um, maybe even a little bit more on the realism side when I'm off screen, because generally I will try to do things more realistic, more deliberate, um, and enjoy the act of farming more than I actually enjoy the act of making the video or trying to get things done as quickly as possible. Here, I get things done a little bit faster. <laughs> there, I'm okay spending, you know, maybe two weeks in real life in, you know, one year in game or, or even less or more. Um, there's been a few times where I'll literally spend an entire week playing Farming Simulator on the same day. Speaking of, uh, we've had four episodes on the same day in game, I think, now. Maybe maybe this was the next one. I don't remember. I haven't recorded a video in a week either. <laughs> I've been busy. Uh, nonetheless, I, I'm curious to see two questions. Number one, how do you play? Realistic? Not realistic? Do you enjoy playing Farming Simulator? I'm sure you do. Watching this video right now. And two, do you play like me? I can't be that much alone, right? Do you make videos? Hey, if you do, let me know what your YouTube channel is down below. Post it. I don't think you can post links, but like post like a, you know, a YouTube slash. Oh boy. Uh, and and hopefully that'll trick it into thinking that's not a link. They're just posting stuff. You know what it is. Now, really, the only thing left to do is fertilize the grass fields. And then it's kind of fast forward season until the next harvest. But I don't know. I kind of want to find something else to do. One thing, uh, field 17 is a cotton field and I, uh, absolutely plan on leasing a cotton harvester and doing that contract as soon as it comes available. Cause that sounds awesome. To be honest, I haven't done much with cotton in farming simulator 22. Um, if really anything, got some deer running around here. Uh, I haven't really done much at all with like some of these extra crops and like grapes and stuff. I haven't done anything with those. I'm really looking forward to this new DLC because I think maybe with the new DLC, I will attempt at least. <laughs> Birds and deer in the same place. Look at that. 
Uh, I'll attempt at least to get in there and have a little bit of fun. Uh, do some grapes, maybe make my own uh, vineyard. I think it'd be fun. I'll enjoy that and have a good time. And I'll be able to use equipment specific for it. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm also looking forward to the Precision Farming update. Yeah. So with Precision Farming coming to Farming Simulator, I believe it's on April the 19th. If I remember correctly, that's going to be 2022. If you guys are watching this in the future, should already be out. So jump in and check it out. Unless, very, very excited for both of those things. For new DLC, precision farming. Hey, Farm Sim 22 is just getting good. And we're just getting started. Super exciting. So, the next little bit in game is going to be quite interesting. Because there's not a whole lot to do. As we mentioned, we're on autopilot right now. I'm not going to be buying anything crazy. I'm not going to be doing anything crazy. But I do feel like there's a few things that we're missing out on. A few things that we need. We've got three tractors. You don't need any more than that, at least a single player game. We've got two combine harvesters that are large. Yeah, you don't need any more than that. Please turn around. Please turn around the right way. Why are you backing up like, you know, worker? Ah, oh, they're actual idiots. All right, let's just boom away from that guy just for a minute here. So we've got all this stuff. We've got every piece of equipment we could possibly ever want need. The question is, how do we end? How do we give Comsden Farm the proper send-off that it deserves? At least before update 1.2 comes out, which I don't think we'll be doing any videos on other than the initial one. Because, well, it's update 1.2. We're going to be done by then. So I've been going through and fast-forwarding some time, just trying to pass the time away. Uh, after getting all the fertilizing done. And I noticed that the sheep quit producing uh, their uh, wool. And I was like, well, that's not good. Give me some water. There we go. And I quickly realized, oh, the sheep are out of water. My bad. <laughs> so we're going to come over and give them some water real quick. I'm, I kind of forgot to give them water. I've been just chunking the wool out of the spawn point. And it just quit quit spawning it just stopped now this can be interesting there we go we'll go ahead and do that this wool piece i need to put it back there you go not quite the way i wanted to do that uh yes if you grab a pallet you could still fly and farm sim so that's just fun all right how's this thing doing is it good all right we've we've gotten some stuff we'll just go ahead and end that right there Actually, I'll show you how I'm doing it. Uh, so I've got the quick or the heavy push. You can also just put a TLX Phoenix beside it and you're good. Yeah, they, they like to, to walk on top of it as well. But you can put one of those beside it and it'll just automatically pick them up every time they put it down. Makes it really like stupid easy. It's really nice. But we just go through, fast forward some time at a decent rate. Go ahead and... Pew, Shoot that out of there. Go and speed the time up a little bit. So every hour, roughly, in game, gives you more. So boop, there's an hour. Come up and on the next hour. Boop, there we go again. And you just push it off. Uh, there's also a much faster way to do it, like this, which can be a lot of fun. But you accidentally end up fast-forwarding too much time. It's a boring Oh, I, had, I had fun talking about it. So I'm going to wait until we get to about 11 a.m.-ish in game. And uh, and then we will be able to... Right there. Got it. Start doing some stuff. It's August. What are we going to do today? Well, I know what field we're not harvesting. Field 17. Missed out on that big time. Let's go through and take a look here. Yeah, of course, there's... Nothing around there. Ooh, I have a honey thing that I need to go double check on. Uh, let's see. Cultivating. No, nobody cares. So, nah, there's nothing fun in there. We got some fertilizer contracts. Those should pay a good amount of money, but I just don't care. Uh, we've got a bunch of honey over here. A lot of honey that could probably use to be pulled off to the side a little bit. So, I'm just going to grab the bottom and pull. Try to at least. Come through like that. There you go. Is any more going to pop down? Uh, doesn't look like it. Cool. Yeah, that's my favorite. We'll go ahead and 
and do like that as well. Also, one neat thing about this uh, contraption here. I want to show you something because this is just... <laughs> Got it. Oh, save the other one. Nice. All right. There's nothing over there, right? Check this out. Not what I wanted to do. There we go. Look. It puts it over here. I can bring it back. It will drop it off there. And it just reappears. <laughs> I, I understand. But I don't understand. <laughs> How, it's something about it. It's just super cool. Maybe one more time. Okay, there's nothing in the thing. Over there. And it just drops. It's magic. I love it. That's so cool. Well, 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 what do we have here? This is the Agritono John Deere CS770. Absolutely mahoosive. Make a 10,000 liter round cotton bells. That's what I'm talking about. And we have got ourselves a contract. So we're now in September. And you see the orange? You see the orange? I'm not doing field 20 again. But this... Or is 21? I'm not doing... Don't look at that one. Down the, stop, stop looking. I'm going to zoom in so much you can't even see it. There you go. We took them all. Took them all. Field 13. I have a harvested contract there. That is barley. Field number one. We've got cotton. I took it over. And of course, we've got field two, three, and six. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm just so happy. Oh, I think I've installed this correctly where it'll fast farm. Don't have access to this land, my butt. Go, 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 go. Ooh, and it does go, man. It does go. So hopefully this won't be too fast. It does go 20 miles an hour, but that's still not going to be fast enough to, well, cause trouble, I think is the correct terminology here. What I'm going to do is we're going to run two ways around this field. So two headlands around this field. And then whenever we come back through, then I'll just hire a worker on whatever the straightest edge is and let the worker get their job done. But you can see, I mean, this is kind of the way to go, man. You, you got to go with this 12 meter spread versus six meters, of course. And you could fast farm with it if you're on PC. Console players, I'm, I'm, put it on the back of a combine or not, a com put it on the back of a trailer. I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, it's probably the way you're going to have to do it, but it's, well, it's not filling up too quickly, which is nice. You don't want to put any bills down where they're going to cause any trouble either. You want to put them down at the end where the worker's not going to end up hitting them. One thing is I don't have a, uh, I don't have a way to pick these up. So I'm going to have to use a telehandler with bell forks to put it on the back of a trailer. Because that's the only way I have that I can load these. But you know what? I think that'll be okay. I think we'll be able to have a little bit of fun and enjoy doing that. Yeah. Enjoy doing that. Ooh, we only have 7,500 liters. Only a couple more. We'll have our first bail. It's happening. I got it. Yes. So this is one of the really, really cool things is the bail will pop and it'll just kind of hang. Oh, missed a little bit back there. Uh, it'll just kind of hang out. And that's about it. <laughs> it just sits there. Which makes it really nice, really easy. So you, I could bring this bell over here to the edge and just drop it in the corner of the field. Uh, as such, I'm not, I'm not sure where I want to put this one though. I think I'm gonna take this bell over here at least to this far right corner where we started. That way, whenever you know hiring workers and stuff like that, I don't have any issues. And at least this bell will be over there whenever we start to pick them up. I pray that we've got a trailer good enough to be able to pick up bales. We don't, we don't have one. Don't tell, don't, don't tell anybody. Check it out. I'm gonna go bloop with it. Watch this. Look at it. It goes bloop. And it just puts it right there. How cool is that? That's awesome. Number one on the list today is the cotton harvest. Now we need to get to a point where I could just hire a worker on this guy and be done with it. Now we're picking up right where we left off in the last episode in number 23. If you want to catch up with that, maybe check out the last five minutes or so of that video before jumping back into this, and then come right back. I'll sit here and wait for you. 
Okay, is he gone? All right. So, today, <laughs> we've got the hot cotton harvest. We're going to get around this, hire a worker, be finished. Then we're going to jump over and get a contract done. Another one. we got two harvested contracts open right now. The other one is going to be barley. Now, that is on a big field. Field number 13. We did uh, field number 13, I believe, in wheat uh, a couple months ago, in-game at least. So, that's going to be fun. It's huge absolutely massive so it's gonna take a while fortunately for us well we've got stuff that can handle it i am going to take i believe it's our big combine harvester so we've got two claws i think i'm gonna grab the lexi and we're gonna run two headlands we get a bigger header on that should be a little bit quicker i believe we've got one header that's about 10 meters and we've got another one that's about 14 meters total so that's going to be good for us it would be fun to get that 60 meter header out there when oh i just got an idea oh that's dangerous i will say if you are not using this cotton harvester to run all of your cotton i don't i don't know what you're doing and i don't know what to tell you because this thing is epic this is from agritolno it is their john deere cp 770s or, or cs 7 so yeah CS770. Ooh, we run a little headline around this. Sweet. Uh, this thing is just, I mean, it is as epic as it looks. Oh, we're about to drop another. Yeah. I was afraid of that. A worker's going to hit that for sure. <laughs> Anyway, uh, you guys have got to use this. Of course, I'm using a mod that allows me to go a little bit faster. But still, you're still getting this taken care of two times faster than normal because you got a 12 meter working with instead of just the standard six meter working with again check it out you 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 have to there's no other option <laughs> and hire worker how we do we doing okay doing good i think there's a telephone pole up here so i might try to babysit this guy a little bit how many bills is that? So there's three right there. I think we've got another one back there. So that's four. That's 40,000 liters of cotton already. That's pretty insane. I love it. Uh, I don't know if this is solid or not. We're about to find out if we can drive through this because we are in line with it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right, what I'm going to do is run a little little headland around this thing. So check this out. You can actually get this header quite around this and then just zoom. Ah, oh, I missed a little bit, didn't I? Back it up, back it up, back it up. Beep, beep, got him. Yeah. Yo, I'm definitely down to run a 60-foot header. Uh, I have not used the Duras header yet, and I've been wanting to. So I think today is going to be the perfect excuse to actually run it. Okay, the, the worker should be good from like here. There we go, our worker, sweet. Oh, he's gonna hit a bunch of stuff, isn't he? Sure is. I'm not saying I don't trust myself, nor do I trust the capabilities of the uh, Duras header, uh, but I did bring a header with me, just in case. You never, you never know when I'm gonna mess up, and you should definitely be prepared for that to happen at really, any given time let's set this up let's go and unfold <laughs> the harvester i'll go ahead and make sure we've got all-wheel drive set and we'll come about right here we'll go and set that and let's find ourselves a big old dudas header where is it i want to customize this thing with you guys but i don't know where it is oh. hello yeah 18.2 meters Says six miles an hour. We'll make it go faster than that. Uh, let's see. With or without guidelines. Eh, we'll, we'll do without guides. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the uh, Klaus Lexian pickup right there. Let's see, Klaus. Nice. Design. Eh, this needs to be Klaus. Yeah, Klaus white. And then, of course, rim color. We'll go with that Klaus red. Now, of course, it says lizard on the side. It doesn't say Klaus or whatever, but... We can lease this. How much? Nine grand? Was it even worth it at that point? Goodness gracious. The thing I'm most concerned about is, is this combine harvester going to be able to push this and run this? All right, we've got it. Let's turn it on real quick. Do a little bit of a 
prep work right through here. All right, uh, it, I mean, it's working. <laughs> it's huge, but it's working, man. Uh, okay, all right. We'll see. the The question would be, you know, with the other, the other header, I can run that at twenty six miles an hour. So if this cannot run at twenty six miles an hour, am I really getting the job done faster, or am I wasting time? Can't be honest with you. It's cool, but I do feel like I'm ever so slightly wasting time doing it this way. Uh. What a, you know what? Whatever. It's 50% larger than the other one. So as long as I'm going, you know, 50% slower, which I'm going about half the speed right now. I'm not sure if this is worth it. You know what? It's cool. And that's all that matters. It doesn't have to be worth it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Now we're rocking. And we're bringing in a couple hundred liters a second. There's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's how many hundred liters we're bringing in for a second. That's insane. Here we go. Well, that's a thousand. That's a thousand. <clears throat> it's <laughs> it's ridiculous. We are going about 20 miles an hour right now as well. I mean, it's working, man. It's working just fine. I think this this header is just super just dumb and epic at all at the same time. This this thing is crazy. Going through bailing, that's gonna be uh something else as a matter of fact let's let's try our hand at merging this swath hole <laughs> oh that's too much that's too much that looks worse than the 100 meter header that I no nothing compares to the 100 meter header that thing was insane i do miss that has anybody made one of those for farm sim 22 yet let me know <laughs> i think one question is going to be on this do we need to run two runs around this field or is one going to suffice i think one might suffice i think we could probably run one headland around this entire thing and be totally fine though i will say i think maybe doing two would be safer there's gonna be oh uh, i don't know I don't, I don't know in this situation I just, it's too big oh yeah bunch of bells up there we're gonna make a whole lot more one run around the field completed and we've got about 62,000 liters what that's that's too many man i gotta empty this thing before i can continue going further that's st stupid was this gonna reach oh oh that reach is just fine look at that i should have bought one of these headers nice all right, we'll put it about right here. We'll leave it just for a second, because I need, yes, this. Top right corner, AI worker CS770 has now completed their task. You did what? No, you didn't. Not only has he not completed his task, um, as is shown here, he's missed a whole bunch too. Now look here, you little idiot. You, actual AI, actual idiot. You. You're making me look bad, dude. You're making me look real bad in front of people. You need to do your job. Finish your job. Well, look at that. He missed a whole section down here. What was this? His first run down through here? And he was like, you know what? I just don't want to do it. How? And these are slots in the middle of the field. Like, he had to literally go. Is there anything under the field? Because that was the way things were. No? I can't, I can't argue for him because he's an idiot. Ah, oh, all right. You know what? Whatever. I'm just going to go through and clean up after his mess. Hey, does your cotton harvester do this? Maybe not this one specifically, but do you, do you have problems with your cotton harvester worker doing their job? Let me know. I'm curious. First person cotton harvesting. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I made the glass too dark, so I can't see out of it. I've got this uh, this spot little area right here finished up, and I wanted to touch base with you guys about how <clears throat> how how I'm gonna either straighten up or go forward the, with the way that it is. Let's let's see if we can figure out exactly how we're gonna do that. So, of course, we're in field number one. I have been going back and forth because this bottom edge fits perfect for that. However, the rest of it is 
pretty angled. So here's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the top and work my way towards the inside of the field because there's less to hit down here once the worker decides to actually be an idiot. So I'm gonna do my best to straighten out this top section. This is not gonna be fun, no matter what, but at least it'll get done. So I think we'll come through here. Well, I'm gonna have to turn around a couple times, aren't I? That's not gonna work. Yeah, I got a better idea. I'm gonna go up here <laughs> to this section, and then we're gonna turn it around. Turn around town. About right there. Yep, that'll work. And then put it about like in line with that row right there. Yeah, there we go, and hire worker. Now I'm gonna be able to kind of block this off a little bit better. We'll have a perfect straight line going down the edge, so no matter which direction I'm coming from, I'll be able to hire a worker. Plus, if I'm going against the triangle, so if you're seeing from the screen now going towards the right down, might be a little bit easier to do it that way than vice versa. Also, I've recently watched a video from Driver53 who was talking about the requirements of harvesting contracts and how they are uh, not bugged, but they are not, uh, well, as great as they once was. So just a heads up there. That is why we've been having issues and problems. I was completely unaware, but I, uh, I went back and, yep, sure enough, Giants had said before, harvesting contracts are, um, you know, better than they should be, so enjoy while it lasts. And, nope, patch 1.3, they nerfed them. I figured out the missing thing. This idiot, every time he goes to unload a bale, skips out on town. They go to drop the bale on the ground, and, uh, and they just stop harvesting. I don't know why, but he keeps moving forward. Maybe it's because I'm going too fast. Maybe there's something with this harvester in particular that's causing the issue. I'm not quite sure, but all I know is that whenever the bell started to come out of the chamber, the harvester just turned itself off and stopped harvesting. Doesn't do that when you're manually driving it, only when you're hiring a worker. That is very, very different, very interesting. I'm not used to anything like that. Ah, interesting. Well, uh, nonetheless, uh, we're almost done here. You see there's a little bit of artifacting on kind of the right side up there. I don't know if I actually missed anything or if it just says that I missed something. Cotton's weird like that. You never really know if you've missed something or not. I think I will kind of go around in a corner real quick. Check this out. So the artifacting was done like right around here-ish. So we'll come through here and see if see if we harvest any cotton. Not seeing any going out. Oh, yep, there we go. We have two liters. Or three liters. <laughs> Alright, so there's our there's our artifacting. Got it. Cool. So now at least I think we can go ahead and hire another worker. We will have to come back through and clean up after them, but you know what? I'm whatever, I'm cool with it. Just get it over with and done. How many bells do we have, by the way? See four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. 90,000 liters of cotton. Not too bad. We're going to make some serious cash off of this one. All right, now that we've left that guy alone, let's come under here and let's get this guy unloaded. This won't take too long. So I've got to go back through and I'm going to have to run at least one more headland around this field and then we're going to hire the worker. In. And then we've got to figure out Bailing. So I guess we can go ahead and prepare the bailing guy. We're going to be using our Massey Ferguson 8740. Love this tractor. I mean, the, the, the Massey 8000 series and 8700 in general has been one of my favorite tractors in Farming Simulator franchise. I used uh, basically this version. I don't think it was an S, but I, I used basically this version back in Farming Simulator 17 on one of my favorite series that I did. That would be my uh, Oakfield series. And then I tried to model this similarly with a series that I did in Farming Simulator 19. Now, I did play a lot of Oakfield Farm off screen in Farming Simulator 19. 
I apologize for that. That was back in 2020. <laughs> and uh, basically for the entire lifespan of Farming Simulator 19. I feel so bad for it too, but uh, well, two thirds of its lifespan. I mean, we, we were in COVID lockdown, kind of stunk. So a lot of people stayed in and played video games and I ended up stopping doing Let's Plays altogether. I've really enjoyed them and I'm, I'm glad if you guys are watching, if you're watching this far into the video, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, I hope that the way that I play teaches you either how to play or how not to play. And I also hope that it's gotten you to a point where you can enjoy playing Farming Simulator the way that you enjoy it. There's a lot of people that make videos about this game. And um, aside from news and mods and information and stuff like that and how-tos and stuff, um, a lot of people just play the game. And they play it, you know, whether it be a role play or maybe they're doing realistic or maybe they're just inventing some story and and uh, passing it off as a game mode. Uh, a lot of people ask about those. Uh, I just play the game. I don't have an idea of anything like that. Like, you know what? Here's what we got to do next. So I'm playing the game literally the way I would play it off screen, but I'm talking to you and I'm explaining why I'm doing certain things and how I'm doing certain things. It's not a lot that's changed. Maybe I'm playing a little bit less realistic than I would off screen, believe it or not. But uh, yeah, I yeah, have a great time doing this. I enjoy Play Farming Simulator. I enjoy playing it for you guys and I enjoy doing what I'm doing. I'm super grateful that you guys are watching and, and having fun and joining along. All right, with that, back to the grind. All right, let's finish up this little area right here. So soon we're gonna be hiring a worker, getting everything taken care of. I have not checked on the cotton guy, so we should probably do that. Here we are, close to 60,000 liters again for the last best, see 57,000. That's not too bad. This thing is filling up super, super fast. We're gonna have to be very, very careful about how we do things <laughs> do things with this header it's fun but man i've you know what maybe when we get a larger map we'll be able to use this with like a case or john d or something like that the gloss hey, is doing just fine i have going i am starting to think about yeah i'm using a seven six or seventy six hundred so it's a little bit smaller than let's say literally oh most most of the stuff that i have Anyway, nonetheless, let's let's put this over here. Um, we'll probably pick this uh, pick this up at the next uh, episode. It'll be episode what number twenty five, something like that. We'll go ahead and put that there. These guys are good. We can go ahead and turn that off. Yeah, this idiot right here. I'm watching you. Almost done with the harvesting contract right here with the cotton. The thing is going to be selling it. Swing. Uh, it, it's gonna be very fun and interesting trying to pick all these bells up. We've made a few. We've only made a few. Let's go ahead and turn that off and let's go ahead and unload the uh, bell right here. Nice, nice. Got it. Perfect. Oh, is that an 83? Oh, that is. We've got a thousand eight hundred liters in here. Huh. Let me figure out how to do take care of this real quick. I'm not going to tell you what I did, but if you don't tell, I won't tell. Deal? Deal. <laughs> All right, let's get that uh, emptied out. Hey, now we're at 0% uh, again, and we are done with that. So let's get rid of it. Let's find ourselves some leased items, cotton technology. Go ahead and return that because it was 50 grand. All right, so now i got to figure out how to put bells somewhere so I'm definitely gonna need this and I got a trailer over here somewhere we're gonna need that and we're gonna need a telehandler and we are definitely gonna need some more time because I do not have enough time today to take care of all of this but what we can do is load up I don't know, two or three let's see uh, see see how we do here go ahead and line this up got it oh it's heavy but not as heavy as it could be I guess I got a trailer down here for us waiting. Uh, we're going to need to make a couple trips. Either that or we're going to have to load this thing up seriously. I'm not going to auto load with this. I want to try to actually use the telehandler for once. Because we haven't really done it yet. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's working just fine for this job. 
Okay. So I think a big question is, is this going to fit down in there? And the answer is 100% yes. Dude. Hey, yo. Let's go and strap Una down. Let's go and pick up one more. Make it a little bit of cringe for you guys. Eh, what if we do this at first person? Is this going to be creepy? Is this crazy? Yeah, a little bit. I'm, I'm not going to continue doing this at first person, but... I don't know, it might be good to, to at least try it. <laughs> this thing bounces around a lot more than I thought it did. All right, I don't, I don't know exactly where we, where we are. Nope, we're not there yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Well, I tried, and that's really all that matters. Well, as fun as loading these by themselves is, uh, I have found it to be a lot more advantageous to myself to load them the way that I do things. <laughs> and it's actually worked really, really well. A bit excited about this. Uh, picking up kind of where we left off with the last episode because, well, I'm recording this right afterwards. Don't tell anybody. Yeah. All right. Well, that didn't work, did it? Uh, you know what? We might actually need to use this for this part even i can't reach up there let's 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 jump in here and have a little bit of fun today so if you guys are watching this when it's come out i'm on vacation well just gotten back but i'm recording this like a week and a half early because well i need videos when i'm out so let's talk a little bit about farming simulators talk a little bit about the update for this game or for this uh map or whenever that's gonna be happening i know we talked about this a few episodes ago but it, there are probably some questions, which I've also recorded about a week and a half early. So, yes, you are going to need a new game save if you guys want to update this map and play on it. Fortunately for us, our series is going to be pretty much over by the time uh, that all gets done. Now, I do plan on coming back to this series here in, uh, I don't know, couple months oh that's not good uh, a couple months maybe a year or something like that i think it's always interesting to return to something uh how perfect is that i think it's very interesting to return to something after you've been away for a while you've had a little bit of time to you know reflect and things like that now a lot of people have said that they would love to see uh, lone oak and oakfield farm coming back and as far as Oxygen David has said, he will not be bringing back any maps that he did for previous games. He will only be doing new maps for Farming Simulator. He's also said that this map right here, Comston Farm, as well as Cord Farms, which is the other map that he's been working on now at the time of recording this, at least we don't have any extra information on Cord Farms, but I'm sure he'll have something for us soon. Nonetheless, he has said that he plans on keeping both maps updated so that players can continue to use these maps as time progresses, which I think is really, really cool. He didn't have to do that. A lot of map makers don't do that. If you go back at Farming Simulator 19, you'll notice that a lot of the early maps, like farming in the Alpine regions and things like that, uh, Man, they are very, very, almost Farming Simulator 17-esque because of how behind and how late they uh, came out versus how early... Oh, there's already a bell over there. Uh, versus how early they came out. So, yeah, Oxygen David's doing something that we've never seen before. He's going through and he's going to take this entire map and keep it updated throughout the entire lifespan of Farming Simulator 22. I find that really interesting, and I I like it. Like I said, we've, we've never seen that before. It's This is a new thing. Man, I'm so good at what I do. Look, look how good I am at what I do. Also, yes, I realized that I could have just opened the sides. I, I may have just realized that now. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, okay. Not too bad, 27 tons, that's not awful. Let's figure out where we're going with this, because I don't remember. Field one, kind of farm store bay two. Is that up top? No. Farm store bay two, okay. Let's tag it. 
Let's get over there. One thing I'm absolutely terrified of coming down through here is hitting a low-lying tree and all the bells just going boom, 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 boom. I mean, they're they're holding on, but I, I'm not confident. <laughs> so I've been going super slow through here, just hoping and praying that nothing bad happens. I think, you know what? I think we made it. Ladies and germs, we made it. Okay, sweet. Uh, another thing, I took a look at the pricing and it almost couldn't get worse right now. We are in a terrible time for uh, for cotton. It's it's not great. Uh, before we go into here, is is low is what it is. He's very low. So when we have our next trailer, we may sell one bell at a time. Bonk. Boom, boom. All right, 43% transported. I think we need 90 or 95% to be transported. So, I mean, we're gonna have a whole nother full load right here, aren't we? Yes, we are. All right, let's go get it. All right, let's see if, uh, let's see if I've done this right. And we'll try and force them all to kind of line up a little bit. There we go. That'll, no, yep, no. Nope. We got one that doesn't want to behave. Well, I guess it's going towards the front. Actually, ooh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, we got them now. All right. Let's fold this back up. Hopefully, they don't bounce. Oh, got it. Dude, I'm so good at loading bell. Look, who would have thought that I'm the best bell stacker in farm sim? Minus literally everyone that does it professionally. Not as good as it. And probably you as well. I'm not as good as you, uh, but... I'm the best DJ bell stacker. Yeah, I'm the best bell stacker that used to be a DJ, who's now a YouTuber. I'm I'm the I'm the best. Better than K-Bot, that's for sure. <laughs> K-Bot sucks. <laughs> All right. Oh, too early. No deep breaths yet. No deep breaths. You got this, DJ. All right. Let's see what we've got through here. This is the second cell. We'll go ahead and loosen them up. Boom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom, boop, boop. 80% contract is 90% completed. 85% has been sent over. Let's take a look at the contract to see how we're doing. 98% is done. So we've got three more bells on the field that need to be taken care of. We're going to bring uh, maybe one of those over. I don't trust that. You know what? We'll, we'll bring all three over here. I'm just going to throw them on the trailer. But we're not going to get rid of them all. At least not yet. Because, well... We have a way better price for them later on in the year. Did you see this? Did you look at this? February, $2,400. Right now, what what are we getting for, for cotton? Hang on. Go back. Okay, 21 Okay, so it's not that much worse. It's... We might save ourselves a little bit of time. You know what? We're just going to go ahead and sell it. Let's do it! So, there's actually one more bell that's not on the field. And I don't know how it got down here. I don't know which one of you guys thought it would be funny to roll one of my bells down the hill. But it's not funny. All right, it's a little bit funny. Let's go and pick this thing up. So I've got four instead of three, which means that our uh, intake, I guess, is the word to use for this contract is going to be a little bit higher than I thought. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. All right, so we've got those there. Let's go ahead and unstrap all of them and let's... Fold this up and hopefully nothing goes flying. Look at that. That was smooth. Yo, that was so smooth. You guys got to use this trailer when you're doing round cotton bells. I mean, I know there's auto loaders that make it a thousand times easier, but if you're doing it like I am for whatever reason, this ain't bad. And here we are, the very last bit of our uh, trip today. We're going to be selling, making a little bit of extra cash, 55 grand. Not bad. Unfortunately, we paid $50,000 to lease the cotton harvester. Ooh, piece of candy. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Yep. So I made five. Ooh, piece of candy. Another one. There's stuff on the roof here, too. I thought I saw something on the roof. Give me the piece of candy. Um, I mean, I don't want to be rude or anything, but, you know, I think it's important to look on the roof for things. I think we're good. All right. So that's that. We're finally done with Cotton Harvest. Oh, and we can collect that as well. Totally forgot. We made money on it. 28 grand. Okay, so we made like $33,000. Collect that. Sweet. 
Now we got field 13 to deal with. Field 13 is... Oof, is th th this is what you came for. Now we're a little bit late in the video getting to it. Let's just get to it. I'm going to shut up now. Ah, let's do it. Here we are. So we've got everybody ready to go. We've got our uh, loading wagon here, which is taking care of all of the, the extra crop that we've got in here. we got a combine harvester rocking a massive header. And I think all I have to do is hire a worker. Maybe. I don't know. Let's hire a worker and see what happens. I should probably follow this guy. And I should probably turn on fast farming as well so he can get his job done. Ooh. So if you guys are curious, I am using the Lexian Combine on the Mod Hub, the 5500-8900 uh, class Lexian. And then I've got it all the 7600, which I could probably go higher with, especially with this header on the front. Uh, it's, let's just say it's, it's not as powerful as you would probably want it to be especially for fast farming and things like that. However, once we get from this first pass, we should be okay because we're really scraping the barrel right now as far as the side goes. I've also included all-wheel drive on here, so we've got all of the uh, diffs locked up. That's good. He's probably going to go up here in a second. Yeah, there he goes. All right, so I'm going to take control of it. We'll just overlay all of that. Perfect. And then just figure out kind of where the line is. Might just overlap here. This will be a good idea. Uh, and then I've also gone for the massive, massive extra tracks on this thing as well. I mean, they're cool, so why not, right? Let's do it. Turn it on. Hire the worker. And we should be good from here on out. Hopefully, you'll have enough braking power to stop at the very end. Usually, these big harvesters, they do take a hot second to break. And uh, from all that, we will go ahead and get our baler in the field as well so that's going to be what we're up to we're just going to be square bailing all this together auto loading it taking it over we'll sell it at the end of the year i think about december january something like that but i'm just double checking making sure this idiot right here does a good job he knocks it down the speed so at least there's that all right you gonna stop in time yes you are perfect okay so now let's just kind of bump around figure out where we're at and here it is the thing i need to be careful about is I can't do the outsides of the field yet. I can't run headlands doing anything like that. So I'm gonna have to just follow him, I guess, is the best way to, to do this. Okay, everything's unfolded, good. We'll go in and uh, enable uh, all-wheel drive. Turn on, I think so. Oh, double check, make sure we're using big bales. Oh no, these are only 220 centimeter bales. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 240. How did that get turned down? I wonder if... Oh, boy. I hope I didn't make the other bells like that. That may have been why we had so many. Either way, here we go. Rock and roll. Well, I knew eventually that I would catch up. I just didn't know how quickly I would be catching up. It took... Uh, how many runs that? One, two, three, like five, six, something like that. But we've Finally caught up to him, and I'm gunning it right now as well. This thing, I mean, it. I think it says it requires like 350 horsepower, this Baylor does, but man, I gotta be honest with you, you should probably try and push maybe close to 400, 450, something like that. 450 would probably be just fine. I'm running, I think, 390 on this one, and it's it's not struggling, but it's going just fast enough if, if i wasn't fast farming it'd be fine also when you get to the end right here you really got to behave you got to go a little bit slower and then you'll be just fine don't worry uh i'm gonna go ahead and hit some of these uh outer areas right here while we wait we'll give him a little bit of a, a leeway a little catch up time plus i could follow along this outside area from the side to the back and everything else and uh just cover up the areas that we've already bailed that's about it looking good looking very very good uh heads up if anybody has been following apple you may know that uh, i use a mac to edit all of my videos on and all my videos currently are 1080p i would love to have complete you know complete collection of 4k content the problem is my iMac, even though it's a completely high spec'd out with max everything for farming or from um 2019 uh, in 2020 uh, that's, well, that machine isn't 
the best. So what I'm get, what I've done actually is I've ordered the new Mac Studio, and I've got the uh, Mac chip. I didn't go with the Ultra, but I've got it. We've got uh, pretty much everything is specked out completely with the Mac's uh, chip on that. Oh, he's got a full grain tank. How awesome. Uh, so I'm trying, at least moving forward, possibly once that gets here, which I think it's going to get here in April, because they are having to custom build it. Uh, I think that I'm going to maybe start doing everything in 4K. Should be able to edit pretty quickly, at least a little bit faster than I was doing. So that's going to make things a little bit nice, a little bit more fun. That way you can watch it in 1080p or 1440 or 4K. Whatever your device will handle, well, hopefully I'll be able to record and edit videos in that uh, in that spec, which makes it perfect for you guys. That way you could just enjoy it the way you want to. All right. <sighs> Let's go up here. I know he's got 100,000 liters in there. I didn't see the little thing where it says, you know, oh, such and such is 80% full. I missed that part big time. Let's go get him, man. Ooh, we already got 120,000 liters off of this field. We're going to get a lot of grain. Oh, yeah. So some time has passed, and man, I, I feel like I'm rambling on a little bit more than I should in this video, but there's a lot to talk about, and I want to keep you guys informed on everything that's going on. Uh, the thing that's going on right now is this guy needs to be unloaded again. It's 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 been a hot minute. We, we've been making a bunch of bales, but... As always, uh, the combine is the neediest, so we've got to make sure that we keep this going because without this, we're not making straw. And how am I collecting straw? This is a contract. I'm using the Collect Straw Contracts mod. Pretty simple. That is a PC-only mod because it does modify your game code and override some things, so that kind of thing is not allowed on consoles. Uh, another quick, uh, just, I don't know, hopefully it'll make a little bit of sense to you guys. Uh, DJ. Why Why does Giants only allow this versus that? It's not Giants. It's only a Microsoft. They're the ones that don't allow uh, game developer, or not game developers, but their uh, modifications to the game. Every game has PC mods. That's why when you're on Grand Theft Auto, for example, if you're playing on Xbox, you're not going to see anybody modifying in a bunch of stuff and, and doing crazy, crazy things. Uh, you'd need a mod menu for that, and that's quite literally illegal. Didn't know one makes a mod menu for Farming Simulator 22, so there's that as well. Um, but on PC, see wild stuff all the time. That is why that uh, that's the case. And because giants allow direct control of mods, you can have different things on PC and support it officially by giants. Remember, there's like 10 bajillion PC mods that are not supported by giants as well is what it is. So that's the way this is. Farming Simulator is no different from any other game. Getting down near the end here. Just wanted to check in with you guys and show you how everything is going. So the uh, worker on the Combine Harvester is doing a great job, surprisingly. Uh, they only failed to do the thing the one time at the very beginning, and that was it. Everything else has been fine. And the baler has been picking up pretty much anything that I throw at it. I realized I was going a little bit slow over the large mounds at the end to begin with. So I've sped that process up just a little bit, not too crazy. Uh, and of course, I have not had to readjust since then. Of course, I've had to come through and uh, well, help him a little bit. But other than that, everything's been just fine. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and jump in this combine harvester real quick because this could probably get done in one swipe and he probably wouldn't do it that way. And I got it. There we go. Boom. Got a little bit left on the field. I'm not going to worry about that. There's no point. Got it? Good. Sweet! Okay. So that's at least one part of this absolutely massive job completed. And here we've got 83... Oh yeah, I forgot. I... <laughs> All that's in here. I was about to say, what? hold on. 8,300 liters? What did I do wrong? I'm good. I'm good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I think I've got over 400,000 liters of barley in here which was way more than I expected. I expected maybe, I don't know, 250, something like that. Kind of get that emptied out, and we'll take a look and see what's in here. Uh, 415,000 liters. That's insane. Oh, we can get rid of this header, too. Oh, sweet. So that's the last thing that we've got least, I think. Yeah. Return that. Perfect. You think on sell? It's worth taking a look at. We got two of these. 
Uh, I think we're good there. We don't need any of that. Let's go ahead and get this folded up. We'll put it on the edge of the field, and then we've got a bunch more baling to do. Uh, and then we got to pick it all up, which is just going to be fun. Finishing up getting all of the bailing done, like I said. And I just wanted to bring you guys along for the last little bit right here and just show you how much we got done today. There's also a few little strips down here. This is when I was still learning how fast I needed to go at the very end. So we'll go ahead and go shoop, shoop right here for both of these. And we'll turn back around and hit the rest of it. Uh, but we got a bunch done and remember we didn't start the bay league until today now of course we did start the harvesting yesterday but still i mean come on this is this is pretty epic right here i've had a blast i tell you what with hispano modding releasing not only this baylor but he's also got this same windrow check this out real quick some of you guys may not know about this this released well i guess at the time recording this released like two weeks ago uh let's see where are windrows at here we go so he released this, the R90. This right here is literally what's on the baler, but you can put this on the front of your tractor right here. So you've got a front three point, and then you've got literally the same windrow. So you could use this with any baler you want. Now, I prefer to have this with, with this type of setup, but you could use this with a round baler if you wanted to. It'll windrow everything together for you straight down the middle and your baler will pick everything up. So you could use this with any loading wagon, any baler, anything that's picking up loose straw, hay, grass, uh, anything like that off the ground. This is so incredible. And he's been working on these for a while. I believe it was back in December when I originally announced both of these products from him. Oh, it's a lot, man. It is a lot. Speaking a lot. See all those bells we got over there? One, two, three, four, five. Almost six stacks of bells. And here, we're gonna have a lot more. So welcome back and we are getting near the end. We're on episode number 26 right now and we are gonna get there. If you guys are watching the Supercut, hopefully this will give you an idea. You've only got like six more hours, I promise. Everybody else watching this video, don't worry. I'm not gonna make a six hour long video. Not yet. Dun, dun, dun. Is that a bad way to start a video? I think so. We got a bunch of bales, man. There, there's really no other way to put it. Let me cut this help window on so I know exactly what I'm up to here. Let's uh, let's pick up some bales, dude. We've got a ton of them on here. I don't know exactly how many bales there are because this is a harvesting contract. And when you're stealing bales off of other people's fields, it doesn't tell you how many of them there are understandably but still nonetheless we're going to take all of these and we're going to be putting them to the side if you're curious on how i'm doing this i'm using the collect straw at missions mod that is a pc only mod unfortunately for the console friends out there but don't worry if you guys are on pc well you could do exactly this right here and you probably already know about this mod as well i'm just going to go around we're going to hit the uh the headland runs right now so everything around the very very edge We'll pick everything up, take it by the BGA. It is currently September in the game, so we've got a little bit of time, and I think we might be able to knock out one more harvest se season before the end of year number three. I didn't say we could, so we might could, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. Nonetheless, it's time to pick up all of these bells and see how many we got. Make your guesses. What do you think? How many do you think we're going to get? Well, it took me about 10 minutes, but we've got it all set up. So this is, I don't, I don't know, man. Look, look how many this is. Look at this. <laughs> so that's another five full loads of 32 each. Plus I've got 17 here. You can see right there our old last load, but this one, unfortunately, is going to have to go to the other side because I'm completely out of room now. I got to put this right here. Man, oh man. All right, we'll just kind of dump it right there and be happy about that. Okay, so this contract is almost, almost completed, but we still have to deliver the goods. Fortunately for us, well, it's inside here. It's at the Cogswell stores. Yeah, said that wrong. I apologize. Let's just move past it. I don't know where on here I need to take it, though. I think it's right here. Oh, boy. We should check this out. So it's calls all stores. Boom. Click it. Check it out right there. Uh, let's just go ahead and tag it. 
So we'll know exactly, okay, it's this one right here. Sometimes you get into trouble like that whenever you got multiple cell points beside each other. Don't worry, super easy, barely an inconvenience. Just click on what you got and you're good to go. Okay, so barley, I'm gonna guess that barley is not selling very well, so we may wanna keep some of this. Barley, show price fluctuations in September. Yeah, um, almost as bad as it could possibly be. So we'll go ahead and try and sell most of it. We have to get up to, I think it's 95% or 90% sold, something like that. So um, we're probably gonna need to sell down. I see we have 400,000 liters. We'll probably need to get down to about 50,000 liters. All right, we'll stop it right here at 300 and we'll see, cause that'll be about, I don't know, 120, 130,000 liters in. 27%. That's not a lot. Oh, we're going to be sitting here a hot minute. That's all right. It is what it is. Getting down to the nitty gritty now. We've got 100,000 liters. There's 80% completed there. We're going to do this in groups of, I think, about 20. Should be good. Okay, so 20 is 5%. Get it down to 60 right there. 90%. We'll go in tens now. There's 93. Get this down to 40 right about there. Perfect. Okay, so we've been able to keep 39,000 liters and we made about 1,600 bucks off of the accidental oversell, if you want to call it that. Let's get down here to our contracts and let's go ahead and collect. Boom. All right, so we not only got a lot of bales, we got $1,000 worth of contract, but we've also got $36,000 there, and we've even got 39,000 liters of uh, barley left. So that means, at least to me, that doing uh, harvesting contracts and things like that, even after the most recent patch of 1.3 and 1.3.1, we're still good. We've st still been able to, to make money that's still profitable to do harvesting contracts. I'm just not sure it's as hard of course it's not going to be as profitable to do smaller harvesting contracts so my advice do large harvesting contracts you'll do much better so now is the fun time now we get to jump in and get some harvesting done and i oh i i'm very 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 excited to get this done this might end up being one of our next to last harvests here on Comston Farm. As you know, or may know, we are only gonna be going through to episode 30 on here. We're not gonna be doing anything past that. I may jump in uh, here in a couple months, maybe if there's a big update or something like that. Of course, Comston Farm is spec to be getting update 1.2, but for right now, everything is totally fine for me. And, and you know what, it's, it's just fine the way it is. <laughs> We're doing okay, man. We're doing okay. So I'm going to jump in here and get a little bit of harvested done. Let's go ahead and adjust everything. Make sure everything's good. Now, we don't have straw swath, but we'll go ahead and enable it just in case something has happened for whatever reason. Go ahead and turn it on. I do have fast farming enabled. And let's go all-wheel drive just in case there you go so obviously no straw swath on here not only soybeans anyway haven't really done much with soybeans in farming simulator 22 like them make a lot of money there's just not much you could do with them as far as i know there's no uh no factory nothing like that you can use soybeans for i could be wrong if i am please let me know but nothing's coming to mind at least right now which kind of stinks, makes, you know, what used to be the most profitable crop, period. <sighs> not obsolete, but you're probably not going to be doing a whole lot with it. Let's be fair. So, what I'm going to do is, oh, missed a little bit of beans right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a couple headlands, probably two of them, and then I'm going to hire the other combine harvester on this field, and I will take this one with the larger header, and we'll make our way over to our second field. We have three fields of soybeans to do, so we should be able to get them all done today, but as you know, things always change. And there are our headlands. Looking very good, looking very good. We can just put this right here for now. Eh, we'll just leave it on, why not? Why not? We'll let the engine keep warm. 
We'll jump over here into our Savage Rennie Tryon. Again, one of my favorite combine harvesters in the game. I love this thing. Jones did a really, really good job on this. This is just the base game version. As a matter of fact, this is a modified version of the base game version. Uh, this is one that 82 Studio put together for me to hold a little bit more. And uh, that's about it. And of course, the crop inside weighs nothing. I like using this one on a worker because I could get a lot of work done with a larger combine harvester by myself. Whereas it comes to this guy right here, nope, they do just fine for a worker. So we'll come over here. Ooh, we should definitely enable fast farming. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. It's funny, this used to look huge. And now, now next to the combine harvester that we use currently, please work. Come on. I hired a worker already. Go, 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 go. All right. All said and done, there is good. We'll go ahead and take this bad boy and jump over to our next field. That worker should. <laughs> I guess the word is should do a good job. So we, again, three fields. I think we're going to get quite a bit done. Over two headlands just by themselves. We got 23,000 liters. I bet he's got two or three in there already. We're going to get a great soybean harvest. Speaking of soybeans, how well do they pay out? Jump over here to soybeans. Of course, you can see in June, they paid the best. Unfortunately, we're in September right now, so that's not going to do much for us. And our high price is $2,100 in June, all the way down to $948. Wow. Let's see, $2,131. What are we doing right now? No, we're close. All right, so we should probably just ignore that fact. I think that'll be good. All right. Two more headlands on here, and then it is higher worker time. One thing I'll always recommend, especially when you're doing this field up here, I believe it's field number two. Yeah, field number two. So always start at this corner right here. Run your headland around, up to the right, all the way around. Your second time around, find your line. Line it up. For us, this will be just facing direct north. And hire a worker. What that's gonna do is that's gonna straighten up this line for you and make hiring a worker on your next pass a whole lot easier. As you can see, he's going straight up, which is not following the field the way that it goes, but it does follow it up a little bit, which is interesting. Uh, these are really, really cool shaped fields. This whole map is just full of really helper friendly fields if you do it right. I see a lot of people saying, uh, you know, all oh, the workers suck and da 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 da. Uh, well, the workers only suck because you put them in a terrible situation. I have had very, very good luck with workers in Farming Simulator 22. No issues. Well, <clears throat> usually no issues. Usually the only issues with them missing stuff would be like the cotton harvester, for example, hired on a worker. Whenever they unload, they don't harvest the cotton for some reason. Whenever you do it, well, it works just fine. But they keep going in a straight line because they're idiots. Um, as far as everything else goes, just set them up for success. Do what I'm doing right now. Run these headlands around the field. Um, usually two is good. If you're above a 10 meter header, if you're below that, maybe consider doing three headlands. You might find that that will work better. You need to give your person or your, um, your, your, your harvester, whatever you're using, enough room to turn around. Some things need more room to turn around than others. Uh, I want to see you guys do well. I want to see you su succeed, and I want to see you have fun playing the game. This is all of our favorite games, after all. Farming Simulator as a whole, no matter the, the past, present, or future, it's still our favorite game at the end of the day. So, we gotta love it, and we gotta take care of it. Maybe these idiot workers. <laughs> all right, our headland is done here. Let's go ahead and hire this bad boy on worker. I'm going to sit back and relax for a few minutes. Oh, yeah. While we wait on these idiots, how about we have a little bit of fun? So I might just have the Antonio Carrero DLC early. Thank you, Giant Software. You guys are awesome. And I thought, you know what? Let's try to utilize maybe one or two of these pieces for this little series. And I love this tractor specifically. Uh, there's not a lot you could do to it. It's just got two different wheel setups. You could do wides or, or twins. That's really it. There's nothing else. But what's neat about this, I think, is that we've got different wheel colors, right? And of course, you got that, 
that uh, crazy, crazy wide tire setup, which is, you know, maybe not appropriate for much of what we are doing, but I think I've got an idea for this. Plus, it's super cheap as well, 25 grand. Actually, it gets cheaper. This has got a very similar engine. This is articulating those where this is just a normal steering tractor. I also have this little guy right here as well. It's, uh, it's just so, it's so full of fun stuff. But I like this. So let's go with the trailer board tire. Let's go with twins, just cuz. And let's go with these gray wheels. License plate, that's not gonna work. I need DJ 60 ham. Absolutely here. Let's get that, let's buy it. And I don't know where it is. Oh boy. Um, is this it? That's, that's it. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll go and reset that. It will also reset this as well. So let's jump in here. We now got ourselves a little Antonio Carrera DLC tractor. And we can raise and lower the back right here, which is pretty darn cool. Now it doesn't go very fast, 17 miles an hour. You will not go any faster than this. So don't even try it. But I think this is gonna be great for taking care of the sheep. Over here, we should have the water trailer. Yep, there it is. We've also got all of this. Oh, that's a lot of wool. You guys want to pick up the wool? Let's do it, man. Yeah. I'm not going to put anything about using this tractor in the title or thumbnail or anything. This, if you're watching this right now, this is just for you guys. This is just bonus content to have a little bit of fun. As a matter of fact, it looks like we've got a lot of pallets around. This only has 38 horsepower, so I don't expect it to do great, especially since a tractor with 270 horsepower also has trouble with the exact same job that we're about to try right now. We're gonna get our auto loader. Um, it's pulling it way too good, way too good, way too fine. I mean, it's slower than I'm used to, but I mean, it's working. This is hilarious. I think you could probably fit like three or four of these on this trailer and it's just pulling it like it's nothing. Gosh, all right. Let's open up our, our help window. Uh, we need to change this over to Euro pallets. And we want to pull over here and we want to pick up all of these pallets. I think these are from the past few days in game. There's a couple. All right, so to hold 24, I think. So we'll just start spamming away and seeing what it'll hold. All right, so that's pretty good setup right there. Ooh, <laughs> we're having trouble. Let's go ahead and lock the diff on this thing. Let's see if that helps with spinning any. It might help a little bit. Ooh, we're killing some sheep. Come on, don't make me look bad. Oh, it made me look bad. It can't do it. <laughs> I've put it in a situation where it's failed. I'm so sorry, I failed everybody. And it's got a wonderful turning radius as well, so. Yeah, this, this didn't work. It didn't work at all. Hang on just a second. Let's let's turn into Superman. Remember, don't tell anybody I'm Superman. I, I'm very self-conscious about it. Let's get this over here. Let's kind of help point it in the right direction. About like that-ish. See if we can grab this wheel and turn it. Itty. Oh, it's the only part. I've got it. I've still got it. We're holding it. We're holding it. We're holding it. This is riveting content, guys. Yeah. All right. There we go. Let's see if we can get around here. Look at the sheep. The sheep are like half the size of the tractor. <laughs> oh. oh, that's funny. It won't even push a... It barely pushes... It. All right, this is hilarious and a little bit sad all at the same time. It's still fine, but it's, it's just a little bit sad. All right, let's get it to where it'll show us loading up eight. There we go. All right. So we've got a full setup here. We've got this, which needs to... Oh, is that under there? Nah, nah, that's not under there. Bye. <laughs> All right, ooh. I, I think I picked the wrong tractor for this job. Guys, this is not, this is not working. There's just not enough power. There's not enough weight. I could try to go slow, but it's just not doing it. Oh, almost. 
We almost did it. Done it made me had to go get the JCB just to take this thing out. That's all right. That's all right. We've got this. I mean, that's a bunch of wool. How much does this weigh? I didn't even check it. Click on it. It weighs 26 tons. I'm not surprised that 38 horsepower didn't do the job. <laughs> this is 400. I think 409 horsepower. Four, 450 maybe? Oh, let's jump back out and jump back in. 450, yeah. That's a more. <laughs> Ooh, it's 412 horsepower more. Didn't do that math right? Let me know in the comment section. We'll go ahead and put all of this wool over here. We'll just kind of get it out of the way, at least. We'll come back through uh, at a later date. We'll go ahead and unload that. And yeah, I did not know it's going to go it to the left. I thought it unloaded to the right. Whatever. Okay. So a little bit more here to do. The combine harvesters, they're doing their thing. We're probably not going to be able to finish that job up today. But the good thing is, at least we're going to have all of the wool picked up. Ooh, nearly full grain tank. All right, we'll have to take a look at that. We'll at least have this wool nearly picked up, at least most of it. Spam the click button. There we go. We got that. Oh, we are driving on top of one. Sorry, bro. All right. Please let me in. This is another thing that irritates me. You, ah. The clicky buttons. Whenever you pick something up, it disengages the ability to get in any other thing that you've got. So picking something up in Farming Simulator 22 is basically a trigger action. So you're not able to, remember 19, where you could unload or you could open like a left door on a barn, but you had to step out of the zone and then step back into it for it to queue up for the next one. Yeah, uh, Farming Simulator 22 does the same thing, but with literally everything. Do that and unload. Perfect. So, yeah, you got to be real careful. Anyway, uh, I think that's probably just about all we got time for today. We'll just leave that there for fun. 41%. Show me the combine, baby. Ah, oh, we could hit the rest of this. 84%. Uh, now we got this. We got this. Let's go ahead and turn off that beacon. One pass. Nope. No, two passes. I think we'll have it, man. Yeah. So this is most of soybean harvest done. We'll have a little bit more to do in the next episode, which is going to be a lot of fun. And we're getting closer to the very end. And I don't know how I'm going to end this. I have no idea we'll find out. And why don't we start today with a little bit of a double dump. Let's jump at both of our combine harvesters. We're gonna get these things rocking and rolling, turn them on. Oh yeah, it's about to happen. Let's go. <laughs> hey -oh. It ain't got a lot of double dump right here. So I think I've got, I don't know, like 100, 150,000 liters total, something like that. Yeah. Ooh, I wonder if we could back this up and get a nice screenshot before it goes absolutely haywire. Uh, about right there. That look good. Take a screenshot. Got him. I don't think we got the double dump in. I think that one was finished. <laughs> hey, that's all right, nonetheless. And it looks like we're good. 132,000 liters. So not as much as I thought we were gonna get. Eh, that's all right, whatever. These are beans and we're not even gonna be selling these until later next year anyway. Um, I'm using just a standard calendar to go by on everything. And it says July. I don't even know if we're going to be in July by the time the series is over. We'll figure that out, I guess, won't we? All right, we're going to take our largest combine harvester over there, which I think is going to be not that one. Yeah, this one right here. That's what I'm talking about. Big 13.8 meter header. Could use the, the massive 60 footer. I think that might be too much. It's just a little bit too much. We're not going to worry about that. We'll just use this one. Bean harvest, super simple, very easy. We'll get this done with, and we will be ready to start taking care of our animals. Let's do it. One thing about this field, this is field number six, and that's a chicken. I'm just showing pictures at this point. We're right here. I've been doing about this field all wrong. Normally, I've been just kind of going back and forth like this, which is not the way to harvest this field whatsoever. Of course, you still need to run your headlands around the field. That way, you help your worker. You don't help your worker, um, you're gonna have a bad time. And we've all had a bad time with workers in farm sim. 
I think we're all tired of that. So I'm gonna finish up these two headlands and I'm gonna show you how I've been doing it. Most of the time, this field's off screen. We've done two fields by this point. It's like, all right, DJ, we, we get the idea. You're harvesting a field. You're doing a great job, man. Let's move on. <laughs> so let me get these headlands real quick and I'll show you exactly how I do this field. And I think it works great. All right, so you see these lines in the field. These are from when I planted. Now, when I planted, I went about doing this field exactly the way that I'm gonna show you right now. So what we need to do is kind of get lined up with these, because this is gonna put us, I think, around 70? Something like that? Yeah, 70 degrees, which is, should be accurate, at least for console players as well. And then hire a worker. The worker is going to try and line up with these. And instead of going on the short way and having to turn around the more, this is actually going to go kind of at a diagonal way, just like this. And it should be able to hit the majority of everything. And it will hit almost the entire field. You may have to come through at the very end and do a little bit, but you'll be all right. And also the workers have gotten pretty smart and know exactly where the end row is as well. So. You get, well, may not be called the end row, but you guys see right here, he finished up there a little bit. He picked up right here where he left off, which is pretty cool. One of the biggest things, especially with running workers that I've seen and, and a big mistake that I've made a lot. I made this mistake a bunch. Check the longest side. That's the side you want to run your worker on. Could start it over here as well if you would like. Either way, it really doesn't matter. I like starting it over here because it gives me a little overlap to start with. Exactly the same way is field number two. And, well, maybe not field number three. <laughs> it's a little bit different. But this guy's doing great. He's doing awesome, and there's really not much for us left to do over there other than wait. So, let's bump around here. Let's give a little splash. And let's start getting things prepared for planting. Actually, we need to fertilize first. Oh yeah, we'll go hook up to a planter anyway. We should also probably get our combine harvester out of the field as well. I don't think that's gonna work very well trying to get everything done. So this, as far as I can tell, might just be our last harvest. You guys know I like doing oats and harvesting those at the beginning of December. We're in September right now, which means that this is gonna be the only way I'm gonna get this done. Of course, I'm using custom everything, so. Don't worry about too much. So we got that. Boom. Fold it in. Give it a little splash. Why not? Splash. Love that button. That's such a cool mod. I can't remember who makes that. I think it's like Viper GTS, something like that. You just hit the delete or the insert key and then splash. <laughs> That's so cool, man. Sorry, I'm a little ADHD this morning, but I'm having a good time nonetheless. All right, fertilizer. I've swapped over to the Fent. Because, well, frankly, the JCB that we've got right now, at least at the time of recording this video, does not have the ability to turn off four-wheel steering, which makes going forwards at 40 miles an hour difficult, to say the least. Why did I park this here? Back it up, back it up, back it up. Also, if you haven't seen the Let's Play that I did showing off the used versus uh, brand new planter, because this is definitely a used planter, yeah, there's no difference. Sorry. <laughs> All you got to do is just fix them and you're good to go. All right. There's that. We're good. We got $641,000. You know what? Oddly enough, even in normal mode, I've done all right. We haven't cheated. Nothing like that. Nothing crazy. At least not that I can remember. I've been recording this series for a couple months now, feels like. Anyway, all right. Let's get some fertilizing done, and soon our harvester should be done over there as well. And just like that, we're done. <laughs> it's, man, we're getting closer, guys. We're getting much closer. I think the worker hit it all, and it did not take a very like, oh, we got a little bit of a sprig up here. Nothing too crazy. We could hit this. Watch this. Watch this. What? You won't even see it. Don't blink. Boom. One liter. <laughs> got him. All right. So we're all finished up, ready to go. Harvesting season has now completed. It, well, at, at least unless we get a contract, in which case we'll do one. Yo, by the way, are there any harvesting contracts? Is there anything ready to be harvested? There is field 20. What is field 20? That is oats. Mmm, not worth it. All right, let's keep moving along. Actually, field number five, that's wheat. And it's getting close-ish. We might end up harvesting field number five 
because I would love to harvest field number five. That was the one field that I just haven't done anything with. Have you harvested field five? Let me know. The last dump of this harvest. Let's go ahead and drop it out. We'll see what we get. I think I could just walk right up to this and it tells me what's in it. Yeah, I love that. 4% damage as well. Kind of neat. All right, 178,000 liters. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. We'll go ahead and drop this header right here, which is where I've been putting it because I don't know where else to put it. And we'll go ahead and fold up our combine harvester while we're at it. And we'll give it a little splash. <laughs> Yeah, see, with this mod, see, it actually benefits you guys because I haven't cleaned a vehicle since 2018. That's four years ago. And now we're cleaning everything, which is just awesome. All right, we'll go ahead and pull this forward. We've got a few fields that are ready to be fertilized or ready to be seeded, rather. And this is the next one. Set it on oats. And let's go. All right, so here's my idea for seeding. Of course, we're doing oats. Naturally, it's gonna be our last harvest because, you know, oats and grass. I mean, it has to be the last harvest, right? It's it's a DJ Go Ham Let's Play. It's oats and grass, man, oats and grass. Let's go. I'm gonna run my headlands, I think with this tractor and then hire up the Massey Ferguson. And then we'll hire him up on a worker and then as soon as he's hired up, we'll jump to another field and we'll just kind of uh, tag team across a couple different fields and wait until we get everything done. Yeah, should be pretty simple, pretty easy. It's going to be pretty quick. That's for darn sure. I'm not rolling. I'm not mulching. Nothing like that. I don't have the time for it. And I just physically don't care. Turn it on. Rock and roll. This is it. This is it. This is the last time we're going to be seeding on Comstead. I'm gonna miss you, homie. I actually haven't planted real life in the game in like, I don't know, three weeks, something like that. It's been a hot minute, so I can't remember if I do two headlands or three. I think I do two. I can't confirm that. There's no way to, to validate that response, but I think that's about it. Anyway, I, th I think we'll be all right. We're gonna run around here. I did miss a little spot down here. There are some places that it seems like this Limpkin Cedar just doesn't like very well. And no matter how much I get down there and empty it or level it out, it's just never quite enough. And it's super annoying as well. All I wanted was just a little bit flat. I understand fields are not always, you know, nice. They don't always play well. This one's not playing well at all. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm heading that way. I may as well go ahead and run this top headland right here. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, spin around. Oof. There we go. Um, by the way, if you're not using the seeding options mod, I don't know what you're doing. The seeding options mod is incredible. It's from TF2020 mods. And what they've done is they've taken every seeder and every planter in the game, base game, rather, base game, and they've turned them into direct drills, which you can turn on and off fertilization. Me? I don't like to run fertilizer on my farms, or on the uh, tractors like this, rather. So for me, having no fertilizer to worry about is actually really, really nice. Because I can just throw some fertilizer down and be done with it. It's only two of them, after all. So, again, if you're not doing it, you need to make sure that you download this mod, because it is awesome. Of course, it doesn't work with uh, other modded stuff, or other mods. So there is kind of, you know, a bit of bit of a downside, bit of a downside, but I think it's totally worth it. So there will probably be very few times where you actually see me using base game equipment or uh, not base game equipment as far as seating goes, just because, I mean, this works. This works really well. And again, more spots like this. I have flattened this area out, smoothed it out. I have gone into both fields just to try and bring these areas together and nope, no luck. You know what I found that works? Backing into each section and having to literally pull this way. This is the only thing that works. And it's frustrating, it's really frustrating. It doesn't make the map unique, it doesn't do anything like that, this sucks. All right, there's my rant for the day. I think we should just move on. Let's move on because we've got some animals to take care of. Now the vehicle I've chosen today to be our fearless leader when it comes to getting everything taken care of for the animals is our Fence 700. The first tractor that we started with on this series. 
We've had this series long time. It's got 15.4 hours on it, which ain't a lot when you got 60 hours on a gameplay. I think the Massey's got a little bit more than that. But you know what? This one's not too bad. It's not too bad. We do have a bunch of soybeans in here right now, so we are going to go ahead and take these over. Oh, I hit two deer. Yikes. Sorry, Bambi. Uh, we, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take this and dump this in our silo. I was reminded from the last episode that Omatana, she's got a production chain that works with soybeans. You can turn it into soy milk. Totally forgot about that. Uh, unfortunately, we're not using any productions on this series. Well, of course, we're using the... Uh, BGA, and we're also using a, a, a silo type thing that turns grass or chaff or hay into silage. Yeah, I don't want to do it by myself, so I just modified something that would do it for me. Let's go ahead and dump this in our main silo right here. I haven't really used the primary farm, like silo or farm number one. I haven't really used that for anything, but this, this has worked really well for me. Hey, gotta love that orange up there. All right. So we've got chickens. We've got their food in their area. All we have to do is go get it. As far as the sheep, we need a lot of grass. And the cattle need TMR. So I think we're going to start with the cattle because we're right here. Straw, uh, they had 2.7 million liters of it. I think they'll be okay. Uh, slurry is filling up fairly quickly. So we may need to consider emptying that out. We'll, we'll figure that out once we get there. But TMR... That's the first thing. Can we get TMR in here? And do we even have any? Yes, we do. We got 184,000 liters of it. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to put a huge dent in this. We're going to fill it up, but it's not going to be a lot. But at least we know that we've got that much. Come on, fill it up. Don't make me do this in two takes. <laughs> uh, it should be about it right there. Yeah, 184,000 liters. Perfect. And I'm going to back this in as well. There's no way I'm going to be able to turn around in there if I don't back this in. So we'll just do it like this. Tell you what, the cattle on here, super, super cool. I'm surprised that they only hold a few hundred. I think it's like 150, 200 it, normally. I've modified it to hold 500. I've had zero issues. It works just fine for me. I don't I don't know what the, uh, what the overall issue was, but yeah, 500 cattle. Works just fine in here. The slurry is filling up, though. Can we jump in it? Ew. Oh, I'm stuck in there, too. <laughs> That's nasty. All right, we're right over here. And uh, this next little bit should be fairly simple because we're just going to make one trip over. And we should be able to dump out everything. Now, if I remember correctly, the sheep will hold, I think it's either 100,000 or 200,000 liters of grass. I want to double check this just to make sure. Let's see if that's the same amount for 28. That would be 50, 75, 100. So it looks like they hold 200,000 liters. Sorry, I was counting with my fingers on the screen. So let's see if we can put 200,000 liters of grass in here. Should be pretty simple. Sorry, 170 is what we need to put in here. I think this will almost top them off. So that should be good. Yeah, all right. So we got grass in here. That's what's going over to the sheep. Also, if you remember yesterday, whenever the last time you watched the last episode was, we did empty out the wool from the sheep. We got like a, a load and a half. It was a bunch of wool. What's up, pup dog? That's another thing. Pup dog is just chilling. Yeah. All right. And water's good as well. We filled them up with water yesterday because we got one of the little tractors, the Antonio Carraro pack, the 4400. Love that little thing. We got some darker rims on there, dual tires. Come on, what's what's not to love, right? What's not to love? Actually, we might be able to use this to feed our chickens. Let's give it a try and see. Let's go ahead and raise our uh, headache rack here because uh, we're going to hurt ourselves. I know it's a roll bar, but for me, anytime I roll over, it's a headache. So we'll call it that for, for now anyway. Tell you what, compact tractor, super cool. All will... Uh, four wheels are all down oh that's so cool man that's so cool this should be able to handle this without any issues also i don't remember how much is in here so i guess we're going to find out here momentarily huh um 4400 liters that's not too bad oh it's it is a little bit heavy let's see let's turn on all wheel diff lock that made the difference 
That made the difference. Oh, kind of made the difference. We're spinning. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> uh, there is a lot of um, smaller equipment, I think is the word to use. This is not one of them. This is not one of the pieces of equipment that I would recommend trying to use. With the oh, we're just sliding is all we're doing. I can't even, I can't even get leverage on it to turn it. Stupid thing. I had to hook and unhook just to get the darn thing to, <laughs> in the position that I wanted it to get in, and I'm still not able to leverage my turning. But at least this, the the way that's going is working. Oh man, I almost filled them up. That's perfect. Cattle looking pretty good for now at least, and chickens are very very happy all right cool 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 all right so we'll go ahead and we'll take this we'll try to back this back into its spot i don't wish me luck that's about all i can say oh no, this is working just fine going downhill works <laughs> uh these little tractors are cool just not for what i'm trying to use them for you know what let's just park it up over here because that's about where it belongs <laughs> While we're at it, let's go ahead and take these uh, bits of eggs and zoom them right over here to the edge. Kaboom, 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 zoom. Got them. All right. We're building up good eggs. We're building up a good amount. I don't remember when I'm supposed to sell them, but we're building up a good amount. So now we're looking good. Chickens have plenty of food. Eggs are down to zero. That's what we want. The sheep, lots of water, no wool, lots of food. Perfect there. And then over here with the uh, cattle, We've got milk, looking okay, straw. Yeah, they've got plenty of straw because it's accidentally using our silo. And slurry, plenty of slurry as well. And the food, not too bad. Now, the interesting thing is the cows haven't reproduced in two years. I've had zero new little baby cows. I don't know if it's something I've done wrong. I don't know if there's anything else going on over there that I need to know about. Maybe I need to put a bull in there. <laughs> Usually all the cattle in Farming Simulator history have been uh, artificially inseminated. That's just kind of been the way things work. And I don't imagine things have changed. But you never know, do you? You never know. So something has come to my attention. It's the Massey Ferguson right here. Looks awesome. I love this tractor. We get a bit of a problem, however. Um, well, it's almost dead. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. So we need to go ahead and repair this thing. $21,000 to repair this. We've got $61,000 to repaint it. I, God, I really don't want to do that. But at least we're getting a nice repair done. So that is good. But we don't need it straight off the bat. What I need is this fast track right here, the JCB, because the JCB is going to get at least those three headlands that we need to do. Yeah, it's going to get them done. It's going to get them done very, very quickly. So let's go ahead and head down here. We'll go ahead and drop everything down as well. One thing, because these mowers will do um, the, 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 the working mode, toggle to working mode. Let's double check just to make sure the working mode's good. Swath dropping is good. Oh, yeah. And of course, I mean, you got to enable fast farming. There we go. You guys ready? Next to last one. You gonna do it? Oop, 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 oop. Turn it on. Turn it on. And go. So you've probably heard me say the last or next to last because I don't know. Number one, are we gonna have enough grass to feed all the animals this time around? Plus this field right here, this is not even feed. This just goes into silage. It goes up to the BGA, which will then be sold, uh, I think later, like December or something like that. We will double check and make sure we're selling all that stuff at the right time. We've also got a bunch of straw that needs to be sold. That's going to have to be done. We just have so much left to do and only three episodes to do it. Uh, IRL, not gameplay, but at least recording time. That's going to equate to about an hour-ish. So normally I try to keep Let's Plays about 20 minutes or so. Just keep them rolling, keep everything fun and leave a little bit of something extra for the next time around. And that's exactly what we're doing today. But we still have a lot of work to do. So by the end of this episode, I want to have had all of the grass fields mown at least at least this one i really don't want to do the other ones <laughs> but i think uh we need to do it anyway so we'll, we'll figure that out so all the mowing need to pick it up 
got to fertilize all these fields again because, well, that's what we need to do. And maybe fast forward some time. Oh, and I think we should buy more cows. A lot of you guys in the last episode had posted down in the comments. You were like, you know, you know, this or that, whatever for the cattle. And I don't know if any of your ideas were right. I don't know if they're wrong, uh, but I'm tired of waiting. So I'm just going to buy 250 more head of cattle. They'll make a lot of slurry. They'll make a lot of milk, probably. And hopefully, hopefully we'll, 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 we'll be good from there. We will have at that point two different sets of cattle. We'll have the ones that we bought, I think it was about a year and a half ago in game, maybe two years ago in game. And then we'll have the ones that we'll just have. And naturally, we'll, we'll not have them very long. But you know what? It's okay. I'm okay with that. All right. <laughs> I guess I should go ahead and get this done, huh? We'll go ahead and hit these last couple headlands. I think I'm going to run three of them, if I'm not mistaken. And then we got the Massey Ferguson. We'll hire him on a worker so that I can take this and hire it out for the rest of them. And we're done. Well, we're done with this part. <laughs> We'll go ahead and fold everybody up, turn it off, et cetera, et cetera. Tell you what, these front mowers, still very, very interesting. A little bit annoying as well, not gonna lie. We'll go and put this over here, let that do its thing. All right, Massey Ferguson, do your worst. Let's make it happen. We'll go ahead and enable all, uh, all wheel drive. We just gotta make sure everything's good. I love the all wheel drive. I know that we've got kind of a, like an, all-wheel drive system already but we don't have like four-wheel drive it's not locked would be nice to have that for all platforms but until uh until something like that happens the enhanced vehicle mod is just gonna have to be no <sighs> really had to do it didn't you had to do it swath dropping why was that like that i would have never ever ever Motor yard like that. Ay, 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 ay. All right. We hit it. We're good to go. I'm turn the help window off now. All right. Dummy number one is good to go. But need to go ahead and let dummy number two in because we've got a lot more fields to mow. And into the secret field of the woods we go. Still my favorite location to date is right here. Right smack dab in the middle of all these trees. It's just a field. Just chilling right there there's also well supposedly there's a field up here as well but there really isn't it's not a field it's just a free area that's got grass so that's why i like this area because it's already a field and i believe i've come through here and actually plowed this up to make it even more of a field i love it so if you are playing on comms if you're still playing on comms then hey check it out check out that location because it is a pretty sweet location all right looking good let's go and knock this field out and usually by the time i've knocked out bow or uh, i guess all four of the fields down here the field up top is either almost done or getting there which means we could go ahead and throw on the collector here the loading wagon the big one yeah the dj go ham loading wagon gotta love that one we go through that on it'll be good we're very close guys we're very close oh real quick i want to double check where are we with manure? Manure's pretty high. Slurry, pretty high as well. Let's check grass. So it doesn't look like we've got any silage. That's okay. Grass, we got 1.6 million liters. Now that is going to get swapped out a little bit from, uh, well, we got the grass up top. We will swap some of that in and make it hay and silage. So one, one. you know, we're, we're probably going to need a lot of that. It's a good thing that we're down here mowing right now. Still moving along, still doing very, very well down here. I think we might have to go two little bitty baby passes down here. The yeah, oh yeah, two little baby passes, that'll be fine. We've got three more grass fields to go. I'm not going to bore you with uh, any more of these. There we go. There's all that. We'll go ahead and turn off the mowers. I need to find my little shortcut. There it is. Just zoom right in. It should plop us right in our next field. And it did. Perfect. Cool. All right. So taking a look real quick, what we've got left. I got 35. I got four. I got this little field right here. You can see our guy's still doing pretty well. Going boop, boop. He's moving through quickly. So we got to go. And here it is. The very end. And I have decided that this will be the last mowing. 
The last one, man. The last one. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Get it raised up. I'm very aware that I can't fold this, but for some reason I can fold this when it's dead. You know what? I don't have to say it anymore. I don't even have to talk about this anymore. By the way, how is our big guy doing? Hey, he's doing all right. He'll get there soon enough. So, what's next? Well, we need to get all this picked up. Because we're not going to mow again, we don't need to do anything to the ground either. So I'm not going to fertilize this. Normally, I would go through in December and mow one more time because you usually can get one more in December, at least the way that I do things. And that gives you between three and four mowings per year, which is actually really, really good. But it looks like probably not going to be able to do that this year because they don't want to. And that's a great reason. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get everything put away and I could finally close this shed for good. Problem is, I have no idea where the other trailer is. And I need to get it so that we can... Oh, I have no idea where it is. Hang on just a second. Let's go ahead and do that. Boom. Boom. Do that. Splash again. For some reason, splash only works with two things. And one of them is your tractor. Cool. Let's get this up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot to do, man. There's a lot to do. I don't think we got enough time. Why I put this in here, I probably will never know, but I found it. <laughs> Hopefully this is a piece of equipment that I tell. Oh, it's a, oh, that's a crash. That's, hang on. Crash counter plus one. Got the button. Oh, I'm stuck. This is stuck counter plus one. Hey, there we go. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> all right, so we need to pick up the grass. Remember, all four of the fields over here, these are all going to be going in our silo. And of course, that big field up top, up north, well, that, actually down south, I guess, is where the field is, that's going to be all going to the BGA to make a little bit extra cash. So far, after only picking up two of these grass fields, we're almost at a half a million liters. I vaguely remember getting more than a million liters off of this just bottom bar right here. I think all four of these, four, or yeah, all four of these fields down here, I think they equal out to about the same as the big field up north, down, down south. You know what? I don't have to say that much anymore either, do I? <laughs> I don't have to mess it all up. The tractor's doing well, by the way. Uh, this tractor is just absolutely incredible. I love this thing. This doesn't have a single wheel set up. We'll find out. I would love to not have all wheel steering all the time on this for much longer. It does get a bit annoying. That's all right. And you can't really turn very well either. It's, you know what, it's rough, but it's first world problem. It'll be fine. Look at all that wool, goodness gracious. That's also another thing. So I know we're gonna be going until uh, episode 20 or episode 30 rather, and that's gonna be going right to the edge of next year in game, probably gonna get through December. And then we'll be done-ish at that point. The thing is, as well, I mean, we've got a lot of stuff that needs to be sold. We've got wool that needs to be sold. Animals that need to be fed through that point. So we may not even be able to sell or get rid of some of the stuff that we've got. One thing to note, we will be getting a new game save with the next version of this map. So this version that I'm playing here, I mean, this is going to be toast. We will have to start a new game save and re-download. We'll, um, I guess we'll just cross that bridge when we get there, huh? Oh, man. It's going to be a whole lot of work that's just, yikes, going forever. Am I stuck? Seriously? For real? Ugh. I am unstuck, and we have got all of the grass from the field. Right now, we're sitting at 685,000 liters. That's, that's a lot is how much that is. What I'm gonna do, I think, is... Uh, oh, I don't think there's two versions of this trailer. I don't think there's like a one million liter configuration standard extension. Okay, so I've got a one million liter version and I've got a 10 million liter version. Let's go down to that. Hook up, are we a little bit more full? Yeah, 68%, all right. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and fill the rest of the way up with grass right here. And then we're going to maybe possibly um, magically turn that into silage and hey, uh, watch me work. I'm going to snap my fingers. You know, we're 28 episodes in. I, I think we can talk to each other. You guys want to know a secret? 
I've been cheating the whole time. Surprising, I'm sure it's not. Uh, yeah, been doing this. <laughs> wow, that's quick. All right. And then we'll put fill the rest of the way up with grass again, and that'll be silage, and we'll have literally everything we need for making TMR. Should I cheat in TMR? I could, but I'm not going to. That's a little too much. I enjoy making TMR. While we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and double check, make sure everything's good up here. Everything is looking good. And we're going to take this mower back down, get it parked up, and these mowers as well will not be used again. This is it. All of this grass. This is our last big silage harvest. The last of everything. Ooh, we only have two episodes to go after this one. I wonder what episode 29 is going to be, because I don't plan these ahead of time. I sit down to record and I'm like, ah, yes, this is what I need to do today. Let's do that. I don't know what I'm going to do, man. Guess we'll figure it out. Something else I'm going to have to figure out is how I did this. Can I get out? <laughs> don't tell me I can get out of here. Let's, ah, you stupid. Let's see if I can lower this down to give myself a little bit of leverage. Not even close. So, I don't know how I did this, but I did it. Come on, it, let's, you need to go home. You, you're done. Ah, you need to go home. Ooh, I see a piece of candy. Do, 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 do. Got him. <laughs> piece of candy. Love it. Mowers are done and I'm unstuck, which is just fantastic news. <laughs> I'll go ahead and drop. Are you serious? Just drop the stupid thing. God. Splash. Got him. One more. Give it a little splash right here. Splash. Get I love that mod. Yeah, everybody, the past couple games, Farm Sim 17 and Farming Simulator 19, mainly 19, people give me crap for not cleaning my equipment. I have no excuse anymore. It's one button. And everything stays nice and fresh. Look, ooh, look how good that looks. Now, if we repainted it, it might look a little bit better. We'll probably repaint uh, as soon as we're all said and done with this. So... There you go. But we can pull this way for now because we do not... Ah! Bricks don't work. We don't need it anymore. All right, guys. Here is the last little bit, at least for the uh, harvest side of things. We're still going to buy some more cattle. Assuming we've got the money. <clears throat> I don't know how much they are. But we're going to buy 250... I was about to say 250,000. Can you imagine 250,000 head of cattle? That's some Australia stuff right there. No, we're going to buy 250 so we can finish and fill everything out. And then we're going to feed them. Because I know we fed the cattle yesterday. However, now there's going to be twice as many. So we're going to need more. We got a couple more passes here. But one thing that I didn't really think a whole lot about. I've, I've only got a 1 million liter capacity trailer. Normally I use the 10 mil on here. We would normally get between 1.1 and 1.2 off of this field. Uh, but it's going to go right in the air. Yeah, that's it. We got all this left. This is going to be super easy, though. Let's take it over and we'll do our thing. Now, normally, I would just cheat this in, but I've really been enjoying using Omatana's fermenting silo. I love this thing. It, I mean, it makes it easier. It does it super, super fast. I may have added some zeros to it, so it's fun and goes very, very fast. We'll go ahead and dump this in here and it'll be ready in no time. I'm currently running on zero time scale, so some, you know... Some things, a little bit different, a little bit different. It's all right. It'll work. It'll work just fine. There's also a couple other mods that have gotten updates recently. Giants released, I think it was 22 or 24 updates a couple days ago. So Giants have got a lot of updated mods on Mod Hub now. So if you're using any Giants mods or if you're like me and you modify some of those, well, you may want to go in and take a look at the ones that they have changed and the ones that they've updated and possibly update yours as well. Usually with that kind of thing, you just kind of have to go back in and make the changes or you can copy in the specific code and overwrite the code that you have changed to begin with. So easy to do, quite easy to do. I mean, you've already done it once, you can do it twice, but just make sure you do it because I've got a couple combine harvesters that I've got and a couple uh, other pieces of equipment as well that are modified and now i'm using an old modified version with a new updated base version so definitely 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 
get those things updated. And between 1.1 and 1.2, it was. Here we've got a little bit more than 100,000 liters in here, which would have brought us to a cool 1.104. Not terrible. We're going to go ahead and put this in the fermenting silo as well. And then once uh, December hits, when we're able to start doing stuff with the silo and the uh, BGA, we'll come over here and we'll pick up everything out of this silo. One thing I am a little bit curious about is what's in here. We should be able to walk up to it and just tell. So it's got 2.2 million liters of silage and now 1.1 million liters of grass. That's going to give us 3.3 million liters of silage to sell. That's going to be a lot. Speaking of a lot, let's make a lot of TMR. So we have $600,000 right now. We've got zero TMR. So we're going to have to make some. We used it all in the last episode feeding our cattle. And I don't know how much they're going to take. I guess we should probably find out. As a matter of fact, actually, I've got the feed maxed out. If I remember correctly, yeah, the... Hang on, cows, here we go. The feed is... Okay, it's almost maxed out, almost. So we'll come over here, but you can see 250 head of cattle. Well, if I come here, we can have up to 500. So we'll go ahead and buy some more brown swiss now i believe the ones that we have let's double check real quick they're 25 months old so what we want uh is yeah animals reached its breeding uh, healthier in 18 months can reproduce so we want cattle that are maybe oh you know what oh yeah puberty 18 months yeah oh i put them at 12 so that's probably why they haven't reproduced huh they've just recently hit that what you know reproduction 80 percent. i might hold off but if they're i don't know what i want to do i really wish the cows would just hurry up and make more cows sheep did it literally overnight these guys have been taking their dandy time Ugh. all right I'll give them another year, whatever. I don't know. Still need to make TMR. If you guys have seen my, how I make these uh, setups, well, we could look at this and let's see, we'll see, we're seeing all the comms and stuff and everything. We'll go and customize this real quick. You can see it holds 1 million liters. And what I do is I do a 40, 40, 20 split. So what I'll do to start with, I'll come in here and I'll find my straw and I'll do 200,000 liters of straw. That'll give me my, 20% of that and you can even turn on your help window which should you know help <laughs> so we'll do 20 uh to, or 20 percent of the entire side or this feed mix wow I can't talk today all right we're almost there cool good enough we'll come in here with some hay and we'll give this 400,000 liters that'll get us up to total of 60 percent and we'll top it off silage you don't have to go in this order I just find that doing straw first uh, makes things a little bit easier for me. Also, I don't remember if you guys know or not, but you don't need mineral feed. Um, quite a few YouTubers, not myself, but quite a few other guys have done uh, tests, a ton of tests, by the way, to see, hey, do you need mineral feed? And well, at least before update 1.3, the answer to that question was shockingly no. No, you do not. Oh, speaking of, we're at 60%, sweet. All right, we'll top it off with silage, so now we don't have to stop it. We could just let this fill up, and we'll be good. And we may go ahead and give our, our animals some of this. I'm sure they like it. And here we go! 98, 99, one cool million. We're going to bring this around, give them some food, because I know they're going to want it. Dip that in there and be good. And it's done. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This thing empties out like a bajillion liters per second, which is a little bit of a, an exaggeration, but it is pretty darn fast. So we think we're done there. And I, I think we're kind of done overall for today. Guys, we've only got two more episodes. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I, I do know that we're going to be fast forwarding time. So from here, when you see we're in September, I think we're going to need to get into like October or November to get some stuff taken care of. So there is that. I did make a, uh, like a Google document or something like that at one point 
I'm actually pulling that up on the back end right now to see if I can find something. So uh, I've got it showing as in January, we need to sell the wheat and the barley. Corn can also be sold in, but I don't think I have any, as well as milk, silage, straw, and bread. Oh, we went too far. Um, in December, oats and canola. November is eggs, so we will sell eggs in November. And it doesn't look like anything is an October sale. So we're going to be able to fast forward straight through October and get into November. And uh, we'll, we'll kind of get the um, get those eggs sold and then jump straight into December. That's going to be harvest time for our oats right here. And that'll be time for us to also sell the uh, oats and canola that we've got. Tell you what. Book to make get out of here, bird. We're at the main cow pasture, so this must mean one thing. If you're looking at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, 500 animals they just happened overnight. I was sitting in front of the uh, wool pallet, you know, two months ago in game, five minutes ago, just shoving wool out of the way as it just miraculously just drops right in front of us. Oh, what up, dude? Yeah, 500 cows. They reproduced. It took two more months. I know I was complaining, but I'm so glad that I didn't buy extra cows because guess what? I got the cow breeding thing as well. Yeah. I don't I don't know what I did. Right, wrong, any way whatsoever. This cow doesn't even care about me. Uh, the, the biggest problem right now is we don't have enough food for everybody again. So you can see they have gone through this much food in two months months and they've only had one set of or the other 250 cows for the last month ah so we need to find a tractor i think the uh yeah this guy right here work just fine we've also got some other stuff to do is today as well we gotta uh, sell some eggs and we gotta harvest field 18 what 18 dj you're not gonna take out of the nut uh he did it he took another harvesting contract on the le next to last episode what an idiot Nah, I'm excited though. I've never harvested that field before. I still haven't got to harvest field five yet. We'll probably end up having to do that tomorrow um, in the last day. So we're in November right now, just to kind of give you guys a uh, filler in. We're in November right now. Tomorrow in December, we're gonna go through my attempt on that video is going to be to record straight through. No editing, no craziness. Okay, craziness, definitely. Got plenty of DJ, but I'm going to try and treat it not like a live stream, but I want to make it special. I want to make it something, you know what I'm talking about? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and just make it one big long episode so that it's just me and you guys the whole time we get to talk and I get to kind of talk through what's going on through my head and what I'm doing. Uh, a, a lot of harvesting, so it might be a little bit boring. TMR, let's go, baby. Uh, we can't hold too much of this. We'll only hold about 200,000 liters. But I thought that would be fun. It's the very last episode to kind of go through. In our last episode, we're going to be harvesting all of our fields, field two, field three, and field six. We're also going to try to get field five in there as well, if we can. All right, so there's that. That'll be probably be enough at least to fill this up once. So that's the game plan. And I hope you like it. And if you don't, please let me know. Because if you're watching this, I... Oh, no, wait. If you're watching this, I already have recorded that episode. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. So, <laughs> spoiler alert. All right. Let's get this finished up because we've also got to go get those eggs sold. But today's going to be a fun one. Now we've got 500 cows. Very happy to see that they have reproduced. We are going to be selling the eggs, which I don't know how I'm going to sell it, but we'll figure it out. I'll probably just get a smaller auto load trailer, lease something, and be done with it. And then, once it's all said and done, we'll be ready. Unfortunately, I've only got one trailer that will auto load eggs. I did say that I would probably get something smaller, but you know what? We have this tool on our farm. Why don't we just use it? It'll be totally fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, they said. Yeah. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're just going to take the eggs and throw them in here because we can't pick them up. Please? Thank you. Uh, we're going to take the egg pallets and we're just going to kind of chunk them over here and we'll pick them up a little bit later. This one doesn't have too much. What is that? 29 eggs? Wow. 
We do have more of here. That 1400. Yeet! You think I'm breaking these while I'm doing this right now? Nah, me neither. Me neither. I heard I heard you through the through the computer. I'm not breaking eggs. I am breaking I don't know. I watched Deadpool for the first time the other day. Fun fact. Why did no one let me watch that before now? That was an awesome movie. That was off topic. Very, very off topic. <laughs> I didn't throw these half far enough. <laughs> this this turns out, I mean, you could definitely tell that I have mentally checked out because I didn't even try. It's a, yeah, at least that's what I'm telling myself. All right, uh, please let me in that tractor. Really, I got to bump over to it. All right, one last time using it. Fill type liquid, not even close. Boop, 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 boop. Got them. All right, I think that's all the eggs. I don't think there's any more anywhere ever. So that's perfect. Let's go in here. Let's find our eggs. There we go. And let's find where we're going to take them. So it looks like farmer's market's going to be the best place. Let's go ahead and tag it. Double check. November. Best price. $25.12. And we're getting $25.45. I'm happy with that price. I'm sure you guys are as well. And it looks like farmer's market's going to be, of course, down near the bottom of the map. Let's go. Almost to our sell point now. And I think I've got a good idea for the harvesting, which we're going to be doing as soon as this is over with right here these should sell automatically we'll go ahead and unstrap they do sell slow but automatically ain't too bad boop -a -doop -a -doop -boop -boop. they should just all disappear right here they go boop or not there we go <laughs> hey all right twenty-one thousand liters right there definitely i think chickens are worth it they do i don't have a lot of them <laughs> but they do produce pretty well so not too bad there. All right. So our next stop is going to be field number 18. Of course, that is way over there. So we're going to have to get this at least take it back to the main farm because we don't need this anymore. We're going to take over one combine harvester and we're going to take over a loading wagon. That's right. We're going to take over our loading wagon because instead of making the bells on field 18, I think I'm going to take, uh, take it over and unload the bell or unload the... You know what? I'll just show you. All right. Here's the game plan. Get out of here, Bambi. We're going <laughs> to... He's just running right beside me, isn't he? I was like, doesn't this look beautiful? I don't know what Giants did after the last update, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. We've got a... Well, we've got two loading wagons here. We've got one that's going to be for the crop. One that's going to be... Please let go of the header. Thank you. One that's going to be for the straw. Now, the straw... That's going to be picked up loose. Then we're going to take it over near, not at, but near the BGA where the other bells are. And then from that, splash, we're just going to bail it up. I don't know if that's going to work. I mean, I'm sure it'll work just fine. Just, I'm not sure it'll work the way that I want it to work. Burp counter plus 10. Uh, are we ready to go? Enable straw swath. We do want that. We'll go and hit it. Drop it down. Enable fast farming. Nope. Go. <laughs> hey, all right. We are cutting into the field, ladies and gentlemen. So this is going to be another one of those two headlands and then try to find the straightest, longest side and hire a worker. I don't know how that's going to go. We're at 214 degrees right now. I don't know what that lines up as with a worker. I guess I could just hire a worker and find out, but not until we get these uh, two headlands done. So let's do those real fast. All right, I think I've found my straight line. So you can see right now we're about 84 degrees, which ain't too far off from 90. 90 is gonna be pretty good, I think. So that's what we're gonna go with. First run might be a little bit much. Plus this is the longest straightest line out of all of this as well. One thing that I do need to do before we even consider moving forward is we have got to get this thing unloaded. I don't know how well this crop is, but we've got, I think, over 60,000 liters in there now. It's 58 before I even started this line, so we should be well into the 60s by now. This only holds 100,000 liters, which for me, you know, is plenty. Please, please unload into this. Well, just not into the trigger. I'm just not in the trigger. Yeah, it just wasn't right. I'm going to take a look at this field real quick because I'm curious. This is where we're at right now. Oh, it was a little bit fertilized just once, but once was enough. All right. 
There we go. 67,000 liters. Yeah. This is going to be a lot, man. It's going to be a whole bunch. But the great thing is, as well, that means it's going to be a whole lot of straw. Yeah, yeah. See, so you guys are starting to say it with me. It's, 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 this is an interactive video. <laughs> it's not. Uh, all right. Let's find our uh, 90. I think for this, it'll be 180. Oh, boy. Uh, I don't know what, 270 maybe? Yeah, I think 270 degrees is the opposite of 180. So we'll go ahead and hire this up. We'll see if this resets itself to 270, which it does. All right, not too bad, not too bad. I will have to make uh, probably one or two small adjustments through here, but this is going to make things go so, so much easier for me once it's all said and done. So there's our first run right there. In case you're curious where I'm starting, I'm starting at the top right-hand corner. I figured that would be the easiest way. Plus, our worker keeps coming back, and they've got a flat straight line on the other side. The other option was to go with the crop lines right here, so going forwards and backwards this way, and it would have done well on the long end, but we would have been turning around more than we would have been going, so it would have taken longer. So again, try and find that straightest line, even if you got to do what I'm doing right here and kind of babysitting it for one or two or three runs, which I think we're going to have to do three here. Babysitting it's all right, at least for this first few, because it's going to turn out way better for you guys in the long run. So as you can see, this is working just fine. A-OK. -okay. I think maybe one more and we'll be done. Yeah, yeah, we're way past the first one already. This is good, man. This is very good. And I enjoy doing stuff like this as well. Yeah! Not quite a straight, uh, not quite very straight. Also, this is one of the reasons I do as well. For the worker. This is not for me. I'm just trying to prepare this field for the worker right now. I've had quite a few people ask me in previous episodes, why are you running? Just hire a worker and be done with it. Well, the workers don't like the edge of the field very much. You probably know this already. <laughs> oh, workers suck, man. They're actual idiots. All right. Let's go ahead and hire this bad boy uh, on a worker himself one last time, and then we should start ready to be picking up the straw. Picked up the straw. Let's do it. And we're back, ready to go. You guys ready to go? Let's do it, yeah. Hey, and the worker's doing a pretty good job as well. So he's coming back. We did finally have to run those three little in-row type things, but he's doing good. I might slow it down right here just to see how dumb baby does. Okay, not too bad. Went straight through. Sometimes that's not the easiest thing. So we bump over to him. Let's just watch. I'm gonna take my hands off the controller. Maybe take a sip of cheap fuel here in a second. Okay, looking pretty good. I'm in the trees. That's not good. He's backing up way too far. Now he's coming back forward. And he's going to miss some. He did not miss some. Okay. Though the workers are still actual idiots, he did his job. Cool. Now we get to do our job, which is going to be picking up all this straw. Ooh, ooh I think I got a sneeze. Oh, no. False alarm. <laughs> Sneezes are never good. Never, never, ever, ever good. All right. How much are we going to get here? And I'm actually really glad already that I'm doing this like this because this is a lot of straw. It's going to be 100,000 liters after I'm done with that. Yeah, there's 100,000 liters there already. That would have been, I think, about 10 bells, maybe 11 bells total that we would have to take over. We're going to get a bunch of straw off this field. Again, the idea here is pretty simple. Pick up the loose straw, deposit the loose straw on the ground over by the BGA, and then bail up that straw now this is going to dump it on the ground pretty quick so we might end up having to relocate the straw from this trailer to a different trailer just so it lays it down on the ground in a way that's a little bit easier to bail up otherwise our baler's just not going to do a good job and i haven't seen any balers with these uh these arms on them yet so we will see kind of what we get into but <clears throat> i think for where right now for the meantime everything is good Combine Harvester's doing well. We are doing well. And it's just going to be busy work from here. So we're going to end the clip. And I will be back whenever we've got something to talk about.
Yeah. So we are moving along now, and I've actually got kind of a little system. So every two, I pick up the straw. As you can see, we've already picked up everything else. And we go a little bit faster than the combine harvester. Then I take this and queue it up for the next round. Of course, I'm not sure how much more we're going to be able to put it there. We've got about 700 and some thousand liters in there now. All right. So we'll jump at this. Now, I know that the combine harvester is a little bit on the full edge side. These about half full, maybe a little bit more than that. So what I'm going to do is come around here. And as soon as he starts, now I'm in here, carding. See, it's single player farming can can happen. It's, man, is it busy, but it can happen. And then by the time we get down here, this will be completely unloaded. Actually, it's completely unloaded now. So we'll go ahead and jump off of there. And now I've got two straw swaths to jump through again. That fast, let's go. Getting close to finishing up this field now and I'm just taking over at this point and <laughs> just dropping a big old pile right at the end and then turning around myself of course one thing if you're running a worker they are not going to do this as fast as you can you may think they can they cannot they take forever to turn around at the end and when faced with something maybe like this where well you've taken a few uh bits of the field from you they may not know what to do Plus, I'm just picking stuff up pretty quickly. Again, we're basically doing this field for the straw. Not for the crop, and certainly not for the, what, measly 26 grand or whatever that it's given us for this field. We will end up making much, much more. We will triple, probably, at least triple the amount of money that we get off this field from what it's actually paying us. Harvesting contracts are the king. Now... Harvest the contracts with the king on PC. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't pick up straw and missions on consoles, which does stink. I think that would be a super cool mod to have. Uh, and and not only do I think it'd be uh, or think it would be a super cool mod to have, I think it's almost a necessary mod to have. You, you're still in people's crops. It's perfect. All right, got a couple things. Let's go and take this for the last time. We'll go ahead and get this taken down there. See, we got 198,000 liters in here right now. I didn't take a look at the combine harvester whenever we were in it, but we should get a pretty decent amount. And we got to deliver, I think it's 90 or 95% of that. So we'll be able to keep some. Yeah, but it is wheat and we don't sell wheat. But it, I guess we might have to. All right, we're going to put that there. Let him do his thing. We need this guy. Yeah. So let's go and pick up the rest of the straw. I did modify the trailer to hold a little bit. Oh, I didn't turn it on. Uh, I did <laughs> modify this to hold a little bit more. Uh, we've gone up to the 10 million liter capacity instead of just staying right down at the 1 million liter. That way I don't have to make two trips because I'm only going to have a little bit more than a million liters in here anyway. We may not even get that much. Eh, no, we're definitely going to get that much. And we're done! So we've got uh, one million liters in here. We would have made about 111, 112 bales, which would have been a lot. We would have made a lot of bales. I'm really glad that we did this because we would have been carting all day long. So here's what we got to do next. Let's take the straw from here. We're going to go ahead and take it over near the BGA. I got to figure out exactly which way I'm going. It looks like I'm headed in the correct direction, so that's good. We've also got to get another trailer over there because this uh, this trailer is just going to dump it into one big pile. I don't think that's going to be good. I don't think it's going to be good at all. That baler that we've got over there, you guys saw it a second ago. It's, well, that would be bad. It's not going to work. And we got to sell everything. This is getting busy. Naturally, it had us come to quite literally the farthest sell point away. Oh, come on. Can I get through here? Not even a little bit. Of course, it had us come to the farthest sell point to deliver this. From field 18 all the way up here to the stupid store. Even going to the north end of the map would have been shorter. But no, I had to do it like this. Don't worry, I did drive literally straight across the map. I had to come, even go across the water. Had a good time. All right, let's drop this off. 246,000 liters right here. And we're going to be dumping about 90%, 95% of this in there so i think we're gonna get down to about uh, i don't know 
I think dump this till we get down to about 50,000, something like that should put us right on track. At 50,000, we have delivered 84%. So let's get this down and we'll go in tens now. So there's about 80, so you stopped at about 34. There's 91, stop at 30, give it a little bit more. There's 94%, come on, one little bit, 94%, 95%. Contract is 99% completed. Get out of my face. Oh, is it really? 99% done. All right. A little bit more. There we go. Finished up. We got $336 from it. We've kept 24,000 liters. So that's pretty good. As you can see, we've had to deliver a certain amount. We'll go ahead and complete the contract so that we've got it and collect. Nice. Nice. All right. So what we need to do is we need to get this wheat back over to the main farm. We need to get that put away. And then we've got to get up to the BGA because there's some fun stuff about to happen. Time for the fun. All right. So what I've got to do is I've got to get all the straw that's in that trailer into this trailer. How am I going to do that, you ask? I'm going to become Superman. And I'm going to set the trailer on the edge. Oh, I'm flying. I did not have fun doing that. Um, you know, this is kind of funny as it sits right now. So I might have to take a thumbnail of this. Yeah, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. We should be able to dump this. There we go. Start overloading straw. Let's go ahead and dump that right about there. And we can go ahead and pull this up here. <laughs> All right, so we got 19,000 liters in there left. Here's what we're going to do with this. We're going to run and drive, and it's going to dump the straw onto the ground. And that's the game plan. <laughs> so basically, I've moved the straw swath from the other, uh, other farm to here. I'm going to try and get up to speed. I don't have access to your face doesn't have access to this land get shoo. i don't even have enough money for the stupid thing all right fine i'm gonna sell 25 for now all right sell 25 because we're not technically using it we'll come over here i'll buy this land all right a lot of my money we just went down about right then it's not happy about that speed it back up again come on speedy boy and dump that's too much oh boy that's way too much at once oh not good not good not good all right well this is basically the game plan and i'm sticking to it so i'm just gonna run around and drive and <laughs> just dump straw into the ground because that's Oh, that's what my life has, has come to. Yep. Just like this. I wish I was kidding. This is exactly what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Just running around. How much of this field am I going to have to go into before this is too much? I don't want to go around the entire field because I feel like that's just going to be a waste of time. <laughs> Man... All right, there's a quarter of everything, so we haven't made it around in a full circle yet. We've got a full quarter of this. Man, I'm so worried that the baler's not going to be able to bail all this up. The baler does not like large straw swaths at all. Not at all. What I may end up having to do is come through and take, like, half of this. <laughs> Maybe get a windrow and go through half of it. Oh, man, this is not good. I did not do what I wanted to do with this. This, oh, all right. Well, there's close-ish to half now. Not even close. We're not even there yet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'm going to sit here and drive around in circles for a hot minute. We'll see, how, see what happens. Yeah, this is 100% not going to work the way that I wanted it to. But we're almost done. And almost empty. Yeah, all right, there we go. Man, I'm starting to wish that I just took all this straw back over to the main farm and was just like, yeah, more straw in our silo. Nope, I had to be different. Way 
Wait, did, you know what? I don't even care about what's left. I'm just going to put that in a silo. All right. We'll jump in here now. We'll detach. And let's try. Oh, man. Let's try to make this work. Is it going to work? No. <laughs> I'm very aware of what's going to happen here. Just a second. All right. Load it all up. 240 centimeter bells because we're going to need all the help that we can get. I am going to turn off um, the speed limit, but we'll probably need to bring that back in eventually. And I'm going to set my cruise control probably to about four is probably going to be too much. Yeah, as you can see, three... All right, three's doing pretty good. We're not losing any. I take that back. Gosh, no, this was the wrong idea, man. This is the wrong idea altogether. All right, here's what I am going to do, though. Instead of trying to, oh, try and get all of this at once, here is the game plan. I'm going to try and get at least half of this. So we'll set our cruise. I think three miles an hour is probably... Oh, I might be pushing it at three. Oh, yeah, I'm already dropping stuff. Uh, I'm going to try and set this, pick up half of it at three miles an hour. Man, this sucks. This is awful. I don't, I'm not having fun at all doing this. Maybe if I just go fast, I can do two rounds and pick it up like that. Man, that was even at third. Oh, gosh. I'm not having fun. I'm not having fun anymore. <laughs> all right. I'm just going to go fast, and we'll come back through, and we'll pick the rest of this junk up. Yeah. This, this is the only way to make me happy. <laughs> you know, on the plus side, I know what not to do the next time that I decide to do anything like this. And what will be to do is to put all of the bales on the same field as the Combine Harvester's making them. And then come back through. Actually, look at this. It's picking it all up at once. What am I doing different? Um, I'm a genius. I just don't know how. <laughs> Is it because I'm going a little slower but going straight down the center? Ooh, if that's the case. I'm going to go ahead and set my cruise. Yeah. I'm going to set this like 15 because that seemed to be the sweet spot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, indeed. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. This is working perfect. You know, things are great when they work out, but for some reason, you guys think it's funny when they don't work out. Uh, this has worked fairly well, I gotta be honest with you. Going uphill has been, like, amazing. But any other way of doing it, not the best. <laughs> we'll go ahead and un unpack that. There we go, there we go, there we go. Let's double check and see some bells. Where are our specs? Where's the spec sheet? Please, can I have a spec sheet? Where's the thing that tells you how many bells you made? Here we go. 107 bells. Not too bad. I said we would have gotten 110. I think we could probably get a few bells out of all this junk on the ground. I'm also going to go over here. We're going to take the last little bit of straw that's in the uh, in this little loading wagon thingamabobber right here. Let's go and detach. There we go. Perfect. Since none of this has worked properly anyway, I figure, whatever, just... You know, a pile of 19,000 liters of straw. That's not going to hurt anything. See? That's not going to hurt anything, right? <laughs> no, this is going to be fun right here. You guys will do Oh, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Pick it up. Do the thing. You know, I'm going to have to pick up all these bills and then rebell up everything. All right, let's just yeet right into it and see what happens. Well, that, I mean, it did not work. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Look, look. I mean, quick work of that, actually. That worked a whole lot better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> you gotta love when a plan comes together. Cool. All right, so there's step one. Actually, I think that was like step 48 or 49, something like that. Next step is going to be to pick up all the bells that are on the ground, and then we're going to go back through and pick up the rest of the straw. Should be able to pick up the rest of the straw in one go. Boop. Oh, that's over there. That's not good. Why are those there? 
All right. There we go. All right. Pop it up, load it. Good to go. Ay, 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 ay. Ooh, got a bunch of these bales over here as well. What I might do, because this is not a full stack. Let's go and pick up these and make an actual full stack of bales. Yeah, this is going to work out great. And here's the first stack. I have to put it not against the ground. <laughs> there we go. Nice and flat right there. Cool. So that's the first set. We've got a lot more bells to pick up. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll continue moving forward. Man, there's so much left that we've got to do. This is just the next to last episode. How long is this video going to be? Goodness gracious. All right, so we've got some bells picked up. But obviously, we've still got a bunch of just eh, junk all over the ground. Actually, can we, can we pick up a couple of these bells that are in the baler right now? <laughs> we can. I love that. All right, let's jump back in here. We'll get everything turned on and try. We're going to try to make more bells. I don't... Oh, yeah. Forgot. I disabled the, the cruise control thingy. I may have gone and made farm some news while I was doing this. Sorry. All right. So the rest of this, I'm just going to go full speed. I really, really, really don't care if it misses anything or not. I'm, I'm not here to make friends anymore. I'm ready to get this over with. <laughs> That's what I'm ready for. Oh, man, this, this episode's been a long, long episode. It's been a long ride as well. Great thing is, we've got a bunch on the other side that doesn't even need to be picked up. So we're not going to have to pick up as much as maybe we thought, but we're still going to have to pick up quite a bit. So we'll get over here right to the end. And I know you're probably going to go, DJ, it's just little bits and pieces. Don't even worry about it. Uh, well, we've already made a bale and a half. So... I'm going to worry about it a little bit because those bills sell for a couple grand each. We're making some good money. And I know, I know. we got a lot of money to begin with. Leave me alone. And we've got a little bit more, man. Where could it be it? So we've got those two little bells right there. I've got a uh, third one on the back right now. And it looks like we're getting ready to pick up the startings of a fourth. Now, you guys know how I treat bells. Boom. Got them. And that's it. Right there. So... I don't know exactly how many we had. I know beforehand we had made 111, and this would make 115, I believe. Yes, almost. Not, not quite. Okay, 15, 16. Okay, so there's a few. Fill up with straw. There we go. I never like leaving anything in, so whatever the last one is, I always just bump that up. Make sure that we don't have no rookie numbers. Cool. I think that's it. I think. I don't. I don't know for sure. I. I don't know anything anymore. All right, we'll go ahead and take that. We will... Oh, yeah, we're way up here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So the windrower, that could be replaced or sent back over to the main farm. The baler can be sent over to the main farm. Actually, this tractor as a whole could probably be sent back over to the main farm as well. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Make sure you get out of it and step away just a little bit. There we go. Cool. All right, so all that's over there. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Now we got to do is pick these last bits up. So we can only fit two on here, so we're going to have to carry a couple by hand. All right, last piece right here. What I want to do, we've got a stack down here that's not complete. So what I want to do is just throw this on there. Oh, I might be able to Tetris this. Ooh. I don't think I'm straight on, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right, right there. Raise it up. Bring it over. Easy, easy. Look, look at this. Oh, we're bouncing. Back it up. Drop it. <laughs> I'm the best in the world. Look at all this straw, man. This is too much. Too much darn straw. Cool. There's a lot of bills. We're going to make a lot of money. And actually, we've got a lot more to go than just that. I know in the previous episode, I said, you know what? We're just going to go through it. I'm just going to record the whole time. I'm not going to do that. I understand how boring that would be. So <laughs> we're just going to keep it fairly normal. We've been as normal as, as it gets for me for the past 30. Yeah, 30 episodes. So I'm going to try and behave myself just the same in this one as well so we're gonna do things pretty similarly however i am gonna do something that i did in the last episode which was fun ish not really uh <laughs> we're gonna take all the straw up to near the bga 
we're gonna bail it there. Now, the question would probably be, why? Why would you do that? Y again, even. Well, it, it was actually much easier than you think. Plus, we've still got stuff up there, which makes it a little bit easier for me. A little bit easier for me. So let's go ahead and turn everything on. We'll double check, make sure straw swath is enabled, which it is. And we should be ready to jump right in. Can we go faster than six miles an hour? We can, so that means we are in fast farm mode. All right, so we have three fields of oats to do. I've double checked and unfortunately field number five, it got away from us. So that's gonna be there. Now, I'm gonna continue the end of this episode Oh, my microphone cut off for a second. Oh boy. No, it was even worse. It was my video. Of course it would decide to do that. It's my last episode. Come on, man. Keep it together, computer. Keep it together. And our two PC setup as well. What could be maxing out 64 gigs in a 2080 Ti with a 3090 or 3900 CP? You know what? I don't even want to know. Uh, I won't ask. You don't tell. And everything will be all right. So. I don't even remember what I was saying now. Uh, maybe we should just read. Oh, yeah. Field number five. Uh, it's not there. And at the beginning, I was saying something about not finishing the series. Yeah. So this is the last episode in the gameplay series. There's that. However, this is not probably the last episode of Comsden Farmer. At least our last kind of foyer uh, into the series. Because an update is scheduled sometime for this map and i kind of want to play on that and with that comes you know the amount of money we've got and the amount of crops that we have etc etc well especially if i want to continue playing this off screen if i you know got animals to keep up and i've got things that need me like cattle and sheep and chickens no pigs Boo pigs, actually. I don't think there's any pigs built into this map, so we don't even have to worry about that. I want to make sure I've got everything for them. So I'm not going to be getting rid of a ton of silage. Uh, we'll just mow again the next time I need some extra grass to silage. Plus, we got plenty in the silo. We are going to sell some silage. We have a ton of it. I mean, millions of liters. We're probably going to sell, I think it's about 3.3 .3 million liters of silage that we've got to sell. That's going to be tomorrow in game. Yes, we will make our way through that. I don't know how long this episode's going to be. I'm sure you'll be able to tell just by looking at the bottom left-hand corner. But I have no idea. This may be much longer than one of our usual episodes. <laughs> sure, it's not going to be any shorter, that's for sure. So, we're going to do our standard running around, hitting the uh, two headlands that I want to run. And then once we're completed with those two headlands, we'll go and hire the other combine harvester on this field. And I will jump over and we'll start running on the next field. So let's finish the second headland and then we'll go from there. Headland number two is done. And that means we get to swap the combine harvesters out for something a little bit bigger, smaller. We're actually downgrading a little bit. I do love the other combine though. So we've got a Lexian and we've also got a Tryon right here. It is. Oh man, I love this thing. It's been with us since the beginning of the series. This is the same harvester that we started with. And I can be honest with you. I love it. I love this thing so much. It was perfect for this uh, farm in general, this map. It's a great combine harvester for this map. It's got a good header. I feel like you can get enough work out of it for me anyway, especially with doing videos and things like that. It is fun and yeah, I could just go on and on and on about it all day long, but I go ahead and stop right there. Double check, make sure. Ooh, straw swath is not enabled. So there we go. We got to enable that. I'm also going to turn fast farming on, and I'm going to turn on all wheel drive just so we don't get stuck on these large piles that I made at the ends. Go ahead, cut it on, and pull forward just a little bit. Hire worker. Do your thing, my dude. Do your thing. Please let me in this. I guess I can't get in on that side. Why did I turn it off? Do I have a mod installed where it doesn't allow that to happen? Oh, man, fun stuff's happening already. We're already, we're already getting started. All right, now for the second one. Now, I'll give you guys an idea of where we're at. I'm going to be moving up to field number two. You probably know this by now. And, of course, we got field six down here as well. We've got to do that. Usually, one of these two will do it. <laughs> and that's all I got for you. All right, 
two runs around this field. What do we got? While I'm running this field and kind of getting stuff situated, I want to take a look back and just remember what we've done on this farm. What we've done on this series. We have had such a good time and I've been so grateful for you guys watching the series, enjoying it, supporting it, giving ideas, and helping me when I mess up, which is more often than I want to admit happens. But without you guys, uh, those times wouldn't be as meaningful, I promise you. We've gone from, I think the first episode was titled like, starting with only one tractor, what? And yeah, you guys knew that we would be getting more tractors for us all over with. Uh, Another thing that has happened during this series is the animals and, and learning how to do them. I've gotten uh, wool things. We've gotten milk things. We say things. Achievements. Um, yeah, those things that giants give you. I don't like steam and stuff like that. Uh, I've also gotten uh, harvesting uh, achievements and things like that. We've done so much when it comes to that and found out that the cattle uh, all decided that they were going to have babies on the same night every darn one of them so every single cow had had a baby in one night all of my sheep had a baby in one night and granted the sheep i think took like a day maybe two whereas the cattle took about a year and a half they took their sweet time <laughs> but it was still fun of the chickens of course it only holds a hundred so i just decided to keep it as that. Uh, once the new update for the map comes out, the chickens will be much easier to modify and edit, uh, and we'll be back to like 500 chickens or something like that, which I think, and I do recommend, is a good number. You got a lot of chickens for that bit. Ooh, we're almost done with this headland right here. We can start picking up straw. Sweet! Also, moving forward, I think a lot of stuff's gonna start to be in 4K here on the channel, and we'll try and do 4K HDR. We'll see if I can get HDR pass through on my capture card. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to push HDR into the, uh, into the capturing device or not. We'll, we'll find out from there. I'm using a, um, NVIDIA 3080, 3090, sorry. And then, uh, as far as, I mean, CPU and RAM doesn't really matter. But I am using a just standard 4K capture card. I'm using the Elgato, um, 4K60 Mark II. So I'm hoping that maybe that will do well. I don't know. We'll find out. Either way, uh, we've done some fun stuff. I've really enjoyed this series. I've had a lot of fun doing it. I mean, I've had a lot of fun. There's been quite a few times where, I mean, it, it took me three, four hours to record one single episode. That's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. And this little tractor, we got the Antonio Carrero pack is out. We got chickens just running like crazy. It's open. You can leave anytime you want. Uh, we <laughs> got this JCB, which for some reason only turns uh, all the wheels. Where is this thing? There it is. The Massey Ferguson. Now this, we've put this thing to work. I've got 60 some odd hours on this gameplay series and this tractor by itself equates for almost half of that. Look at that, 28 point, great, uh, 28.2 hours. We got a lot of hours on this thing, man. A lot of hours on this tractor. It has served us well, and I've been extremely grateful for it. We've got to try out new mods. We got to try out different things that have come out in that same amount of time as well. Uh, for example, we got to try out a, co a cotton harvester over on that field, which doesn't appear to have changed at all since I harvested it. Uh, I mean, we've got all kinds of stuff. Can I beat this guy? I can. Go, 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 go. Uh, we've, we've modified things. We've modified the map. This is actually the second update, or the first update, rather. I think it's still version 1.1. Uh, but this is DJ Goham's version 1.1. So I've modified the, uh, of course, equipment. We've modified the cattle pasture and the sheep pasture. And we've modified the BGA. Actually took the BGA out and put a placeable one down that does a lot of crazy stuff. We've made more silage than I knew was possible, thanks to Omatana. Ooh, can I beat him going this way as well? I think I can. We will see. Also, we've already got 135,000 liters of straw. I think we have plenty. Oh, this is going to be close. Oh, no, he's coming forward. Go, 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 go. Ah, we blocked him, but just for a moment. That's all right. 
Uh, and bees! We have bees! We don't need them. <laughs> There's no reason because we don't have honey. I mean, we've got honey. Oh yeah, that's another thing. We've got a honey production chain. What? That's just cool, man. That's just cool. We've gone, we've, we've gone very, very far with this series. And again, I, I'll say it again, man. I'm grateful for you guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching. It's a lot of fun. But it is time to move on. Because as much as I love playing on this map and sharing it with you guys, a little bit bored. So we're going to play on something different. I just don't know what yet. I do know that I'm going to be bringing back Elm Creek. It's coming back for a couple more episodes. We've got three more episodes on it. I think we were starting to record episode 28 so, or 27, something like that. I've already recorded the first clip. Funny enough, I recorded the first clip and then started this entire series. <laughs> so yeah, that's a real thing that happened. Anyway, we're going to go back. We're going to finish that series. We're going to go through the 30 episodes. I'm going to give you guys episodes 21 through 30, supercuts of both series. Um, by the time you guys are seeing this, the day after this comes out is when I'm going to be dropping that 21 through 30. Uh, I'm going to wait until the new computer comes in. I've got a new Mac Studio that should be coming in anywhere between uh, March 30th and April the 6th, which is uh, well past the time that this video is coming out, but not too long. Had to get the thing custom uh, custom built, so it took a little while longer. But with that, I'm hoping that I can edit these massive series-long videos, episodes 1 through 30, full series content right there. Um, but that's going to take me a while. Usually right now, for every minute of video, uh, it takes roughly the same amount of time to render. If it's below 20 minutes, usually I can get that render time down to about 10 or 15 minutes. But these longer videos, like the three hour, three and a half, almost four hour long supercuts, those take me about two hours to render. And they take just as much time to upload, even though I've got one gig internet. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I'm praying, that that's gonna become a lot easier. The upload's not gonna take any less time, but the renders and the editing should do pretty well. If you're curious what I got, I got the Apple Studio with the M1 Max chip. I did not go with the Ultra. That would be ridiculous for what I do. Oh, somebody's already got a full grain tank. Great. Uh, that would have been ridiculous for what I do. And I just didn't think that spending that much money on that uh, machine would be worth it. But I did get the upgraded uh, chip. So we've got the 32 core GPU, I believe it is, the 10 core CPU. And of course, I've upgraded the RAM. I mean, naturally, had to. So I've got 64 gigabytes of shared memory, which should be more than enough to do any type of video work for Farming Simulator for the next 10 years. It's very exciting. All right, let's go over. We'll get ourselves another tractor with a uh, trailer on it. And we need to pick all... Well, we need to get some of these guys unloaded. And here we are in the very first tractor that we got for this series. The Fence 700, which you can change up colors, do all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, here's another secret I've been keeping this whole time. Uh, for the last part of the series, I have turned off crop destruction because it scared me. I had stuff to do. I didn't want to completely ruin everything. So I just turned it off. Totally. All right. I'm going to let this guy go forward. He should start coming back. No, he won't. I'm going to catch him right here. If you can catch a combine harvester mid-dump like this, he'll just stop. But when he's empty, he's going to run you over again. I know we're going to get at least 80,000 liters out of here, probably close to 90. So just be ready to hit that gas as soon as go, 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 because it'll run you right over. Yee! There you go. All right. While we're at it, we may as well empty this guy out as well, the Tryon. Again, love this combine harvester. Been able to use some really neat, different, cool equipment on this series. Just having fun, man. I've had a blast. I know we didn't really do much with Let's Plays really in the past almost two years. Uh, since COVID hit and, and that type of thing, we really didn't do much in the way of gameplay series. I'd worked a lot and I was ready to take a break. And I appreciate you guys letting me take a break, but we're back. We're back with weekly Let's Plays. I'm trying to do five episodes a week. Four uh, is my goal five is the expectation uh and of course uh three is the minimum i mean come on there's some weeks we may not hit three who knows all right i'm gonna quit rambling for now we have a lot of straw to pick up i gotta pick as much of this up as i possibly can because it's less work i have to do later 
these harvesters. I'm going to catch up to them eventually. And then we'll only have one more field to do. But don't worry. We got a lot more work to do today. As per usual, I've kind of had to take over this last little bit right here. Ba boom, boom, ba boom. All good. There you go. We've also picked up almost a million liters of straw already. We've still got this much left on this field, and there's quite a bit left on our next field as well. There's a lot. Let's see if I can get this lined up. Yeah, perfect. Now I don't have to pick up doubles. All right. So there's that. We've got another, what, 18,000 liters in here. That's good to go. We've also got our tractor up here. So we'll jump out. Oh, nope. Can't see anything doing first person. We'll get out of that. Uh, this is going to be the combine harvester that I used on the last field. So this will... Did you just piddle? You just piddled. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> We've had the same problem with combine harvesters for four games now. At least. This farm said 15. They just like to piddle. Every once in a while, it's like, oh, yeah, I think this is a good place. I'll just go ahead and lower my bottom right here. And so I just maxed out my computer. Uh, here's a fun thing that that is absolutely hilarious to me. In the last episode right here, the very last one, I have no more. This is the last one here that all the videos are going to be uploaded to my, my storage drive. Um... I've maxed out the computer, which is absolutely hilarious. I had to go through and delete all of the new mod videos that I've done for the past week. I always keep those for an extra week, and I just delete the, fi the video files all together because there's no reason to keep them. Uh, and then, of course, the new stuff. And, uh, yeah, and, of course, all the little uh, the extra videos that I do. You guys know, you know, DLC first looks and map tours and things like that. I like to hang on to that stuff. My computer just said, nope. <laughs> so I just had to free up 100 gigs worth of uh, storage just so I could record one video. <laughs> Finish it up anyway. I talk too much. I think that's the biggest problem here. I talk too much. Also, you utilize a lot of uh, space. And, you know, not to be like that guy or anything, but, you know, me and Driver's live stream from last week, I recorded that so he could upload it on his channel. Uh, and, you know, just... It just happened to take up literally 52 gigs by itself. Almost 53. <laughs> I get it, I get it. Anyway, so that's all cleared up now. You guys didn't even need to know about that. The last clip worked just fine. Not this time around, though. Not this time. I'm telling you guys everything. This episode's going to be long. It's going to be drawn out. And, and, a, and a third word. So get used to it. <laughs> Alright, just like before, we're going to run three uh, or two runs around this field. Looks like our other guy is completely finished up, so uh, really I just need to run twice around this field, hire the worker, and uh, we'll be pretty set-ish to go. All right, it is game time. So this combine harvester is totally done and ready to be put away. We don't need it anymore. I don't even know if I'm going to use this anymore. Actually, I do know. Not. <laughs> I'm going to put all the equipment away to the side. And hopefully, I'm not going all the way out there for that. I, it can come over here to me. Uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, the, like I said, all the stuff is just going to be put away like I'm going to continue working. But really, it's just so that I can keep this game save. I can put it away and put it in storage uh, and come back to it at a later date if and when I want to. Also, so that when the new update to this comes out, I can transfer over everything. I can get over the animals. I can remod the animal pens as well because I will have to do that. Um, but I can just kind of make the animals appear in there. So that's going to be nice. Also this, we can just turn that off. That doesn't need to be on. Jump over here. All done? All done, I guess. Okay. I don't know if it's bittersweet or just kind of like the next step. But it's a little bit bittersweet. Kind of feel sad to be putting the combine away after all that it's given us. It's only put on 10.3 hours. Whereas we did have that New Holland for what? Three episodes? Four episodes? Something like that. Didn't really use it too much. I thought it would be perfect, but... I mean, it was. It it did well. I was, I was appreciative of that combine harvester. I didn't really use that for anything, though. Everything else is going up here. All right, I'm going to quit yapping. Let's put this away. This is gone. Goodbye. Get out of here. We don't need you no mo, no mo, no mo. We need to keep picking up all the straw. And I need to figure out which one it is. How do I keep turning all these off? Am I doing it? Let me know. Do you guys see me turning these off? I feel like I'm turning these off. 
I don't want to admit it either. And time to take control at the end of our last field. I was trying to get a couple things set up at the top and it just wasn't quite happening. Also, it looks like my OBS is glitching. Man, all this is happening in one day. This is just fantastic. There we go. Much, much better. And this time it's not anything wild and crazy. I've still got 98. Yeah, 98 gigs left. So we're fine. We're good. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this. Let's do a quick spin around real quick. Ah, oh, we, we couldn't quite make it. I was going to try and pick all the straw up in one pass. That's all right. So we're done. That is the end of our harvest to today at least on this map for the last time. We'll go ahead and dump into this uh, trailer right here and we will be all finished. Now, when we go up this time around, I know the last time we did this, we took both of these loading wagons and I used the orange one to actually spread. Really, you just piddled again? Ugh. Uh, I used the orange one to kind of get everything situated and set for us. Ugh, quit piddling. Uh, well, that was fine and it worked cool but i noticed that just dumping it all out at once wasn't awful so i'm gonna do that this time <laughs> so it's gonna dump like i don't know three hundred thousand liters at a time every second or so i think i've got it set to five hundred thousand liters per second it's a lot that's awesome <laughs> all right combines folding up we we're pretty close-ish to being done. I mean, not not yet. We've still got to fast forward today and get some stuff done. This is, we're doing well. We're moving forward. We're getting the job done. Let's give it one last. <laughs> I love that button. That's awesome. All right. Combine Harvester, thank you very much for your 3.9 hours worth of work that you did on my farm. You, sir, are awesome. And now we need to go over to yeah. And actually, oats um, <clears throat> oats can be sold right now. I don't know if we're getting the best possible price, but if we go down to oats, we show the price fluctuation. Oh, that's in January. Oh. For some reason, I was thinking it was December. Hang on. Harvest oats, transport, pass forward to January, sell oats. Oh. So this was last year's stuff that I was actually looking at. Okay, so we don't need to sell the oats yet. Even better? Actually, I think this is all the oats we have anyway, so that's fine, whatever. All right, we'll go and get this dumped here. Let it do its thing. We need to find ourselves... Splash! Got him. Uh, we need to go ahead and pick up the rest of this. Did I turn that off again? I think you guys are still in my tractors. That's what I think is going on here. I think you're still in my tractors turning them off. Uh-huh. I see you. Farmer cop in the distance, cutting down trees. See, right over there, turning all my equipment off. I see you. So it's not that I don't think you should try to use underpowered tractors with bigger equipment. I'm just not sure this tractor should be used with this piece of equipment. That's all I'm saying right here. Took me a little while to get up the hill. So one thing I've noticed is that my sell prices from the previous year are all kind of a little messed up a little bit. We're selling all the straw today in game. Not that it was really much different from what we were doing before, but we're gonna do that. <laughs> this poor little tractor's going ahead and go over here somewhere. I don't know. All right. I did turn it off that time. I paid attention. I think I've been turning it off this whole time. Don't tell anybody. All right. I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'm, your face doesn't have access to this land. Get out of here. Am I gonna have to resell? This field again. I am, aren't I? Look at this. Look, I had to sell that just to buy this land. It's not even fair. All right, let's dump it. It's going to be absolutely hilarious. I was not even... I'm, uh, Not in any way, shape, or form am I shocked or surprised. What I am shocked and surprised of, actually, is how much is coming out or rather not coming out man this is not emptying as fast as i thought it would normally all right well that's all right that's okay i can go back and forth all day long like this i can't uh instead of doing one big massive just run around like i was doing before 
Yeah, I'm gonna do it in strips this time because this is gonna be a little bit easier for DJ Goham himself. All right, we'll go ahead and start dumping again. There we go. Perfect. I was hoping to get a little bit more than this amount done, but eh, you know, it's all right. Actually, you now I'm looking at this. Strips is probably fine. We'll just continue to do it this way. This is okay. This is fine. See, I'm, I'm doing this the right way, right? This is how you bail. <laughs> Man, we got too much straw is what we got. Uh, we've got a lot of straw. Now, I know I've been saving bales all year long. This is ridiculous, right? It's a little bit funny. This is actually how I used to do things back in Farming Simulator 19 when I would just play you know, off screen by myself, which I did a lot. Actually, I'm playing Farming Simulator less right now than I was back at Farm Sim 19 when I didn't do gameplay videos. Because I was playing off screen. I was having fun. I'd play for like six, seven hours at a time. Maybe more. Uh, not this time. Oop. Let's go over here to a baler that's decided it wants to learn how to dance. Come here. Let's do a dance together all soon. That thing doesn't stop. I don't know what's wrong with that loading wagon, but it just... It just goes, man. It just goes. Let's get this unfolded. We'll double check and make sure that we're on our correct bill. So 240, that's what we want. It looked like it was uh, reset to 220. I want to double check and make sure that we have cruise control, full control. Turn it on. And I'm not even going to attempt to say that this is not going to be hilarious. I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> now this ain't bad this is working stupidly well there's a bell there's a bell there's a bell they're just plopping them out like it's going out of style my dude yes sir that's what i'm all about making all these <laughs> stupid bells so this is fun the you probably look at going dj you are missing a lot i'm fully aware of how much i'm missing don't worry i've got this baler set in a way where, uh, or sorry, where I'm gonna come through, pick those bells up, put them where I want them, and then whenever I go back through again, I'll just have a little bit that needs to be picked up instead of this huge, stupid amount. But it's working. You can't deny that it's work. I mean, look at this. Look at Twitchy, look at this. I'm gonna be looking at this right now. This is great. I love it. To be fair, as funny as this has been, it's actually been quite uh, painful as well. But the great thing is, I mean, all the bells are in a line. So I really can't complain a whole lot. <laughs> all right, there's that. Whatever that was. That's a lot of bells. How many bells is that? I'm just curious. 153. I don't know if that's more or less than I thought it was going to be. I think it looks a whole lot more just because we got all this extra straw on the ground. Which should be able to be picked up without any issues coming back through. All right. Here's what we do. We set this guy right over here. I'm not going to turn it off. Back away slowly and drop back down because I may have had to take a thumbnail because that was hilarious. And we'll go ahead and jump in here. We'll double check. Make sure everything's good to go. Stick in an operating position. And rock and roll. So 150 whatever that was bails. This ought to be funny. Should just go broop. Please, please don't put those over there. There you go. Okay. I don't know why it does that, but whatever. It does that quite often. Irritatingly. All right. Man, this is a lot of bills that we've got to make, to, or do today, rather. And we're going to be selling them. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to be selling them all. So there's... 32 bells right there. Honestly, we could probably just go and sell all of these as it is. I do want to see all the bells kind of in a line, but we will have to pick them all up again, and I feel like that might be wasting time. Yeah, it's definitely going to be wasting time. Let's take this and find out where we're going to be selling to. Let's go in here. We'll go down straw. I think we're already on it. Yep, December. Best play, or best time, rather. Uh, and then... Looks like Cotswolds is the second best from General. However, if we tag that place, it's right in front of us. And the General Bell is somewhere else. I actually don't know where it is. Oh. 
It's at the north end of the map. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Cotswolds, uh, we'll go ahead and tag it just so we know exactly which one we're heading to. But I think we're good. We'll go ahead and turn that help window off as well. We do not need that anymore. Man, that's a lot of, a lot of bells. I don't even know how many I've got, but I do know that this is a lot. And that's really the only number that, that matters. We'll go ahead and unload these directly onto the trailer. And get them sold. Take those last bits. Sweet. So 25 grand from one trailer. I'm going to be a bajillionaire. Forget being a millionaire. I'm going to be able to run this. Let's go, man. Let's go. All right. We got another run right here. Let's see. Can we pick all of this up going at a decently maximum-ish speed? Still not as funny as I wanted it to be. I, was, I think I was more... Oh boy, yep, there we go. I think I was more thinking of going like a thousand miles an hour and just watching it go... Roop. That's not what happened. That's not what happened at all. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, at least all the bills that are on the ground sold. And uh, we're at 363 grand right now. And after all of the sales from all those, we will have... Well, I don't think we're going to be able to max this trailer out, but we've got uh, $440,000 right now, which is pretty good considering I'm going to sell this field as soon as we're done with it. Uh, one thing, I know I think I may have said at one point in time or another that I was going to sell that big grass field that we were in, 25, and buy this. But I don't remember if I said that or if I was going to do it or what. I don't remember. We're going to get all of this? Yeah, we're going to get all this. So uh, I don't know if I said I was going to do that or not. And I think at one point maybe I was thinking about taking the first part of this field up here and using it as a staging area for bells and, and uh, things like that. Things that need to go to the BGA but just need it, you know, a home. Something like that. Well... It never happened. I apologize. There were a lot of plans and a lot of ideas that I had for this map that just never, never came to fruition. Things that never happened. And I would love to come back on this map and do, I don't know, I feel like a start from scratch or, or survival style would be my, my kind of thing. But choosing some of the, fault, the smaller fields and doing smaller scale farming, I think that I would thoroughly enjoy doing that type of thing. Maybe I'll do that on the next uh, map, but it seems like most of you guys want to see big, massive machines, American-style stuff, on some big fields. So we'll do our best to see what we could do with that. I know a big Michigan map just released not long ago, so we've got big stuff through there. And I think there's maybe one other map that's got some really big fields as well. Um, and I'm starting to realize as well, it's less about the map and, and more about the gameplay and having fun there. And that's what I'm going to try and bring you guys. Also, I think possibly going forward, I've actually talked to Clutch about this a little bit, might limit the series numbers at 20 episodes. 30 is fun, uh, but I've basically done the exact same thing from episodes 11 through 21. Uh, I got it figured out, man. I've got everything figured out. So it's kind of like, well, what do I, what do, I do from here? Uh, what do you mean detaching while unfolding's not available? Your face is not available. That's what K-Bot would say, at least. Okay, so that's that. Literally, that's that's that. We'll go ahead and detach there, and we've got a bunch of stuff that needs to be sent back to the main farm. So uh, the first thing I'm going to send back is the Fent with the weight. Cool, cool. Uh, the next one is going to be the Massey Ferguson with its weight as well. Goodbye. And then we'll go ahead and reset the baler and we'll reset the loading wagon as well because we do not need those. And it looks like everything made it over here just fine. The loading wagon should be right around the corner and I can see it over there. Perfect. Now I need to find out where my JCB is. Here it is. Okay. So now it's going to be a lot of work to take all of these bales and sell them. Ever darn one of them. I'm not sure what possessed me to save them all, 
or do the you know the most amount of bell contracts or contracts that get straw that I possibly could. I don't I don't I'm not happy with this part of the agreement. <laughs> Yikes. All right, well, nonetheless, we're at $440,000 now. So that must mean that getting all of these spells should be pretty darn fun. Also, I love watching these just go zoop. There's another 25 grand. Let's do it. I've just finished up part of the sales. Of course, you see we're at $571,000 right now. I wanted to show you this part real quick because I didn't think I showed this. It is the auto loading these bales back onto the trailer. It's super easy, but I figured I'd give you guys a uh, give you guys a show just to show you what's going on. Slowly, we drive past, turn all the auto loading features back on. You can see how slow I'm driving. Just drive slow enough like that because if you don't, it's going to start picking up from all kinds of random locations and the bell stacks are going to start falling apart and they may fall right in front of your tractor and you're going to have a bad time. So, if you have the the option or the fun uh, that I'm having to do what I just showed you, do that. This is way easier. Also, this is from Nipong Pack. Nipong. Yeah, I love this trailer, by the way. This holds a bunch of bells. Yes, it does. All right. There's another 25 G's, baby. Almost up to 600. We are getting near the end, and I'm starting to realize exactly how much work I left to do today. Uh, a lot. That's the answer. That's the answer right there. So we're up to almost $800,000 from all of the bell sales, man. We've almost made five hundred grand just from bales. Now, we're, I will say these are the bales that we have saved quite literally for the past year in-game. So that's a lot of money at one time. But we'll just put it this way. Uh, all this equipment is getting a new paint job. Every single bit of it, but we've got uh, a, quite a few other things to sell as well. Of course, we have all of our crops. We've still got to fast forward to tomorrow in game as well. Uh, we've we've actually got a bunch to do. I'm starting to think that episode 30 might be like a three hour long video. I hope not. Is it? I'm, I don't I don't know how long it is. <laughs> I haven't edited it yet. Obviously, I'm recording. All right, last sale right here. We'll go ahead and get the jump 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 thing going on. Yeah, there we go. Boom. All right. <sighs> There's 843 grand. We need to sell that field. We need to repurchase this field. We're up to 1.1, which means if I can go find our monies, Lance, <laughs> ignore all that. That's hilarious. Sold bales. 500. And five thousand dollars. That's insane. Absolutely insane. Super cool. Slightly insane. <laughs> All right. So we've got quite a bit more to do. So what I'm going to go ahead is detach from our trailer. We're going to go ahead and have that reset for us because I just can't be bothered. And then we are going to go down to the cow farm and pick up the trailer, which should have some canola in it, I believe. And it should be ready for us to take around and sell some canola. And there she is. Let's hook up. I'm going to be using the JCB because this is just the fastest thing around this map. We've only got 23,000 liters of canola, but we're still going to get a good sell off of it. So let's go up here. We'll do a double quick check. Yep. December is great for me. And then we just got to find the best price. So see 1275. I think that's it. All spheres. Tag the place to find out where in the world we are going. And I... Don't know where. Oh, it's all the way down here. Ugh. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll head down there. This one turn right here. Down at the bottom. If I'm in third person, I almost overcook it every time. But if I'm in first person, for some reason, driving is just so much easier. Of course, I am using a controller, so everything kind of goes back to standard right for me. If I was using a steering wheel, you'd hear the bell going... Woo, woo, woo. It sounded like Virtual Farmer's old steering wheel, if you guys remember that back about a all right, year and a half ago, something like that. I can't remember exactly how long it's been since he's used the new one, but 
It was loud is what it was, but it was so cool. And it was kind of part of his live streams. There's somebody else that I've really looked up to. He's done a great job, Virtual Farmer. I've watched his stuff for quite a while now, but even the, all the way back for Farming Simulator 17. I started watching Virtual Farmer and found him right after I found Mr. Silly P. Um, there was a lot of UK guys doing it back then. And now, man, there's a bunch of dudes doing it. I love it, man. I love it. All right. Go ahead and unload that. Put our camera in there because for some reason that's the bit that does its thing. All right. There we go. 30,000. Not too bad. Back over the cow shed now. Let's see if there's anything else that is ready to be sold or wants to be sold. We'll take a look. Uh, we'll start at wheat. December. Uh, yeah, definitely doing some wheat. Barley is tomorrow. So are oats. Soybeans is all the way in June. Probably won't even sell those. Milk is going to be in January as well. Silage in January. Uh, grass, hay, straw. We're not selling any more of any of those. Uh, manure, December. Ooh, that's manures right now. It's so is slurry. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So we need to do a few things. I need to jump in this. There we go. We'll jump in here real quick. I need to pick up a weight. I think this is the correct weight for everything. Yeah, that's a small one. And we need to go find our liquid cart because that liquid cart is going to be what we put the slurry in to go sell it. If I remember right, I made it hold uh, 500 or I made a hold a bunch is what I made a hold. Oh, I made the turn. Oh, I definitely clipped that, but I got away with it. So who cares? All right. So the water right here, this also is our slurry tank because I was too lazy to buy two of them. Plus it's a smaller map. So I didn't really mean to mess too much around. We'll go ahead and give them some water because why not? We'll look down. Uh, water is filling up. Cool. We're good. Oh yeah, this holds a million liters. Sweet. All right. We want to fill it and we want to empty it right there. Water's free, so I never pay for it. I just use a big tanker and do my thing. So slurry is on the cow farm. And I bet we could get through right here. Yes, we can. Woo! Got a little squeaky gate sound as well. Let me go ahead and leave that open just for realism's sake. Ooh. Starting to lag a little bit. That's OBS, not the game. The game's running perfectly fine. I never know what the problem is here. Oh, boy. We'll go ahead and open it up. Click the button. And get some slurry. Going over here, usually it tells you how much you've got. But I'm not seeing it, so there's that. Uh, slurry's going down. We had a lot. Cool. That's a good number. While we're in the mood for doing stuff for the BGA, let's do manure now this is not going to be the quickest thing on earth i must say but the manure is going down and it is going up and so is the slurry the slurry might just fill first actually i'm not sure which one's going to fill first no let's go back over here see manure is it done no 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 it's still doing its thing the thing is it doesn't say how much manure is there? Because I don't have a manure pit. Oh, it's, yeah, it's just still going to do its thing, isn't it? Well, I guess I could look right here. 218,000. So this guy right here, yeah, it's so fast it's done already. So this is going to the BGA. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a long episode. I would say I'm sorry. Not even close. Not even close to being sorry. Just, just not sorry. So... Slurry and manure, both are going to be sold right now. Oh, yay! Uh, both of these are going to be sold to the BGA right now. Hopefully, we'll make that cash. I don't remember seeing money the last time I did this. I'm thinking maybe the BGA that I got modified was a joke. And it doesn't let you take the mo get money from it. Is that, is that how it works? You still get money from the BGA? You do, right? Now I'm curious. Oh boy. Um. Uh. I don't. I don't think I'm actually getting any money from, from the BGA. I think I'm just taking stuff there to die. Oh boy. You know, I mean, you know, we could, we could do the. 
No, there's there's a dollar amount there. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> so I guess that's fine, right? Yeah, it's totally fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. You're fine. Everybody's just fine. I don't know how much this holds. I think I made it hold either 10 million liters or 100 million liters. It was one of the two for sure. So we'll bring this over here. Slurry's not accepted here. Why would it be? Slurry's accepted right here because I'm an idiot. Yeah, there we go. All right. We'll leave that to do its dirty work. We've got the uh, manure right here. This is also quite dirty work. Let's get this over there. And oh, yike. Have a good time with it. I had a good time with it. Too much. Too, uh. I need superpowers! No, throw it. This is. This is dangerous. I do not recommend anybody trying to do the things that I'm trying to do right here. Uh, I, I definitely overcooked it for sure. <laughs> I always take that little shortcut right there and I got a little too excited. I was flying down through there at about 50 miles an hour and I was like, oh cool, a tree. Oh no, a tree. <laughs> This should be simple enough. The slurry is doing its thing. The manure should do its thing as well. You can see we've got the slurry in there, which is kind of cool. And then we'll go ahead and dump the manure down as well. We should see the inside of the fermenter filling. There we go. Should see this filling up right now. And we are, which is super, super neat. Uh, you can see right through here, slurry has now gone up to the max, which is cool. And then the manure is doing its thing now. I don't think we need this milk container for anything else, at least today. We'll go ahead and just do a quick double check here uh, of anything. So milk right through there. That's in January, so that's going to be tomorrow. And I think that's the only liquid that we have to worry about. Yeah, so that's great. But we've still got to sell wheat. We've still got to sell... <sighs> I don't want to say soybeans, but eventually we're going to have to get rid of all those for whatever reason that we did them. Uh, silage, of course, is tomorrow as well. So it looks like really the only thing we need to do today, at least in game, is wheat. Which means I got to wait on this stupid thing. You done yet? I'm really, really not good at driving this thing. Oh, boy. I think I'm just... <laughs> I'm not used to, like going too fast and I think that's the issue I'm coming down through here like a bat and it's too quick it's too fast I'm having a great time with it but it's just too fast oh having, a, having fun man I'm fun okay so the next step next stop is going to be wheat now I feed the chickens wheat uh, now barley just cuz barley doesn't make as much money I understand that's a crash counter right there so I need to get wheat out of here but I need to leave some as well so we've got 550,000 liters of wheat I'm going to leave 50,000 liters for the uh, chickens now we need to figure out where we're gonna go with this so there's 730 all sphere that seems like the place we'll go and tag it that's the place down here at the bottom ain't it yes it is okay so 500,000 liters of wheat down there and then we'll go from there let's see if i can get something funny on camera here so i'm cooking it 55 miles an hour pulling in here nice and easy slam on the brakes oh good brakes nice all right so this is our last time we got 501,000 liters in here none too wild and crazy and we'll sell it probably gonna take it a little while to sell i think this empties at half the speed that the silo emptied into it so there's that at least. Uh, we'll go ahead and start making our plans for the next day in game. Of course, barley. We'll double check. Barley, yes. Oats, yes. Soybeans, no. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'll be in here when it's time. Milk, yes. Silage, yes. Even though this is not the silage that we've got. We've got about 3 million liters of it. And that's it those cells and then we'll probably fast forward to maybe february in game all right so we're 
part of the way there. We'll probably fast forward to about February in game just so we can get all the sales from the VGA. Hopefully that money comes through. I don't know when it comes through, but hopefully it comes through overnight. Oh, man, this is going to be a long video. We're having some fun. Yeah, we're having fun. Man, I love this tractor too. It looks so beautiful. Uh, are we done? Please hurry up. A anyways, you can see the amount that we're going to be getting off of this wheat. It's not game breaking by any stretch of the animation animation and you know what i mean also we have a bunch of wool as well like a stupid amount of wool the problem is wool doesn't sell until april so i'm not even going to worry about that it's just going to be sitting there but for everything else you know december january we got some big big crop sales between now and then so wanted to make sure we get those done speaking of done we are done here and we're at a total of three hundred and sixty six thousand dollars was a terrible, terrible price. Regardless, let's uh, let's crank it up. Let's head back home. I'm gonna take a nap, and we'll wake up in the morning. We're gonna get these other crops sold. And this is what I do all night because I got too many sheep, and they produce too much wool. So I gotta literally just kick these things out every single time. And actually, I think you if you've got the pallet mod on consoles, you could do this too, which is kind of fun. All right, we'll go and kick that out. Hopefully, we don't have any snow. I haven't double-checked to see if there's any snow yet, but this is 1 January that I would just, you know, no snow. Please, no snow. That'd, to, that'd be a lot for me to have to deal with. And Normally, I'll go till about 11 or 12-ish, so around midday. Oh, the sun is coming up absolutely beautiful 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 kick it two more hours in game and then we've got now one more hour in game finger on the button there it is all right 12 o'clock midday all good ready to go kick it out it's two days worth of wool right there 48 hours look at this numbskull it's just chilling in midair, ch chewing good. All right, save the game, please, please, please save the game. There we go. Okay, so I have uh, helped us actually. I've gotten a couple of these in position for selling. Now this won't take very long. It's going to take a little while, but not very long. Also, I did not pay attention to see how much money I made at the BGA. I should probably do that. You guys want to look with me? Let's look now. So, uh, where is a big income number? Didn't have one. Biogas plant income, 70 grand. That's it? Ugh, your face is worth 70 grand. Go and dump that. Cool. All right. <clears throat> so, that's that. We also have a ton of, um, I don't know what you call it, digestate. We have a ton of digestate. All right, so we got the milk. This is cool. This is cool. All right. Uh, well, milk. Here we go. All right. January. Perfect. Where is the best place? Sell. So, farmer's market. Okay. Go ahead and tag that place. I think that's up top. Nope. JK. I don't know where it is. Ah. All spheres. Just like everything else. So this milk sale should make us plenty of cash. Ooh, the first sale point. Haven't come here before. All right, all right, up, down, up, down. A little jumperino right there. Money is flying up, but that cell is going to take a hot minute. So let's go ahead and prepare the barley cell. All the way to the top. Barley, where are we going? 44, 46, 665 general store. Where would that be? Up top. Hey! I don't think I have been up there in the past like 10 episodes. So this is cool. We get to go do that. And that money is flying up. Now imagine, imagine for a moment, if I would have just kept playing. <laughs> Obviously, I've set myself up for success. So there is that. But what am I going to do with two plus million dollars? I got, I got actually I've got nothing. Just buy a bunch of fields and farm more. I made it. We're good. <laughs> I think I think we did okay. I think 30 episodes really showed us 
how close to success, how close to completion. Oh, I have the hiccups. That's not good. Uh, how close to completion, how close just to... is good. We did good. We did good. This is going to take a while to sell as well. So we'll go ahead and put that about right here. There you go. So we'll get that sold. Still going to... Yeah, it's going to be quick, but still going to take a little while. Milk is done now. So we made $610,000 just off of the milk that we've gotten over the past year. That's pretty epic. So this uh, piece of equipment can go back over to the farm now. So we're done with it. So done with it, in fact, that I can't even be bothered to drive it back. Where are you? And there we've got that 409 thousand oofs <laughs> four hundred nine thousand big oofs all right so now we're up to 2.6 million dollars yeah just imagine man if this feel or if this had like more bigger square fields i would be totally down to be expanding this man who would have thought we'd have made that much money i remember making like a hundred grand in an entire season man this is making bank baby yeah I think we've got one more crop that needs to be sold. Let's see if we can yeet this straight across through here. Yay! Uh, we've got oats. We'll get these oats sold, and I think that is the last crop that needs to be sold. Everything else is... I'm just kind of getting the equipment put back and getting the uh, vehicles ready for getting their nice big picture taken for the thumbnail. So, oats, there we go. We'll go ahead and take that time, and I guess I can bring you guys along with this as well. Uh, I'll just come back through and repaint everything, maybe um, going forward, something like that. I'll probably forget. Let's be honest here. Uh, as soon as this is all done, actually, I'm going to delete uh, this. Uh, oh, well, all this, I guess, is, is what we'll do. Uh, one thing that I think would be kind of cool is to post up my game save and maybe a, a folder with the mods in it. Uh, of course, the map is a little bit modified. Um, plus I would not feel comfortable sharing, um, sharing the map, but, well, even the mods, mods, you can get them on the mod hub, but I can put a list or links to everything. But I think the game save would be kind of cool to post up and see what you guys create. If you want to, if that's something you would like, let me know. I keep all game saves. Uh, I've got all my game saves from, well, most of them for Farming Simulator 17, because back then I was playing on Xbox. Uh, all the Farm Sim 19 game saves. I've got all those, all the like three or four different series from Lone Oak. Those are all saved. Everything's good to go. So, uh, yeah, I think it'd be fun to share this game save and see what you guys can uh, put together with it. All right, let's do it. The very last sell. Last one. Man, this is it. We'll jump a Reno right through there. Once we empty this completely out, we will be all done with our sales. We've got all the wheat that we need. Soybeans, we'll just save that for a rainy day. All of the other stuff through here that we needed to sell has been sold. We do have uh, a lot more manure and slurry that's been accumulated over the past day, but uh, it turns out that's going to be way more beneficial to use as fertilizer than trying to sell it. Uh, it's almost dumb to sell it, quite literally. You know how much this would be trying to use it normally? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Speaking of ridiculous, I can be a little bit ridiculous as well. Uh, and it also looks like we're going to get close to $3 million. If I sold all the wool, which I've got, I mean, thousands and thousands and thousands of liters of, uh, we would be in a really, really sweet place. There you go. $304,000 from it. $2.939 million from this absolutely beautiful beautiful farm well guys that's it that's the end of the series and you've just watched the entire thing non-stop probably maybe hopefully i hope you have uh i've never seen anyone do anything like this before in farming simulator and i thought it would not only be different but hopefully genre changing as well that way we continue to push this community forward every single day with every video it's been a ton of fun sharing my gameplay with you guys and it was an honor a true honor to make this video for you so if you haven't already you've had you know, like 10 plus hours already drop a like please uh do that before you take off 
That really does help out a lot. Also, get subscribed if you're new around here and turn the bell on. That way you get notified every time I release a video, which is every day, by the way. All that being said, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.